Advertisement. Hey, old woman, we are pirates. No pirate has the habit of paying tolls. Asking Chris the Scrooge to hand over the money is out of the question. And Chris remembered that even if you don't need money, you can go in, but you will be treated as a criminal. A criminal is a criminal, and Chris doesn't care. This time when he came to Sky Island, Chris' biggest goal was to convince Enel and accept him as a partner. A Lokia Thunder Fruit capable person will definitely be an admiral level helper in the future. How can such a talent be wasted? If memory serves me correctly, Enel is now a god on Sky Island. When Luffy came up, he had been a god for six years, and now he should be a god for two years. You can go in even if you don't have money. All five of you have to go in. The old woman was not angry at all when Chris said he had no money. Suddenly a big lobster jumped out of the white sea, it clamped the yinhee with two large pincers, went directly upstream, and rushed to the Sky Island carrying the yinhee. There is still a full 3000 meter drop from Sky Island. Without the help of currents, ships cannot move forward at all. Access to Sky Island is only possible with this Sky Island Specialty Express shrimp. The yinhee broke through a group of clouds again, and finally reached the Bibi Sea at an altitude of 10,000 meters. Captain, is this Sky Island? The islands above seem to be floating on the clouds, don't they? Aren't we really going to fall? Advertisement. Salim's legs were a little weak when walking on the clouds, and he was afraid that his foot would fall and fall to his death. This is the kingdom of God on Sky Island, and it is also the first trial ground I have prepared for you. Chris looked at the members of the Galaxy Pirates and said, The current god of Sky Island is a guy named Enel, and the task I give you is to challenge him. Don't underestimate him, he is a Logia Thunder Fruit capable user. Without Armament Haki, it is impossible for you to defeat him. And I just hope that through this battle, you can all awaken Armament Haki. I will not intervene in this battle. If you die, it will only prove that you are nothing more than men, remember. Looking at Chris in different face, members of the Galaxy Pirates knew that Chris wasn't joking. If Chris made a shot, it would be easy to beat Enel, but Daz and the others lost the opportunity to practice. The strong can only grow after going through countless battles, and under the protection of Chris, they live too peacefully. It's impossible for them to become stronger if this continues. Daz, now only you have awakened Armament Haki, but you are not proficient enough, I hope you can break through the limit in this battle. Fan Oka, you are already proficient in using Observation Haki. This time, you and Daz are the main attack, and Saren and Jack are the support. You guys are going to make a big fuss here. As soon as the words fell, Chris stepped on the moonwalk and flew into the sky, and flew towards the distance. He was going to find the lost ancient city, the golden town of Shandora. Chris used moonwalk to stand in the air, and then shave to move. After images of Chris appeared in the air and disappeared in a flash. Everyone on the ground who noticed it was stunned, as if they saw someone flying in the sky, but they disappeared in the blink of an eye. Advertisement. Did I read it wrong? That's what's on everyone's mind. Chris's observation hacky is fully open, covering the entire sky island. After searching inch by inch, I finally found the location of the golden village. After some searching, Chris finally found the golden clock hidden deep in the clouds. The golden bell is hundreds of meters high, and you can feel how amazing the craftsmanship of the ancient Sandia people is just by looking at it. There is also a historical text inlaid below the golden bell. This is the first time Chris has seen the main text of history. Although he can't understand a word, he still has a feeling of ignorance. System, can you recognize the text on this? Chris asked about the system in his mind. Although he didn't understand the historical text, he had a system. The system is omnipotent. Ding dong, the system can recognize historical texts, but it will cost 50 million baileys. What? You want 50 million baileys, are you stealing money? Chris now only has a balance of 60 million baileys, and if he spends 50 million at one time, he is almost bankrupt. Host, you have to understand that this piece of historical text is about the location and origin of Poseidon Poseidon, which is of invaluable value. If it is the historical text that records events in general, it only needs 10 million berries, but the historical text of the Red Road sign needs 100 million berries to interpret once. Hearing what the system said, Chris finally accepted it. Different historical texts have different values. The historical text of ancient weapon Poseidon is recorded. Advertisement. Although Chris knows that Poseidon Poseidon is the current mermaid Shirahoshi, the detailed information is not clear. This time I found the historical text, so I naturally had to investigate everything. System, spend 50 million baileys to interpret the historical text. Ding dong, the system has deducted 50 million baileys, and the historical text has been interpreted. Please host to receive it. Suddenly, a wave of information jumped into Chris's mind. Ancient weapon Poseidon owned in the name of God, its location is the Fishman Island under the deep sea. When the prophecy comes. In this way, Chris knew all the information about Poseidon, and the current Princess Shirahoshi is the Poseidon of this generation. When Princess Shirahoshi awakens the power of Poseidon, she can command and control all the sea kings under the sea. She alone is enough to overturn the world. The previous Poseidon was the mermaid princess in the history of Void Century. Only when the previous Poseidon dies, will the power of Poseidon be passed on to the next generation? Next to the golden clock, Chris also saw another historical text. Chris knew that this was left by Roger back then. I have come here to lead this text to the end. Pirate, Gordy, Roger. P.S. Ask for a monthly pass. Ask for a monthly ticket. Ask for a monthly ticket. Please collect it. Please collect it. Please collect it. The author guarantees here that the reward will be 1000, and the update will add a chapter. It is up to the readers how many manuscripts the author can save. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 52 Leave the Legendary. Five more. Ask for flowers. Ask for a reward. Advertisement. I have come here to lead this text to the end. Pirate. Gordy. Roger. Touching this text lightly, Chris seemed to see Roger back then. When they came to Sky Island, Roger asked Kojiki Odin to write this sentence on the golden clock with the historical text passed down from generation to generation, should I also let the system leave a sentence on it? A thought suddenly popped into Chris's mind, and he couldn't hold it back anymore. System, how much does it cost to leave a message on it? Going back to host, you need 10 million baileys at a time. The system took the opportunity to let the lion speak loudly, but it cost so much money just to write a few words. Robbing a bank is not as quick as him. Chris was powerless to refuse, and agreed with a constipated face. I came here, received the history of Poseidon Poseidon and Roger, and directed this text to the place of origin. 
Pirate, John Chris. After spending the last 10 million, Chris wrote his own words after Roger's message in the text of history. Does this count as leaving a legendary? What will the latecomers think when they see this sentence? Readers complain, you are a fool. I don't know if Luffy will still see this sentence four years later. With a smile, Chris stepped on the moonwalk and left here. Advertisement. The golden bell is too big, it is impossible for him to take it away, why not stay here? Besides, if Chris beats Enel, it would be nice to use Sky Island as his base. Chris also needs to find a place of his own. Sky Island occupies a favorable location, and ordinary people can't come to it at all. It's a good place to be a lair. While Chris was leisurely looking for the Golden Land, Dawes and the others had already caused commotion in Sky Island. Because there was no payment for entering Sky Island, Chris and his party entered the country illegally and were treated as criminals by the Sky Island police. When Dawes and the others were hunted down, it was naturally impossible to catch them without a fight, so they fought back, and then the trouble became bigger and bigger. On Sky Island, Dawes and others who attacked the White Bear Force were sentenced to God's Trial. Sky Island, Trial Forest. The Galaxy Pirates and the Four Priests met head-on. Hey, Dawes, these people don't look easy to mess with. S.A. Lin looked at the four people in front of her with a solemn face, and she could tell by their aura that they were very strong. The four priests are from Sky Island, and they are the four servants who follow the god Enel. Set up their own domains in the Holy Land Apaya, and use various mechanisms in the Trial Forest to block the incoming enemies. It's just you guys, the intruders who broke into Sky Island. Here, in the name of God, we grant you death. The first move was the priest Nirvana. He is the priest in charge of the trial of the swamp with a survival rate of 50%, symbolizing the joy and joy, anger, sorrow, and joy. Characterized by his spider-footed hairstyle. Nirvana is equipped with wind shells under its feet, so it can fly in the sky, just like Moonwalk from Marine Six Styles. Advertisement. Boom, Nirvana punched Dawes in the face. Originally, he thought that Dawes would fly away with his punch, but he didn't expect Dawes to stand still and hear the wind. It wasn't Dawes who got hurt but Nirvana. He felt that his fist hit the hard steel, and his palm was about to be broken due to the shock. Hey, hey, are you made of iron? So hard. A single blow missed a thousand miles away, and Nirvana immediately wanted to evacuate when he saw that Dawes was not injured. Come when you want, leave when you want, you think too well, don't you? Dawes's palm turned into a knife and slashed down. It's not hard to imagine that Nirvana would be split in half by Dawes. A burst of cloud gushes under his feet, and Nirvana uses his strength to soar and avoid Dawes's attack. Invaders, if you want to defeat me, you still. Nirvana thought that he had escaped Dawes's attack, and wanted to laugh at the four of them. But before he could finish speaking, a gunshot rang out. Nirvana was unavoidable in the air, and there was a bloody hole on his shoulder. Well done Van Oka. Salin and Jack sighed in admiration, and the two disappeared in place at the same time, and the place where they appeared was behind Nirvana in the air. A punch and a kick landed on Nirvana's back at the same time. Boom. A big hole was smashed into the ground, and after the dust dissipated, Nirvana was already lying motionless. Looking at his rolled eyes, you can tell that he has lost consciousness and is powerless to fight anymore. Advertisement. In just a split second after the battle started, the other three priests saw that Nirvana had been instantly killed. Nirvana took the lead, then Dawes counterattacked, and Van Oka sniped from behind. Salin and Jack teamed up to make the final blow. Everything was too fast, and by the time the priests reacted and wanted to save Nirvana, it was already too late. Damn it, sinners, you dare to resist the will of God. The great God will not let you go. After speaking, he swarmed up and killed the four of Dawes. Surprise cloud. It was the priest Doa who made the shot. He used cloud shells to create hundreds of cloud balls and scattered them in the forest. When the spherical surprise cloud is hit, the mechanism inside will be activated. If an uninformed person touches it arbitrarily, it may cause a crisis, such as snake nest, direct explosion, spikes, etc., but there are also completely harmless lottery kings. Dust slash. After Dawes turned his fingers into blades, he crossed his hands in front of his chest, and then slashed forward in an X shape. This is Dawes's Dice Dice Fruit ability, which can instantly cut objects into tiny pieces. After the clouds of surprise suspended in the air were hit by Machin Slash, some exploded directly, and some scattered dense spikes. Boom, boom, boom. Amidst the sound of an explosion, a wavy cloud pierced over at an extremely fast speed. Dawes had no time to dodge, and was stabbed in the chest on the spot. Although Dawes, who had a body of steel, was not pierced through his body, the powerful impact still knocked him hundreds of meters away, and his upside-down body smashed several big trees in succession. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 53, Enel Appears, Part 1, Asking for Flowers, Asking for a Reward. Advertisement. Iron Whip. This is the special skill of the priest ohm, using a similar knife made of clouds to soften it. Form a wave shape and turn into a whip to attack the enemy. The whip is very long. It is very powerful. Dawes, damn it. Shave. Saren and Jack teleport with Shave at the same time. Tempest kick. Selene kicked out a huge flying slash. Pff, it's useless. Iron embankment iron wall. Facing Selene's Tempest kick, Ohm sneered. The cloud knife in his hand turned into a cube and blocked it in front of him. This cube is very hard, and even sparks splashed when Saren's Tempest kick cut it, but it still couldn't hurt the Ohm behind it. At this time, Priest Shura's attack finally arrived. He rode a three-footed bird and attacked Jack in the sky. Rope cloud. A thread-like cloud wrapped around Jack's body. This thread was so strong that Jack couldn't stop it for a while. Ha ha ha, Shenjiun is very tough, watch me cut you into pieces. Shura laughed loudly, and with his control, the rope became tighter and tighter. Hmph, a little trick. Iron body. Jack's whole body became as hard as steel, and the rope cloud couldn't hurt Jack. As it became tighter and tighter, it finally reached the critical point and broke with a bang. Advertisement. Master the cut. With a roar, Dawes moved in front of Ohm in an instant. His five fingers are held together like tiger claws, and all of them have become blades. Puff. Ohm did not rush to dodge, and five deep scars were cut on his chest. Ohm. Priest Dao saw that Ohm was seriously injured by Dawes, and used the impact shell to teleport behind Dawes. Boom. It was obviously just a common palm, but Dawes was sent flying. Even Dawes's body of steel could hardly bear it, and couldn't help spitting out a mouthful of blood. This is a shock shell unique to Sky Island. 
The shock force is stored in it in advance, and then it is released in the form of a shock. There is a limit to the power, and the user will also be hurt. Using the shock shell is a trick that can hurt the enemy 1000 and self-damage 800. This kind of extreme power can only be used by the priest Dao a few times. In the original book, only War Ghost Weber used it twice in a row, and one arm was almost crippled. After Usopp took the shock shell off Sky Island, it was used a few times, but every time it was used once and it was half disabled. The Gun of Fire Priest Shura dodged a bullet from Fan Oka, and swung the spear in his hand, knocking Jack flying in front of him. After receiving this move, Jack's body actually caught fire. Fortunately, Iron Body's defense prevented him from being seriously injured. It was originally 4 vs 4, but the priest Nirvana lost too quickly. The four members of the Galaxy Pirates took advantage of the numbers against the three shrines. Then Dawes took the opportunity to seriously injure Priest Ohm. As time goes by, the chances of winning the Galaxy Pirates are getting bigger and bigger. Advertisement. Damn it, sinners, you will definitely be punished by God, and none of you will survive. Ohm dragged his seriously injured body to stand, using the cloud knife to prop up the ground so as not to fall down. He spit out a mouthful of blood as soon as he said a word, as if he couldn't last long. Fight and fight, why are you talking about gods? Are you kidding me? S.A. Lin kicked Priest Dao away with one kick, and said with a sneer. At this moment, Salin was also in a state of distress, his left hand was bleeding profusely, obviously injured. What gods are you talking about? You have been beaten like this, and you haven't seen your gods come to save you. Jack was only slightly injured, he suffered the least amount of attacks, and was protected by Iron Body, so ordinary attacks couldn't hurt him at all. Fan Oka has been fighting gorillas from a long distance, and he was not injured. His bullets were very accurate, and the four priests were more or less shot, and there were a few blood holes on their bodies. Bastard, you are not allowed to speak ill of God. Hearing Jack's words, the three priests suddenly became furious and yelled at Jack at the same time. Yeah ha ha. Suddenly, a strange laughter sounded in everyone's ears. Then a thunder flashed, and ten men appeared on the big tree. This man wears a white turban, and under the turban is an ant's head. The earlobes are long, and they wear gold earrings. His upper body was bare, and there were three thunder drums on his back. The thunder drums seemed to have pierced his back directly, but he felt no pain at all. The man has a gold ring on his hand and holds a golden stick. The lower part of the body is wearing bloomers, bare feet, with rings on the toes. Looking at this man, everyone in the galaxy pirates felt an aura of new vorish coming towards them. The whole body is covered with gold, do you want to be so rich? Advertisement. Hey, who are you guys? Seeing Enel who suddenly appeared, Salin asked. Bastard, you are not allowed to insult God. Salin just asked a question, and the three priests yelled at Salin at the same time, as if they had committed an unforgivable sin. Insult? Who did I insult? S.A. Lin looked confused. Who did I insult? Why didn't I know? Hey, you guys. Enel stared at the three priests with murderous intent. As a priest but unable to defeat the invaders, what use do I need you for? Following Enel's words, the three priests all lowered their heads, looking trembling. Do you know what crime it is? Zhao Qinhao, in Enel's eyes there is a faint beating of lightning. God, great God, please give us one more chance, we promise, the day will be fixed. Priest Shura begged Enel, but before he finished speaking, a thick thunderbolt fell out of thin air. Shura, who was hit by lightning, was scorched black all over, and there was a smell of roasted meat emanating from him. Cough 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 outline. Shura coughed a few times, then fell headlong to the ground, already unconscious. Afterwards, several thunderbolts fell, and the remaining priests Dao and Priest Ohm also followed in Shura's footsteps. Hey, hey, this guy doesn't look easy to mess with. From the previous conversation, the four of Da's knew that the person in front of them should be the god who rules Sky Island. Unexpectedly, he killed his subordinates as soon as he appeared on the stage, which was too cruel. Advertisement. Chapter 54 Galaxy Pirates vs Enel, please order first, please customize. Advertisement. His malice has overflowed. Fan Oka said lightly, he has observation hacky, and his perception ability is the strongest among the four. Under the perception of his observation hacky, Enel is full of tyranny, killing intent, and hostility. He is simply a monster. Invaders, if you surrender, I can make you my servants. After dealing with the useless minions, Enel started to deal with the galaxy pirates. It is your honor to be able to serve the great god. Enel took this sentence for granted, as if it was born to be like this. Hey, are you a fool? What are you doing? If you want to fight, just fight, don't talk nonsense. Jack snorted coldly. The voice fell, and at this moment, it seemed that the world was silent. Jack watched the thunder and lightning hit him, but he couldn't move his body. He wanted to escape, but his body couldn't move. Enel attacks faster than humans can think. Boom. A straight line of thunder hit Jack. Rice wife. This is just Enel's flat a trick, but Jack has been seriously injured. His whole body was scorched black, he breathed out black smoke, and there were electric lights beating all over his body. The clothes on his body were also burned, and the skin all over his body was roasted, exuding a smell of roasted meat. Puff. Jack fell headlong and was seriously injured by Enel's blow. Hi, Jack. Are you alright? Seeing Jack fell to the ground, Salin roared angrily. Advertisement. Lao Zi is not dead yet, why are you shouting so loudly? Jack on the ground spoke in a hoarse voice, his throat was also burned, and every word he spoke had to bear great pain. In this situation, he was still in the mood to joke with Salin, and it seemed that he had a big heart. Before he could react, he almost died just now. Tempest kick. After kicking out a flying slash, Salin teleported to Jack's side, and retreated behind Da's holding the seriously injured Jack. Oh, under the divine power of this god, he didn't die. Enel's chest was cut open by the tempest kick, but the wound healed at the speed of the naked eye. Enel was a little surprised, no one had ever been able to withstand a lightning strike from him before. 30 million volts thunderbird. Enel tapped the taiko drum on his right shoulder, and showed the thunder and lightning he created from the taiko drum. Thunder turned into a phoenix in the air, and headed towards S.A. Linfei with piercing cries. Don't think about it. Spiral slash. Da snorted angrily. Teleported to the front of Salin, turned his arms into several blades and spun them at a high speed, blocking the thunder and lightning phoenix flying. 
Saren and Jack are weaker than Daz, and they are not Enel's opponents without armament hacky. Every move of Enel could be a killer move for them, in this case, only Daz is in front. During the rotation of the blade, a lot of sparks were produced by the thunder and lightning. Fortunately, Daz's defense was high, and finally wiped out the thunderbird. Bang, 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 Van Oka fired three shots in a row, and immediately fled away after firing the shots, not checking to see if Enel was injured. Puff puff. Three large holes appeared on Enel's body, one on the skull and two on the chest. Then the lightning slowly condensed, and Enel was unharmed. Fan Aika's sniper skills are really accurate, and the three-star burst can hit Enel's head and heart accurately in an instant. Advertisement. However, Lokia ability users are so unreasonable. If you don't have armament hacky, no matter how powerful your attack is, it's useless. It's useless, under the power of God, everything you do is in vain. The power of this God is invincible. Enel yelled with his arms outstretched. What God's power, isn't it devil fruit? Daz said with a cold snort. Oh, you have supernatural powers too, don't you? But you are just the inferior divine power of Paramecia, and you can't compare with this God's Logia at all. Seeing the blades all over Daz's body, Enel also understood that Daz is a demon fruit power just like himself. Don't think that getting Logia is enough to be arrogant, in the grand line, the fastest dying ability users are all Logia. Foaming Daisy Chop. Daz turned his palms and fingers into blades, put his hands between his wrists, and lunged at Enel. Shave. Daz disappeared without a trace, leaving only a cloud of dust in place. Heart web. Enel closed his eyes, observation hacky covered the entire forest. Although Daz's shaving speed is fast, it is not as fast as electricity. 60 million volts brontosaurus. Roar. With a flash of thunder, a huge thunder dragon roared out and hit a place in the air. However, at the moment of the hit, Daz suddenly appeared, as if he had hit the brontosaurus himself. Zero, asking for flowers. If it is seen by modern netizens, they will complain, it's a good gift for a thousand miles, a strong man is good at martial arts. Boom. After the brontosaurus hit Daz, a violent explosion occurred, the forest trees were destroyed, and the rocks were shattered. Advertisement. Enel's observation hacky is too strong, no matter how Daz runs, he can't be tracked by observation hacky. Coupled with the speed of lightning, Enel can catch up to anyone. A big pothole was blown out on the ground, and Daz was half kneeling at the bottom of the pit. It seemed that there was an invisible force surrounding him. This was Armament Hacky. Under such a violent explosion, Daz was only slightly injured, because of Armament Hacky's defense. Ahem, ahem, as expected of a Logia like the captain. Daz stared blankly at Enel on his head, and coughed out a mouthful of blood. Tempest Kick Tornado. Salim teleported into the air with the razor, rotated his body, and flew towards Enel with dozens of hundreds of slashes. This is Salim's strongest move. With so many Tempest Kick slashes in an instant, his physical strength was exhausted all at once. 30 million volts ultralisk. Enel tapped the Tycho Drum on his left shoulder with a golden stick, and a thunderstorm was drawn from the Tycho Drum. Then Thunderbolt formed a wolf beast, Thunderwolf ran into Tempest Kick at a high speed and slashed. Boom, the thunder and lightning exploded in the air, and all of Saren's attacks were annihilated by this move. However, there was a small sword energy across Enel's cheek, actually cutting Enel's skin. The little bug can actually hurt me. Enel touched his cheek, although there was no bleeding, it is an indisputable fact that he was injured. Damn it, it's too strong. Fan Oka rescued Daz while Saren held Enel, and now he is with Jack. They all looked gravely at Enel on the tree. Looking at Enel's relaxed and freehand look, it is clear that he has not exerted his true strength at all. Now just playing with them casually almost wiped them all out. P.S. Please order first. Please order yourself. Please order all. The author puts it on the shelf on the first day, with a minimum guarantee of six updates, and one update will be added for every 100 subscriptions. I beg readers, please don't be merciful, and squeeze the author dry if you have the ability. As long as the grades are good, the author will work hard without eating or sleeping. Advertisement. Chapter 55 Iron Fist Not So Common. Advertisement. Sure enough, we are still too weak. The captain is right, the grand line is brutal. The four members of the galaxy pirates finally understand how weak they are. Hey, sinners, now God gives you one last chance to become servants of God, and I allow you to become new priests. Being injured by Saren severely hit Enel's self-esteem, and he no longer wanted to play anymore. The losers lost their value in Enel's eyes, so the previous four priests were removed. And if the four of Daza can defeat the previous four priests, they are naturally qualified to serve as new priests. Bastard, kill if you want, don't talk nonsense. Although he couldn't hit it, Salim's mouth cannon was terrifying, once fired it was comparable to a rocket launcher. Is this the gold the captain gave us? It really is desperately strong. Chris said let them challenge the god of Sky Island 077, and now they have defeated the concubine. The four members of the Galaxy Pirates finally saw what is called a Logia ability user. Physical attacks don't work, although Van Oka can capture Enel, but he can't armament Haki, and it's useless to hit him with a sniper rifle. He can only hinder Enel's offensive rhythm on the perimeter. Although Daz knows armament Haki, his attack speed is too slow. Although Marine 6 style shave is fast, it is still far behind Thunderbolt's speed. Although Salin awakened armament Haki at the last moment, with all his strength, he only hurt Enel's fur without shedding a single drop of blood. It was even worse for Jack, who was seriously injured before the battle even started. This is what happened to his big body and slow speed in front of Enel. Through this battle, the four members of the Galaxy Pirates understood their weaknesses, but they didn't have time to make up for them. Because Enel's ultimate move has come. Enel, who was rejected, was obviously even more angry. The majesty of God was provoked again and again, and he could no longer tolerate it. Advertisement. God's punishment. A thick giant thunderbolt fell from the sky, and the target was the four members of the Galaxy Pirates gathered together. This thunder pillar is much bigger than the few thunder pillars that Enel used to deal with the priest. Once it hits, the Galaxy Pirates will be wiped out here. Hey, hey, it seems that we are going to die together today. It's a pity that my name, Salim Slam, has not spread all over the world. Everything is fate, what kind of future will this choice create? All members of the Galaxy Pirates have closed their eyes and are waiting to die, just at the critical moment. A full moon-shaped slash flew from outside the sky, the slash seemed to pass through space, and hit the thunder pillar falling from the sky head-on. Boom. The thunder pillar was divided into two from the middle, and the separated thunder pillar fell into the surrounding forest, causing a super big explosion the moment it landed. Two huge potholes were blown out of the forest. 
from the sky, two black holes were dug out of a piece of green. One knife flow, full moon cut. Dawes and others looked, only to see that Chris was slowly returning Zanjitsu to its sheath. Captain. The members of the Galaxy Pirates looked excited and almost cried. They thought they were going to die, but Chris showed up in time to save them. In fact, Chris has already arrived, and has been observing them with observation hacky thousands of meters away. The purpose of this trial is to let a few of them break through their limits. If Chris shows up, they have nothing to worry about, and the trial has no effect. Advertisement. I said before that even if they died, they would not make a move, of course, but when the Galaxy Pirates were really facing annihilation, Chris finally made a move. Now it seems that the trial is working well. Daz's armament hacky has been fully awakened, and it can be used freely after a period of training. Saline also successfully awakened armament hacky, and the scene where he hurt Enel naturally couldn't escape Chris's eyes, which made him very relieved. Fan Oka is a sniper, and it is too difficult to fight Enel, so it can't achieve the effect of the trial. Chris didn't expect him to awaken armament hacky, but after this battle, Van Oka's observation hacky has become more proficient. Being able to accurately predict Enel's position and hit it accurately is enough to prove that Van Oka's observation hacky has become stronger again. The key point is that Jack, a bastard with a brain full of muscles, was instantly killed by Enel because of a provocation, and died before the battle started, and he didn't learn anything at all. If you really want to say, it can only be said that he is more proficient in using Marine 6 styles, but compared with the progress of others, he is a bit far behind. Now you know the gap, start practicing hard for me from tomorrow, as long as you don't die, practice to death. Chris snorted coldly, showing no kindness to them. Hey, bastard, are you their boss? Facing God, aren't you a little too arrogant? Even in the face of Chris, Enel still looks like the boss and my second child. God, idiot, a frog who doesn't know how big the world is, just sits in a well and looks at the sky, does it just make you look like this when you get the power of Logia? If you have a brain disease, take brain residue pills, don't stop taking the medicine. Chris sneered twice. This guy even regards himself as a god, isn't he just one? Who doesn't? Asshole, let me know the power of God right now. 100 million volts, discharge. A bolt of lightning rushed out from Enel's palm, with a voltage of 100 million volts, and there was no doubt that it could scorch a person's body. Advertisement. Are you a little too arrogant? Chris' voice rang in Enel's ear. Enel was taken aback for a moment. It turned out that Chris in front of him had disappeared at some point. Not so common iron fist. I saw Chris's fist was black, and he punched Enel in the face. Armament Hacky's power erupted, Enel was sent flying hundreds of meters, and his face was distorted by Chris. You, you can actually hit me. Enel was stunned. Getting up in a daze, Enel looked at Chris with a hellish expression. Ever since he got divine power, he has never felt pain again. Hey, you're so surprised, isn't it Armament Hacky? Haven't you seen it? Oh, I forgot, you really haven't seen it in 3.4. How can a frog sitting in a well and watching the sky know the power over God? Chris's Jung ER disease also started to attack, if Enel is God, then he is God's father. Above God, don't be kidding, idiot, how could there be such a thing? 200 million volts brontosaurus. Enel growled ferociously. A super thick thunder and lightning dragon jumped out of the thunder drum behind it, roaring fiercely and biting at Chris. P.S. Please order first. Please order yourself. Please order all. The author puts it on the shelf on the first day, with a minimum guarantee of 6 updates, and one update will be added for every 100 subscriptions. I beg readers, please don't be merciful, and squeeze the author dry if you have the ability. As long as the grades are good, the author will work hard without eating or sleeping. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Beat Enel. Advertisement. Such little tricks don't work for me. One sword style, purgatory slash. Chris Sejetsu unsheathed and cut the Brontosaurus into the sky with one blow. The light of the knife forms a river, and it will last for a long time. With the swordsmanship of the great swordsman and advanced armament hacky, Chris's strength is many times stronger than the current Enel, and it is too easy to defeat him. Impossible, no one can dense the majesty of God. 200 million volts Thor. Enel finally used his strongest move. He released a powerful thunderbolt of 200 million volts to envelop his whole body, thereby transforming into a huge Thor posture. In the sky, the huge Thor Enel stands suspended in the air, surrounded by lightning snakes and thunder snakes dancing wildly, like a scene of doomsday natural disasters. Sinner, in the power of God, let's drink wine. Ray welcome. Enel made a giant black ball out of lightning, which was as big as an island. It was pitch black inside, filled with the purest lightning. Hey, hey, are you kidding me? Several members of the galaxy pirates have stared dumbfounded. Is this the power of Logia? A disagreement will destroy the world? Then, zero four. 4 what is that? Is the end coming? Who offended God's majesty, is this a punishment from God? At this moment, all the residents on Sky Island are looking up at the sky, looking at the giant ball of lightning in the sky. Everyone knows that if it explodes, the entire Sky Island will be destroyed. Alail, this is a big game. Chris scratched his head and looked at Lei Ying, a little helpless. Advertisement. Enel's mind is really too fragile, and he became angry after being provoked by a few words from Chris, and actually used this devastating big move. Sky Island is my base camp, I can't just be ruined by you. Chris flew up in an instant, and used the moon to change direction several times in a row in the air. One knife flow, the black dragon breaks. Tons of quicksilver was cut out by Chris, and it was also fused with the sword energy of a great swordsman. Wherever the silver dragon passed, even the air was cut to pieces, and a burst of aura soaring to the sky suddenly exploded. Carrying the highest level armament hacky, the quicksilver dragon turned into black the moment it left the body, and rushed into Lei Ying. Roar. There was a dragon chant in Lei Ying, and then a violent explosion occurred. The surface of the black sphere began to crack, releasing dazzling white light. Finally it exploded with a bang. All the clouds in the sky disappeared at this moment, and there was not a single cloud to be seen within 10,000 miles of Fang Yuan. A powerful shock wave hit the ground, and the residents on the island were crushed to the ground and couldn't get up. No, it's impossible. Seeing that the big move he was so proud of was broken, Enel finally showed a trace of panic on his face. Have you lost your mind again? Chris's nightmarish voice reappeared in his ears. Enel looked back, only to see a flash of a knife. Then he felt severe pain in his chest, and he saw a massive blood gushing out. Asshole. 
Enel gritted his teeth, and his body returned to its original shape and fell from the air. Boom, a large crater was smashed into the ground, but Enel was still unconscious. He can use electric energy to give his heart an electric shock massage, even if the heart stops, he can stimulate it to continue beating. Advertisement. Now it's just a serious injury. Electrotherapy is used to stimulate cell regeneration. After the emergency treatment, he still has the strength to fight. How about it, are you still fighting? Chris fell slowly, stood in the air with Moonwalk, and looked down at Enel on the ground. What kind of power are you using? Not only can it attack my entity, but it can also split electricity. I've never seen such power. Enel was out of breath and couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood. On the Grand Line, there is a power called Haki. Observation Haki can strongly sense people's breath, so as to predict the enemy's next attack. In Sky Island, Observation Haki is called Heartnet. Do you have this power too? Hearing Chris question, Enel nodded silently. He does, and combined with the power of Thunder Fruit, he can even cover the entire Sky Island with a mind web. But you don't have the other one, and that's Armament Haki. Chris made a fist with his right hand, and the fist was instantly covered with a layer of black material, boom, a punch to Enel's stomach. Enel's eyes bulged, and he was thrown hundreds of meters into the air, smashing several big trees in succession before stopping. Enel staggered to his feet and retched while clutching his stomach. He felt that the punch was about to knock out all his internal organs. This is the power of armament Haki. It can enhance people's attack power and defense power, and its most powerful part is the entity that can capture Logia-capable people. Seeing Chris continue to explain, Enel felt that MMP didn't know whether to speak or not. Just say it. Why did you hit me? Now you know, you just got a Logia Devil Fruit by chance, it's no big deal, there are many people who can defeat you. Are there many people like you in Qinghai? Enel did not expect that he is not a god, but there are people stronger than himself. Of course there are many, and they are countless, there is nothing unusual about a Logia-capable user like you. In Qinghai, the confrontation between the strong is largely to compare the strength of Haki on both sides. Advertisement. How about it? Do you want to get on my boat and see the world outside Sky Island? Chris took the opportunity to recruit Enel, and only by breaking his arrogance can Enel be allowed on board, otherwise how could this self-righteous guy be inferior to others? Bastard, you actually want to be your subordinate? I. After hearing what Chris said, Enel was furious instantly. Then before he could finish his sentence, Chris shot again and kicked him on the nose. 177. Boom, Enel's old injury has not healed and he added a new injury. Chris kicked his brains out this time, Enel is very hurt in his heart, if you have anything to say, please speak slowly, we can discuss it. No need to move your hands, you invite me to board the boat, if I agree once, I don't want to lose face. How many times do you invite me again after I decline? You have to refuse several times and then you don't give up. Only in this way will it appear that you are very sincere, and I will not lose face. How can there be Chris like this, who will start his hands when he refuses, it's too bullying. Hey, if you don't promise, I might beat you to death today. Look at how you beat these brothers. If you don't take revenge for them, wouldn't it be unreasonable? Seeing Chris talking, Enel was going crazy with depression. Although I really wanted to agree in my heart, but I said it. Don't be kidding, idiot, I am a god, how can I submit to you? As soon as the words came out of his mouth, he regretted a little. P.S. Please order first? Please order yourself? Please order all. The author puts it on the shelf on the first day, with a minimum guarantee of six updates, and one update will be added for every 100 subscriptions. I beg readers, please don't be merciful, and squeeze the author dry if you have the ability. As long as the grades are good, the author will work hard without eating or sleeping. Advertisement. Chapter 57 Conquering Enel, the sixth partner, seeking first order, full order. Advertisement. Stop joking, idiot, I am a god, how could I submit to you? As soon as the words came out of his mouth, Enel felt a little regretful. It's over, it's over, I won't be beaten to death, will I? Enel knew very well in his heart that he was definitely not Chris' opponent. Okay, you have backbone, from this point of view, you are worthy of being a god. Chris looked admiring, Enel really is a real man, it seems that it is impossible not to convince him. Then for a while, Chris showed Enel what cruelty is. Trial Forest. Enel's screams resounded throughout the day, seeing Enel being kicked around by Chris as if it were a ball, even Dazit and the others couldn't stand it anymore. Boom. Chris kicked Enel away, and Enel's body smashed into the mountain wall, embedded in it and unable to get out. After being ravaged by Chris all day, Enel was covered in bruises and blood. His face was beaten into a big bun by Chris, and even his mother couldn't recognize him when he came. Hey, my lord, can you still hold on? How about we take a break at halftime and then continue? Chris landed in front of Enel, unscathed. With Chris Admiral's level of combat power, it is not easy to crush Enel. And Chris, who has been strengthened many times by the system, has unbelievably good physical strength. He can fight for days and nights at full strength, let alone abuse a half-bad guy. Advertisement. Chris still has a lot of physical strength left, and it will be completely gone after a few more days. Ahem, cough, okay, I promise, I will go to Qinghai with you. Enel spat out a few mouthfuls of blood and said weakly, if he persisted, he would really die. After fighting all day, he could see that Chris didn't want his life. And I have held on for a day, and now I am subdued, it shouldn't be considered a shame. You said it earlier, you won't have to suffer such a big crime. Look at what you look like now, how miserable you are. Hearing that Enel finally agreed to board the boat, Chris breathed a sigh of relief, he was really afraid that this guy would rather die than succumb if he came up recklessly. If we really kill him, where can we find a second Thunder Fruit capable user? I'm embarrassed, didn't I get beaten by you when I was embarrassed? One day this god will take revenge. Seeing Chris's look of needing a beating, Enel wanted to rush up and beat him up immediately. However, he didn't dare, and he didn't want to be beaten again. The battle in the trial forest finally came to an end. Although the battle was astonishing, no one in Sky Island knew the details. Seeing the aftermath of the battle between Chris and Enel, no one in the entire Sky Island dared to approach the battlefield. From the beginning to the end, no one knew that their god had been defeated. Hey, Enel, am I the new god of Sky Island now? Looking at Enel who was undergoing electrotherapy, Chris asked curiously. On Sky Island, the strength is respected, as long as you defeat the previous god, you can become a new god? That's right, that's right. Enel gritted his teeth, not only became his subordinate, but also took away the position of god. Okay, don't be discouraged, as long as you practice and become stronger, you will be able to surpass me one day, then you can take revenge. Advertisement. 
Chris chuckled. What he said was nice, but he had another meaning in his heart. If you want revenge, do it in your next life. Sky Island, the Palace of the Gods? The members of the Galaxy Pirates and Enel are recovering from their injuries. The medical condition of Sky Island is obviously not as good as that of Qinghai. It will take at least two weeks for them to recover? Enel, you haven't completely conquered everyone in Sky Island, have you? Chris suddenly thought of the Sandians in Cloud Shinobi Village. When Luffy landed on Sky Island, they took the opportunity to attack and teamed up with the Straw Hat Pirates to defeat Enel. Among them is a little girl who was born with Observation Haki, and her aptitude is very good. If it wasn't for her being too young, Chris would have wanted to take her out to sea. As long as he trains well, he will at least be a Vice Admiral level master in the future. Oomph, a group of untouchables, they only dare to hide in the corner and just survive, there is no need for me to deal with them. In front of Enel, those Shandions are indeed just ants, and there is nothing wrong with Enel ignoring them. Chris spent two weeks at Sky Island. During this time, the people of Sky Island felt as if they were living in a dream. First, Enel, the god of Sky Island, announced his abdication, and the new god was succeeded by Chris. There were a few objections from the Sky Islanders at first, but after some kind and friendly education from Chris, they were all honest. Chris also went to Cloud Shinobi Village to subdue the Shandia who were hiding there. These guys are strong enough to defend Sky Island after Chris leaves. Chris also laid down a new law to dissolve the 400-year hatred between the Sky Island people and the Sandia people. Sometimes hatred cannot be resolved because of nothing else, just because you are not strong enough. Under the powerful force of Chris, the people of Sandia and Sky Island can only follow orders. Chris combined the Priest Guard and the Sandian Warrior to form a new Sky Island Guard, which is responsible for guarding Sky Island. Advertisement. Chris also planted his own pirate flag on Sky Island. With this flag, if any pirates rush to Sky Island in the future, they will know that this is the territory of the Galaxy Pirates. Sky Island Grand Plaza. A huge golden clock is placed at the top. After Chris took over the Dominion of Sky Island, he sent someone to move the golden bell up. Put it at the highest point of this square, so that everyone can see it at a glance. Is this the golden bell that washed up on Sky Island 400 years ago? It's simply spectacular. The members of the Galaxy Pirates also look dull after seeing the golden clock. Not to mention that it is made of gold, it is of great value. And the craftsmanship is amazing, it's really amazing. My god Sky Island actually hides such a treasure, and my god didn't find it before. Enel also stared at the golden clock dumbfounded. He, Li Ha Hao, likes this shiny metal very much, and thinks that only gods are qualified to use it. I didn't expect that after I took away the gold, there was still such a treasure that I didn't find. Hearing that Enel called himself a god, Chris didn't care, this guy will never change. Patriarch, it's up to you to ring it. Sandora has extinguished the lights for 400 years, and today it is relit by its descendants. Chris said to the Sandia Patriarch next to him. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chris. Chris doesn't like people calling him god, it seems too Zhong Yar, so they all call him Chris District. P.S. Please order first? Please order yourself? Please order all. The author puts it on the shelf on the first day, with a minimum guarantee of 6 updates, and one update will be added for every 100 subscriptions. I beg readers, please don't be merciful, and squeeze the author dry if you have the ability. As long as the grades are good, the author will work hard to code without eating or sleeping. Advertisement. Chapter 58, Encountering the Golden Lion, Part 6, Please Order First. Advertisement. The old patriarch had tears in his eyes, and his whole body was shaking because he was so excited. Lord Carl Gala, do you hear that? The golden bell is ringing again. As the patriarch rings the golden bell, clang 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 clang. The sound of the golden bell resounds throughout the world, and this beautiful bell can be heard from any corner of Sky Island. Even when Chris heard the bell, his mind seemed to be baptized. Kulik, did you hear that? It was the gift Chris had promised Kulik, and he delivered. The bells not only echoed in Sky Island, the sound even spread to Qinghai 10,000 meters below. Those who integrated Guy Island heard the bells coming down from the sky. Master Roland, you can rest in peace. The sound of the golden bell is indeed incomparably beautiful. Once you hear it once, you will never forget it in your life. Kulik stood on the shore and looked up at the sky, where the bell came from. Chris did not let him down, he really found the golden bell, which also proved that Sky Island is real, in a tavern on Guy Island. Bellamy was there to drink away her sorrows. Humph, what Sky Island, what dreams, only Hehua would believe in these. Suddenly a bell rang into his ears, and he trembled all over, as if he woke up for a moment. This is, Huang 343 Admiralty's legendary, he is very clear, he used to use these to laugh at those who are looking for Sky Island. Advertisement. But the moment he heard the bell, he seemed to understand. It turned out that it was not others who were stupid, but himself. A few days later, Heaven's Gate. Weibo, after we leave Sky Island, the task of guarding Sky Island will be entrusted to you. Chris has already regarded Sky Island as his base camp, so it is natural to leave guards after leaving. And War Ghost Weber is the best candidate he has chosen. Weber is the guerrilla captain of the Mountainians, and he was chosen as the captain of the Sky Island Guard after Chris established it. In the original book, Weber can still stand up after suffering the impact of two platoon shells and two gods' judgments, and his strength is very strong. A big octopus jumped out of the White Sea, wrapping the Shining Galaxy. Jumping down, fortunately there was an octopus balloon to slow down, otherwise falling into Qinghai like this would definitely end in a shipwreck. Hey, Captain, if Qinghai doesn't have as many strong men as you said, I will abandon the ship. Looking at the Boundless Sea, Enel is excited and excited, his biggest goal now is to become stronger, and then beat Chris up for revenge. Enel longs for as many strong men as possible in front of him. Only in this way can he continue to become stronger in battle. Don't worry, you won't be disappointed. Also, I gave you Armament Haki's practice method, how have you learned it? Chris handed over Armament Haki's practice method to Enel early on. With this guy's talent, he must be the fastest growing member of the Galaxy Pirates. It's kind of weird, but I seem to have found the knack. Enel stretched out the golden scepter, and there was an invisible wave winding around it. Chris knew right away that it was Armament Haki. Yes, your talent is very good, it is a waste to stay on Sky Island. Chris nodded, Enel's talent is really extraordinary. Advertisement. I have already awakened my armed color in just two weeks, no wonder I can cultivate observation Haki to this level. Hey, Captain, what's that? Daz, who was standing on the watchtower, screamed suddenly. He had never seen Ice Cube face lose his composure like this. Chris frowned and turned quickly. 
I could only see a large island floating in the sky more than 10 kilometers ahead. The Yinhe is now flying in the air with an octopus balloon, and the view is very good. Such a large island suspended in the sky is definitely a breathtaking sight. Hey, hey, no way, why did he appear here? There is only one person on the Grand Line who can do this kind of thing, and that is the flying pirate Golden Lion, one of the three great pirates who are as famous as Whitebeard and Roger. Only the power of lion fruit can create such a large floating sky island. Just watching from a distance, Chris can feel the mighty power of the Golden Lion. Yeah, no wonder he cornered Roger so many times and smashed half of Naval Headquarters single-handed. Hey, Captain, are we seeing Ghost Island? Salim's face was dull, and cold sweat flowed out. This scene simply refreshed his three views. The others were also shocked by the scene, unable to recover for a long time. Don't be dumbfounded, you idiots. Quickly set sail and change course. Now is not the time to confront this person. Chris doesn't want to face the old lion yet, although after four years, he is defeated by Luffy's protagonist Halo. But Chris is not Luffy, he has no protagonist Halo. Now is not four years later, Golden Lion's strength has not regressed so much. Chris is not sure about defeating the current Golden Lion, so if he can avoid provoking him, he will not provoke him. It is the best policy to leave quickly before he is discovered. Some people say that Chris is cowardly, isn't he the Golden Lion? Are you afraid? Advertisement. Chris wants to explain here, this is not cowardice, it is stability. Captain, do you know who that is? It was the first time that the members of Galaxy Pirates saw Chris panic like this. Hey, Chris, do you know what it is? I didn't expect there to be such a thing on the territory of the god. Enel is also an eye-opener. In his eyes, these hanging sky islands are also sky islands. And he is the god of sky island, so he didn't know that besides his own kingdom, there are other sky islands. As far as I know, there is only one person in the entire Grand Line who can do this. Chris paused for a moment, scanned everyone present with his eyes, and then said, that is the flying pirate who was as famous as Roger back then, Golden Lion. Although he is an old lion now, his claws and tusks are still sharp. The air suddenly became quiet, and even a needle falling on the ground could be clearly heard. Hey, hey, Golden Lion, isn't it the Golden Lion? Celine, Jack, and even Dawes broke out in a cold sweat in an instant, and their whole body was soaked in sweat. Fan Oka, this is fate, this moment is the choice of fate. Hello, what Golden Lion? Do you all know each other? Why are you so scared? Who is that guy? Enel, who was only from Sky Island and had no news, was stunned. Who is the Golden Lion? It actually scared these guys so much, even when they met the god, they were not so scared. Dawes and the others had fought to the death with Enel before, even in the face of desperation and about to die, they didn't show a trace of fear, which shows that they are not afraid of death. But now, just hearing a name, he was trembling all over, and broke out in a cold sweat. It's not that they are timid, but that they are afraid in the instinctive sense of the body, and they cannot be controlled by their will. Enel was very curious, what kind of ability does this golden lion have? He can actually make these tough guys in the galaxy pirates feel fear when they hear his name. Advertisement. Chapter 59 Break into the Golden Lion's Lair, Conqueror's Conflict. Chapter 7, Please Order First. Advertisement. Golden Lion is a legendary. In the old days, he was a big pirate with the same reputation as the One Piece King Roger. He is also the only great pirate who has conquered the skies, alone against the naval headquarters. He is also the only big pirate who has driven Roger, the King of Pirates, into a desperate situation several times. There are too many legendary stories about Golden Lion, and the people present are discussing a lot, even if we talk about it for three days and three nights, we can't finish it. He can match Roger and even push him to the brink. After listening to everyone's explanations, Enel finally had a preliminary understanding of the Golden Lion. He has also read the historical text left by Roger on the Golden Bell, and after Chris' explanation, he knows what Roger represents. The only one piece since world government was established 800 years ago, the man who got everything in the world. Chris once said that there are countless strong people on the Grand Line, and there are a lot of people stronger than him, but no matter how strong these people are, how famous are they now? How many forces have they ruled? In front of One Piece Roger, they are all losers. Enel can't even beat Chris now, he can imagine the gap between himself and Roger. I didn't expect to meet someone as famous as Roger now. It's so cool, isn't it? Enel felt that the blood in his whole body was boiling, and it was right to go out to sea with Chris. I just left the house, I didn't even see the sea, and I encountered such a legendary level figure in midair. Isn't it exciting? Hey, Chris, why don't you take a look? Isn't it embarrassing to run away without even seeing each other? Enel is eager to try, he wants to go to Hanging Sky Island to see what a legendary level big pirate looks like. Didn't you say he's old? He's an old lion now, so he probably doesn't have the combat power of his peak, right? It's been 16 years since Roger became One Piece, and now the Golden Lion is getting old. The hero is late, how much strength does he have left? Advertisement. Enel didn't want to miss this opportunity, this is the legendary big pirate, some people never see it once in a lifetime. After listening to Enel's words, Chris also felt a little moved. Yes, the Golden Lion is not so easy to see. Since he escaped from prison, he has disappeared in the sea for more than 10 years. In the original book, he will appear in East Blue four years later, trying to destroy the entire East Blue to let the world know his horror. If this opportunity is missed, it will be difficult for Chris to find the Golden Lion, and it may be impossible to meet again in this life. Fleeing before fighting. That's not my style. What is stable? Isn't it cowardly? What excuse are you looking for? I have already met and dare not go up. What courage will I have to face the four emperors in the future? A gleam flashed in Chris's eyes, staring at the floating sky island more than 10 kilometers away. At this moment, he doesn't want to fight anymore, and he doesn't want to be stable anymore, he wants to do it. Does you guys control the landing of the Yinhe, just watch the battle here, don't get close. If anything happens, you go to the water capital first, and Enel and I will meet you there. After setting up the galaxy pirates, Chris turned to look at Enel. Thor, let's pay a visit to the old lion. It's rare to meet an old senior. Isn't it rude to leave without saying hello? Chris took the lead and flew towards the floating sky island on Moonwalk. 
Yeah ha ha ha, that's it Chris, how can a man run away without a fight? Looking at Chris's back, Thor also turned into a bolt of lightning and chased after Chris. Dozens of islands stand in the air, densely covered with forests and crisscrossed by rivers, no different from islands in the sea. From this point of view, the golden lion should directly use the power of the lion fruit to send the island into the sky. When Chris was watching anime, he had a question. It stands to reason that when the ability user falls asleep, the power of devil fruit will disappear. Advertisement. For example, the sugar under Doflamingo, she just hasn't slept for many years, so those toys didn't turn back into humans. Will the power of lion fruit disappear after golden lion falls asleep? So these floating sky islands will all fall down? Could it be that Golden Lion hasn't slept for more than 10 years? An island in the center of the floating archipelago, in an ancient palace. Looks like two little bugs have slipped in. Golden Lion is sitting directly above the palace, biting a cigar in his mouth. Although the lion is old, its majesty still exists. Just sitting there, an invisible hacky is revealed. In his observation hacky perception two outsiders have invaded his territory. Hey, there are two little bugs coming in, go and deal with them. After Golden Lion finished speaking, a man next to him walked out. This is the captain of a pirate group under his command. Although Golden Lion has disappeared for many years, there are countless pirate groups attached to him. It had been many years since no one had broken into his territory, and even Marine couldn't find his trace at the altitude of several thousand meters. Zero, asking for flowers. Unexpectedly, someone could find it here, and he became a little interested in these two little bugs. Not for a while. A great battle broke out outside, with explosions and screams one after another. There were also lightning and thunder mixed in, but it lasted only a few minutes, and all the sounds disappeared. Boom, a person smashed into the palace like a cannonball, and the gate of the palace was smashed to pieces. The figure smashed into the ground and dragged for a certain distance, plowing the ground into a long trajectory. Advertisement. Who? Go out and have a look. After the people in the hall saw what happened, they all got up and rushed out of the hall, but just as they reached the door, a dazzling thunder light exploded on their bodies. Boom, zero zero. The thunder and lightning exploded, and these people were the first to bear the brunt. They were killed before they even saw the enemy? The thunder and lightning explosion also caused the entire palace to crumble, the pillars were broken, the walls were cracked, and the rest of the people were in chaos, all talking about fleeing for their lives by any means. Idiots, calm down. Golden Lion was furious and let out an angry roar. At the same time, a breathtaking aura enveloped the entire palace, and everyone was shocked by this aura. The weak guy lost consciousness in an instant and fell to his knees. Those who could barely maintain consciousness had their legs weak, and they couldn't even control their own bodies. Conqueror's Hacky? This is Golden Lion's Conqueror's Hacky in gold? Once used it is groundbreaking. Even the clouds in the sky seemed to be intimidated, the clouds surged, and the sky and the earth turned pale. The Conqueror's Hacky formed a giant lion and burst through the gates towards Chris and Enel. Under this momentum, Enel felt like a small boat in a storm, ready to capsize and lose his life at any moment. Is this the Golden Lion? It really is an out-and-out -out monster. Enel was bent over by this momentum, it was the first time he felt what a big pirate is, and it made him terrified even before he saw it. Boom! Chris also released an overwhelming aura, which formed a silver dragon and collided head-on with the aura of the Golden Lion. This is Chris's Conqueror's Hacky, it's the first time Chris has used it since awakening this power. P.S. Please order first. Please order yourself. Please order all. It's on the shelves today, and this is the seventh update. Advertisement. Chapter 60 Fighting the Golden Lion. First order, full order. Advertisement. The collision point of the two auras seemed to shatter the space to form a space crack. The silver dragon and the golden lion roared and bit each other, and finally disappeared. If you look up at the sky at this time, you will find a huge crack in the middle of the clouds, which seems to split the sky in half. Enel raised his head and glanced at Chris beside him, and saw that his face was ferocious, his pupils were murderous, and the escaping conqueror's hacky frightened him. It turns out that this is his true strength. Enel understands that Chris didn't use his full strength in the battle with him before, and now he is fully fighting. Fortunately, Chris's conqueror's hacky fought against the golden lion and helped Enel share the pressure, otherwise Enel would have been intimidated by this momentum for too long, and Enel might not even have the courage to fight against the golden lion. The aura of Chris and golden lion dissipated, the island was in a mess, and half of the entire palace collapsed. 973. And the ground was also full of pirates with their eyes turned white. There were hundreds of them, all of whom couldn't bear the hacky conflict between Chris and golden lion and were stunned. Clang 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 clang. The sound of swords rubbing against each other sounded in the quiet environment, and a man stepped out of the dust and walked into Chris' eyes. The man was wearing a golden coat, his hair and beard were all gold, and he was still biting a cigar in his mouth. He was defiant, as if the world was crawling under his feet. The most important thing is that this man has no legs, and his two feet are replaced by two swords, so the sound of his footsteps is the same as that of swords. He still had a rudder stuck in his head, and he was still alive after receiving such serious injuries. He is simply an inhuman monster. Gee ha 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 ha, are you two little bugs here to seek death? Or, do you want to take my head off? Golden Lion looked at Chris and Enel in front of him and grinned. Advertisement. Neither, I just happened to meet a senior pirate in Legendary, so it would be a little rude not to pay a visit. Chris also smiled lightly, facing the Golden Lion without showing any timidity, and rivaled the Golden Lion in terms of momentum. Gee ha 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 ha, kid, you are very good, you have awakened conquerors. Who taught you your hacky? Golden Lion could tell that the two people in front of them were led by Chris. And Conqueror's Hacky, who was evenly matched with him before, was also released by Chris. Awakened Conqueror's Hacky at such a young age, it seems that armed color and observation hacky are not weak. Little Ghost, who is your master? Maybe Lao Zi still knows him. Which bastard in the sea can cultivate such an excellent young man? Golden Lion wants to know. I don't have a master, I just happened to meet Senior Golden Lion today, and I came here to ask for advice. Chris slowly drew out the big sharp knife Sanjutsu from his waist, fighting with high spirits. Gee ha 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 ha, brat, you have guts, but you have found the wrong person, who do you think you are facing? 
Slash wave. Golden Lion kicked out a sword aura. The sword aura is very similar to Marine Six Styles Tempest Kick, but its power is much stronger than Tempest Kick, enough to cut the entire surface of the sea. Before Golden Lion broke his leg, he was an out and out swordsman, and his swordsmanship was comparable to the current Hawkeye. Although he uses his feet to perform sword skills now, his power is still at the level of a great swordsman. Chris slashed out with a knife, and the jet black armament Haki covered Zanjitsu completely, and the hardened defense power was comparable to Sea Stone. Clang. Although Chris blocked the slash wave, the powerful impact pushed him backwards. Advertisement. Chris stuck his feet into the ground and plowed a track of hundreds of meters before stopping, as expected of a great swordsman, he is terrifyingly strong even with his feet. Chris's face is solemn, he can't relax in the slightest when facing the golden lion, he must fight with all his strength, otherwise he may be killed if he reveals a flaw, golden lion was killed from a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood, and his combat experience is much better than Chris. One knife flow, full moon cut. Chris swung his knife to cut out a full moon, and hit exactly where the golden lion was. The burst of sword energy raised dust all over the sky, and the naked eye was useless for a while, and only observation hacky could capture the information. Fortunately, both Chris and Enel's observation hacky are at the advanced level, and they can see the battlefield situation clearly. I saw a huge lion head biting Chris's sword energy, and the fangs bit off the full moon with ten force. Lion, thousand slice valley. A sky-shattering sword energy pierces the dust, like a passing light, like falling hanabi. The sword chi carries the supreme killing sword intent, and everything in front of it will be completely annihilated. Galaxy barrier. Chris produced more than a dozen tons of mercury in an instant, all of which became solid and blocked in front of him, and the surface was covered with armed hacky hardening. Boom, the sword light came in the blink of an eye, and the mercury barrier was split open by a sword, splashing mercury fragments all over the sky. The sword energy was not wiped out until Chris was in front of him. Chris's more than ten tons of mercury was hundreds of meters thick, and even covered armament hacky, but it was split by the golden lion's sword. It was simply too terrifying. 200 million volts brontosaurus. Seeing that Chris was struggling, Enel finally made a move. A thunder dragon approached roaring. Advertisement. However, Golden Lion didn't change his face, and the sharp sword on his feet swept across, directly splitting Thunder Dragon in two. Slash wave. The Golden Lion's sword energy was endless, and after cutting off the Thunder Dragon, it was still attacking Enel. Enel, don't resist, the armament hacky on the sword is very strong, you can't stop it. Chris was afraid that Enel would use his body to resist the Golden Lion's attack, which would be courting death. Why do you say that in the Grand Line, those who die the fastest are those with Logia abilities? It is because they are arrogant and think that elementalization can resist all attacks, so they subconsciously do not dodge or evade when facing powerful attacks. As a result, I met a high-level armament hacky user, Logia's elementalization was useless, and ended up in a tragic end. With a flash of thunder, Enel narrowly avoided the slash wave. Enel broke out in a cold sweat. If Chris hadn't sounded a warning just now, he would have foolishly resisted with his body. The slash wave almost brushed his face, and the sword intent on it pierced his skin sorely. If 2.9 was really hacked just now, he would definitely be disemboweled, and half of his life might be lost. Don't be careless, Enel, the man in front of you is not a cat or a dog, he is a legendary figure. One of your flaws may lead to your death. With a serious face, Chris swung a slash to force Golden Lion back, pulling Enel back several hundred meters. Your current armament hacky is too weak, don't get too close to him, your Logia is nothing in front of him. Enel has not yet adapted to the battle of the Grand Line, if he is not careful when facing the Golden Lion, he will be seriously injured or even killed. Gee ha 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 ha, thunder and lightning kid, your captain is right. Hearing what Chris said, Golden Lion laughed out loud. With his seasoned experience, he can tell at a glance that Enel is a rare Logia ability user. Advertisement. Chapter 61 Natural Thunder Fruit. Advertisement. With his seasoned experience, he can tell at a glance that Enel is a rare Logia ability user. And it is the top thunder fruit. But judging from the fights, Enel's combat experience is too little, and Devil Fruit's power is used well, but other aspects are a mess. This kind of rookie dares to puff up in front of him, it is no different from courting death. It can't be Enel's fault either, he's never been anywhere but Sky Island, and there, the power of the Logia thunder fruit is enough to crush everything. Any thunderbolt can instantly kill the strongest on Sky Island. In terms of combat experience, he might not even be able to compare with Dawes. Little Thunder, don't think that you can be arrogant in the Grand Line after eating a piece of Devil Fruit. This world is much bigger than you think. Golden Lion has seen too many little ghosts like this, and thought that with the power of Logia, he could roam the sea, but few of them ended up well. Bastard, old lion, I don't need you to teach me a lesson. God's judgment. Hundreds of thunderbolts descended from the sky, carrying the power to destroy everything. Hmph, even if you have a small skill, you dare to make an axe. Lion 04 Zyway Earth Coiling. Tons and tons of earth and rock were pulled, and the entire ground was overturned by the golden lion, and finally turned into huge lion heads. The lion's head raised its head to the sky and screamed, and finally collided with the thunder and lightning. The huge explosion made this floating sky island start to shake. The dust cleared, and the whole island seemed to be dug out by the golden lion as a giant pit. The hundreds of tons of rock and soil were fully covered, easily blocking Enel's lightning. That's the power of the golden lion, changing terrain with a flick of his hand. Advertisement. It's just too scary. One shot, Asuka, a bird-shaped sword chi flew towards the golden lion. The sword energy looks small, but it is Chris who gathers the power of the sword energy together. Once it touches the target, the condensed sword energy will burst out in an instant. Little rascal, you are so smart, you dare not use such a small trick in the face of Laozi. Golden Lion's observation hacky felt it the moment the sword aura formed. Although Chris Flying Bird looks small and lacks that kind of earth-shattering power, its restrained power cannot be underestimated. Lion, Thousand Slice Valley. Golden Lion has had a broken leg for more than 10 years, and he is extremely skilled at controlling the sword with his feet. Two intersecting slashes flew by, and Chris Flying Bird collapsed at the touch of a touch, and was chopped into pieces in the air. The sword energy condensed by Asuka exploded in the air, setting off a wave of air. Gee ha ha ha, brat, you are too young. Golden Lion laughed out loud. It was impressive that these little devils dared to challenge him, but in the end it was still a bit short. Really? Senior Golden Lion, we are two against one, don't blame us for bullying the few. 
faced with the golden lion's jeer, Chris grinned, and took to the sky. Endless black clouds had already rolled up there, and lightning and thunder rumbled in the black clouds, like a scene of the end of the world. 200 million volts Thor. A huge charged breakage burst out of the black cloud, it was Enel who transformed into Thor form. During Chris's battle with Golden Lion, Enel condensed a large amount of lightning in the air, and even changed the climate in Fang Yuan for tens of miles. Advertisement. This is the horror of Logia Devil Fruit, as long as the level of development is high enough, it can even change the climate to help you fight. If the Logia Devil Fruit is awakened, it can even change the climate of a place permanently during battle. One lay, fall under the lightning. Golden Lion. Enel roared, and the endless thunders obeyed his orders. Chris teleported continuously in the air, leaving only after images, standing side by side with Enel in the blink of an eye. At the same time, countless thunder and lightning have poured down like a torrential rain. This is not rain, but thunderstorms. Each thunderbolt can easily kill a 50 million level pirate in seconds. Although Golden Lion's lion fruit can fly, there is nowhere to hide even if he flies into the sky. Dozens of miles of Fang Yuan are within Enel's attack range, and the entire floating archipelago of Golden Lion is completely covered by Enel's thunderstorm. Kids, don't be so arrogant, Lion Majesty, govern place earth coiling. This is Golden Lion's big move at the bottom of the box. The whole island began to shake, as if there had been a magnitude 18 earthquake. A huge cliff split in the center of the island, splitting the entire island in half. Followed by dense cracks like spider webs spread all over the entire island. With a bang, the island exploded, and countless rocks and mud turned into white-headed roaring angry lions. The lightning strike on Nushi's body, although his flesh and blood exploded, it healed again in the blink of an eye. Golden Lion has developed lion fruit to the point of awakening, and even used the entire island as his weapon. Although Enel's one lei can blast rocks and destroy forests, but if he wants to destroy an island, only Lei Ying can do it, but this move requires a lot of time to prepare. Golden Lion will not give him the opportunity to use his big move. The bombardment lasted for a full hour before it came to an end. Advertisement. The roar of battle can be heard even dozens of miles away. Guy Island below Sky Island is very lively today. Everyone is standing on the shore looking at the sky in the distance. There was a dark cloud covering it, and there was lightning and thunder. There are still large pieces of gravel falling from the dark clouds, as if the sky has cracked. Although they couldn't see the clouds clearly, it was the first time they had seen this abnormal weather. What happens when there is only thunder and no rain, but meteorites? And in the sky more than 10 miles away, the shining galaxy is being pulled by a big octopus. Looking at the black clouds in the distance, the members of the galaxy pirates could imagine how fierce the battle was. Captain, is he alright? It's like the end of the world after fighting so fiercely. That guy Enel is also terrifyingly strong. This thunder and lightning is his handwriting. This is the rhythm of blowing up the entire floating islands. Thunder God is crazy, who told him to challenge the Golden Lion, this is a big game. Celine and Jack muttered to themselves, their faces dull, it was the first time they had seen a battle of this level, it was amazing. Damn it, we are still too weak now, in a battle of this level, we are simply cannon fodder, and we are not even qualified to participate in the battle. Dawes, who was silent, suddenly spoke. He punched the railing and everyone's heart. That's right, they were too weak. Chris went to challenge the Golden Lion and only took Enel away, but they could only stay behind. Chris knew early on that they are not qualified to participate in this level of battle, they are cannon fodder in it, and any aftermath of the battle may kill them. Hey Thor, are you okay? One lay finally ended, and the island below had been blasted into debris. Rocks and soil fell one after another, like falling meteorites. Large island fragments fell into the sea and set off large waves. If any unlucky pirates pass by here at this time, their relatives can offer incense to them on this day next year. Advertisement. Chapter 62 The Golden Lion is defeated, and the Marine shakes, for subscription. Advertisement. Enel was sweating profusely, Thor form could not be maintained and had disappeared. Chris grabbed a staggering Enel with one hand, and he almost fell from the sky. The uninterrupted thunder and lightning bombing for an entire hour consumed a lot of his physical strength, and he was no longer able to fight anymore. It's not over yet, brats. Who do you think Laozi is? Laozi is the golden lion. The island below exploded with a bang, and the golden lion rushed out from inside. Hundreds of angry lions followed closely behind, and the golden lion stood on top of one angry lion. Golden lion is worthy of being a legendary level pirate, with such a retreat in strength, he still has such a strong combat power. After the battle, Chris could feel that golden lion's haki is not very strong, especially conqueror's haki, which can only be compared with himself. What is this concept? You know, Chris's conqueror's haki is just an intermediate realm. It seems that the rudder on the golden lion's head is affecting him too much. The rudder was inserted into the brain, seriously affecting his will, which caused haki to regress. The golden lion conqueror's haki at their peak should have been cultivated to the peak, at least all of them are in the advanced state. But now the golden lion was beaten so badly by Chris and Enel, Chris was not hurt at all, and Enel was only physically exhausted and not injured, enough to see the difference. Golden lion can only survive for so long relying on its awakened fruit ability and combat experience. No wonder golden lion will be defeated by Luffy after four years. According to this situation, golden lion may not even be able to use haki after four years. Coupled with the double crush of illness and the protagonist's aura, it is unreasonable to be undefeated up. Senior Golden Lion, you are really old. Galaxy? The Silver Dragon roars. The Milky Way that covers the sky covers the sky, and the Mercury flows, as if the Milky Way outside the sky hangs in the sky. Eight Mercury Dragons leaped from the Milky Way, raised their heads to the sky and rushed towards the Golden Lion with a loud roar. Boom. The Silver Dragon and the Angry Lion collided and finally exploded. The shock wave generated by the explosion spread towards the surroundings. The black clouds in the sky were washed away at this moment, and the sea below 7,000 meters was also set off with huge waves. Guy Island, more than 10 kilometers away, was submerged in half by the sudden tsunami. Hundreds of angry rock lions were all shattered. The Mercury Dragon was also chopped off into the dust. Cough cough cough. Golden Lion was also blown away by the shock wave. Under Chris's Galaxy Dragon, Golden Lion was seriously injured. At this moment, even the ability of Lion Fruit could not be used. He fell from the air, vomited blood, and stared at Chris standing above him. If eyes could kill, Chris would have been riddled with wounds and gone to hell. Bastard, two brats. Golden Lion gritted his teeth and said this sentence. 
Chris took advantage of the victory to pursue. With a dodge, he borrowed strength continuously in the air, and went straight to kill. Dao Guangqing, Thunderbolt Flash, Advertisement. A dazzling knife light appeared in Golden Lion's pupils, and the sword intent on it had already cut his skin before he could touch him. A huge wound was cut on the Golden Lion's chest, and blood gushed out, splashing blood all over the sky. After realizing that he was defeated, Golden Lion's eyes were loose, and he muttered to himself, Am I defeated again? Roger, is this the era of great pirates you created? Yes, this is defeat, Senior Golden Lion, I am honored to be the third person to give you defeat. The first is Roger, the second is Marine, and the third is Chris. Chris's fist covered armament hacky, hitting him in the face. Golden Lion's body seemed to turn into a meteorite, falling toward the sea. Boom. Chris used teleportation to catch the Golden Lion falling into the sky, and at this moment he has completely lost consciousness. When Golden Lion loses consciousness, it means that Lion Fruit's ability is invalid. The floating sky islands in the sky began to fall one after another, and fell into the sea with the harsh sound of breaking wind. Boom, 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 the roar continued to sound, followed by monstrous waves. With hundreds of islands crashing into the sea at once, it created a tsunami no less than the one white beard created with shock fruit. Residents of Guy Island fled for their lives. After that, the entire Guy Island was submerged by the tsunami, and all the houses and buildings on the island were washed away by the sea. On this day, Guy Island was wiped off the map by Chris. Hey, Captain, how's the Golden Lion? A thunderbolt appeared beside Chris, and a figure appeared to be Enel. Seeing the Golden Lion in Chris' hands, Enel was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed heartily. Yeah ha 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 woo ha 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 ha. Chris couldn't help laughing up to the sky, and the laughter of the two resounded non-stop in this world. Today is a memorable day, just today, Chris and Enel teamed up to defeat a legendary. Chris wrapped Golden Lion completely with mercury, sealing all the pores of his body. Without sea stone handcuffs, Chris can only use this method. The seriously injured Golden Lion couldn't wake up for a while. During this time, Chris had to find a way to find a sea stone handcuff so that he could completely trap the male lion. Back on the galaxy, Chris set sail again and left the sea. The news of the sinking of Guy Island cannot be concealed. In addition, an archipelago suddenly appeared in the sea more than 10 kilometers away. Everyone knows that something big has happened. In a few days, Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford, Marshal's Office, Sengoku threw a newspaper on the table. Tell me, what happened? Why did an island suddenly sink when it was fine? The news of the disappearance of Guy Island spread throughout the sea the whole world is full of uproar. However, the Marine Headquarters didn't know anything about it, which was an unprecedented gaffe. Advertisement. Sengoku was scolded head and face by the world government, and now he is so angry that he can't suppress it anymore. According to the investigation, before Guy Island was submerged by the tsunami, someone saw large black clouds appearing over the Guy Islands, and island fragments fell, which should be a battle. Guy Island sank, and new islands appeared in the sea, so the world government named it the Guy Islands to commemorate the sinking of Guy Island. The only one I can think of that can do this kind of thing is the Golden Lion. He had a fight with someone, and was defeated in the end. Lion Fruit's ability was disabled, and finally all the floating islands in the sky fell. The one who spoke was Crane Vice Admiral. With her wisdom, she had already guessed this incident to be close to ten. Survivor of Roger's era in one piece. How did he disappear for sixteen years? Hearing Saru Vice Admiral's words, Sengoku was also silent. The Golden Lion had caused incalculable losses to Marine back then, and it took a lot of courage for a young Marine to mention this name. It's been sixteen years since he disappeared, why is he reappearing? It would be nice to be a legendary honestly. It was rare for Garp to be serious, and he couldn't treat the Golden Lion heartlessly. The man who was first defeated by Roger, then arrested by Marine, and finally cut off his legs, escaped from prison, Golden Lion Shiki. Did he lose to a man again this time? Kizaru didn't say his catchphrase either, but his words took everyone away from Golden Lion. That's right, the most important thing in this incident is not the Golden Lion. It's someone who defeated the Golden Lion, or a certain organization. Being able to defeat the Golden Lion itself represents strength. It's terrible that such a powerful combat power appears on the sea, but Naval Headquarters knows nothing about him. Can't draw conclusions yet? Golden Lion won't be defeated so easily. Garp disagreed with this point of view. He and Sengoku teamed up to defeat Golden Lion. In any case, he would not believe that Golden Lion would be defeated so easily. Even if he is not defeated, he must have been seriously injured, otherwise he wouldn't even have the strength to maintain the floating sky island. Sengoku is also someone who has personally experienced the power of the Golden Lion, and he doesn't quite believe that the Golden Lion will be defeated by an unknown person. But he could also analyze from the clues that the Golden Lion must have encountered a strong enemy, so that even the old lair could not be kept. It's possible that the Golden Lion lost, so he's probably dead by now, which is great news for Marine. But there is also a possibility that Golden Lion won the battle, but was seriously injured, so he hit to recuperate. According to Sengoku's speculation, the second possibility is more likely, no matter what, all evil forces that violate Marine should be completely wiped out. One of Akina's fists turned into scorching hot magma, he punched the desk and roared. And he burned a big hole in the desk, and this month's reimbursement cost added another sum. Whether it is a person or an organization, if they can do such a thing, sooner or later they will emerge. The power lurking in the shadows of the world cannot disappear without a trace. All three admirals came to this meeting, and Aokiji was the last one to speak. There were traces of ice crystals on his face, and there was cold air in his mouth when he spoke. Vice Admiral sitting next to him couldn't stand it anymore. I might catch a cold during the meeting today. I wonder if Marine can reimburse the medical expenses? World government has sent CP to investigate, but I guess there will be no results in a short time. Sengoku squeezed his brows with his fingers, Marine has been in too much trouble recently, and his head hurts from anger. When will this group of sea bastards be cleared away? He wants to retire. Advertisement. Look at that bastard Garp, who drinks tea and eats senbei all day long, living without knowing how timid he is. It's not like him, he's so busy with business every day, it's hard to get a good night's sleep. 
I should have known that I was the same as Gark when I was young. Sengoku is a bit regretful now. Why did he agree to be a marshal when he was young? Isn't this just looking for guilt? But the current three admirals are not suitable for the marshal candidates in his mind, and he is still unable to entrust the important task of marshal. Akainu is too radical, too violent, and often causes heavy civilian casualties when going out on missions. The last thing Sengoku wants is to hand over Marine to him. Kizaru is just a doddler, he just idles around every day and doesn't care about anything, so he is not a suitable candidate for the marshal. Originally, Aokiji was the most optimistic person in Sengoku, and there were also a large number of people in Marine who supported him. But he is too lazy and does not have the support of the world government, so it will be difficult for him to be the marshal. It's terrible. Are there still such people hiding in the dark? What is their purpose? Crane Vice Admiral propped his chin with both hands, and gave Kizaru a faint look. Kizaru seemed a little guilty, and looked away. Then he looked at Garp next to him and said, Could it be that the Revolutionary Army did it? There are not many people who can defeat the Golden Lion. Except for our Marine and four Emperors, only the Revolutionary Army is left. It is impossible for the four Emperors to appear in the first half of the Grand Line. If there is any movement from them, Marine will definitely find out immediately. World Government and Marine are near Guy Island. There is no action, the only possibility is the Revolutionary Army. The Revolutionary Army hides too deeply, and it is not clear how strong they have until now. If Drago himself made a good move with his strength, he would be able to defeat the Golden Lion. All the people present looked at the silent Garp, and no one took the initiative to speak. Garp's position in Marine is too special. He is the hero of Marine, but his son has become the leader of the Revolutionary Army. If it is an ordinary Marine general, this alone is enough to be sent to impel down and imprisoned for a lifetime. Ah ha 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 ha, the old man doesn't know either. Facing the silence of the crowd, Garp laughed out loud, still heartless. Shut up, Garp. Don't worry, Sengoku, that boy Long is not someone who will take the initiative to make trouble, this matter is not his style. Sengoku snorted coldly, and issued the final order of the meeting. Nevertheless, we still have to be vigilant, this matter is classified as top secret, and the world government and marine must jointly investigate. Never miss the slightest clue. Yes. Everyone in the conference room stood up and shouted, only the three admirals, Garp and Crane Vice Admiral looked the same. On the shore of a small island in the Grand Line, on the Shining Galaxy, the Golden Lion was tied and chained to the mast by Chris, and the chain on his body was made of sea stone tiles. Golden Lion's hands were also handcuffed by sea stone, and the two famous swords on his feet were also pulled out by Chris. One cannot be too cautious when dealing with this legendary level figure. The sea stone handcuffs are not cheap, it cost Chris 30 million virtual currency. Because Chris was bankrupt in Sky Island, he also went to temporarily destroy a pirate group, and only then did he get together the money to buy the handcuffs. A pair of handcuffs is 30 million, which is definitely the most expensive handcuffs in the world. P.S. A 4,000 word chapter. Please subscribe the author is running out of money to eat. Advertisement. Chapter 63 Eat Lion Fruit. Double Fruit Capable Person. 4,000 chapters. Please subscribe. Advertisement. Chapter 63 Get Lion Fruit. 4,000 chapters. Please subscribe. Captain, is this the Golden Lion from Legendary? Even if you're unconscious, you're still full of hacky. Several days have passed, and the severely injured Golden Lion still hasn't woken up. It seems that the injury this time is indeed too serious. Captain, why are we keeping the Golden Lion? Everyone was puzzled, Chris had already defeated the Golden Lion, why should he be kept? You will know. Chris shrugged, keeping it a secret. Captain, why do you buy so many fruits? Are you eating them? At this time, Jack came back from the shore, and he was still carrying a big box full of fruits. Shouting while walking, Chris was exhausted from buying so many fruits. Chris didn't buy fruit for eating, he just used it for experiments. In the original book, Chris saw with his own eyes how devil fruit was born. On Punkhasa Island, Caesar killed the slime monster under him, and at the moment the monster died, a nearby fruit turned into a devil fruit. Chris also wants to try to see if he can get devil fruit in this way. Thousands of fruits were piled on Golden Lion's body, including apples, bananas, pineapples. Anyway, Chris bought all the fruits available on this island. It depends on whether fate will choose me. With a flash of cold light, Chris had already stabbed Golden Lion's chest with a knife. The heart was pierced, and even the Golden Lion couldn't live. In this way, a generation of legendary pirates fell on this small island where no one cares about them. At the same time, suddenly one apple out of thousands of fruits was upgraded. It seems that an invisible force has penetrated into the apple, spiral patterns began to appear on the surface of the apple, and the red peel also turned into blue, which is the color of the sky. As soon as Chris hooked, devil fruit ran into his hand. Sure enough, fate is still on my side. Looking at the devil fruit in Chris's hand, several members of the galaxy pirates were dumbfounded. What did they see? Chris actually turned a common apple into a devil fruit. Is this a dream? Captain, I read 427 correctly, right? Yeah, what did you do? The apple turned into a devil fruit. Salin and Jack were stunned, even Dawes and Van Oka were stunned. Isn't it just a devil fruit? Haven't you seen it before? After the death of the capable person, devil fruit will be reborn, which is something everyone knows. But I guess, devil fruit will choose to respawn on the nearest fruit. That's why I asked Jack to buy so many fruits just to do this experiment. Advertisement. I didn't expect a word to become a prophecy, but it was a success. After some explanations from Chris, the people of Galaxy Pirates finally accepted this fact. However, boundless surprises followed. With this method, wouldn't they be able to obtain the abilities they want at will? That's pretty heaven-defying, isn't it? Captain, is this the lion fruit of the golden lion? Chris chuckled, that's right, do you want to eat? However, unexpectedly, everyone on Chris's boat refused. Dawes and Enel are capable users, so they cannot be eaten. Van Oka only specializes in sniping, lion fruit is not suitable for him. Salin and Jack felt that they were not strong enough to exert the power of this fruit, and they didn't want to waste it. Chris was relieved to be able to resist the temptation of lion fruit. With this ability, you can get any devil fruit you want in the future, grab it if you can't find it, our galaxy pirates are so arrogant. Amidst the cheers, the shining galaxy set sail again. At night, Chris was lying on the big bed with lion fruit in his hand. None of the current members of the galaxy pirates is suitable for this ability. Lion fruit is very powerful, and it would be a waste to eat it for people with common qualifications. But
But wouldn't it be more wasteful to let no one eat it? Suddenly Chris thought of the system. Can the system modify his body so that he can eat two devil fruits? Even an alien like Blackbeard can eat two devil fruits. Is it impossible for a systematic Chris to do that? Hey, system, can you modify my body so that I can eat two devil fruit? EF, at the same time. Ding dong, the system can do it. But it takes one billion berries to transform the body once. One billion? This is a sky-high price. You know, only the top cotter of the four emperors pirate group can have such a high reward. But my money is all gone. What should I do now? Chris suddenly remembered that the money for beheading the golden lion didn't seem to arrive in the account. This broken system won't want to secretly take kickbacks again? Hey, system, did you forget something? Where is the bounty for killing the golden lion? Ding dong, the golden lion's bounty is being distributed. Golden lion is a legendary level pirate worth three billion baileys. Please accept it, host. Worthy of being one of the three great pirates of the old era, worth three billion baileys, Chris's empty wallet was full again, and it was already overflowing. Golden Lion's official reward order can't be found, those on the internet are all fabricated by netizens, so the author set it at three billion, which is neither high nor low. If you think it is inappropriate, please don't. Spray. System, consume one billion to transform the body. It is a waste to have such a strong devil fruit but not be able to use it. Now that you have money, of course you need to transform it. The deposit of three billion was suddenly reduced by January 3rd, and the wallet seemed to be dry all of a sudden. Ding dong, one billion baileys have been deducted, the system is being remodeled. Please wait patiently. Host. A strange energy traveled through Chris's limbs, which was completely different from the feeling of strengthening the body. This energy will not strengthen Chris's body, it will only transform Chris's body into an alien shape, making it compatible with two devil fruits at the same time. After about 10 minutes, the energy slowly receded, and Chris felt that his body hadn't changed, but subconsciously thought that he could eat two devil fruits? This is the same as Blackbeard, he has this feeling since he was born, he is born to feel that he is different from others, and he is born to be able to eat two devil fruits. Advertisement. Picking up the lion fruit, Chris swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Eating devil fruit is a very difficult challenge. Those who have never eaten it are fine, but those who have eaten it do not want to try it a second time. Ding dong, please pay attention to the host, the system can modify devil fruit to remove its smell, and it costs 100 million baileys each time. Perhaps it detected Chris' dislike for the smell of devil fruit, and the system took the opportunity to open its mouth wide. 100 million at a time, robbing a bank is not that profitable, do you really think I am being taken advantage of? Chris rolled his eyes at the system, opened his mouth wide and bit down. The quality of devil fruit is really good, the mouth is full of smooth juice, the fruit is fresh and tender, and the aroma is tangy, making people immersed in this taste and unable to extricate themselves. Note that all of the above are Chris self-hypnosis. The truth is that Chris has already fallen to the ground and retched, almost vomiting his intestines out. Even with mental preparation, Chris still couldn't stand the disgusting smell. Chris thinks that even mercury is not as bad as devil fruit. As a quicksilver fruit capable user, it is common for him to eat quicksilver. In his eyes, quicksilver is the most delicious food in the world. Readers, don't try and imitate, only Chris in the whole world thinks mercury is delicious. A strange energy suddenly swam through Chris's body, and then calmed down. Chris stretched out his palm and touched the desk next to him. Then the desk slowly left the ground and flew away from gravity. The sea was quiet at night, and the shining galaxy also anchored on the sea. If you look at Chris' room from the window, you will find that all the furniture inside is suspended in the air, and floats in the air with Chris' will. With a wave of his hand, all the suspended furniture returned to their original positions, without making any sound when they landed. Although Chris has just eaten lion fruit, he is already very proficient in using it. Chris is an ability user himself, and he is very experienced in using the power of devil fruit. Coupled with his understanding of Golden Lion, he is familiar with all his moves, so he naturally got started right away. Just like Blackbeard in Summit War, eating shock fruit can cause an air shock, and its power is ignorant of that of Whitebeard. This is the principle that one method is mastered and 10,000 methods are mastered. System, help me upgrade Conqueror's Hacky to Advanced. After eating Lion Fruit, Chris is still not satisfied. Now that he has money, he must turn it into strength. With 300 million deducted, Chris's Conqueror's Hacky was upgraded again. The upgraded Conqueror's Hacky is stronger, covers a wider area, and most importantly deals physical damage to things. The only other person to do this so far is Redhead, who shattered Whitebeard's pirate ship with Conqueror's Hacky while aboard the Moby Dick. System, what is my current task? With the power of Quicksilver Fruit and Lion Fruit, plus advanced Conqueror's Hacky and Great Swordsman's Swordsmanship, Chris's strength has already stood at the top of the world. Now even if Admiral comes, he is sure to defeat him. Chris is full of pride now, no matter what task he is sure to complete. The newest task will be issued now, please host to become a Shishibukai. Reward, a mysterious gift bag. Becoming a Shishibukai, what's the use of that? Hearing the task of the system, Chris was stunned, he never planned to become a Shishibukai. With Chris' current strength, becoming a Shishibukai is not difficult at all. Advertisement. But the identity of Shishibukai is useless to Chris. What Chris wants is to enter the new world to challenge the four emperors, and then become the new four emperors. System, this task is useless for me to become stronger? Can I refuse? Chris wanted to refuse this task, although the mysterious gift package made Chris very excited, but Chris has a system store, and the things in it are enough to make Chris become four emperors. Host, you have to understand that although you are very strong now, your pirate group is very weak, far from being able to compete with New World's four emperors pirate group. To develop the galaxy pirates to the four emperors level, host still needs a lot of time and resources. After the host becomes Shishibukai, he can use Marine to hide himself and develop his power secretly. Chris understands that he has a system, and there is no bottleneck in becoming stronger, as long as Krypton Gold is enough. But people like Dawes and Saline can't do it. It takes time for them to become stronger. Chris's stride is too big, and although he can do it, his crew members may mess up. Thinking about this task, Chris has a headache. Shishibukai doesn't mean that you can become one just because you are a member. Chris has enough strength and reputation, but the key point is that the current Shishibukai is full. Marine and. It is impossible for the world government to cancel a spot casually and put Chris on top. Do you want Chris to tell Marine, well, I am stronger than this guy, why can he be Shishibukai and I can't? This is too hasty. Um, suddenly a light flashed through Chris's mind. Yeah, why did you forget him? When Chris slapped his forehead, he was really stupid. 
He had such a big bargaining chip in his hands, but he didn't think about it. The Golden Lion is the biggest bargaining chip in Chris's hand. He defeated the legendary pirate Golden Lion. If he uses his corpse to make a deal with Marine, I believe that neither Marine nor the world government will agree. Reject? The current difficulty is how to contact Marine. Such a major event cannot be decided by just one person. If Chris wants to become a Shishibukai, the best way is to contact Marine Marshal Sengoku or the top level of the world government. Zero. Only they have the right to decide the ownership of Shishibukai. It seems that we are going to find them. Looking at the night scene outside the window, Chris made a silent decision. The next stop of the Yinhi is the Water City. Chris still remembers that CP9 under the world government is undercover there. They must have phone bugs on their hands to contact the higher UPS of the world government. Chris sorted them out without breaking a sweat, and that was the first step of the plan. Chris's plan is to first get the phone bug to contact the senior management of the world government and express his intention to trade. If they are not stupid, they will definitely contact Chris and discuss the specific content of the transaction. During the transaction, Marine and the world government are likely to want to cheat, and directly send Admiral to wipe out Chris and his party. In this way, the content of the transaction will no longer be known. The most important thing is that they can not only eliminate the galaxy pirates, but also get the body of Golden Lion. Advertisement. Chapter 64 Battle Against CP9, Second Update, Please Subscribe. Advertisement. The world government will definitely use the Golden Lion's corpse to make a big fuss, and put all the credit on Marine's head, so as to not only improve Marine's prestige, but also combat the arrogance of pirates. However, Chris is confident enough to fight against Marine Admiral. Even if there are two admirals coming together, Chris can't beat him. With the ability of Lion Fruit, he can escape without any pressure. When Marine knew that the Galaxy Pirates could not be completely wiped out, he could only agree to Chris's conditions. As for which act of Shishibukai to sacrifice, it depends on who is more unlucky. Political transactions are so dark, in the eyes of the world government, even Shishibukai can clearly mark the price. Nobody traded before because they didn't have enough chips, and Chris's chip value was too high, enough for world government and Marine to sacrifice a Shishibukai. Marine may let Chris find a target by himself. If Chris dies in battle, then they have nothing to lose, the deal has been completed, and Marine is not responsible for after-sales service. If Chris manages to defeat a Shishibukai, it's not Marine's fault, it's their own weakness. Marine can also take the opportunity to remove the defeated Shishibukai, and Chris deserves to be the new Shishibukai with his record of defeating Shishibukai. All possible situations are within Chris's plan, Chris is sure that the success rate of this plan can reach 100%. Early the next morning, the carrier of the Shining Galaxy flew into the sky with a sound of breaking wind, rushed into the clouds with a whoosh, and disappeared into the vast sea. Hey Captain, you didn't eat the lion fruit too did you? Looking at the receding clouds around them and the sea below, everyone in the galaxy pirates looked dull. They have never heard of a person eating two devil fruits. Chris chuckled, and said, it's a waste of such a useful ability not to eat. Last night I suddenly felt that I could eat lion fruit, so I took a bite, and then, you know, Chris turned his head to look at Fan Aika and asked, Fan Aika, do you think this is fate choosing me? Van Oka, it was a turning point of fate. Chris laughed so loud that the clouds were blown away. TCH, what is there to be proud of? Isn't it just a paramecia, which is far worse than the gods Logia Thunderbolt? Seeing Chris's smug face, Enel smiled angrily. Advertisement. He did a great job beating the Golden Lion, only to have Chris turn around and add new abilities. Look at yourself again, although he made Armament Haki one step closer in the battle, he is far behind Chris, he dare not eat the second devil fruit. Chris had just conquered Sky Island, and God sent Lion Fruit right away. In this way, it is very convenient for Chris to enter and exit Sky Island. After all, only those who conquer the sky are eligible to become the gods of Sky Island. Five days later, there was a big riot at the port of the City of Water. A gust of wind carried a pirate group from the air and landed on the sea surface. The moment it landed, a wave was set off, and several pirate ships nearby were overturned. More than a dozen members of this pirate group were still cursing and trying to avenge Chris, but as soon as they saw the flag of the Galaxy Pirates, their captain broke out in a cold sweat and took his younger brothers away in a desperate manner. Today's Galaxy Pirates are very famous in the first half of the Grand Line, because of Sengoku's strategy of driving away tigers and wolves, Chris has eliminated more than a dozen pirates. These weak pirates, Chris, are not interested in taking action, and they are all handed over to Daz and the others to practice. But Chris felt that he was being used by Sengoku. He did so many things for Marine, but he didn't get paid at all. Sengoku is an old bastard, he asks Chris to help him with white hits whenever he uses his brain, he is indeed the resourceful general. Let's go, this is the capital of water, the famous shipyard of the Grand Line, let's go find CP9. Chris told them about his plan on the way, and everyone in the Galaxy Pirates also knew that Chris wanted to be Shishibukai. Walking into a bar, the boss here seems to be wearing two big horns, tall and powerful, even wearing a black suit can hardly conceal his strong muscles. Boss, have some rum. Chris sat at the bar, reaching out for a glass of wine. He knew that the owner of the bar in front of him was Bluno from CP9, so he chose this bar. Chris believes that once he shows up, he will definitely attract the attention of CP9. Although these members of CP9 cannot directly contact the Marine High Level, their useless chief Spondum can. In the original, Aokiji even handed him Buster Call's gold phone bug. After Chris and his group left, Bluno walked silently into a secret room in the bar. He took out his phone bug and contacted Luchi. In CP9, Luchi is the strongest, so they all use Luchi as the main brain. Hey, is there something urgent? Bluno, it's not time to contact. Advertisement. Luchi's cold voice sounded, now is not their stipulated contact time. Their undercover agents are very careful not to expose the relationship between the few people as much as possible, so they will contact only within the specified time. Bluno violated the rules, Luchi knew something must have happened. Bluno held the phone bug in his hand and said, it's me, Luchi, the galaxy pirates have come to the city of water. Marine had previously ordered CP9 to pay attention to Chris's whereabouts, but he did not expect him to come. Luchi was silent for a moment, and asked, has he discovered your identity? Probably not, I have never had contact with him. From the beginning to the end, Bluno didn't say a word to Chris, so he was confident that he didn't reveal it. But what he didn't expect was that Chris had God's perspective and knew their true identities from the very beginning. Marine has an order to eradicate the galaxy pirates as soon as we see them. Keep an eye on their whereabouts. We will act as soon as we plan. At the port of the water capital, Chris had a slight smile on his lips, and his eyes were meaningful. 
He covered the entire water city with observation hacky, and heard all the conversations between Luchi and Bluno. And because of this call, Chris also found out where Luchi was, which turned out to be the shipyard of the water capital. Chris didn't know their aura before, so he couldn't find out their location, but today Chris started the beginning, and the rest is much easier. Zero, asking for flowers. Yes, Chris exposed it on purpose. In this way, Bluno will definitely contact other CP9 members, once they have any movement, Chris's observation hacky will be able to lock their location immediately. I didn't expect the fish to come to the door by itself. Chris grinned. Originally, he planned to find out their whereabouts and destroy them one by one. Unexpectedly, they packed them up and delivered them to their door, saving Chris a lot of effort. Turning his head to look at Enel who was sitting on the mast eating an apple, Chris said, Hey, Thor, did you hear what they said? Cut, that's a matter of course, how could this kind of thing be hidden from the heart of the god? Then let's talk to them, we still won't make a move this time, let them exercise. It was too easy for Chris and Enel to defeat CP9 it's better to give Daz a few of them. Advertisement. Chris intends to let them experience all the bosses that Luffy and his team encountered during the upgrade. As night fell, there was silence on the galaxy pirates, as if everyone had fallen asleep. However, outside, several black shadows approached the Yinhee silently. Several people from CP9 walked without making any sound, which is indeed a professional assassination organization that has been trained since childhood. Chris in the room had spotted them a long time ago, and there were four of them, Rob Lucci, Keiku, Bluno and Califa. Otonashi Fukura, Jabra, and Kumidori were in the Anice lobby to protect Shwandam so they didn't come. Looking at the Yinhee without a guard, Bluno smiled coldly. Sure enough, he is a kid who just debuted. Although he was lucky enough to gain a little fame, he has too little experience. The general pirate group will arrange vigil at night, because many people like to sneak attack at night. It is a very dangerous thing for the crew to fall asleep at night. You may never wake up after falling asleep. You guys get to the common members, I'll get to Chris. Luchi gave the combat order, and then the four disappeared in place at the same time. Boom. As soon as he opened the door and entered, Bluno was punched in the face before he could react. His body flew out of the Yinhee like a cannonball, making a big crater on the beach. It was Jack who made the shot. No one on the galaxy was asleep, and they were already ready to wait for them to come to the door. The movement here was immediately discovered by Luchi and the others, and they were also attacked in different ways. Bang bang bang. Three people fell on the beach at the same time, and Khalifa, like Bluno, suffered minor injuries. Luchi and Keiku are just a little embarrassed, but their strength is much higher than the other two, and they are not injured. Luchi looked up and stared coldly at Chris on the bow, and said, You guys already knew we were going to plot. Chris shook the wine glass in his hand and laughed, Guess. Anyway, your voyage ends here, and we will use justice to destroy you completely. Now that you've been discovered, speak with your strength. Luchi and the others never imagined that they could quietly assassinate everyone in the Galaxy Pirates. Advertisement. Chapter 65 The entire army of CP9 is wiped out. The third update. Please subscribe. Advertisement. The four of Luchi are very confident in their own strength, and today they will kill the most dazzling pirate group this year. You are not qualified to let me shoot. Play with my crew. It's just 4 vs 4. It's fair. After speaking, Chris raised his head and drank the wine in the glass. 4 vs 4. Luchi glanced at Enel behind Chris, and he only realized now that there is one more person in the Galaxy Pirates than in the information. They added a new member, be careful. The battle is on the verge of breaking out, the strongest Dawes confronts the strongest Luchi. The big Jack met the also big Bluno, who just happened to be fighting a few minutes ago. Saren confronted Keiku, Van Oka faced the weakest Califa. Shave. Bluno took the lead, he just lost face, and now he wants to get it back. Jack grinned, and also disappeared in place. Boom. Punching Bluno in the stomach, Jack yelled, Don't think you're the only one who knows Marine Six styles. This punch was much heavier than the last punch, and the last punch was just to say hello, but Jack died in this move. 883. Bluno plowed the ground with both feet, and was beaten hundreds of meters away. After stopping backwards, Bluno still maintained the posture of iron body, and suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Under this punch, Bluno's iron body couldn't hold it anymore, and was seriously injured. Bluno? Damn it. Keiku and Califa, who were fighting, immediately exclaimed when they saw that Bluno was injured. However, there is no room for flaws in battle. Don't be distracted, bastard. Saren seized the opportunity and injured Keiku with a tempest kick, and Van Oka also took the opportunity to penetrate Califa's shoulder blade. Only a few minutes after the battle started, all three of CP9 were injured. Advertisement. In fact, it's not that the people in CP9 are too weak, but that the people in the Galaxy Pirates are too strong. Both Keiku and Califa haven't eaten devil fruit yet, so the combat power is not as strong as it will be after four years. The members of the Galaxy Pirates, except Jack, have awakened Haki, and their strength is not the same as that of the pirates in the first half of the Grand Line. Bluno was originally the weakest player in CP9 except Califa, and he underestimated Jack, so he was the first to lose. Only Luchi and Dawes are evenly matched. Luchi is indeed the strongest killing weapon since the establishment of the world government 800 years ago. With Devil Fruit and Marine Six styles alone, Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral has the combat power. Even if Dawes awakens armament hacky, he won't be able to take him for a while. Luchi has practiced all Marine Six styles to the limit, and his defensive power when he casts Iron Body is already comparable to the newly awakened armament hacky. Dawes's armament hacky has just been mastered, it can only be entangled, but cannot be hardened, so it cannot break Luchi's defense. Watching the Galaxy Pirates gain the upper hand, Chris chuckled, it seems that today your justice is going to abandon you. Luchi was not affected by Chris, nor did he show his flaws because his teammates were injured, and he still fought with all his strength. In the field at this time, Bluno has almost lost five layers of combat power, and he and Keiku Califa get together to form a group, and no longer fight alone with the Galaxy Pirates. However, what they don't know is that the result of doing so will make them lose faster. Celine and Jack were at the front, while Van Oka sniped from behind. In the case of advancing, attacking, retreating, and defending, the battle situation is one-sided. Saren Jack cooperates tacitly. 
It is already very difficult for Keku to block Saren's attack, and he has to be distracted to save Bluno when he is in crisis. Fan Oka focused on sniping Khalifa. In his eyes, there were no men or women, only enemies. Fan Oka's observation Haki has already been cultivated to intermediate, and Khalifa's paper arts can't dodge bullets at all. Although Iron Body can block bullets, Khalifa's Iron Body cannot be used while moving, and Jack will shoot Bluno when he fights back. If she doesn't dodge, she will be seriously injured by Jack and become the second Bluno. If she dodges with a shave, there will be a bullet waiting for her where she lands. As a result, after only 10 minutes, several blood holes had already appeared on her body. Khalifa evaded Jack's kick with a razor, and staggered to the ground the moment he landed. And a bullet flew past her scalp, and if his head was lifted up an inch, Fan Oka could have shot him in the head. Khalifa. Keku saw that Khalifa was injured and wanted to save her, but a Bigfoot covered his face. Boom. Keku rolled dozens of times on the beach like a ball, and he felt his head was almost kicked by Salim Yi. Advertisement. No one will save you now. Jack grinned, and teleported to Khalifa. As soon as Khalifa looked up, panting heavily, Jack's fist had already dropped. Boom. There was a human-shaped pothole on the beach, Jack shot mercilessly, and Khalifa was fired directly. The card also used a three-star burst. Bang 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 three gunshots, three blood holes appeared on Bluno's chest in an instant, and he fell face down to the ground. Jack saw this and kicked Bluno in the face before he fell to the ground. Bluno vomited blood in the air and lost consciousness when he landed. In the blink of an eye, Bluno and Khalifa were killed at the same time, and Keku was also seriously injured. Luchi kicked a huge slash to force Dawes back, leaving after images for several consecutive moments. And Bluno and Khalifa who were unconscious on the ground have been rescued by him. Luchi, what should we do? Looking at the unconscious Bluno and Khalifa, Keku is at a loss, and now the only hope is Luchi. If Luchi can defeat the Galaxy Pirates, then they still have a way to survive, if they lose, they will not be able to leave today. Keku was a little thankful. Fortunately the three of Fukura and the others didn't come, otherwise CP9 might be wiped out today. I'll stop them, you take Bluno and Khalifa and go first. In the face of desperation, Luchi can still stand up and cover his teammates to evacuate. From this point of view, the members of CP9 are very loyal, unlike other organizations that go their separate ways when disaster strikes. Chris chuckled, none of you can leave today. Daz, Jack, and Salim rushed forward and besieged Luchi with all his strength. Keku wanted to go up to help, but Fan Oka's murderous voice made him dare not act rashly. You'd better not move, even if you can dodge my bullets, but your two teammates will definitely be shot in the head by me. Fan Oka aimed at Keku from behind, as long as he moved slightly, he would be sniped. Marine Six styles came out together, and many of the moves of both sides were the same. However, two fists are hard to beat with four hands, no matter how strong Luchi is, he can't stop the four of Dawes from attacking together. Six styles, the largest round six king gun. Advertisement. Luchi roared and clasped his fists together. A powerful shock wave poured out, and Saren and Jack who bore the brunt were blown away on the spot, coughing up blood in the air. Dawes condensed the only armament Haki on his chest, and was still knocked back by the impact of the six king sphere, plowing a trace of Shane Yamai on the ground. Luchi's largest six king gun is no joke. This is Luchi's strongest move, he can only use this move by concentrating the strength of his whole body after releasing the life return state. The six king sphere will directly cause damage to the target's internal organs, and its power is even higher than Sky Island's ultimate impact shell? Yeah, ha ha ha, is this guy named Luchi really smart? Enel swallowed an apple, gloating a little at the sight of the Sasha being hurt. Salin and Jack were seriously injured after being hit by the Six King's gun. Although Dawes was not injured, he still felt a dull pain in his chest. Even Armament Haki couldn't resist all the impact, and his internal organs were still shaken. After repelling the three members of the Galaxy Pirates, Luchi killed Fan Oka without even taking a breath, and at the same time turned around and shouted at Keku, Keku, take them away now. Fan Aika escaped Luchi's attack, and shot three stars in an instant. Keku cannot use iron body defense while moving, and can only use his back to block 2.8 bullets for his teammates. Luchi teleported onto the ballistic trajectory, and there were three bang 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 bangs, the bullet was blocked, and Keku had already teleported far away with the razor. Yeah ha 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 ha, they are going to escape, you guys are really useless, so many people can't beat one. Dazzling lightning flashed from Enel's body, and then a thunderbolt fell from the sky, boom, on target? Keku, Bluno, and Khalifa at the center of the explosion all breathed black smoke, their bodies were scorched black, and they all rolled their eyes. Luchi's eyes were about to burst, bloodshot eyes appeared on his eyes, he stared at Enel on the boat, wishing he could kill him immediately. Hey, Thor, who told you to do it? An injured Jack got up from the ground, slightly displeased to see Enel laying his hand on his prey. Hey, hey, it's all your fault, okay, if you can solve it, will you let them run away? Snort. Dawes also snorted coldly, his feet turned into sharp blades, moat dust cutting speed knife, iron body. Luchi blocked the blocked slash with iron body, sparks splashed on the skin when the sharp blade slashed. Advertisement. Chapter 66 The Transaction with Sengoku. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Okay, Salim, Jack, and Fan Oka, then you don't make any moves, let Dawes have fun. Chris could tell that Dawes was on the verge of a breakthrough. Since Salim and the others are already injured, don't go on, anyway, there is only one Luchi left, so there is no need to bully the few with more. Foaming Daisy Chop. Razor. Dawes and Luchi fought each other, and the two broke apart immediately. Tempest Kick Guy Bird. Backwards, Luchi turned several somersaults and kicked out a bird-shaped slash. This is a variant developed by Luchi through the six-style Tempest Kick, and its power is two levels higher than the common Tempest Kick. Dawes's armament Haki is almost exhausted and can only be defended with Dice Dice Fruit. Dawes was hit by the guy, and a cross wound was cut on his chest. Dawes, in the desperate situation of life and death, armament Haki's cultivation can go further. Chris stood at the bow of the boat and looked at Dawes who was fighting hard, and reminded, whether you can break through the limit is up to you. Dawes touched the wound on his chest and grinned, don't worry, Captain, I won't die. It was the first time for Chris to see Dawes's smiling face, it was really ugly. Chris shook his head, forget it, you better stop laughing, it scares me. 
Chris's turn was so fast that Dawes almost lost his breath. Master the cut. Dawes's five fingers in both hands turned into sharp blades, and while waving his hands, the five claw shaped slash left the body, and the target was Luchi in front of him. Luchi's muscles tensed up, and he shouted, Sky. In the hundreds of slashes, Luchi is like a rootless duckweed. Zero four shaved, six styles, six king gun. Luchi teleported in front of Dawes, and put his fists on Dawes's chest. Dawes wanted to move away, but found a leopard tail bound his body. Boom, the shockwave came out from Dawes's back, plowing the ground into a deep hole. It's useless, how can evil pirates defeat justice? Seeing Dawes's rolled eyes, Luchi stretched out his index finger. Advertisement. If this finger pistol hits, Dawes's head will explode. Dawes. Celine Jack sets off to save him at the same time, but is stopped by Enel. Hey, what are you doing Thor? Dawes is dying, why are you stopping us? Celine and Jack roared at the same time. Enel shook his head speechlessly, don't worry, look at the captain, he is not in a hurry, why are you in a hurry? But. They wanted to say something, but saw Chris shook his head, the words stuck in his throat and unable to speak. Seeing that Chris didn't plan to rescue him, Luchi showed a sneer on his face, pirates are really disgusting, and they can remain indifferent when they see their companions dying. If you want to blame, blame you for following the wrong person, go to hell and repent. Luchi's nails turned red, and the sun poked on Waz's forehead. Clang? When Luchi's finger pistol fell, he didn't see the expected head splitting, but instead saw his fingers blocked by a touch of black skin. Hey, what did you just say? I didn't hear a word. In the meantime, Daz's eyeballs turned white and came back to his senses, and his eyes were burning, he didn't look like he was dying at all. Master the cut. Dawes waved his right hand, and a touch of black appeared on the blade of his fingertip. This time Luchi's iron body seemed to have turned into tofu, and it was about to collapse when it met Daz's slash. There was only a thud, and five deep scars appeared on Luchi's chest. Looking at Luchi who was lying on the ground, Daz looked ferocious, bastard, Lousy is not dead yet, why are you talking so much nonsense? Cracking slash. Two crossed slashes came out of the air, and landed on Luchi who was powerless to resist. Boom, slash brought Luchi on a rampage all the way, and finally crashed into a pirate ship in the port, and the pirate ship was split to pieces. After the dust dispersed, Luchi's figure finally appeared in front of everyone. This world government's most powerful killing weapon in 800 years has lost consciousness now. There was also a white dove standing on Luchi's bloody chest, cooing to tell the sadness. In desperation, Dawes finally broke through armament hacky, and after learning to harden his armament color, his combat power soared a lot. Marine Six Styles Iron Body's defense was no different from that of Tofu in front of Armament Haki, and Dawes defeated Luchi with only two moves. Maybe Luchi didn't expect that Dawes, who was not an opponent before, would become so strong in just a moment. Advertisement. Under a bright moon, a pile of fire was lit on the beach at the port of the City of Water. Beside the bonfire, the four members of CP9 were tied up with a few chains and made rice dumplings. This time they thought their foolproof operation completely failed, and even they themselves became Chris captives. Chris dialed the phone bug in his hand, which was found from Luchi. Hey, Luchi, you bastard, why are you waking me up in the middle of the night? Are you looking for death? The man on the opposite side just cursed at him indiscriminately. With such an arrogant attitude and such a bad temper, there is no one other than that idiot Shondam. Chris didn't want to get used to this idiot. Hey, idiot, use your brain before you speak, otherwise you don't know how you will die. Chris spoke with a murderous look, which made Shondam on the opposite side go cold for a while. Who are you? Let Luchi speak, do you know who I am? I am a senior official of the world government. Shpondam's attitude was still arrogant, he thought it was Luchi's subordinate who was talking to him. But Chris knew from his voice that this was nothing more than flirtatiousness. This guy doesn't have much strength, and it's all thanks to his father who is more shameless than him. As soon as something happened, I moved to the backing, saying that there was someone behind me or something like that. Listen clearly, idiot. I'm John Chris, the captain of the Galaxy Pirates. If you have anything to do, please contact Marshall Marine or the senior management of the world government. As for what you, an idiot, can't know, you only need to mention the three words golden lion dot. Also, don't use CP9 to scare me, Rob Lucci and a few of his companions are lying at my feet. As soon as the words were finished, Chris hung up the phone bug. Although that guy Shpondam is stupid, he knows how to be an official and knows the priorities of things. The big pirate Golden Lion is definitely a major event, and it is not something that a small person like him can intervene in. He will not delay, and he dare not delay. If something goes wrong in this matter, he will never be able to get along in the world government. Sure enough, as Chris expected, after confirming that Luchi and others lost contact, he immediately reported the news to the world government. Afterwards, the news progressed layer by layer, and soon reached the ears of Marine Marshal Sengoku. Hey, I'm Sengoku, what's the purpose of you, a pirate, contacting me? Sengoku didn't dare to be sloppy when he got the news, and contacted Chris immediately. Marine has been chasing Golden Lion for a long time since the Guy Island incident, but there is no news. This time Chris took the initiative to contact Marine and mentioned the Golden Lion, which made Sengoku feel a little uneasy. Chris didn't mind Sengoku's sarcastic remarks, and said in a casual tone, Marshal Sengoku, I have known you for a long time. I don't need to introduce myself, you should be very familiar with me. Hmph, <laughs> Yinhee, don't talk nonsense, what is the relationship between you and Golden Lion? Sengoku didn't think that the Golden Lion would be killed by Chris, and only thought that Chris was just a messenger. Senior Golden Lion is dead, and his body is beside me. Advertisement. Chris's words were plain, but they were deafening in Sengoku's ears. Sengoku's face changed drastically, and he almost screamed, Jinga, do you know what you're talking about? Chris chuckled, anticipating Sengoku's gaff, I know, Marshal Sengoku, I don't dare to joke with you like this. Do you have any evidence? Jean couldn't easily believe such a big event. Chris scratched his head and said in a flash of inspiration, how about I take a photo of Golden Lion's death and find a newspaper to send it out. Hearing what Chris said, Sengoku became anxious and immediately shouted, don't do stupid things, Chris. Okay, okay, no kidding, there are a few CP9 members next to me, you should believe what they say, right? During the waiting time, Chris had already woken up Keku, Bluno, and Califa. As for Luchi, his injury was too serious and he would not be able to wake up for a while. Hey, Long Nose, come here and talk to your marshal, what B-73 did you see on the boat? Chris threw the phone bug into Keku's hand and motioned him to talk to Sengoku. Hello, Marshal Sengoku, I'm Keku, a member of CP9. 
I know you. Is what Chris said true? Did you see the dead body of the golden lion with your own eyes? Sengoku's tone is very anxious. If it is true, then this is definitely a big news that shocked the world. Keiku glanced at Chris, then at the golden lion sealed in mercury beside him, and said, That's right, I saw it with my own eyes. It's indeed the body of the golden lion. The news confirmed that Sengoku's heart was overwhelmed, and he didn't know what to say for a while. The old rival golden lion is dead. He is a pirate. He should be happy when he is dead. But for some reason, he couldn't be happy. Instead, he felt melancholy. Taking a long breath, Sengoku picked up the phone bug. Chris, what do you want? He also doesn't want to check if Chris killed the golden lion, it doesn't make sense. The immediate priority now is to figure out, what is Chris going to do with the golden lion's body? Marshal Sengoku was really quick to talk, so I just said it straight, I'm here to surrender, and I want a title of Shishibukai. Sengoku's pupil shrank, and he guessed that Chris didn't hold back any good farts, but he didn't expect that he wanted to be Shishibukai. Impossible, Shishibukai is full, there is no room for you, change the condition. Sengoku refused on the spot, as if there was no possibility of negotiation. But Chris had expected that Sengoku could not immediately agree to his conditions. Then Chris and Sengoku began to bargain. As Chris said, everything in this world can be marked with a price. You can't buy it not because he doesn't sell it, but because the price you give is not high enough. He 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 he, Marshal Sengoku, one golden lion is exchanged for one Shishibukai, no matter how you calculate it, you all earn money, right? Hearing Chris's mocking sound, Sengoku could imagine his hippie smile. Sengoku gritted his teeth and said, I can't decide on this matter. Advertisement. Chapter 67 Want to be a Shishibukai? Kill Moria first, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Shishibukai was established in the name of world government, their confirmation and delisting require the consent of the government, and even Marine has no right to intervene. Then find someone who can make the decision. I have time to wait. I wonder if you can wait. Chris shut down the call with a click, and with chips in hand, Chris took the initiative in the transaction, even in the face of Marshal Sengoku, he was right. Hearing Chris cut off the call, Sengoku's forehead was full of veins, and he slapped his desk. Hi, it's me. Sengoku called the phone bug again, but this time it was five elders. It has been confirmed that the golden lion is dead and the body is in Chris' hands. Did he ask for anything? He offered to become Shishibukai, but Shishibukai was full and there were no more vacancies. Then get rid of one. The golden lion's body is of great significance to Marine. It can greatly deter the pirates in the world. We must get it. Just like that, a certain Shishibukai was sold by Sengoku and five elders in a few words. In the eyes of the world government, a mere Shishibukai is far from being comparable to a golden lion, even if he is just a corpse. Early the next morning, Chris got a call from Sengoku. Waking up early in the morning, Chris was still angry and very grumpy. Hey, which bastard doesn't sleep early in the morning? It's making a lot of noise. It's me, Sengoku. Sorry to disturb you, goddamn bastard. Sengoku's words can't hear any emotion, and he can't change his expression when facing Chris scolding. He is worthy of being the marshal who has led Marine for decades. Oh, so it's Marshal Sengoku. What's the matter? Has the world government agreed to my terms? The government agrees, but you need to get rid of a Shishibukai yourself. As long as you succeed, you can top his position. The world government obviously did not allow Sengoku to do this, but Sengoku made such an additional requirement on his own initiative. This is also one of Sengoku's plans. If Chris loses the battle, he can only be blamed for being too weak and not qualified to be the seventh king Wizei. The golden lion's body will not be handed over to you until I see that the world government confirms that I have become Shishibukai. Chris had expected it, so he agreed. Advertisement. But the golden lion's body will not be given to them so easily, and Marine's turning speed is faster than turning the pages of books. Handing over chips early is tantamount to courting death. Kizuru has already set off, he will go to the capital of water to trade with you, during this time, as long as you can defeat a Shishibukai, you are the new Shishibukai. Sengoku hung up the phone bug after he finished speaking, Chris shrugged, and didn't care. Hey, Captain, are you really going to be a Shishibukai? That's a Shishibukai. There are only seven super pirates in the world. I used to only look up to them. I didn't expect that one day my captain would be a Shishibukai. Saren and Jack are very excited. Being a Shishibukai crew member means someone will be covered in the future. Generally speaking, the Shishibukai crew is almost untouchable during the first half of the Grand Line. It's the last step. Sengoku that old bastard let us pull down a Shishibukai. Chris stood at the bow of the boat, not on a bone in piece of meat, and answered casually. Eating meat early in the morning is not afraid of indigestion? Then who shall we choose? Shishibukai are not easy to mess with. Dawes asked curiously, after seeing Kay locked all, he knew that it would be very difficult to pull down a Shishibukai. Hmph, what Shishibukai, is it as powerful as Golden Lion? Enel next to him snorted coldly and said, for Thor, who had fought with Golden Lion before, the other enemies are all rubbish rookies. Hey, hey, Thor, don't be too arrogant, Shishibukai are strong and weak, and the strongest among them is no weaker than that old lion. According to Chris's comparison, Hawkeye should be the strongest in Shishibukai. He once fought against the red-haired man before he lost his arm, which shows how powerful he is. Those who dawdle like Kalok are almost the weakest in Shishibukai. How about we go back to Alabasta and beat up that sand crocodile? Saren gloated and put forward his own suggestion, since Chris has already defeated Clock Kedar once, he can defeat him for the second time. Now with the ability of Lion Fruit, they can go to Alabasta very quickly, and the task can be completed in a few days. If Clock Doll knew about it, he would definitely say, I don't know if I should say MMP or not. Chris shook his head and smiled, giving up the plan to bully Lock Lock, let him be with Luffy. He should also know the cruelty of the Grand Line, the first enemy is a Logia-capable person. Now that the Sand Crocodile is ruled out, the weak Shishibukai is the only one left. The Shining Galaxy soared into the sky, setting off a wave of air and rushing into the clouds. Advertisement. Residents of the Water City only saw a black dot that was fleeting, and then disappeared into the vast sea. The Magic Triangle is shrouded in black mist all year round, and it is dark. The Pirates of Common will soon lose their way when they enter the sea area. But that didn't stop Chris much. In the perception of observation hacky, Chris found out the safest route. The Shining Galaxy flew in the air, unimpeded all the way, and came to the sky above a huge island. The island below looks like an island, but it's actually just a pirate ship. Wow, Captain, there is a strange island down there. Seeing that Chris stopped sailing, everyone knew that the destination had been reached. 
See clearly, that's not an island, it's actually a huge sailing ship thriller bark from West Blue. The banner features the leader Moria's onion haircut and a pair of flaming batwing skulls, and the front door is shaped like a giant mouth designed to catch passing ships. More than 100 ships go missing in the magic triangle every year, and it is Moria who hides here that caused this disaster. He captures the pirates who come and go, snatches their shadows to create his own zombie army, and looks forward to returning to New World to seek revenge from Kaido one day. After listening to Chris' description of Moria, everyone on the boat except Enel was a little terrified, and cold sweat broke out on their foreheads. As expected of a Shishibukai, if you find one at random, it will do such horrible things. Lock D.A.R. is not bad. In order to become the hero of Alabasta, he has been doing good deeds, and he has always presented a righteous face in the eyes of the public. And this Moria actually wants to get rid of 100 pirate ships every year, how many people have to be killed? By the way, Captain, is the following one our target? Enel is the only one who is not afraid. During this period of time, he has been learning about the distribution of the Grand Line's combat power, and he has a preliminary understanding of his own combat power. Chris mentioned that he was almost invincible in the first half of the Grand Line. After he learns armament hacky, even in the New World, as long as he doesn't provoke the Four Emperors, he can still thrive. As far as he knows, in Chris's ranking of Shishibukai, Moria is simply a parallel importer, ranking second to last. What is there to be afraid of such a guy, he can solve it by himself. But Chris won't let him solve it alone. Moria is a big pirate with a reward of 32,000 baileys, which is a huge sum of money. Chris spent another 600 million to buy the peak color and armament hacky, and then spent another 100 million to strengthen the body, and now the deposit is only 1 billion. No amount of money is enough to spend, and Chris covets mobile ATMs like Moria. The Shining Galaxy landed and docked, and the pirates on the mast were hunting. Advertisement. Captain, are we going to go in like this? It's a bit too arrogant, isn't it? S.A. Lin felt that this kind of action should be sneaked in secretly, and there is no way to enter through the main entrance swaggeringly. Yahahahaha, there is nothing to be afraid of. With the strength of this god, a mere Moria can be solved in three or two strokes. Enel is very satisfied with Chris's arrogant attitude. If Shendu is not arrogant, can he still be considered a god? Chris didn't answer Salim's words. His observation hacky was fully activated, covering the entire thriller bark. In his perception, the surrounding forest is full of breath, which should be Moria's zombies on the island. There are enemies everywhere here, go and play by yourself. Also, remember to find a zombie warrior and bring back the black sword Kiyoshui in his hand. Now that it's here, Heideo Kiyoshui can't let it go, this is the second Heideo that has appeared so far. Except for the black knife knight in Hawkeye's hand, only the black knife Kiyoshui in Ryoma's hand remained. After everyone in the galaxy pirates left, Chris took Enel to the castle in the center of the island. Nano's home is Moria's lair. Give him an appetizer first, Thor. Looking at the majestic castle in front of him, Chris signaled Thor to make a move with Moria. Thunder God chuckled, his arm turned into a violent thunderbolt, and then the thunderbolt rushed into the clouds. God's punishment. A thick thunderbolt crashed down, hitting Xylai's zombie castle. With a bang, the castle exploded, the walls collapsed, and dust filled the air. A group of zombies rushed out of the castle, but they were charred by Enel's lightning as soon as they stepped out of the gate. Which bastard did it? A titan more than four meters tall came out of the dust. He had a fiery haircut, looked like a devil, had two horns on his forehead, and typical pointed ears and teeth. There are cross-shaped stitches resembling sutured wounds from the head to the neck, and they wear shirts with bat collars and gothic art clothing. Is it just you two? Destroy my castle, and use your shadows to atone for it. Shadow horn gun. Two of Black's massive spears impaled Chris and Enel in an instant, incredibly fast. He 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 he, the shadows of the two of you look very good, and you will definitely be able to create very powerful zombies. Moria thought Chris and Enel were killed, took out a pair of large scissors, and walked up to cut off their shadows. Advertisement. Chapter 68 Kill Moria? Third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Boom. A quicksilver fist carrying armament hacky hit Moria's face, sending him flying more than 10 meters away. Hey, hey, Moria, we're not dead yet, you want to cut our shadows, aren't you in a hurry? Both Chris and Enel's observation hacky have been cultivated to a very high level, and it is instantly felt that Moria's shadow horn gun does not carry armament hacky. Since there is no hacky, of course there is no need to dodge. The beaten Moria left a fist mark on her face, spit out a mouthful of bloody phlegm, and stared viciously at Chris and Enel. Bastard, are you two actually Logia capable? If he still can't see it by this time, then he is really too stupid. Two Logias are here together, what is your purpose? Cold sweat oozes from Moria's forehead, and suddenly there is a feeling of impending disaster. Chris grinned, his smile full of sunshine, Senior Moria, I hope you can take the initiative to contact Marine and resign from the position of seven warlords of the sea. Moria's pupils shrank, and the veins on her forehead rioted, are you kidding me, bastard? What Chris said wasn't just provocative, it was blatantly insulting. In Moria's view, Chris trampled his dignity under his feet, which was more painful than killing him. Cage warrior. A shadow appeared behind Chris and punched him down. Chris turned around to dodge, and kicked the shadow away with a kick. Enel unleashes a brontosaurus, which explodes after hitting Moria. Standing up from the center of the explosion, Moria was scorched all over, but his physical strength was so high that Enel's brontosaurus could not defeat him yet. Moria's eyes were tearing apart, and she said in one word, 260 sentences, Logia Thunder Fruit Ability. It's not only Chris who is troublesome, this man in front of him also puts a lot of pressure on Moria. Faced with two Logia Ability users at the same time, and both of them have mastered the color of knowledge and armament hacky, no matter how arrogant Moria is, she understands that it will be difficult to be good today. What is your purpose in doing this? Even if I give up the name of Shishibukai, can you take over? Shishibukai belongs to the world government, and it cannot be easily shaken. If you can change one after defeating one, then Shishibukai will lose face, and this force will have no deterrent effect on pirates. Advertisement. Of course, Marshal Sengoku said it himself, as long as I pull down a Shishibukai, tomorrow they will announce that I, John Chris, will be the new Shishibukai. There is nothing to hide about the deal with Sengoku. After the news of Chris becoming a Shishibukai spreads, anyone with power in the world can find out if they want to. Chris also wants to see Moria's reaction after hearing the news. You know, Marine is blatantly selling him out. 
Sure enough, when he heard what Chris said, Moria was so angry that his face was distorted, and his whole body was shaking. That bastard Sengoku, how dare he do this? Isn't he afraid that the world government will hold him accountable? Moria thought it was done by Sengoku without telling the world government. Chris chuckled, with teasing eyes, Senior Moria, do you think Sengoku can agree without the consent of the world government? What? Moria seemed to have been hit hard, and she took several steps back. Then Moria asked Chris, what kind of deal did you make with Marine that they could agree to such outrageous terms? Even the world government is involved, what leverage does Chris have to allow the world government to make such a choice? Moria feels a bit cold behind her back. What is it that makes world government and Marine tear up the agreement and sell a dignified Shishibukai to a newcomer? Chris cut Moria's shadow fighter in half with a knife, and then looked at Moria with a playful smile, nothing, just give them the body of the Golden Lion Senior as a gift. As Chris' voice fell, the surrounding environment became extremely calm. Moria's mind went blank, it's like that. Hearing this answer, he understood everything. What does the Golden Lion's body represent? What does it mean for the Marine and the world government? Moria knows it all. Now he figured it out, the chips offered by Chris were too big, far more than the value of one Shishibukai, so Marine and world government sold him. Do you understand now? Senior Moria, in Marine's eyes, you are just a pawn that can be discarded at any time. Chris's cold voice appeared in Moria's ear, Moria was stunned by the news just now, but Chris caught him, flutter, Zanjitsu pierced the chest from the back, the blade was black. After pulling out the knife, Chris turned around and swung it, throwing off all the remaining blood on the blade, leaving a sickle-shaped blood moon on the ground. Damn it, I won't let you go, Sengoku, world government, you bully people too much. Moria clutched her chest and roared to the sky, then looked at Chris, it's not that easy to defeat me, where the shadows are gathered. In the forest, in the castle, and under the ground, countless shadows came out and entered Moria's body, and his body was getting bigger and bigger. Advertisement. 700. 800. 900. 1000. Moria fused the power of 1000 shadows, and its body was as big as a mountain. With one foot, it collapsed the zombie castle. Little devil, today I will sink you into the sea. The enlarged Moria is like a giant beast, and even the voice is dull and terrifying. Yeah ha 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 ha, is this zombie really smart? The lightning that Enel shot couldn't do him any harm. Boom, Moria's fist fell, and the entire thriller bark began to vibrate, and the shockwave spread around, and the ground was covered with cracks like spider webs. This is the power that Moria fused with 1000 shadows, one punch is enough to destroy an island. Chris and Enel flew out of the dust, avoiding Moria's slap. It's useless, Moria, how can you beat both of us when you can't even know Haki? I don't know why, but Moria doesn't know armament Haki. Could it be that he broke into the new world by relying on his arrogance and fruit ability? Or was he, like Clock Kedar, disheartened after being defeated by the four emperors, and Haki regressed too badly? There is no point in worrying about these things now, Chris had a thought, and a column of mercury more than 30 meters thick was suspended beside him. The column of mercury is about 100 meters long, with an extremely sharp tip, and then it turns into black. Moria, this is the mercury needle I made specially for you. It's so thick and big, it's only used for you, you should feel honored. With a wave of Chris's right hand, the mercury needle shot out piercing through Moria's chest with a puff. After Moria got bigger, she couldn't fully control such a huge body and moved very slowly. In front of Chris, such Moria is simply a living target. One thousand shadows emerged from his body continuously, and Moria's body also changed back to its original form at a speed visible to the naked eye. Losing Moria's control, the shadows plundered by him flew out of the island one after another. On this day, countless people recovered their lost shadows and were no longer afraid of the sun. Hey, hey, this Moria is too weak. I knelt before my god started warming up. Are all Tian Wuha like this? Seeing Moria who was instantly killed by Chris, Enel looked dissatisfied. Advertisement. That's it, that's it. Laozi only made three tricks in total, can you last a little longer, are you still a man like this? Moria. Chris also shook his head, Moria's strength has indeed regressed too much. He has been hiding in this gloomy devil delta for more than ten years, never in contact with the outside world. Every day besides sleeping, he bullies the group of weak chicken pirates passing by, daydreaming about creating an army of zombies. If Kaido knew that there was such a thing staring at his head every day, he might jump to this island and commit suicide. Ding dong, it was detected that host killed Shishibu Kaimoria, and received a bounty of 320 million, and the balance is now 1.32 billion. This time the system came in a timely manner, and finally there was no delay in salary. Now that Moria has been dealt with, it's time to notify our marshal. Chris took out his phone bug and dialed Sengoku, hello, I'm Chris, is Marshal Sengoku there? I'm going to wake him up and pee, Marshal's office. Hearing the voice from the phone bug, Sengoku's head was full of black lines, shut up, Yinhi, do you want to die? Garp next to him also heard Chris's voice, and spouted out a mouthful of tea, telling Sengoku to get up to pee, but he couldn't figure it out. Ta ha ha ha, this kid named Chris is full of ideas, I like him quite a bit. Shut up, Garp. Sengoku gave Garp a hard look, and then said, Jinga, why contact me? Oh, I just had a friendly negotiation with Senior Moria. He said that he voluntarily quit seven warlords of the sea and strongly recommended me as his substitute. Chris sat on Moria's dead body and looked at Moria as he spoke. Chris is very worried that Moria will cheat the corpse after hearing this, after all, he is the king of zombies. Have you fought Moria? What kind of friendly negotiation? Even a three-year-old wouldn't believe this, but Sengoku was sure that Chris must have troubled Moria. Judging from the current situation, Chris must have solved Moria. Since this is the case, Marine will announce that Moria has voluntarily withdrawn from seven warlords of the sea, and you, the galaxy, will be the successor. Sengoku paused, then asked again, what about Moria? How is he? Now that Chris has been decided to become seven warlords of the sea, then Moria is useless. If he can be arrested at the same time, it will save Marine's effort. Chris smiled playfully and said, Oh, Senior Moria has already fallen asleep, but he may sleep for a long time this time, and I'm afraid you will never have the chance to see him in your life. Advertisement. Chapter 69 All members of the Galaxy Pirates are offered a reward. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. It's best if he can't wake up. 
Sengoku understood what Chris meant, and then said with a warning tone, Kizuro will be in the water city soon, don't use your brains, you don't want this deal to fail, do you? Don't worry, Mr. Sengoku, I will entertain Kizuro Admiral with good food and wine. Oh, by the way, what kind of beauties does he like? Shall I find some beauties to comfort him? Hearing Chris teasing, Sengoku's face darkened even more, and he shouted, Don't do unnecessary things, just wait. Then he hung up the phone bug, but Chris still heard Garp's laughter and Sengoku's roar from over there. Did you all hear that? Chris has finished with Moria, and now it's too late to get rid of him. Sengoku frowned, looked at the many officers in the office, said, One step at a time, Chris is now a total problem. Are you really going to make him a Shishibukai? This old man will never agree. How will the sailors who died at his hands rest in peace? While speaking, Akina slammed his fist on the meeting table, and the fist has turned into magma. Crane Vice Admiral's face remained unchanged, and he said lightly, The key now is Golden Lion, is there any evidence that he died at the hands of Chris? The CP organization has investigated, and before the Guy Island incident, Chris did appear there, and his destination was Sky Island. They have reason to believe that Chris successfully boarded Sky Island, and he met Golden Lion on Sky Island. Golden Lion has been able to disappear for more than ten years. Maybe it is because of the power of lion fruit that he hid in the sky, so the marine and world government can't find any traces of him. After listening to Sengoku's words, everyone present was thoughtful. If you look at it this way, then everything makes sense. Based on that kid, can he really defeat that old fellow Golden Lion? I don't quite believe it. W. Garp crossed his legs and said with a piece of senbei in his mouth. Sengoku ignored the scene, took two photos from the adjutant and threw them on the table. According to the news from CP, there are two more members of the Galaxy Pirates, and this man named Enel is very noteworthy. According to what the witnesses saw in CP's investigation, this man is very likely to be the one with the strongest Logia Thunder Fruit ability. Chris was able to defeat the Golden Lion because of the assistance of this man. As soon as the word Logia came out, the office was quiet, followed by noise and commotion, even the sleeping Aokiji woke up. Ah la 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 la, is it Logia Thunder Fruit? The world government has been searching for it for so many years but failed to find it. I didn't expect it to be eaten by him. Aokiji glanced at Enel's photo, then threw it to Akainu. Akainu took a look and remained silent, and then the photo was burned to ashes and scattered down. The power of Logia Devil Fruit is too great, and Thunder Fruit is one of the best, and the world government has been looking for its whereabouts. Unexpectedly, it finally fell into the hands of the pirates. Advertisement. Sengoku has a headache and doesn't know what to do with Enel? If it is not stopped, with the power of Thunder Fruit, Enel will definitely become a pirate not weaker than Admiral in the future. But Marine is now negotiating with the Galaxy Pirates, and Chris will soon become Shishibukai. Once the deal is successful, Enel will be protected by Shishibukai, and even Marine can't shoot him. Sengoku sighed deeply, what a dilemma. Can't Vice Admiral Chris be removed during the transaction? Akina looked at Sengoku and asked. I've sent Kizuro, he'll take the opportunity to test Chris, and if he can, he'll do it. What Akina can think of, Sengoku has thought about it a long time ago and will wait until now. According to the requirements of the world government, the most important thing now is to trade with Chris and get the body of the Golden Lion, so as to deter the pirates in the world. At the same time, Chris's galaxy pirates defeated Moria, and Marine just took this opportunity to remove him. Bounties for everyone in the galaxy pirates will go up? At the end of the meeting, Sengoku gave orders to the world government, and the galaxy pirates made their name on the Grand Line once again. Three days later, the capital of water. The Shining Galaxy was docked at the port, and the pirates who entered the port ran away after seeing the flag above, and did not dare to approach at all. The current Galaxy Pirates are almost synonymous with invincibility in the first half of the Grand Line. Chris was wiping a black knife, and on the table next to him was a newspaper with news about the Galaxy Pirates defeating Moria. The black knife was found by Saline and the others. It was exactly the black knife Kiyoshui requested by Chris. Chris tried it, and it was really sharp. Such a big fast knife is very good as a collection, and with the Sakura Ten and Deadwood obtained from Golden Lion, Chris has four big fast knives. Looking at the contents of the newspaper, the world government not only did not cover up the news of Moria's defeat this time, but instead contributed to the flames behind it. One is to enhance Chris's reputation. Only when he is famous enough can he deter the pirates of the Grand Line. The second is to pave the way for Chris, so that he can go to Shishibukai justifiably. The last point is to divert attention. Chris knows that the news of Golden Lion's death will be exposed in the next few days. As long as the news of Chris defeating Moria spreads in advance, the whole world will think that Chris can become a Shishibukai because of this record. That way no one would link him to the death of the Golden Lion. The newspaper was also mixed with reward orders for the Galaxy Pirates, and this time all members were offered rewards. Galaxy Pirates Bounty Order Galaxy John Chris, heinous crime, no matter life or death. A reward of 500 million baileys is offered. Advertisement. Raytheon Enel, the heinous crime, regardless of life or death. A reward of 300 million baileys is offered. Killer Da's bonus, a heinous crime, life or death is always 100 million moly. The violent chef Salim Slam, the heinous crime, regardless of life or death. A reward of 600 billion baileys is offered. Villain Boatman Jack Friend, heinous crime, no matter life or death. A reward of 600 billion baileys is offered. Otokoshi Van Oka, a heinous crime, regardless of life or death. A reward of 500 billion baileys is offered. Ding dong, it is detected that the host's reward has increased to 500 million, and it will be automatically added to the bounty pool. The current balance is 1.47 billion. The electronic sound of the system sounded in Chris's head, and he earned another bounty, feeling very happy. However, the bounty prize made Chris a little dissatisfied. Only after defeating the Golden Lion did it rise to 500 million. The world government clearly drew a line between Chris and the Golden Lion. Otherwise, based on his record of defeating the Golden Lion, Chris's bounty would at least exceed 1 billion, and Enel who assisted him would have a bounty of at least 500 million. Are you kidding me? The bounty offered by this god is only 300 million baileys. Chris is dreaming Enel growls next to him. Are those idiots in Marine looking down on me? Even Moria, a rookie, can offer a reward of 320 million. Why is this god only 300 million? Oof, I'm going to sink naval headquarters now. 
Chris hurriedly stopped the flying enel. If this guy was impulsive, he would definitely do this kind of thing. Zero, asking for flowers. If a thunderbolt hits Marineford, Chris shudders when he thinks about the consequences. If there is no admiral guarding the headquarters, then Marineford will be completely destroyed, and Chris will definitely be hunted down by then. If Lei Ying was blocked, Chris' fate would not be good either. Naval headquarters will put this account on Chris's head, and will still send troops to kill. No matter what the result is, it is impossible for Chris to become Shishibukai. A bad naval headquarters and three admirals will hunt him down together. All right, Thor, the first reward is 300 million baileys, you are the first in the whole world. Hearing what Chris said, Enel's face brightened. Dawes and the others are quite satisfied, after all, it is already very rare to offer such a high reward for the first time. While Chris and others were fighting, three marine warships drove into the bay of the water capital side by side, and a laser beam was shot from the main ship, blowing up a pirate ship in the port into ruins. Well, that's Admiral Kizaru. The explosion caused riots, and among the many pirates, someone recognized the leading marine as Admiral Kizaru. As a result, the pirates in the water capital fell into a complete panic and began to flee for their lives. Advertisement. Hey, how come there are so many pirates in this place? It really scared the old man. Accompanied by Kizaru's wretched voice, he turned into a golden light and flew into the sky. Kizaru squeezed his hands into an orchid shape, and a dazzling golden light bloomed between his thumb and forefinger. Eight foot Kain Guyu. Countless laser bombs shot out from the fingertips, blowing up more than a dozen pirate ships on the sea to pieces. Boom 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 boom. The sound of explosions resounded endlessly, and the sea water poured back, almost setting off a tsunami. Hey, hey, what's the situation? Why are there so few? Chris ran to the bow to check the situation, just in time to see a man whoosh appeared on the galaxy room. He was wearing a yellow and white striped suit, with a beard around his face, and he looked like a monkey. He also wears a pair of sunglasses over his face, which look like they're the same ones Chris wore, just in a different color. Yo, you're John Chris, right? Speed is power, have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? Kizaru came up and made a move without saying a word, one of his long legs had turned into a photon, and he kicked towards Chris' head wolfishly from the side. No, Chris chuckled. Immediately, he also kicked back with a roundabout kick, kicked away Kizaru's flying kick, and also kicked away the lasers on Kizaru's feet. Boom, the laser shot into the town of the water capital, and the moment it landed, it caused a violent explosion. Kizaru's sparkling fruit is too powerful, a random laser can cause huge damage, and the city of water has suffered heavy losses under this laser. Hearing the movement of the bow, all the members of the galaxy pirates came to the bow, and the position they were standing on faintly formed a tendency to encircle Kizaru. Hey, hey, Kizaru Admiral, as a marine, you are so unscrupulous in destroying the town, isn't it a bit bad? Chris himself teleported to the mast, watching the smoke in the distance and teased Kizaru. Kizaru's complexion was a little ugly, and he wanted to show off, but he didn't expect to be tricked by Chris. That's right, Chris did it on purpose just now, his roundhouse kick deliberately sent Kizaru in that direction. As for the damage done, it's all Kizaru's fault, so what's his business? P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately typing, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 70 Confrontation with Admiral Kizaru, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Marine is going to town to evacuate people and lead disaster relief. After ordering the soldiers under him, Kizaru looked at Chris with a solemn expression. After the test just now, he was sure that Chris's sense of knowledge and armament hacky were both strong. Then he glanced at the members of the galaxy pirates again. When he saw the thunder and lightning dancing on Enel's body, his pupils shrank and he sighed inwardly. It seemed that Sengoku's plan had failed. Sengoku had previously ordered Kizaru to test Chris' strength to see if he had the strength to kill the Golden Lion. If there is, make a deal with Chris according to the original plan and get back the body of the Golden Lion. If not, the second set of plans will be implemented to wipe out all members of the Galaxy Pirates in the water capital. Looking at Chris and Enel now, Kizaru knows that it is impossible for him to destroy the Galaxy Pirates by joining forces. Oh, oh, don't get me wrong, brother Chris, I was just saying hello to you just now. Kizaru suddenly showed a strange uncle smile, he looked very kind, if he hadn't known him, Chris would have believed him. Chris also showed an expression of sudden realization, and said, that's it, that's why I said that Kizaru Admiral has the best temper among the three admirals, why wouldn't he fight and yell to kill me as soon as he sees me? Chris's expression was teased with 543, and his eyes kept looking at the ship debris floating on the sea, the meaning of which was self-evident. Kizaru nodded, turning a blind eye to Chris teasing, and instead said, that's right, the old man has always been kind to others, brother Chris really understands me. Chris rolled his eyes, expressing helplessness at Kizaru's thick skin. Okay, okay, let's get down to business. Chris waved his hand, not wanting to talk nonsense with him anymore. Kizaru sighed, oh, brother Chris is really troublesome, and the old man doesn't even have time for vacation. This old man is here to confirm the body of the golden lion, please brother Chris take me to have a look. When it comes to business, Kizaru also put away his sloppy look, and now he looks like a marine admiral. Chris waved his hand, and a mercury coffin floated out of the cabin. After opening the coffin, Kizaru saw the golden lion's corpse, embalmed with mercury, and the golden lion's corpse was still lifelike. Seeing that the golden lion was dead, Huang Yuan showed a super exaggerated expression, it's really scary, brother Chris can actually defeat the golden lion in legendary, it's really amazing. Advertisement. Seeing that Kizaru can act so well, Chris's heart of actor has been revived. He also showed an exaggerated expression and said, it's really scary. At that time, the body of senior golden lion suddenly fell from the sky and hit my pirate ship. At that time, I thought I was going to die. Isn't it just acting skills? Who wouldn't? Seeing Chris imitate his speech, the corner of Kizaru's mouth twitched, and suddenly had the urge to kill Chris. Only now did he realize that the way he usually speaks is so embarrassing? Kizaru restrained his expression and said seriously, since the golden lion is here, why don't you leave him to us? Kizaru raised his hand to take the quicksilver coffin, but Chris stopped him halfway. At this moment, the atmosphere on the ship was very solemn, like a powder keg that was about to explode. The people of the galaxy pirates and marine behind Kizaru are all ready for battle. Kizaru was taken aback for a moment, then smiled and said, Brother Chris, what do you mean by stopping me? Seeing Kizaru pretending to be stupid, Chris secretly admired his thick skin in his heart. 
Mr. Kizura may have forgotten something. In a transaction, of course, you pay the money and deliver the goods. Only Kizura can do this kind of stupid thing, Akina's tantrum and Aokiji slacker haven't thought about it yet. It seems that Sengoku sent Kizura for a reason. Kizura raised his forehead, as if he suddenly realized, I almost forgot, really, alas, old people's memory is not good. With a wave of his hand, an adjutant behind took out a document and handed it to Chris, which was the cooperation agreement between Marine and Shishibukai. The agreement states that Shishibukai can legally plunder non-government alliance countries, and Marine will not take action on this. From the moment the document is issued, the reward order of the Galaxy Pirates will be stopped. However, the affiliated pirates of the Galaxy Pirates do not have this right, and plundering is still a crime, and the bounty will continue to increase. The most important point is that the world government has the right to forcibly summon the seven warlords of the sea. If they refuse, the name of Shishibukai will be banned. Chris read the agreement at a glance and found nothing special. When Chris was looking at the agreement, Kizuro also said, let Chris go to the Holy Land within a week, sign the formal agreement, and attend the seven warlords of the sea meeting. The main content of this meeting is about Chris replacing Moria as Shishibukai. Tell Sengoku Admiral that I will go. Advertisement. Chris raised his head and sent the Quicksilver Coffin to the Marine warship. A dozen sailors could move it together. Since the transaction is completed, the old man will not stay any longer. Seeing that Kizuru was about to leave, Chris said, Kizuru Admiral, do you want to stay and have a banquet? I can find some beauties to comfort you. There is a bit of cheapness in Chris's teasing expression, you can imagine for yourself. Kizuru was taken aback for a moment, and then coughed a few times, the old man still has work to do, so I don't have time. Then he gave Chris a regretful look, and any man would understand that look. Chris nodded, and said with admiration, Kizuru Admiral is indeed a role model for my generation. Working so hard, Sengoku Admiral should really give you a raise. Kizuru seemed to have met a bosom friend, and said, That's right, that's right, the old man's salary is too low, as long as the salary is in place, four emperors can give him nothing. After Chris and Kizuru flattered each other, Kizuru took Marine and left. Looking at the three warships in the distance, Chris threw the seven warlords of the sea agreement into the sea with a wave, like throwing a pile of garbage. Saren and Jack were shocked, Captain, why did you throw away the agreement? Aren't we relying on it to become seven warlords of the sea? Chris chuckled and said, Idiot, becoming a Shishibukai depends on strength, not a few scraps of paper. If Chris didn't block Kizuru just now, then these are just a pile of waste paper to Chris, and Marine can go back anytime if he wants to. Kizuru's ability to not do anything to Chris now is entirely based on Chris's experience. These seven warlords of the sea agreements can only come into effect after the two parties reach a balance. When Chris goes to the Holy Land, Marine will probably give him one last test. If Chris passes, then Marine will officially recognize him as a member of the seven warlords of the sea. Hey Thor, how are you feeling? Chris turned to Enel and asked. Enel put away his usual arrogance, and said with a serious face, as expected of Marine Admiral, it puts a lot of pressure on me. When the galaxy pirates confronted Kizuru, Enel used observation hacky to perceive Kizuru's breath. Kizuru's breath entered the deep sea, Enel knew that if he faced this person, he had no chance of winning. You're right, there are so many strong people in the sea, and the ability of a mere Logia is nothing. Chris looked at the vast sea and said, Marine and Admiral are all Logia ability users, and each of them has been developed to the state of awakening. Besides, their Teijetsu and Haki have all been cultivated to a very high level, and they have no flaws in their bodies, so they can become the highest combat power of Marine to deter the world. Advertisement. Awakening, what is that? Hearing the word awakening, Enel was slightly taken aback, and asked Chris curiously. Awakening is a higher level ability of Devil Fruit. When Devil Fruit is awakened, it can affect things other than the ability user itself. The greatest power of the awakened Logia ability user is the ability to permanently change the climate of a place. After the Summit War, Akainu and Aokiji competed for the position of Marshal, and fought on Pankasa Island for 10 days and 10 nights, and finally turned the island into an island of ice and fire, half a volcano and half an iceberg, and the climate was permanently changed? Is the awakening of Devil Fruit so strong? After listening to Enel's words, Enel yearns for it. Chris shook his head, not expecting much from Enel. The awakening of Devil Fruit is very difficult. Only by developing Devil Fruit to the limit can there be a slight possibility of awakening. This requires not only talent, but also a little bit of luck. There are many strong people in the sea today, but only a handful of them can awaken Devil Fruit. And the only ones who can awaken Logia are Marine and Admiral. These three are not only talented, but also the training they put in is beyond the reach of ordinary people. System, if I want to awaken the Quicksilver Fruit, how much will it cost? Ding, the awakening of the Quicksilver Fruit will cost 2 billion Baileys, and now the host only has 1.47 billion Baileys, and the balance is insufficient. Depend on. Seeing this number, Chris was stunned. It was a full 2 billion. The system is treating Chris like a pig. Hello? System, you have a bug in 2.5, right? Awakening costs 2 billion, why is it so expensive? Host, you need to know that Devil Fruit is very difficult to awaken, and some people can't even awaken after exercising for a lifetime, especially those powerful high-level fruits. The Quicksilver Fruit is the high-ranking fruit in Logia. According to the qualification of the host, if you train yourself, it will take 10 years to have a chance of awakening. Moreover, the awakening of Devil Fruit also has a chance of failure. The system can make the host's awakening probability reach 100%, and the cost is 2 billion. Chris suddenly remembered that Devil Fruit's awakening might fail. Those Jailer Beasts in Impel Down Prison are Zoan's ability users who failed to awaken, and turned into outright monsters. Looking at his balance, Chris heaved a long sigh. The money is really not enough to spend. 1.47 billion is an unimaginable huge sum for many people. However, for Chris, the system balance is insufficient, and the purchase failed? It seems that I still have to find a way to make money. After becoming a Shishibukai, I will fight against a group of pirates. This is also fulfilling the duties of a Shishibukai. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 717 Warlords of the Sea Meeting, 3rd Update, please subscribe. Advertisement. 
Chris left the Galaxy Pirates in the City of Water, and went to the Holy Land of Marie Joys alone. There is no Shishibukai who brings his own pirates with him for such a thing. Chris stepped on a piece of mercury and flew in the air, quite like a cultivator flying through the clouds. The strong wind made Chris's windbreaker squeak, and the clouds and fog continued to recede. With Chris's speed, he could reach Marie Joys in one day. As for why he was flying on mercury, it was to hide his strength. Naval headquarters doesn't know that Chris is a double fruit ability user, so Chris uses this method to pretend. When others saw Chris stepping on the quicksilver and flew, they would only think it was the power of the quicksilver fruit. The double fruit ability user has not appeared before, if naval headquarters knows, the fear of him will be even deeper. In observation hacky perception, there are two pirate groups fighting on the sea below. With a wave of his hand, tens of thousands of mercury needles poured down like a torrential rain. Boom, the two pirate groups fighting each other were wiped out in an instant, and all members were killed. They still had doubts before they died, and they didn't know who killed them until they died. Ding dong, congratulations to host for beating the pirate and getting a bounty of 30 million. The current balance is 1.5 billion. Chris shook his head, disgusted. There is only 30 million bounties for destroying two pirate groups. These guys are too cheap, right? However, no matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat. Chris now wants to save money to awaken devil fruit. You can get 30 million with a wave of your hand, which is not a loss. Chris disappeared into the air, leaving only 04 surrounded by two dilapidated pirate ships and a ship full of corpses. When the two ships were discovered later, people thought they were ghost ships, and a legendary was left behind. While Chris was heading to the Holy Land, the rest of the Shishibukai also received summons to the seven warlords of the sea meeting. This kind of meeting will be held every few years, because it is not mandatory, Shishibukai cannot go if he doesn't want to, and Marine doesn't care. In Marine's expectations, two out of seven people can appear, which is already a lot. Empress Hancock smiled disdainfully after receiving the summoning order, and put the matter behind her. For her, she never wanted to go to that place full of horrible memories in her life. Jinbei is a murloc, and he joined Shishibukai for peace between the two races, but he knew that those people in the Holy Land didn't like murlocs, so he didn't want to go either. Advertisement. An isolated island in New World, with a castle in the center of the island. The whole island is deserted and looks eerie. There are countless such islands in the New World, but it is different here, because the person who lives on the island is the world's number one swordsman, Hawkeye My Hawk. My Hawk stood at the window, holding Chris's bounty in his hand. Galaxy Chris, I didn't expect to grow into a person who can influence the world so quickly, how is your sword skill? There was a sharp light in My Hawk's eagle eyes, and his fighting spirit was rising. It has been too long since he became the number one swordsman in the world, his ambition has been realized, and now all he is left with is endless emptiness and loneliness. Hawkeye is the most idle Shishibukai in the One Piece world. He is bored every day, so he often goes out to find some pirates to pass the time. In the original book, Hawkeye chased and killed the Creek Pirates just to pass the time. Because of this, Hawkeye is the Shishibukai who kills the most pirates, and he kills more pirates than the other six combined. New World, Derice Rosa, Royal Palace, Cha Chaka Kekeka, I read it right, Yin He, you came so soon. Doflamingo had a hunch when he saw Chris become famous all over the world for beating Moria. Sure enough, it didn't take long for him to receive a summoning order from the world government, asking him to attend a meeting about Chris succeeding Shishibukai. Zixashiksashiksi, the sea has been calm for too long, and the turmoil of the times is about to be remembered. Doflamingo's wild laughter wandered around the palace, and with his laughter, a reward order fluttered in the wind and flew into the distance, with Chris' smiling face on it. The bounty order seemed to travel through space, flying from Derice Rosa in New World to Alabasta, and then was slapped on the table by Lockdahl. Bastard, that guy has become a Shishibukai too, Moria, that idiot, will be defeated at this time. Lockdahl gritted his teeth. He and Chris had a deep-rooted feud. Originally, he wanted to find an opportunity to avenge him, but unexpectedly, he suddenly became a Shishibukai, equal to himself. Now Marine actually sends a letter asking him to attend Chris's coronation meeting. Isn't that a slap in the face? Lockdahl can guarantee that if he attends this meeting, he will be reduced to a laughing stock. Boss, are you not going to this meeting? Nico Robin didn't seem to see K. Lockdahl's ugly face. This sentence is completely adding fuel to the fire. Advertisement. Hmph, <laughs> don't go. Those bastards in Marine don't want to see me and Chris fight. Lockdahl said coldly, where's Pluton? Have you found out where it is? Robin frowned slightly, as if trying to hide something, and said, I found out, it is said that the Neferitali family has a historical text handed down from generation to generation, which probably records the location of Pluton. But only King Cobra knows the location of the historical text, and no one knows this secret except him. Lockdahl's expression was a little excited at first, but after hearing Robin's next sentence, he became livid again. He stared at Robin coldly, his murderous intent looming, although he felt that the woman in front of him was hiding something from him, but now she was still valuable, and it was not the time to attack her. Just above the red line, the Holy Land, Marie Joyce. Chris swaggered into the gate, and Marines stood on both sides of the road to welcome him. This feeling is really strange, a group of Marines lined up to meet a pirate. Guided by Rear Admiral, Chris walked into ten conference rooms. Hey, this is Miss Tsuru, Marines Chief Staff Officer, right? Chris was the first to say hello, showing a sunny smile. The Marines in the conference room seemed to be moved by this smiling face, and they couldn't imagine that Chris was a complete bastard. It's coming quickly, sit down first, there are still a few people who haven't come. Chris looked around, indeed, he was the only one who came now, and none of the other six people came. Why yin he, we finally meet. Suddenly, Doflamingo appeared at the window, and it was he who made the laugh just now. At the same time, Big Bear pushed the door open and entered. Wahahaha, heavenly yiksha, I'm looking forward to this day too. Chris also laughed, feeling that the two were old friends who hadn't seen each other for a long time. Chris he Doflamingo's words are so nonchalant that others are confused. Crane Vice Admiral felt a little strange, so he said, What? Do you two know each other? Why? Ivel, 
I don't know. I'm just very interested in this newcomer who has been in the limelight this year. Wah ha 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 ha. I don't know either. It's just that Heavenly Yuksha Da Flamingo is famous and I'm in awe. The two denied it at the same time, but Lieutenant General he kept it in his heart. Advertisement. If Chris and Da Flamingo have a secret cooperation, it must not be a good thing. After waiting for a long time, no one came, so Chris took out a glass of rum to pass the time. The Quicksilver fruit has its own storage capacity, and Chris has a lot of food with him. Da Flamingo was also bored, and used string string fruit to control two marines to kill each other. Crane Vice Admiral knew that Da Flamingo didn't dare to make a big deal, so he glanced casually, but didn't try to stop him. Only Big Bear sat on the sofa and read a book quietly, no matter what happened, it didn't affect him. Stop it, what do you think you look like? Are you here for a meeting or a fight? At this time, Marine Admiral Sengoku came in and shocked the scene at once. Then Sengoku showed a serious smile on his serious face, and said, Oh, 523, oh, I'm so sorry, I haven't greeted you yet, I didn't expect you to really come, you bastards of the sea. Doflamingo chuckled, are you complimenting me? Dakshin closed the book in his hand with a blank expression, Chris didn't say anything, and raised his glass to signal Sengoku. Sengoku walked to the main seat and sat down, glanced at the people present, and said, In my opinion, no one will come if we wait any longer. Two of the six people from seven warlords of the sea have come, and the attendance rate has exceeded my expectation gone. That's right, I didn't want to come either, it's just that dealing with the affairs of the country bored me a bit, so I came out to pass the time. Doflamingo climbed onto the conference table and sat down in the center of the table. So that's it, it's really troublesome, even if you pirates have established a country, then our marine has even more headaches. Sengoku folded his hands on his chest and said lightly. Doflamingo took away the ruling right of the Rice Rosa. Marine wanted to send troops to suppress, but was stopped by celestial dragons. The Rice Rosa was indeed the country of the Don Quixote family 800 years ago, but it was abandoned after they moved to the Holy Land. Facing the celestial dragons, even Marine is helpless, and can only watch Doflamingo, a pirate, become the king of a country. At this moment, footsteps sounded outside the door again, and then someone came and said, I've been listening to nonsense for a long time, and I wonder if I've gone to the wrong place. Seeing the people coming in, all the Marines in the room were sweating. Hawkeye put too much pressure on them, as soon as they saw his eyes, their bodies trembled involuntarily. If naval headquarters and Shishibukai still have an opposing attitude, then today's round table meeting is meaningless, right? No way, no way, even the most unlikely people have come. Doflamingo also looked at Hawkeye in surprise, not expecting him to come, because Hawkeye has never attended a meeting since the day Shishibukai was formed. Advertisement. Chapter 72 Fierce Battle with Hawkeye. First update. Please subscribe. Advertisement. Seeing the arrival of Hawkeye, even Doflamingo was surprised, because since the day Shishibukai was formed, Hawkeye hadn't attended the meeting of seven warlords of the sea. Sengoku was also surprised, looked at him and said, I didn't expect you to come, is there anything special about this meeting? Hmph, it's nothing, I'm just here to join in the fun. Then he looked at Chris who was drinking, because I'm a little interested in the pirates to be discussed at this meeting, that's all. Chris was taken aback for a moment, he had nothing to do with Hawkeye, when did he stare at him? Then, as if thinking of something, Chris' face became cloudy and uncertain. What Chris can think of, the people present can naturally think of too. Looking at the black knife on Hawkeye's back, and at the Zanjutsu on Chris' waist, everyone present was thoughtful. Since Chris' debut, not only is Devil Fruit's superb ability, but also his swordsmanship. Everyone present knows that although Chris is not a pure swordsman, his swordsmanship is comparable to that of a great swordsman. From this point of view, Hawkeye wanted to compete with him. Since you're here, sit down. Although Sengoku also wanted to see how much Chris's sword skills are, but now is not the time to compare swords. The content of this meeting is about Moria being expelled from Shishibukai. He was defeated by Chris and he is not qualified to continue to serve as the next Shishibukai. In order to ensure that Shishibukai can continue to deter the pirates of the Grand Line, our marine side invited Galaxy Chris to take over Moria's position as the new seven warlords of the sea. Do you have any suggestions? While Sengoku said he would take advice from the other Shishibukai, they all knew that Chris as seven warlords of the sea was a given. No problem, the strength is enough. The first to speak is Okumur, as the most loyal Shishibukai, he will not sing against Sengoku. I have no problem either, beating the two Shishibukai, Lok Dar, and Moria, is already eligible to sit here. Doflamingo chuckled and revealed everything about Chris beating Lok. It was the first time for Hawkeye and Big Bear to hear the news, and they looked at Chris in surprise. Sengoku took a deep look at Doflamingo, but Doflamingo turned a blind eye to it and kept smiling. Since everyone agrees, from now on, Galaxy Chris will officially become a member of Seven Warlords of the Sea. Jinga, after the meeting, you are left alone to sign the official pact of Shishibukai. The meeting lasted for a day, and when Chris signed the agreement and walked out of the Holy Land, all the people left. A puddle of quicksilver floated under Chris' feet, lifted him into the sky, plunged into the clouds and disappeared in Marie Joyce. Call out. Chris was flying well, and suddenly a slash came towards him, if he didn't stop, he would be cut in two. If someone looked from the sea at this time, the clouds in the sky seemed to be cut in half, and the entire sky was cut. Advertisement. Except for Hawkeye, Chris couldn't think of another one who could make this kind of slash. I thought he had already taken a step ahead. Hawkeye took the sea route, Chris took the empty road, and the two couldn't get together. Unexpectedly, even though Chris was flying in the sky, he was still stopped by him. It seemed that this battle was inevitable, Chris shook his head and flew towards the sea. Sure enough, a coffin boat was floating in the endless sea. It seemed that Hawkeye had been waiting for him here. Observation Hacky has comprehensive coverage. As long as Chris appears, he cannot escape the control of Hawkeye. Why, hit here. Chris looked around at the sea, there is no battlefield, there is a small island nearby, go there. Hawkeye arrived one step earlier and even picked the battlefield. Chris chuckled and disappeared instantly, leaving only a burst of breath. Hawkeye's expression remained unchanged, and he also disappeared on the coffin boat. Nameless Desert Island. Chris and Hawkeye stood facing each other. To be honest, I'm not a pure swordsman, and my swordsmanship is not very good, why are you staring at me? Chris slowly pulled out the Zanjutsu from his waist, and asked Hawkeye, The eyes of a swordsman can't deceive anyone, I can tell that you are a very excellent swordsman. 
Hawkeye's black knife has been unsheathed, the sword is full of intent, and the battle is imminent. Clang, boom, the two disappeared at the same time, and Zanjitsu and the black knife cut together. The hurricane caused by the collision raged around, and the big trees on the island were uprooted. The boulders around Hawkeye and Chris were also smashed into pieces by their sword energy. Boom, 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 every time Chris and Hawkeye fight each other, they are evenly matched. The sword energy aroused by each collision would cause a hurricane to rage. In less than half a minute, the two had already fought dozens of moves. The island was filled with sword energy, and the aura of the two gushed out, stirring up waves in the ocean outside the island. One knife flow, full moon cut. Chris rolled his body sideways in the air, slashing out hundreds of thousands of swords in one breath. All the sword chi slashes condense together and become a moon-shaped slash, boom, advertisement. Wherever the slash hits, the earth is torn apart, and the past is endless, black knife, cut. Hawkeye swung the black knife and sliced across, a giant slash collided with the full moon slash. The two slashes were deadlocked, and finally they both exploded. The shock wave caused by the explosion caused the entire island to shake. Chris and Hawkeye each took a step back, about 50 meters apart. Sure enough, I'm not mistaken, your sword skills are very powerful. Hawkeye's eyes are burning, and this is the look that will only be shown when seeing a good opponent. It is a great honor to be honored by the world's number one swordsman. Chris held Zanjitsu in his hand and put on a posture, facing Hawkeye he dared not be careless. So far Chris hasn't used Devil Fruit's power. Facing the challenge of the world's number one swordsman, Chris also felt excited. He also wanted to see how far his sword skills were from Hawkeye, looks like I had a great time playing today. Hawkeye rarely showed a smile, and the black knife in his hand was raised high, as if he wanted to split the world, and fell heavily. Then take out your strongest sword move. Chris holds Zanjitsu in his hand, and armament haki covered in pitch black meets him. The two black knives collided, and dense black lightning burst out. Like a lion majesty out of control, the black lightning destroys all accessible substances around it. The sword intent from the two of them surged up, tearing a big hole in the clouds behind their heads. From a distance, it looks like the sky is split. Holy land, Marie Joyce. Sengoku stepped out of the room and looked into the distance, a huge rift split the sky, clearly visible even at this distance from him. Crane Vice Admiral looked at this scene with a dignified expression, this should be Hawkeye and the Milky Way. They felt Hawkeye's fighting spirit in the conference room, and this scene happened not long after Chris left. Even a fool can guess the truth. I didn't expect Yin He to be able to fight like this with Hawkeye. It seems that we still underestimated him, and he must have hidden some tricks. Hawkeye's title as the world's number one swordsman is not a decoration. Shishibukai are strong and weak, and in Sengoku's eyes, Hawkeye is the strongest Shishibukai in the middle battle. But now Chris can be evenly matched with Hawkeye with only one person, which naturally aroused Sengoku's vigilance. On the nameless desert island, the battle lasted for a day and a night and finally came to an end. Advertisement. Compared with swordsmanship, Chris is not yet Hawkeye's opponent, but if he uses the fruit ability, the two sides are evenly matched. After the ravages of the two, the entire deserted island was in a mess, with sword marks everywhere and devastation. The most shocking thing is a crack that runs through the entire island, almost dividing the island into two. This was Hawkeye's full blow, Chris used the strongest black dragon to block it, and the final result was that it almost split the island? Chris sheathed Zanjitsu, and Hawkeye inserted the black knife behind his back. The battle has been fought until now, and neither side can do anything to the other, so they can only end in a tie. If you only compete in swordsmanship, I am not your opponent. Looking at Hawkeye on the opposite side, Chris took the initiative to admit his failure. There is nothing unspeakable about this, it is a fact. You are still young, and you still have a long time to pursue the highest state of Kendo, I just walked a few years longer than you. Hawkeye was silent for a while, and said so. Continue to become stronger, Chris, I will wait for you at the strongest position in Kendo. Hawkeye left such a sentence at last and disappeared into the sea. Chris also gained a lot from this battle. Fighting against the world's number one swordsman, Chris found many flaws in swordsmanship. When Chris absorbs all the experience of this battle, he believes that his swordsmanship realm will be improved to a higher level. The next day, the whole world was shocked by a news. Marine and the world government jointly announced, Nyohahao, that Jinka Chris will be the new Shishibukai. A few days after Moria was dismissed by Shishibukai, Chris was invited by Marine to become the new Shishibukai with the record of defeating Moria. As soon as this news came out, the pirates in Grand Line were completely excited. Countless pirate groups went to challenge Shishibukai one after another, wanting to use this to make their own reputation. Because of this, in the next few months, the remaining six Shishibukai will encounter challengers from time to time. Finally, after losing a large number of pirates, these people understood that Shishibukai is not so easy to challenge, and those who are not strong enough are courting death. There is no other person who is as successful as Chris. For a while, Chris's name resounded all over the world, everyone in the first half of the Grand Line was talking about him. West Blue, Chris Hometown. Countless people cheered because of Chris, and many pirate groups went to the Grand Line one after another. Some people regard Chris as an idol, thinking that they can do what Chris can do, so they also want to go to the Grand Line and become famous. And some people want to take refuge under Chris's command. As long as they have Shishibukai as their backer, they will be able to freely and freely in the Grand Line in the future. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 73 Chris, do you want to laugh at me and inherit Shishibukai? Second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. New World, Whitebeard Pirates. Marco took the latest newspaper and flew towards Whitebeard, yelling. Hey, Dad, this galaxy has become Shishibukai, it seems unlikely that you want to adopt him as your son. Gula la 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 la, this kid is quite capable. Seeing that Chris became Marine's lackey, Whitebeard not only didn't get angry, but praised him for his ability. Hey, Daddy, this guy is now Marine's lackey and our enemy. That's right, Daddy, after becoming a Shishibukai, can he still join the Whitebeard Pirates? 
People in the Whitebeard Pirates have been talking about it, since the last time Whitebeard said that Chris was pleasing to the eye and wanted to accept him as his son. These people are waiting for Chris to enter the new world, waiting to win him over and make him kneel down and call him daddy. Unexpectedly, this guy was recruited by Marine without a word. Goo la 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 la, what about the martial arts competition? Lousy is the day. Whitebeard laughed out loud, and his momentum exploded, shaking all the clouds in the sky away. Ha ha ha, yes, daddy is the strongest in the world, what is Amir Shishibukai? That's right, when he comes to new world, we'll beat him right away. As long as you join our Whitebeard Pirates, what does Shishibukai's name mean? Even if you give up, Marine doesn't dare to say anything. That's right, with our support, Jinga might be able to bear the titles of Shishibukai and Whitebeard Pirates at the same time. Backed by the strongest Whitebeard in the world, the members of the Whitebeard Pirates never put Marine and Shishibukai in their eyes. New World, Red Hair Pirates. Little ones, let's drink to Galaxy becoming a Shishibukai. The redhead raised a glass of wine and shouted at his crew. Hey, hey, Captain 607, he is Shishibukai, our enemy, why do we open a cup for him? Yes, yes, Captain, if we meet him in the future, he will probably be the enemy. Ah ha 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 ha, idiots, so what if they are enemies? When you encounter happy things, you have to hold a banquet. The redhead's heart is as broad as that of the dead Roger, even if he is an enemy, as long as he likes him, he will still appreciate him. In the eyes of redheads, Chris is such a person. Although they have never met, but for some reason, he just admires Chris. City of Water, Shining Galaxy. Chris is the only one left on the boat now. Advertisement. After Chris came back, he released Luchi and others from CP9. Now that he is Shishibukai, it is useless to keep them. As for Saline and the others, after hearing the good news, they all went to the town to drink and brag. Even the guy Thor went, and in just a few days, Thor turned into a big alcoholic. Enel from Sky Island has never drank alcohol and has become addicted since he had won. Hey, system, my task is completed, where is the task reward? Chris called the system in his mind, and the reward this time was a mysterious gift bag, which made Chris look forward to it. Ding dong, it is detected that the host has completed the task, and the mysterious gift package is being distributed. A gift bag appeared in Chris's hand with a red string tied on it. Of course, only Chris could see the scene. Ding, is host opening the gift bag now? Chris looked around, he was the only one on the boat now, no one would notice even if something strange happened. System, open the mysterious gift bag. He wants to see, what will he get? EJ, after opening the gift bag, a bunch of ribbons burst out, and then a key appeared in Chris's eyes. Ding dong, congratulations to host for getting a world key, which can open a world. Opening the world, wouldn't it mean traveling through the world? Chris never thought that the system would have such a function. Ding dong, remind the host that the world key is not used to travel through the world, but to open a concrete world. The host can visualize the things in this world. After the world is concretized, the system will identify the concretized things of the host and set a reasonable price for them. If the host wants to use it, it needs to spend money to buy it again. Hearing the system's explanation, Chris understood. As long as he has this key, Chris can open an imaginary world. It doesn't matter whether this world is real or not. As long as you can think of it, the system can be opened. It can be regarded as a kind of void creation. If Chris wants to use figurative things, he has to spend real money. For example, Chris embodies the prehistoric world. Then, as long as he has enough money, he can buy and use the innate spirit treasure inside. But Chris can also think that the price of Xientian Lingbao is not affordable for him, and maybe even one trillion Baileys cannot afford a Xientian Lingbao. Therefore, Chris must be very careful in choosing a concrete world. He must choose a world that he can bear, preferably at the same level as the world of One Piece. Only when the world level is similar, the monetary value of the two worlds can be restricted. This is a good thing. Chris sighed secretly in his heart. This key is equivalent to giving Chris the resources of a world. There are so many worlds that Chris can think of, and there are countless ones with high force values, such as those anime worlds and magic worlds. Advertisement. After thinking for a long time, Chris couldn't make a decision, and didn't know how to use this key. Forget it, I don't need it now. The resources of Pirate World are enough for me to use. Let's keep it for now. It may come in handy in the future. Although the world key is very good, it is useless to the current Chris, and it is a pity to discard it if it is tasteless. System, what is my next task? Ding dong, the task is being issued. Please host to become one of the four emperors. Reward, a mysterious gift bag. Sure enough, Chris had expected it. After Shishibukai comes four emperors, no problem. It's just that this task is too difficult for Chris now. The tasks issued by the system before were very simple, and Chris completed them without much effort. But at this point, the task is becoming more and more difficult. Let's just talk about the Shishibukai mission. If Chris didn't get the Golden Lion's corpse, it wouldn't be so easy to become a Shishibukai. There are quite a few people whose combat power exceeds Shishibukai, but Marine and World Government have choices, and not everyone meets their requirements. The task of four emperors is not in a hurry. First of all, we must improve the combat power of the Galaxy Pirates, and at the same time recruit a group of crew members. Chris's pirates don't have a ship doctor yet. Now that Shishibukai has the name, it is natural to recruit some affiliated pirates. Chris plans to lurk secretly under the banner of Marine for a few years, accumulate strength, wait for the right opportunity, and take the throne of four emperors in one fell swoop. Chris found Thor's gang in a tavern, and they were having a good time. But Chris didn't care, as a pirate, he naturally had to do whatever he wanted. The biggest dream of going out to sea is freedom. Just do whatever you think of. This is freedom. Hey, are you Jinga Chris who just became Shishibukai? As soon as Chris sat down, a rough man came up to ask for trouble. Thunder God and the others were sleepy and didn't care, after all, they were just a small mess. People around are also watching, wondering what will happen to this person who challenges Shishibukai. It's me, what, what's the matter? Chris looked at the person coming, a glass of wine in his hand. It just so happened that I had nothing to do these few days, and I was so bored that someone came to my door for fun, and Chris suddenly wanted to play with him. Lousy is the captain of the Curry Pirates, Curry Statham, I'm here to get your head today, so I'm asking if you're afraid. Curry reported his family first, feeling a bit jong er. Chris showed a bewildered expression, who is this guy, have you never heard of it? Hey, bastard, aren't you scared? Chris said with a straight face, I am Shishibukai, I will not be afraid. Advertisement. Then the corner of his mouth twitched, he wanted to laugh but held back. Hey, what are you laughing at? Bastard. 
Chris shook his head quickly. No, no, I was just thinking of happy things, and I didn't laugh at you. You go on, you go on. Curry didn't care, and continued, Yin He, obediently offer your head. As long as you take your head, Lao Zi will be famous in the world. I, before Curry could finish his sentence, Chris couldn't hold back any longer, burst out laughing, and kept patting his thigh. Hey hey hey. Curry slapped the table and yelled, Chris, are you laughing at me? I'm not kidding. Chris patted his cheeks, restrained his smile, and said seriously, I'm Shishibukai, I can't smile unless I can't help it. Then I couldn't hold back any longer, and burst out laughing. This guy is too Zhong Er, Chris's 8-pack ABS heard from laughing. The people around were also amused by the scene, the whole tavern was full of laughter and couldn't stop at all. Asshole, Lao Zi killed you? While everyone was laughing, Curry was so enraged that he swung a mace and threw it at Chris. Chris swung Zanjitsu, not out of the sheath, and blocked the mace with only the scabbard. Hey, don't worry, before taking my head, can I ask you a question? Hearing Chris ask this, Curry thought he was intimidated by himself, so he wanted to leave a last word. So he said, Mph, I, Mr. Curry, are famous for being kind. If you have any last words, just say them. Oh oh. Chris nodded like a chicken pecking rice, and then asked seriously, Are you trying to laugh at me to death, and then inherit my position as Shishibukai? There was silence in the tavern, and then a roar of laughter broke out. Ha 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 ha. Seeing Chris's serious expression, they thought that Chris was going to speak harshly, but they didn't expect to come here. God TM laughed me to death, taking over my Shishibukai position, this guy and he is so humorous. With the joke on, I feel like I can live ten years longer. Ha 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 ha, that's right, I really saw the biggest joke of Grand Line today. Everyone was talking, no matter how stupid Curry was, he knew he was being tricked by Chris, and his face turned red. Bastard, I'll kill you. Seeing the smashed mace, Chris looked terrified and shouted, Brother is good at martial arts, but his jokes are still a bit weaker than yours. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 74 Trafalgar Law, third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Seeing the smashed mace, Chris looked terrified and shouted, Brother is good at martial arts, but it's still a bit weaker than your jokes. Why don't you keep making me laugh? Maybe tomorrow you'll be the first person to laugh Shishibukai to death. It will definitely be famous all over the world, and maybe it will be recorded in the annals of history. Although Chris didn't fight back, his mouth pierced into Curry's heart like a sharp knife. Ahaha, ha, yes, yes, brother, keep making us laugh, you will kill Chris with laughter. Yeah yeah, we're all here to help you, take down one joke and kill Chris. As long as you laugh Chris to death, we are all witnesses, tomorrow you will become a legendary. Everyone in the tavern followed Chris and begged Curry to make Chris laugh. Ah ah, Curry's face twisted ferociously, suddenly a mouthful of old blood spewed out, and he half kneeled on the ground panting. Chris looked surprised, this guy was so excited by Chris' few words that he vomited three liters of blood, and his endurance was a bit poor. Hey, brother, are you okay? If you are not in good health, you need to take medicine. You can't stop taking medicine when you go out. Chris said with a worried face, it seems that the relationship between the two is very good. Asshole, Chris, I won't let you go. Curry gritted his teeth and said word by word. Chris looked confused, hey, brother, you are being unreasonable. I didn't touch you or hit you, what does it matter to me if you vomit blood? Everyone around here is watching, you are Pankai, what's wrong, brother? Looking at the half-kneeling curry, Chris had a heartbroken expression on his face. That's right, that's right, we've all seen it, they didn't touch you at all, you can't accuse good people casually. That's right, touching porcelain is not a good habit, brother, you have to change it. Watching a play is addictive, and when people around see this good show, they don't want him to stop. Ah, I will fight with you. Curry's eyes at this moment are full of despair and sadness, as if the whole world has abandoned him. Seeing him in such pain, Chris showed kindness, it's a pity that such an excellent drama star died like this. Kicking the rushing curry out of the tavern, his body smashed through several walls like a cannonball, and finally fell into the ruins and passed out. Chris didn't kill him, it ain't the heart of Mary. This curry made him so happy today, so let him go. Advertisement. With everyone in the Galaxy Pirates, Chris left here. I'm going, I really saw a good show today. That guy named Curry is too funny, right? There are many people who challenge Shishibukai, but like him, the whole world may not find a second one. I'm going home today to eat something good to make up for, if he accidentally dies laughing, then he will inherit my inheritance. That's right, that's right, I want to make up for it, otherwise, if I die laughing at him, wouldn't I want to inherit my pirate group? When the people in the tavern saw Chris leaving, they immediately talked about it. Today's scene has completely refreshed their three views. Chris didn't make a move, and just a few words made a pirate vomit blood with anger, making him invincible. And Chris tricks also opened their eyes. Chris didn't know why, what he said today was turned into a meme by them, and because of his fame, this meme was spread and spread wildly on the Grand Line. Curry was lucky because he made Chris laugh and saved his life. That's right, as long as you can save your life, what's the point of being a joke? Some people envy Curry's good luck. Few people who challenged Shishibukai survived. However, today Curry survived Chris with a joke, which is enough to become legendary. After today, Curry actually became famous in the Grand Line. When he knew that he became famous in this way, he really wanted to cry and wanted to die. The shining galaxy soared into the sky, carrying a gust of wind and flying away from the water capital. Shewin Island, located in the first half of the Grand Line, is famous for its rich herbal resources. There are merchant ships or pirates who come here from all over the world or the Grand Line to seek medicine. Some people make a lot of money, while others lose their fortunes and even stay here. Although Shewin Island is rich in herbal medicine resources, the terrain on the island is strange, densely covered with grotesque rocks, and steep and steep mountains. Countless people who come here to search for medicine die here every year. Because of the characteristics of this island, the doctors on this island are also very famous. Many famous doctors in the world were born here. Boom, the shining galaxy landed, the pirate flag on the mast fluttered in the wind, and the arrival of the galaxy pirates caused the port to fall into chaos. You know, Chris's name is well known to everyone. As a Shishibukai, he will be the focus no matter where he goes. There are still many pirate groups docked on the shore at the port. When they saw this flag, they sailed away one after another, like a mouse seeing a cat. Come disaster. 
Not only pirate ships, but also merchant ships. As a Shishibukai, Chris has the legal right to plunder. If he takes a fancy to their wealth, even if it is all robbed, Marine will not stand up for them. Those businessmen understand this truth and try to keep Chris as far away as possible. Captain, the people around seem to be afraid of us. Advertisement. Celine looked around, and found that the entire port, everyone's eyes are looking at this place, their eyes dodge, with awe, and fear. Yeah ha 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 of course, they must be in awe when faced with the coming of God. Enel likes this kind of look the most. In Sky Island before, as soon as he played, everyone was like this, and he was used to it. Ignore them, let's go. Chris ignored these passersby, landed on Shaywin Island first, and led them towards the town. The purpose of coming to Shaywin Island this time is to find a ship doctor, and there is still a shortage of doctors on Chris's ship. Before Dawes and the others were injured, they just sewed a few stitches casually and put on a bandage. If things are done so hastily, it is likely to leave sequelae. Doctors are very important for sailing. Injury is still a trivial matter, which can be seen and felt. What is terrible is the disease at sea, which is invisible and intangible, and it is hard to guard against. Don't you see that even Roger, the One Piece King, died of illness? Boom. As soon as Chris entered town, a man flew upside down and landed on his feet. Ha, huh, I'll fight. Along with the shouts, three more people flew out. If they were not all seriously injured, Chris would have thought they were hidden weapons to attack him. Zero, seeking flowers zero. Hey, isn't this island a doctor's island? Why is it so chaotic? Jack was in a daze. When he came in, he saw someone fighting. The law and order on this island must be too bad. Who said doctors can't fight? Where do you get the reason? Chris didn't know what the stupid big man was thinking, as expected, his brain was full of muscles. It's good to be able to fight. It's just suitable to be a partner. Let's go and have a look, Captain. Saline was very curious, and dragged Chris to watch the excitement. When I entered the venue, I found a large group of people gathered around the entrance of a small medical clinic, and there were more than a dozen big men lying crookedly on the ground, who seemed to be pirates. Hey, stinky bear, do you know the consequences of offending our raging cow pirates? The man who spoke looked like a captain, holding a knife and yelling fiercely. And it was a white bear that frightened him so much. Does this white bear look familiar? Advertisement. Chris's eyes lit up, as if he had accidentally found a big surprise. Hey, Beppo, come back quickly after the fight, there are still patients who need treatment. A smoky voice came from the medical hall, the voice was deep but nice. Hi, sorry, I'll be right over. The white bear who heard the voice was very panicked, immediately bowed and apologized, and then kicked the pirate captain away. Hey, why can't these people behave well? They come here every day to find a fight. A mere pirate dares to act wild here, get out of here quickly. Seeing the doctor beating someone, the onlookers actually applauded for them, and depending on the situation, such things did not happen once or twice. There's something wrong here. Captain, is this white bear a Zoan capable? Dawes didn't know that Grand Line had the race of fur tribe. When he saw the Pope, he thought he was the ability user who ate the Zoan devil fruit. The owner of this medical center is obviously not a good stubble, and someone with ability is actually a subordinate. It's better to be strong, otherwise how can you be qualified to be our partner? Chris laughed and strode in. Hey, come out to pick up the guests. Chris pushed the door open, and what he saw was the white one just now. Excuse me, who is the patient? Our captain is still undergoing surgery. Maybe, maybe we need to wait a while. The white bear was a little timid, and his voice was very low. Captain? Hey, fat bear, are you still a pirate group? Enel immediately sensed the doubt in Baishyong's words, and asked. Bopo, who is it? At this time, a man came out from the back room. It seemed that he had just completed an operation. When he saw Chris, his pupils constricted violently, and Chris obviously felt that his breath was messed up. Seeing this person, the corners of Chris' mouth were slightly raised, and sure enough, it was exactly what he thought. That's right, the white bear just now is the Poe of the Heart Pirates, and the man who appears now is the captain of the Heart Pirates, a user with op-op fruit ability, Trafalgar Law. Four years later, he, like Luffy, is a member of the heinous generation. Even after the Summit War, he became a Shishibukai, and finally teamed up with Luffy to defeat Doflamingo, and his strength should not be underestimated 10. Advertisement. Chapter 75 The news of Golden Lion's death spread, and the sea shook. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. I didn't expect a man like you to appear here. Luo looked at Chris solemnly, and said, You know me. Chris asked with a chuckle. I think at the Grand Line, no one will not know you, right? As seven warlords of the sea, why did you come here? Galactic Chris. Seeing Luo with an ugly face, Chris grinned, found a sofa and sat down. Do you believe me when I say that I came to see the ship's doctor? Chris glanced at Beppo as he spoke. The white bear has been hiding behind Luo since hearing Luo say that Chris is Shishibukai. Now Chris glanced at it, and immediately retracted his head. There are many doctors on this island, I hope you can get what you want. Chris didn't need to lie to him, Luo knew this, so he didn't doubt it. But what Chris said next made him put his heart in his throat again. I originally thought so, but after seeing you, I changed my mind. Ordinary doctors are not qualified to board my ship. You are very good. Ability user of op-op fruit, although Chris doesn't care about his immortality ability, but love's medical skill level is definitely the ceiling of One Piece world. It would be a waste if such a good talent is not used. Me. Luo was taken aback for a moment, thinking he had heard wrong. I'm just a common person, and my medical skills are not as good as 150. You are looking for the wrong person. Luo didn't know that Chris had recognized him and rejected Chris' invitation. Chris held his chin and just looked at him like this, without speaking for a while. It wasn't until he stared at Luo furiously that he said, if the op, -op fruit's ability user is not good at medical skills, then there will be no doctors with excellent medical skills in this world. Are you right, Luo? Hearing Chris directly point out his real identity, Luo's face changed suddenly. Just when he wanted to use his fruit ability to escape, Chris spoke. Don't move around, the whole island is within my perception, where do you think you can escape to? Did you see that man next to you? A Logia Thunder fruit capable user, the whole area is within his bombing range. As if responding to Chris's words, Enel laughed out loud, and thunder and lightning flashed on his body. At the same time, thunder exploded outside, and the dull bombing sound came from a distance. Luo felt that the sound was far away from here, and the direction should be the port. What have you done? Luo asked. 
Advertisement. It's nothing, it's just sanctioning a few little mice. At the port pier, a group of people who were trying to board the Shining Galaxy suddenly saw a bolt of lightning falling overhead. In an instant, more than a dozen people were chopped into coke at the same time. Wow, is this the power of Shishibukai? It's terrifying. Everyone said don't get close to that boat, but these idiots just don't listen, isn't it a disaster? If you dare to have evil thoughts against Shishibukai, these people will be punished. The people around talked a lot, as if they had expected this scene. This group of gangsters from Shewen Island usually like to hijack merchant ships or steal treasures from pirate ships. This time when they saw Chris' boat docking, they became greedy. In the eyes of the world, Tian Guanhai's boat must be full of treasures. After Chris and his party left, these people came, trying to make a big deal, and left after they finished. I thought that with quicker hands and feet, I could fly away before Chris came back. Unexpectedly, they had just approached the pirate ship when Enel's lightning struck down. These people finally tasted the bitter fruit of greed. Enel never showed mercy, and a dozen people died. Understood. From the moment we landed on the island, you can never leave again. Hearing what Chris said, Luo seemed to soften all of a sudden. How did you recognize me? In front of this man, Luo knew that he had no strength to resist at all. How about it? Want to get on my boat? Shishibukai's boat is not for everyone. Chris didn't answer the question. I have a sworn feud with Doflamingo, are you not afraid that he will trouble you by letting me on board? When Doflamingo was mentioned, hatred appeared on Luo's face. Hey, hey, you underestimate me, don't you? A mere Doflamingo is not worthy of my fear. Chris smiled dismissively, not thinking about Doflamingo at all. Chris is strong enough to beat Doflamingo now, let alone the future. In a short time, Chris will be able to collect the money to awaken the fruit's ability, and with another wave of money, his strength will increase again. Will Doflamingo be a fart then? Okay, I'll go with you, but you have to promise me one condition. I'm going to seek revenge on Doflamingo in the future, you can't stop me. Luo looked serious. Since the day Khorasan died, revenge on Doflamingo has become the meaning of his life. If revenge is not possible, he would rather die. No problem, if you want, we can help you. Isn't it natural to avenge your companions? Chris laughed, Daz and the others didn't refute. Advertisement. In Galaxy Pirates, Chris will is absolute. Who is that Doflamingo? Is he strong? Only Enel is a little curious about Doflamingo. According to Chris, that Doflamingo seems to be very strong. Doflamingo is also one of the Shishibukai. He joined the Grand Line after unifying the North Blue, and later became a Shishibukai by plundering gold from the sky. Now he is the king of Derice Rosa. Regarding Doflamingo's information, Luo explored it clearly, and since Enel was curious, he did not hesitate to explain it to him. Chris came and went quickly, and the people on Shewen Island found that Chris left in a hurry less than a day after he landed. Shining Galaxy flew in the air, soaring recklessly in the clouds. Captain, are we really going to follow this man? Bibo followed closely behind Luo, and asked cautiously. No problem, this man is very strong, he has the power to help me avenge. As the most outstanding rookie this year, although Chris has only debuted for one year, his strength is beyond doubt. He believed that Chris would not let him down. Just follow this man and I'll have the power of revenge soon, just wait, Doflamingo. Looking at Chris's back, Luo thought to himself. Unexpectedly, the recruitment of ship doctors this time went so smoothly, and Chris didn't spend much effort to find the most suitable ship doctor. Luo's qualifications are very good, and now he is 20 years old like Chris. Without Chris' intervention, he would go to sea in four years, that is, at the age of 24, and become a supernova in one year, with a bounty of 200 million baileys. It then became Shishibukai two years later, with a bounty of 4.74 billion baileys. After that, he teamed up with Luffy to defeat Doflamingo, Shishibukai's name was banned by Marine, and the reward was as high as 500 million baileys. You know, Royer was only 26 years old at that time. Now with Chris' system training, I believe that Luo's strength will far exceed the original work in four years. Hey, Luo, help them check their bodies. Chris sat on the bow and issued the first prison order to Luo. Except for Chris, everyone in the Galaxy Pirates was seriously injured, but after the injury, because there was no doctor, they just dealt with it briefly. They look alive and kicking now, but in fact there are many hidden wounds in their bodies. Room scan. A ball appeared in the palm of Luo's left hand, and then the ball became bigger and covered everyone in the Galaxy Pirates. This sphere is the ability of Opop Fruit. Within this range, everyone is like a patient lying on the operating table. Everything is controlled by Luo. After Luo's treatment, Daz and the others were cleared of their hidden injuries. In the process, they finally figured out why Chris insisted on letting Ro on board. Opop Fruit's ability is simply heaven-defying. Not to mention sick, he can heal you in minutes even if you have a broken limb. While Chris was looking for the ship's doctor, news of the Golden Lion's demise finally came out. Advertisement. This news is much more sensational than Chris becoming a Shishibukai. Who is the Golden Lion? It is one of the three kings of the old era, a monster comparable to Roger and Whitebeard. Marine announced that although they defeated the Golden Lion at a heavy price, in the end Marine won. Marine is the only righteous teacher in the world. In the face of justice, any evil force will fail. The fall of the Golden Lion has indeed dealt a powerful blow to the arrogance of the pirates. Countless pirates in the four seas have given up sailing and returned home, even the Grand Line. New World, Whitebeard Pirates. Whitebeard looked at the newspaper in his hand and was a little silent. The Moby Dick, which used to be full of laughter and laughter, was also very quiet at the moment, and no one disturbed Whitebeard now. I also said that I want to let the new era see the horror of real pirates, but I didn't expect to die like this, what a waste. Shiki, you have been hiding in Tibet for more than 10 years, is this the end of your life? Whitebeard's mood is very complicated, sighing for a while. When he was young, he and Shiki were old rivals who fought life and death many times, such people are both enemies and friends. Now that even he was gone, Whitebeard suddenly felt a little lonely, old rivals from the old days, and now there were not many people left. Good journey. Whitebeard poured down a glass of spirits and took a sip himself, paying homage to his dead friend. New world, Wanakuni. <laughs> even that old guy Shiki is dead, he really is a waste. Kaido took the wine gourd and drank it, then smashed the gourd. The face that was still ferocious and angry a second ago suddenly began to cry. Woo! 
The pirate next to him was terrified and didn't dare to make a sound at this time. The person who spoke before was sent flying by Kaido with a mace, maybe he hasn't landed yet. New World, Cake Island. Well, well, even that old guy Shiki is dead, do you think he has been disappearing for more than 10 years to plan some kind of plan? Big Mom twisted his balloon-like body. Whitebeard Kaido was different. When she received the news of Golden Lion's death, she was very happy and ate a dozen cake houses in a row. When she was in the Rocks Pirates, the relationship between Big Mom and Golden Lion was not good. Now that Shiki is dead, she is naturally happy. New World, Red Hair Pirates. Today's Red Hair finally stopped having a banquet, and he silently poured a glass of wine on the ground in honor of the dead Golden Lion. Back then, the Roger Pirates and the Flying Pirates often had conflicts, and he also fought with the Golden Lion's Pirates. Now more than 10 years have passed, he is no longer that immature intern back then, and Golden Lion is no longer the mighty lion that shook the world back then. Well, in the end there was only a sigh. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 76 Pluton Rayleigh, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Sabayati Archipelago, in front of the red line in the middle of the grand line. The island is made up of many big trees, the ground is the roots, and bubbles will emerge from the ground. This is where the first half of the grand line ends. From the starting point of the red line, no matter which line you choose, you will eventually reach the island. Sabayati Archipelago is very close to naval headquarters, so generally no pirates dare to make trouble on the island. But the island is not as safe as imagined. In the illegal area, there are bounty hunters and human traffickers everywhere. Some people who come here for the first time will be killed or robbed if they are not careful, and those who are unlucky will be captured by human traffickers. Next to it is the slave auction house, which provides one-stop service for arresting and selling people. Marine also kindly called the slave auction a job placement place, which means a place to help you find a job. From this point, we can see how dark Marine is. The crime is right under their noses, but they just don't care. No, just as Chris landed on land, someone came up to pick things up. Hey kid, is this your first time at Sabayati Archipelago? Do you understand the rules? Hurry up and pay the protection fee, otherwise you won't be able to leave. A big man surrounded Chris and his group with hundreds of younger brothers, all of them were vicious. From the looks of them, they won't let you leave even if you pay. They'll tie you up and sell them to the slave auction house, draining you of every last ounce of value. Old rules, kill the captain first, and sell the rest for money. The leading man waved his hand, then looked at Chris and said, Don't hurt this fair-skinned, tender-skinned little boy, those aristocratic and rich women like this one the most, and it will definitely sell for a good price 0 4. Chris often sighs that he can rely on his face to make a living, but he didn't expect to be really attracted by people today. Kill it. Chris is not in the mood to waste time with these bastards, it's too embarrassing. The voice fell. Daz, Celine, and Jack disappeared in place at the same time. The speed at which Marine 6 style shaves is not something these scumbags can see clearly. Tempest kick. Celine kicked out a slash, cutting off all four or five people in front of him. Iron body gang. After using the iron body, Jack's whole body is as hard as iron, as if a human-shaped iron giant rushed into the crowd, and all the people he hit vomited blood, and their tendons were broken. Advertisement. Master the cut. Daz's dice dice fruit kills these bastards, and its efficiency is higher than that of Saren and Jack combined. A single wave of the hand can instantly kill four or five people. In just half a minute, the battle was over. Hundreds of corpses were lying on the ground, blood stained the coast of the port. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. A few figures flashed past and stood quietly behind Chris. Hey, these people are too weak, aren't they? My god hardly even makes a move. This battle cannot be called a battle, it may be more appropriate to call it a massacre. With Enel's power, he can make a large piece of this kind of scum in one second. Just now he was looking forward to meeting a slightly stronger opponent, but he didn't expect that he didn't even have a chance to make a move. Luo is also an eye-opener, this is the first time he has seen the galaxy pirates fighting, and their movements are frighteningly fast. Luo felt that even if they stood in his surgical circle, he would not be able to capture them. Luo also wanted to make a move just now, but he just raised his left hand, and before the operating circle was released, the battle was over. Daz, stay and watch the boat. There are also many strong people here, and there must always be someone on board to guard them. Chris told Daz to stay, and took the others away by himself. Now that we have arrived at Sabayati Archipelago, the next stop is the Fishman Island. There are two ways to go to New World. The first one is from the Holy Land of Marijoyce. As Chris Shishibukai, he can take this road. The second one is to reach the Fishman Island at 10,000 meters under the sea first, and then use it as a transit point before proceeding to New World. Now that we have come to this world, how can we not go to the Fishman Island to have a look? Although it is safer to take the first path, the second path is a man's dream. For the sake of dreams, mere danger is nothing. If you want to go to the Fishman Island, you have to coat the boat first. Chris is going to find a coator now. Countless pirates die every year due to poor coding. Chris doesn't want to hand over his life to unreliable people. There is only one coator that Chris can trust, and that is Pluton Rayleigh. Unexpectedly, this old guy is good at being a pirate, and he is also very skilled at being a film coator after retirement. People who are really excellent, no matter what line of work they are in, are industry leaders. Captain, where are we going? Advertisement. Saren Jack came to Sabayati Archipelago for the first time and was very curious about it. He did not expect that the Grand Line has such a magical place. Take you guys to meet a legendary. Chris still doesn't want to reveal Rayleigh's identity so early. Others are very curious about who that person is when they see Chris's secretiveness. So far, there is only one Golden Lion who can be called a legendary by Chris. Could it be another strong person who can rival the Golden Lion? Sabayati Archipelago number 13 tree. Chris and others came to the door of a bar. Captain, is it right here? It's no big deal. Seeing Chris bring them to the bar, everyone couldn't understand. Coming here to meet Legendary? Are you kidding me? Only Enel was very happy. This alcoholic can't live without alcohol for a second now, and he always carries a bottle in his hand wherever he goes. Chris chuckled and said, Don't underestimate this bar, the people in it are very powerful. Everyone looked up and saw the words extortion bar written on the plaque. Everyone nodded unanimously, indeed, if the background is not big, dare to write such an arrogant shop name? 
Pushing the door open, Chris saw Shucky holding a man and beating him violently. Every punch would spatter a puddle of blood. There are also several men lying on the ground, and their clothes should be pirates. Welcome, what do you want? Seeing Chris and a group of people coming in, Shucky remained calm, and then trained the pirate in his hand. Everyone was stunned when they saw the scene of the boss. How can a boss beat a customer violently? But Chris took it easy and greeted her with a smile. Is the boss busy? Shucky smiled and said, sit down first, I'm busy picking money out of the bags of these little devils. Oh, then you are busy first, we are not in a hurry. Bang bang bang. Seeing Shucky beat the man in his hand to blood, Bapo the white bear was so frightened that his face turned blue. Others don't feel very good either. This store is not a black store, is it? What do you want? Let me explain in advance that the things here are very expensive. Shucky walked into the counter and looked at Chris and said, Come here for a drink just by the way, I want to find a co with the best skills. You can't come to the bar without drinking, although the wine here is expensive, but Chris is not short of that money. My old man's craftsmanship is very good, but he hasn't been home for a few days, and I don't know if he was seduced by some woman. Advertisement. Mr. Rayleigh must have lost his bet and sold himself. Chris knew Rayleigh, the old guy often used this method to cheat nobles out of money, and he had a lot of fun. Oh, brother Chris actually knows him, which surprises me. Shucky was a little surprised. You know Rayleigh has been living in seclusion for more than 10 years. He didn't expect that a newcomer, Chris, would know him. Sometimes intelligence is more important than strength. Although Mr. Rayleigh has lived in seclusion, news about his appearance on this island is often spread. You only need to spend some money on the underground black market to know. Chris has become accustomed to using the black market to cover up his sources of information. After all, he knows the plot cannot be leaked. It's no secret that Rayleigh lives in seclusion in the Sabayati archipelago, and Marine has heard the news a long time ago. It's just that because Rayleigh is a legendary level force, Marine needs 107 to pay a heavy price to deal with him, so he hasn't made a move. Now that he is living in seclusion, Marine doesn't want to cause more trouble, so the two sides tacitly keep the well water and the river water. Rayleigh. Everyone has always been curious about who the legendary character Chris mentioned was. Now that they heard the name, they immediately thought of it. Could it be that person? Everyone turned pale, looking at Chris, wanting to hear him tell the truth. Yeah, that's what you think, Pluton Silver Rayleigh. For a moment, everyone was stunned by this sentence, and their minds went blank. Hey guys, who the hell is Rayleigh? Enel's words brought everyone back to their senses, only he didn't know Rayleigh. Luo glanced at him and said, Pluton Silver Rayleigh, he is the vice captain of the Roger Pirates, also known as the right arm of One Piece. Since Roger's death, the Roger Pirates have been disbanded. Didn't expect him to be hiding here, just under Marine's nose. Luo couldn't help but admire Rayleigh's boldness, and he played the black game out of the lights. Shucky smiled disdainfully, and said, Marine can't catch him, if he wants to attack him, even Marine has to be mentally prepared. Yeah ha ha ha, I didn't expect to meet the crew of One Piece so soon, who is stronger between him and Golden Lion. Enel, who knew Rayleigh's information, laughed. The sea is indeed much more interesting than Sky Island. Not only are there so many strong people on the surface, but even any small island has a reclusive legendary. Ah, this little brother actually knows the Golden Lion. Even Shucky was a little surprised when Golden Lion was mentioned. She is an underground intelligence agent, and she has investigated almost all the information about the galaxy pirates, but she did not expect that there are still fish that slipped through the net. Yeah ha 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 ha, of course, I fought a battle with him before. Oh, did the little brother win? Yeah ha ha ha, of course I lost. Although he lost, Enel didn't feel ashamed at all. Advertisement. Chapter 77 Conquerors Stunned Celestial Dragons, Third Update, Please Subscribe. Advertisement. Yeah ha ha ha, of course I lost. Although he lost, Enel didn't feel ashamed at all. After all, his opponent was a golden lion, a figure at the legendary level, and being able to fight him already represented strength. He 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 he, my brother must be very strong if he can fight the golden lion. Yeah ha ha ha, of course, this god is very powerful. Shucky and Enel suddenly started chatting. I didn't expect the death of Golden Lion to be related to Brother Chris, I got a big piece of information by accident. I also dealt with Golden Lion back then. I didn't expect him to lose to you. Brother Chris, how strong are you? Shucky turned to look at Chris with complicated eyes. She knew about Golden Lion's death as soon as news broke, and Rayleigh was still a little sentimental at the time. You think too much, I and Enel teamed up to defeat the Golden Lion, fighting alone is not necessarily an opponent. Besides, Senior Golden Lion's strength has regressed too much, far from being as terrifying as in Legendary. As you know, the rudder over his head is too heavy for him, and his feet are all broken. Chris shook his head at the end. Although he didn't finish speaking, Shucky understood. It can be said that Golden Lion was not defeated by Chris, but by Roger. During the Battle of Edver that year, Golden Lion was inserted into his brain by the rudder in order to defeat Roger, and his flying pirates also suffered heavy losses. If it wasn't for this, Golden Lion wouldn't have to break into naval headquarters alone, only to be caught in impel down and lose two legs. Brain traumatized, both legs broken, Golden Lion is essentially a disabled person. Having said that, your ability to defeat him also proves your strength. You deserve to be the strongest rookie this year. I haven't seen a newcomer like you for a long time since I washed my hands 40 years ago, except for Shanks, you are the second. Chris smiled, without retorting. Ah, you retired 40 years ago, how old are you? The white bear Bibbo jumped out at this time and asked curiously. Hey, Bebo, shut up, don't you know it's very rude to ask a woman's age? Advertisement. Hearing what Luo said, Bibbo hurriedly bowed and apologized. Ah, it's all right, my age? I can't tell you, but I can tell you about Rayleigh's whereabouts. Shucky waved his hand and said, go and look for GRS from number 1 to number 29. He won't leave this island. He must be within this range. Thanks Shucky then. Chris left the drink money and left with everyone. After leaving the extortion bar, everyone has not recovered yet. The information they just heard in the bar was so amazing, it felt like a dream to them. Luo is the most shocked one. He has just joined the Galaxy Pirates for a few days, and he has heard so many big news that shocked the world. 
He is already in a daze. The pirate Golden Lion in Legendary was actually killed by his own captain. A few days ago he saw the newspaper and was still guessing who did it. Marine said that they killed the Golden Lion, and these words can only deceive the world and those little pirates who are useless. For the four emperors, Shishibukai, and the group of people who really understand the world, as long as they have a little brains, they know that the Golden Lion was definitely not killed by the Marine, it is just a smoke bomb. Because Chris became Shishibukai with the record of defeating Moria, and he is essentially a rookie, no one suspects him for the time being, even Luo does not doubt his own captain. Unexpectedly, except for himself and Bippo, everyone on this ship knew the truth of this matter. He suddenly felt that he was very lucky to be on this boat. Chris could even defeat the Golden Lion. What is a mere doflamingo? Chris led everyone to search around the casino, but they didn't find any trace of Rayleigh. From this point of view, he should be in the auction house. This old guy sold himself as soon as he lost everything. How much is he worth as an old man? Are those people in the auction house all fools? Can't they recognize an old man who has sold it so many times? Chris had to complain about Rayleigh's obsession. He really retired and was bored and had nothing to do. He just made fun of these people. Go away, get down on your knees. At this moment, riots suddenly broke out on the street ahead. A large number of people in black opened the way ahead, and drove all the pedestrians on the street to the side to kneel down. Unlucky, I actually met celestial dragons here. Chris didn't hide the disgust on his face at all. No matter how evil the pirates and human traffickers are, the celestial dragons are the ones Chris hates the most. In the perception of observation hacky, the celestial dragons are thousands of meters away, walking towards Chris. Hey, you guys, hurry up and get out of the way, the nobles of the world are coming soon, and the untouchables quickly kneel on both sides of the road. A group of men in black saw Chris and others standing carelessly in the middle of the road, and came up to curse and scold them. These people are all members of the world government, relying on their work for the celestial dragons, they always behave like this when they go out. Advertisement. Hey, put your hand back, you don't want it anymore, do you? Stared at by Chris' eyes, the man in black who wanted to push Chris away seemed to be in an eye cellar, and his whole body shuddered. R. Re. At this time, these people finally recognized Chris's identity. Just now they were only focused on driving away the people and didn't look carefully. Now that they saw Chris' face clearly, they wanted to die. Those who led the way actually brought the celestial dragons to Shishibukai. If this matter is not handled properly today, it may turn into an irreversible situation. According to the regulations, no matter who they are, when they see the nobles of the world, they must kneel down and salute. But this rule is bullshit in the eyes of some people, four emperors, and Shishibukai are such people. Would they dare ask Chris to kneel to the celestial dragons? As long as they open their mouths, they believe that they will lose their lives in the next second. K, hey, Master Chris, can you please avoid it for a while? No way, the lead man wants Chris to avoid the celestial dragons, as long as they don't meet, nothing will happen. Chris sneered twice and said, I want to, but it's too late. The man was taken aback, and looked back, it turned out that during the time they were talking, the celestial dragons had already arrived, only a hundred meters away from them. This distance can be seen at a glance, and you can't even walk if you want to. It's over. All the men in black looked desperate. Today's affairs cannot be bettered. No matter which side has an accident, they must bear the responsibility. To them, death is just an extravagant hope. The most terrible thing is to be reduced to slaves. At that time, life will be worse than death. Hey, you untouchables, if you don't kneel down when you see the saint, are you insulting the gods of the world? Celestial dragons sit on the back of a pirate slave, wearing a bubble hood. Looking at the guy's runny nose, coupled with this face that deserves to be punched, Chris immediately recognized that this guy was Charles Ross who was punched away by Luffy ten times. You untouchables, are you looking for death? Hey, arrest them quickly, I will demote them into slaves. However, the guards around him didn't dare to act rashly at this time, the man in front of him was Shishibukai. They couldn't deal with it. Please, please calm down, Charles Ross Saint, this is not a pariah, he is one of the Shishibukai recognized by the government, Master Galaxy Chris, he, boom, an official tried to explain to Celestial Dragons, but before he could finish speaking, Celestial Dragons shot him in the head, advertisement. Chris just watched this scene quietly, without saying a word, this is the bad nature of celestial dragons, as long as there is a slight disobedience, they will kill them. Hey, who the hell are celestial dragons? Enel is very curious about celestial dragons, seeing him is like seeing his former self. When he was in Sky Island, he did exactly the same thing as he does now. 800 years ago, 20 kings established the world government, and celestial dragons are the descendants of these 20 kings. They are world nobles and claim to be the gods of the world. It was also the first time for the members of the galaxy pirates to see celestial dragons, and they didn't know much about them until they heard Luo's explanation. Enel smiled disdainfully and said, just such a bastard is actually the god of the world, what are you kidding? Enel's observation hacky sensed clearly that Charles Ross was frighteningly weak, he had never seen such a weak person. He didn't understand, what qualifications does this kind of person have to become the god of the world? Hey, are you ignoring me, bastards? Seeing that Chris ignored him, Charles Ross became furious, picked up the gun in his hand and shot the doctor at Chris. Chris stared, his pupils shrank slightly, Wang Lihao, and a majestic and endless momentum burst out from him. Boom, the silver aura rapidly expanded, enveloping Fang Yuan within a kilometer. Under this momentum, everyone felt palpitations and difficulty breathing. Saint Charles Ross, who bore the brunt of the blow, lost consciousness in an instant, falling from the slave. Afterwards, groups of people rolled their eyes and fell down. With Chris as the center, the ground was densely packed with people. It seemed that there were thousands of corpses in an instant. Here, Captain, what have you done? Except for Enel who had seen Chris's conqueror's hacky, everyone was dumbfounded. They didn't even see Chris do it, and all these people fell down. What kind of power is this? It's just too scary. Only Luo seemed to have guessed something, and asked tentatively, is this conqueror's hacky? Chris shrugged and didn't answer, but had already acquiesced. 
Luo gasped. Unexpectedly it was really Conqueror's hacky? Doflamingo also owns Conquerors, and Ro has been with the Don Quixote family for several years and has seen him use this power. Luo just made a tentative guess just now, but he didn't expect it to be true. After Chris and his group left, someone finally discovered the anomaly here. There were corpses all over the ground. They thought there was a massacre, but after checking, they found that these people had just fainted. Advertisement. Chapter 78 So what if you beat the Celestial Dragons? First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. The news of Celestial Dragon's accident immediately caused panic. Although Celestial Dragons was not injured, his fainting was also very serious. Maybe Marine Admiral would come. All of a sudden, the pirates on the Savayati archipelago went out to sea to escape for their lives, and even some pirates who hadn't coded well also left here to avoid the limelight. Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Sengoku slapped the office and shouted, Have you found out which bastard did it? After the news of Celestial Dragon's accident in Sabayati Archipelago came, he was distraught, and the world government also put a lot of pressure on him. If this matter is not handled properly, he, the marshal, may be severely punished. Not yet, St. Charles Ross and his guards are still awake, and they can't ask who the murderer is yet. Seeing the enraged Marshal Sengoku, Marine, who reported the situation, was very upset. Is Charles Ross Saint hurt? No, no, the doctor has checked, he has no external injuries or internal injuries, he just passed out. Everyone fainted, thousands of people fainted together, could it be caused by Conqueror's Haki? Sengoku immediately thought that the only thing that could cause this situation was Conqueror's Haki. Boom, a Marine broke into the Marshal's office without knocking, saying, Charles Ross is awake, and he said the murderer is a man named Ruth. Russ. Sengoku was at a loss, who is this person? Never heard of it. There are only a few people who own Conqueror's Haki, and there is no one named Ruth. Could it be a new powerhouse? Sengoku was a little vigilant. If such a powerful combat power really appeared, it would not be good news for Marine if he was still fighting against the Celestial Dragons. Marine said at this time, Charles Ross also said that person is a Shishibukai, and he looks very young. Boom. Upon hearing this, Sengoku immediately stood up. Hearing this, he still doesn't know who the murderer is, so he is too stupid. What Ross? That's Chris. It's Charles Ross ST. That idiot got his name wrong. 057. That bastard, who just became a Shishibukai, did something like this. What is he trying to do? Brew brew brew, brew brew brew, the phone in my pocket rang. Chris had expected it, and he had been waiting for this call for a long time. Hey, you bastard, do you know what you did? Advertisement. As soon as the call was connected, Sengoku yelled at him. Fortunately Chris kept the phone bug away, otherwise his ears would have been deaf end. Yo, good afternoon, Mr. Sengoku, what's making you so angry? Would you like to come out and have a cup of afternoon tea? I have tea leaves that just arrived here. The taste is particularly good, just to calm you down. Chris was in no hurry, as if nothing had happened. Stop rambling on me, Milky Way, did you do that Char Ross Saint thing? Oh, Charles Ross Saint, who is that? I don't know him. Chris looked dazed, as if he didn't know anything. Just a few words to get Chris to admit that he moved Celestial Dragons. Is Takumai joking? I said don't talk nonsense with me. Charles Ross is awake, and he said you were the murderer. You're in the Sabayati Archipelago right now? If you didn't do it then who did it? Sengoku was furious and wanted to beat Chris up right now. Marshal Sengoku, you can't blame me for this. I didn't take the initiative to find trouble. That guy did it first. It's making me kneel again, and it's taking me as a slave again. Mr. Sengoku, he's standing on top of my head to shit and pee. It's good that I didn't kill him. Chris's tone of voice was aggrieved at the first sentence, but after that, there was a murderous intent. Galaxy, watch your tone, those are celestial dragons. Sengoku heard the killing intent in Chris' words, and immediately sounded a warning. At the same time, he secretly hated that idiot Charles Ross, wouldn't it be good to stay in the Holy Land? He had to go to the Sabayati Archipelago, whichever way was wrong, he had to go with Chris. Seeing that Chris still looks arrogant and doesn't want to be beaten, are you really afraid that Chris will cheat on him in a fit of anger? Besides, I didn't shoot him. Look, where is he hurt? Chris stuns Char Ross with the conquerors, so he can't even find a wound on him. The Conqueror's stun is not a shot. I didn't see it. Your Conqueror's is quite strong, and thousands of people on the street have all fainted. Chris didn't seem to hear the sarcasm in Sengoku's words, and said brazenly, Where, where, that's all. It's all thanks to Charles Ross, who was so frightened that I woke up Conqueror's. It was because I just woke up that I couldn't control it, which stunned him. Hearing such shameless words, Sengoku could no longer suppress the power of the prehistoric. He seemed to know Chris just today, he didn't expect him to have such a brazen side, and he really wanted to say, I've never seen such a brazen person. Galaxy, do you know what it means to attack the celestial dragons? Today's matter is not so easy to settle. Marshal Sengoku, don't scare me. Is there anyone who can prove that I did it? Thousands of people at the scene lost consciousness at the same time, and there are no witnesses at all. Chris is very thorough and is not afraid of Sengoku's threat at all. St. Charles Ross said it himself, can there be a lie? Advertisement. But he wasn't injured, right? Who would believe it? It's not enough to remove a Shishibukai with such a thing. With the power of the Celestial Dragons, if they are just common pirates, as long as they slightly offend them, it is already a capital offense. But Chris is different, he is Shishibukai, and he is very powerful. According to Kizura's estimate, Chris' strength is comparable to that of Marine Admiral. In other words, if you want to completely wipe out the Galaxy Pirates, you need at least two Admirals to fight together. Because Enel, a person with Thunder Fruit ability, cannot be dealt with by Marine Vice Admiral, except Garp. Akina guards the New World all the year round, Kizuro is stationed in the Marine Science Unit, and only Aokiji is stationed in Naval Headquarters. If two Admirals, New Worlds, or Naval Headquarters are dispatched at the same time, the combat power will be empty, which is absolutely not allowed. Sengoku knew that Chris had decided on this point, so he dared to make a move. Conqueror's Haki, unlike other methods, does not cause trauma, so it is easy to cover up. If Chris wholeheartedly denies it, he, Eve, can completely say that it's none of his business that someone passing by did it. To attack a Shishibukai, you must be famous, otherwise, if you deal with a Shishibukai for no reason, it is equivalent to tearing up the agreement, and other Shishibukai will not sit idly by. Yinhi, you played a good game of chess, you have thought of everything in advance. 
Sengoku gritted his teeth and said, Things are indeed as Chris thought. Marine can't do anything to Chris. At this moment, he suddenly admired Chris' brains, but then he was a little scared. It doesn't matter if a person is strong, in the final analysis, he is just a reckless man, but if a person is not only strong but also easy to use, it will be terrible. Sengoku mentally turned up Chris's danger several notches. Chris chuckled. Thank you for the compliment, Marshal Sengoku. I don't know how to play chess, I'm just a little smart. Sengoku cut off the call with a cold snort, and did not forget to warn Chris not to let him get caught. Captain, are you really all right? Those are celestial dragons. Lua was still a little worried. Others didn't know the weight of celestial dragons, but he knew it perfectly. Chris attack on celestial dragons is an absolute death penalty, so it's settled in a few words. Don't worry, Sengoku knows what to do. Chris waved his hand to reassure him. Holy land, Marie Joyce, in a magnificent palace. Bastard, Sengoku, he shot celestial dragons, you let him off so easily. The round-headed five elders yelled at Sengoku, and the other four glared at him. Then what can I do? Remove him from Shishibukai? Then send Admiral to destroy him. Sengoku's heart was so tired, he had just finished talking with Chris when he was called to the holy place by five elders. As soon as he entered the door, he was scolded, and the anger he had just suppressed rushed up again. Advertisement. Shouldn't it be? If he dares to attack the nobles of the world, he knows what he will end up with. Then what is the reason for removing him? Isn't the crime of hurting the nobles of the world not enough? Is there any evidence for that? Isn't Saint Charles Ross a witness? Isn't that enough? But Charles Ross Saint has no wounds at all. This. Five elders choked on Sengoku's words. If it's a common pirate, if you need any evidence, just kill it. But Chris is Shishibukai. The consequences of shooting Shishibukai for no reason are very serious, and it is likely to cause a chain reaction. It's hard to say. One day Marine can shoot Chris for no reason, and tomorrow he can shoot another Shishibukai. Will the other six remain indifferent? Obviously impossible. At that time, the Shishibukai system will collapse, Shishibukai will exist in name only, and the balance of the three major forces will be broken. At that time, it is very likely that the rule of the world government will be shaken by mouth. There was no need for Sengoku to talk about it anymore. Five elders figured it out in a flash. Sengoku had already thought of these principles when he was talking to Chris, and he believed that Chris had also thought of these before doing it. He chose to stun the celestial dragons with conquerors only after he was absolutely sure. Ah, Milky Way bastard. The five elders were all furious, and they seemed to see Chris standing in front of them and showing his might to them. I just hit celestial dragons, so what? Bite me if you can? Thinking of this, they wished they could peel off his skin. It's such an uncomfortable feeling to be out of breath. Returning to the marshal's office, Sengoku covered his forehead with one hand, he had such a headache because of all the messy things that happened today. Hey, it's really scary. They're all attacking the nobles of the world. Mr. Sengoku, don't you really need to use the test? Kizaru is holding a cup of tea and drinking, life is very comfortable. Then let you catch that bastard now, can you do it? Seeing Sengoku's cold stare at him, Kizaru raised his hands in surrender, that brother Chris is not weak, I'm really not sure about it alone. Kizaru felt MMP in his heart, the old man was just joking, Mr. Sengoku, why are you serious? P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 79 6 Supernovas, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Ha 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 ha, that bastard did a really good job, the old man likes him very much. Garp has always hated celestial dragons, but because of Marine's identity, he couldn't do it. Now that someone dared to attack the celestial dragons, he was very happy, those arrogant stupid pigs should be taught a lesson. Shut up Garp, is this something you, a Marine, can say? Sengoku punched the desk into the floor, and he punched a big hole in the whole floor. The Marine on the lower floor looked stunned. I don't know what happened to Marshal Sengoku today. In the past, Marshal Sengoku would only smash the desk when he got mad, but today he even smashed the floor, which shows that he must be very angry. Sengoku was in a bad mood after a bad day. Now Kizuro and Garp are still trying to stir his nerves, and his prehistoric power finally broke out. Seeing that Sengoku was furious, Kizuro sneaked out of the Marshal's office. The speed at which he left just now seems to be faster than the speed of sparkling fruit. Sengoku and Garp are the only two left in the office to fight each other. Today, Saru Vice Admiral is away. No one can stop these two. Naval headquarters can hear their roar all day long. Chris didn't know that he made Sengoku so angry. Today he taught Celestial Dragons a lesson, and he can make Marine and World Government helpless. He is in a very good mood, very good. Hey, Captain, we've been searching all day, but we still haven't found Rayleigh. Yeah, where did that old guy go? An old man who can still make trouble like this is worthy of Pluton in Legendary. Chris is really not Luffy, and he doesn't have such a great relationship with Rayleigh. Sabayati Archipelago is so big, looking for someone is like looking for a needle in a haystack. I've been walking around the casino, Huaja, and the auction house for a day, but I just can't find him. Three days later, Chris and his group walked into an auction house, which was already the sixth auction house Chris had entered. In the past few days, Chris and his team found GR19 from GR1, and almost turned these places over. If they can't find it anymore, they can only expand the scope to find other GRS. Captain, I didn't expect that there are still pirates who dare to stay on this island. Chris and his group were sitting in a corner, and Salim saw the group of people sitting in the front row with sharp eyes, and the leading man looked familiar. That's Randall's Crow, the captain of the Sword Tiger Pirates, with a bounty of 230 million baileys. Over there is Leech Torio, the captain of the Leech Pirates, with a bounty of 190 million baileys. And over there, that is the captain of the Orc Pirates, Kajeo Charles, who has the highest bounty of 260 million baileys. Chris recognized these people right away, they were newcomers this year just like Chris. Advertisement. If they can reach the Sabayati Archipelago and the bounty exceeds 100 million, these three people plus Chris, Enel, and Daz are the supernovas of this year. 
Six supernovae a year is already very good, and there are only three or four in previous years. In the year when Luffy went to sea, there were twelve supernovas. Since Roger started the era of great pirates, there has only been one supernova. Supernova is really different from some other scum pirates. Chris admired in his heart. You know, since the Celestial Dragons incident, the pirates on the Sabayati archipelago are running for their lives as fast as possible, and 80% of them escaped on the first day. In the next two days, the remaining 19% also escaped. Less than 1% of the pirates who dared to stay on the Sabayati archipelago on the third day remained. As time passed, more and more people were in the venue, and the seats were almost full. Chris's observation hacky covered the audience and heard everyone's discussion. I don't know what products are available today. I want to buy some young and beautiful women to go home and make them look good. The person who said this was a male aristocrat in his 50s. Regarding his taste, Chris didn't know what to say. It's only natural for men to like women, but Chris admires him when he tells the story of old cows eating young grass in public. Ah, you really like women. I want to buy a strong man to take home. It would be even better if it was a murloc man. The one who refuted the male aristocrat was the rich woman next to him, who also seemed to be in her 50s, but this taste was really strong. At this time, a man walked out on the stage, holding a microphone in his hand, who seemed to be the host of the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, the auction has officially begun. Product number one comes from North Blue's Lolo Island. He is born into a gourmet family and is a proud gourmet pirate named Kat Evalon. You can cook delicious food with a kitchen knife, and you can clean up with a broom. It can be said that you can go out of the living room and into the kitchen. The starting price is 700,000 baileys. The host talked endlessly about the advantages of this pirate, and only by turning the dead into a living can it be sold at a good price. The first item to be auctioned is pirates, which shows that this auction is extremely difficult. 800 000, 1005 1505 the price soared to 2.39 million, and it was finally bought by a woman in her 40s. It seems that this pirate is about to reach the pinnacle of his life of eating soft food. Readers, gentlemen, don't be envious, as long as you want, you can too. Advertisement. The goods were bought one by one, Chris watched with cold eyes, he didn't come here to buy things, of course, if the goods were the old man, he wouldn't mind buying him. Dear guests, the next item on the stage is item 32, a devil fruit. Following the host's words, a maid came to the front desk holding a devil fruit. Devil fruit, known as the secret treasure of the sea, can bring you infinite power. As long as you have it, wealth, power, and status are all at your fingertips. The starting price is 100 million baileys. As soon as devil fruit appeared on the stage, everyone in the audience went crazy. Whether it was four seas or grand line, devil fruit was a rare commodity. However, in the grand line, the number of devil fruits is indeed more than that of the world. In the past three days, Chris has walked through six auction houses, and there are three auction houses with devil fruits. Unlike four seas, it is rare for a devil fruit to appear once in several years. A group of people scrambled to bid for the devil fruit, but a pirate paid 200 million baileys to take it. Chris was a little surprised, such a guy dared to stay in Sabayati Archipelago, he was very brave. Chris recognized him, he is not a rookie this year, he has been at sea for three years, but the bounty is only 79 million, he is a parallel importer. I don't know how lucky this guy is, if he gets a good ability, he can stand up. However, this probability is so small that it can be ignored. For things like devil fruit, strong people will look for the fruit that suits their wishes, grab it if they can't find it, and will not come to the auction house to try their luck. Don't you see that Blackbeard has been lurking in the Whitebeard Pirates for 20 years for a dark fruit, and once he succeeded, he instantly changed from an unknown little guy to the four emperors of the new world. Zero, asking for flowers. Those that can be auctioned basically don't have any good abilities. Of course, if all the golden fruits are auctioned like Doflamingo, Chris really can't understand what he thinks. The auction usually arranges several small climaxes, this time devil fruit is a small climax in the middle, and then it is a common commodity. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, item number 46 is next. One of the co-eaters on the Sabayati archipelago, he is highly skilled and experienced. The coated boats he handled have never had any accidents, and the starting price is 300,000 baileys. Hearing these words, Chris sat up straight at once. These introductions are very similar to the old gambler he has been looking for for several days. Sure enough, an old man wearing a slave collar was escorted to the high platform by the guards, and he still held a flagon in his hand. He didn't feel the despair of being sold as a slave at 10 o'clock. Cut, what is an old man doing buying home and wasting food? There are too many people with high-coding skills. Is there a fart? This old man is dying soon, at such an old age. Advertisement. Zero. There was a lot of discussion in the audience, and no one looked down on this old man. Even if they buy slaves, they will buy those who are strong and strong. What do old men like this in their dying years buy home? The host was a little embarrassed. The old man was sent by the casino, saying that he had lost all his money and sold himself. The casino was thinking of selling him to recover the losses, but now it seems that the auction is about to pass. Looking at Rayleigh, even the host shook his head, he wouldn't even want such an old guy, let alone those people in the audience. 5000000. The noisy auction house suddenly fell silent, and someone really paid for an old man. Everyone turned their heads to look at Chris in the corner at the same time, wondering what does this bully look like? Hey, I'll offer 500,000. If no one bids, this person will be mine. Chris turned a blind eye to the gazes around him, and stared straight at the host on stage. The host was stunned for a moment, and then quickly said, Ah, uh, yes, this gentleman bid 500,000 yuan, is there anyone else who is higher than this? Captain, that's Galaxy Chris, why is he here? At the Sword Tiger Pirates, a younger brother whispered in Randall's ear. Hearing Chris's name, Randall's pupils constricted and his face was solemn, then he shook his head at his little brother, signaling him not to worry about it. Ha ha ha, Lousy offered one million. The one who spoke was Kajeo Charles of the Orc Pirates, and after he finished speaking, he gave Chris a provocative look. It seems that he is fake when he buys people, but the truth is that he is looking for things. Chris ignored him with a blank face, but this was the greatest insult to Kajeo. Kajeo said angrily, Hey, you are Yinhee Chris, right? They are all newcomers, why are you so arrogant? Seeing the conflict here, the people around them began to stay away, for fear of being affected. The host wanted to ease the atmosphere, but was frightened away by Kajeo's look. Now there's a good show to watch. Leech Torio of the Leech Pirates looked at this side with interest, and he wanted to know how Chris would respond. 
P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately typing, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank god very much. Advertisement. Chapter 80 Instant Kill Supernova. Third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. In fact, Leech was also very dissatisfied with Chris. Everyone is a newcomer who debuted this year. How can you be so famous and high above the top? You even became a Shishibukai and became famous all over the world? Everyone is a supernova, why do people outside only know Chris? Chris ignored him and said directly, 2 million. Kajeo, 300. 40075. 5005. The worthless old man suddenly became popular, and was offered a sky-high price by two big pirates. Rayleigh stood on the stage with a smile on his face, and also watched the scene with great interest. He didn't know these two little fellows, but he didn't expect to be so hot-faced in order to buy him. He didn't even know that he was so popular. It seems that we have to sell it a few more times in the future, maybe we can get rich overnight. Rayleigh suddenly had a great idea to make a fortune. 10 million, Chris, Lousy has plenty of money. Kajeo roared, and then said, I didn't want to buy it at first, but now I have to buy it. I want to see, what kind of ability does the old man who makes your galaxy Chris want? Not only Kajeo was curious, but everyone present was also curious. Why did Shishibukai Galaxy carry 840SI by an old man half buried in the ground? Chris flicked his left thumb, and Zanjitsu unsheathed at some point, at the same time, a slash passed Kajeo's cheek. Boom, the wall of the auction house was smashed by Chris, and after that, blood oozed from Kajeo's face. Chris's knife is so fast that Kajeo didn't even notice it was cut. Kajeo froze in place, his whole body was stiff and he didn't dare to move, and in an instant, his back was drenched in cold sweat. At that moment just now, he felt like he was going to die. This feeling that his life is controlled by others made him fear, fear, and then turned into endless anger. Seeing the outbreak of fighting, the nobles and rich people in the field fled one after another. Rayleigh unknowingly undid the slave's collar at some point, and disappeared among the crowd. Before leaving, he also stole a few nobles' wallets, and had money to go to the casino. All that was left were some pirates and some bounty hunters. Did you see Chris swinging the knife just now? It's too fast, it's chilling. Advertisement. Indeed, fortunately, Chris didn't kill him with the knife just now, otherwise Kajeo would have been seriously injured even if he didn't die. As expected of Shishibukai, what a monster. Hearing everyone's discussion, Kajeo's face was grim, not only because he lost face, but also because he wanted to get back the scene. Just now he took the initiative to provoke Chris, but now he was frightened away by him with a knife, and his survival depends on the mercy of his subordinates. No wonder he can become a Shishibukai, and his strength is so strong. Randall clenched his hands into fists, his face was serious, and he looked at Chris with fear. He didn't see the knife just now. He tried to substitute into Kajeo, and found that if it was him, he couldn't avoid Chris' knife. Leech next to him was also taken aback, but he wasn't too afraid of Chris. Because he is a fast fruit capable person, what he is most proud of is his speed. Although Chris' knife was quick just now, he didn't pay attention to it. He was confident that he could dodge it casually. Bastard, I'll kill you. Kajeo's body suddenly grew bigger, originally 3 meters high, now almost 5 meters tall. He was steaming all over his body, his skin was hot, and red lines appeared on his face, making him look extremely hideous. This is Kajeo's runaway fruit, which can fully improve the speed, strength, and defense of the capable user after use. Kajeo bumped into Chris like a humanoid monster, and the ground was trampled down along the way. Boom! A black shadow flew out from behind Chris and collided head-on with the rushing Kajeo. The hurricane caused by the collision raged in the venue, and the people watching the battle covered their eyes one after another. The dust dispersed, and Dawes and Kajeo were in a stalemate. Afterwards, the two of them exchanged dozens of strokes, their fists collided with sharp blades, and sparks splashed unexpectedly. The rampage fruit endowed Kajeo with a steel-like body, and only a few white marks were left when Dawes's dice dice fruit slashed it. I didn't expect one of Chris' subordinates to be able to fight the orc Kajeo inextricably. How powerful is the galaxy pirates? Just one subordinate has such strength, the captain can see it. Kajeo was even more worried when he saw that he was unable to take down one of the opponent's crew members. Dawes was kicked back with a punch and he took a few steps back, his right hand was clenched into a fist and his arm was swollen, and the hot skin emitted heat. Beast fist attack. Kajeo's fist hit a shockwave, plowing out a deep hit on the ground and turning it into a roaring animal head. Roar? Advertisement. Dawes's whole body turns into a sharp blade, and the black armament hacky is covered. Slash. Cross your arms and swing forward, chopping out a cross-shaped slash. Boom, the shockwaves generated by the collision of moves destroyed the entire auction house, the roof was pierced, and the sun shone on Kajia and Daz. The two were out of breath, with scars on their bodies, and it seemed that both sides were hurt. Rayleigh was sitting on a big tree next to him, drinking some wine and watching the battle below. To him, these are just little pirates playing house, and treat them as the pastime of the elderly. However, when he saw Dawes using armament hacky, his pupils shrank and he was a little surprised. I didn't expect someone to have learned armament hacky in the first half of the Grand Line and it seems that the realm can be hardened. This is just a cotter of a pirate group, so what about the strength of their captain? Rayleigh finally took an interest in Chris. Although Kajeo is the captain of the pirate with a bounty of 260 million baileys, the bounty is far more than Dawes's 100 million, but Dawes has learned armament hacky, which is enough to be evenly matched with him. Kajeo spat out a mouthful of bloody phlegm, looked at Chris and said angrily, Chris, if you have the ability to come out and fight Lousy, what kind of man is he to hide behind and watch the show? Dawes said indifferently, you don't need the captain to deal with you. Kajeo said, asshole, Lousy hasn't used his full strength yet, do you think this is the full power of the rampage fruit? Dawes wanted to say something, but after seeing Chris waving his hand, he turned back behind Chris in an instant, and the sharp blade on his body also changed back. Since you want to play, I'll accompany you through a few tricks. What if you lose? Seeing that Chris finally entered the arena, the onlookers became excited. This is Shishibukai level combat power, such a battle is very rare. Kajeo said, if you lose, Lousy's head will be given to you. The little brothers next to him tried to persuade him not to be impulsive, but he was sent flying with a flick of his hand. Orc Kajeo is the most common kind of reckless guy in Grand Line, he is more reckless than Jack, and has a fight with Luffy. Once you want to fight, you never care about the result. 
Chris grinned. If that's the case, then I'm not going to be polite. The hot air from Kajeo's body erupted again, his body temperature rose sharply, and the air around him was a little distorted. The ability of the fruit of the runaway is fully activated, which is more than a step better than dealing with Dawes just now. He crossed his fists up and down, just like Luchi's posture with the Six King's Sphere. Chris, this is my strongest move, die. Advertisement. Beast King Fury. A flaming beast came roaring and biting at Chris. It was so fast that it was there in the blink of an eye. Where the beasts passed, the rocks were scorched and melted. Everyone watching the battle was dripping with sweat. Although the heat was unbearable, no one left. To see such a wonderful battle, what is it to suffer a little? Boom. Chris' body was torn apart, splashing mercury all over the sky. After the flame beast tore Chris apart, it ran amok and destroyed everything behind Chris. No, can't it? Chris just died. Am I wrong? How could Shishibukai be defeated by Kajeo with one move? Jinda is not a fake Shishibukai, is it? Seeing that Chris was beaten to nothing, everyone thought that Chris had died in battle. Randall looked at the mercury on the ground, frowning. He didn't believe that Chris would be defeated so easily. Kajeo's move with all his strength was really powerful, but it didn't have the power to kill Shishibukai in seconds. The same is true for Leech, although he is arrogant, he is not an idiot. If the Shishibukai can be defeated so easily, then Marine will not win them over, and they will not be able to deter the pirates of the world. Kajeo half kneeled on the ground 1.7, panted heavily, looked at Enel and the others, and said with a smile, after all, Lao Zi won, and Tian Wuhei is not too bad. Even though he's exhausted and unable to move now, defeating a Shishibukai still makes him proud. However, several members of the Galaxy Pirates ignored him, Salin and Jack looked at each other and smiled dismissively. Enel scratched his head, feeling a little bored. Only Bebo the White Bear couldn't understand the situation, thought Chris was really dead, and was trembling with fright. Galaxy. The Quicksilver all over the ground suddenly started to flow, and it was too late when Kajeo found out. He struggled to get out of the Quicksilver, but was submerged in the end. A bolt of Quicksilver took the form of a human, and eventually Chris. With the control of the palm, the Quicksilver wrapped Kajeo and flew into the air. I don't want your head, if you can survive this trick. Chris didn't finish the rest of the sentence, and then, Chris shook it hard. Galactic funeral, blood spattered, and Kajeo's screams resounded throughout the universe. After he fell from midair, everyone saw that Kajeo's body was already weak and distorted out of shape. Advertisement. Chapter 81 Finding Pluton Rayleigh. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Although Chris didn't kill him, he didn't want to make Kajeo feel better either. Half of Kajeo's bones were crushed by Chris, and his internal organs were also broken and damaged by the mercury, and now there is only one breath left. Fortunately, Kajeo is the one who has the ability to run away from the fruit. This fruit gave him a strong body and defense, otherwise he would have died long ago. Sure enough, Shishibukai is not something everyone can challenge. The orc Kajeo is already very strong, but I didn't expect him to be so weak in front of Galaxy Chris. It took only one move to disable Kajeo, this is Shishibukai, what a monster. Everyone looked at Chris in awe, in this battle, Chris proved his strength. Randall glanced at Kajeo on the ground, then turned and left with his men. After seeing Chris fight, he realized that he was still far behind. Leech also had an ugly face. He was not as calm as Randall, and he always thought that he was no weaker than Chris. Now seeing that Kajeo, who is also a supernova like him, was easily defeated, he realized the gap between himself and Chris, which is simply heaven and earth. Hey, over there, are you Kajeo's crew? Chris called members of the Orc Pirates to rescue Kajeo. If he is not treated in time, he will really die. Tell him when he wakes up, if he wants, he can carry the Lao Z flag on his back. Leaving this sentence, Chris left with everyone. Recruiting Kajeo was a temporary idea of Chris, and he was also the minister of the plan. The four emperors are not so easy to challenge. Not only are they powerful, but each four emperors has dozens of affiliated pirate groups, and the total number of them is tens of thousands. In order to challenge the 404 emperors, Chris not only needs to strengthen the strength of the galaxy pirates, but also recruit some affiliated pirates. Kajeo is a supernova with great potential. At the same time, this kind of reckless man does not have so many careful thoughts. Once he surrenders, he will not easily betray him. He is an excellent recruit for Chris. It's a pity that the other two supernovas left, otherwise Chris would have recruited them. But don't worry, as long as they are on this island, Chris will have a chance. Now the top priority is to find Rayleigh, and in the blink of an eye, Rayleigh is gone again. Enel, did you find Rayleigh? Fortunately, Chris asked Enel to keep tracking his breath, otherwise he would have to search again. Found it, not far from here. Following Enel, Chris and his party came to a casino. Advertisement. Chris knew in his heart that Rayleigh must have stolen a large sum of money at the auction just now. Enter the casino. Chris walked to a gaming table and sat down, betting a large amount of chips on the double. Rayleigh was taken aback for a moment, and pushed out the chips in front of him, placing them on the order. He already recognized Chris, the two had just met. Chris smiled slightly and said, Uncle, you walked so fast just now. I paid the money and found out that the goods I bought ran away by himself. In fact, Chris didn't pay at all, and the auction house lost a lot because of this conflict. Rayleigh was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, The old man is too old to watch fighting and killing. It would be bad if you accidentally hurt yourself. Of course, you have to stay away. At this time, the croupier opened the color cup, and the three dice 456 inside add up to 15 points. Rayleigh took back a large amount of chips with a smile, and said, Little brother, gambling relies on skill. You are still young, so don't play if you don't have good gambling skills. Otherwise, it is easy to go bankrupt. Chris didn't care, and continued to buy a pair. In this way, Chris bought dozens of hands in a row, and every time Rayleigh and Chris bought the right one. As a result, Chris lost dozens of hands in a row, and Rayleigh made a lot of money. The people around discovered this scene and followed suit one after another. They all regarded Chris as being taken advantage of. Okay, uncle, I have business with you, is this enough money? With Chris's observation hacky, it is natural to win if you want to win, and lose if you want to lose. Seeing that he lost all his chips, Chris didn't want to gamble anymore, it was too boring. Ha ha ha, today's young people are really interesting, and this old man is very interested. Rayleigh laughed and looked very satisfied. He just won a full 100 million baileys, enough to drink for a long time. 
However, they wanted to leave, but the casino didn't want to agree. Rayleigh won a total of 100 million baileys. Although most of the bets were made by Chris, the casino also lost tens of millions. If only the guy who won the money was a big shot, but Rayleigh is clearly an old man and he wants to take the money and walk away, isn't that a joke? Watching the gangsters surrounding him, Chris started to roll his eyes. Do you want to be so bloody? Why do you encounter such bloody plots every time you come to the casino? Uncle, it looks like they don't want you to go, why don't you return all the money to them? Chris was a little gloating, since he met him, let's have fun. Wahahaha, it's rare for the old man to win money once, how could he give it up? It seems that some people are going to suffer today. Advertisement. Hearing what Chris said, the thugs burst out laughing. This kid is right, old man, you are going to suffer today, so hand over the money quickly. Rayleigh's eyes widened, and the leak prince's lust rushed out. All of a sudden, everyone in the casino rolled their eyes and collapsed to the ground. As expected of Pluton Rayleigh, this conqueror's is simply. Everyone in the galaxy pirates was stunned by this scene. Is the crew of One Piece hanging like this? Just come out and there will be conquerors hacky? They heard from Chris that only one person in a million can awaken conquerors hacky. Why do they feel that there are such people everywhere on Chuanja's ship? If he knew what they were thinking, Chris would have said, You guys are right, there is no shortage of conquerors on Roger's ship. To count, Roger himself, Rayleigh, Bullet, plus red hair, that's four. There are still many things that have not been introduced in the original book, and there may be more? Yeah ha ha ha, is this Roger's deputy captain? It really is a monster. Enel laughed out loud, and the smile looked a bit hideous. Everyone returned to the blackmail bar. Chris said, Uncle Rayleigh, I'm here to ask you to coat my boat, but unfortunately you are too good at running around, I searched for three days before I found you. Rayleigh said, ha 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 ha, the old man just went out to buy wine and drink, isn't he back? Chris told where the galaxy was docked, Rayleigh nodded, and said, don't worry, it only takes three days. Chris believed in Rayleigh's craftsmanship, and since he was selected, he didn't have to worry about the future. A few days ago, this old man felt a burst of conqueror's hacky emanating from Sabayati Archipelago, so it should be you. Rayleigh looked at Chris and asked. Chris nodded in acknowledgement, there was nothing to hide. John Chris, a rookie who just debuted this year, I didn't expect you to have mastered conquerors now, what a formidable young man. Rayleigh took a sip of his wine and sighed, being able to awaken conquerors already represents Chris' potential. Now he is already so strong, as long as he does not die in the future, he will definitely become one of those people who will influence the world. Where is it, compared to you old seniors, I am still far behind. Although Chris knows he is good, he must be humble, especially in front of a legendary like Rayleigh. Advertisement. Rayleigh shook his head and said, no, 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 you are too modest. I can't misjudge you, you are a young man who is rarely seen in ten years. Chris didn't want to dwell on the subject with Rayleigh, so he asked, what the hell did you see at Raftal? Chris is very curious, this is something that is not mentioned in the original book. Although he expected that Rayleigh would not tell the truth, Chris couldn't help but ask. Sure enough, Rayleigh didn't answer, just said, if you want to know, then let your boat move along the pointer, until you get to the end, you will find the answer you want. Four emperors, Shishibukai and naval headquarters, the three major forces have reached a balance in interaction, will the world really allow another pirate to appear? Chris looked out the window with deep eyes, wondering what he was thinking. Rayleigh chuckled. Now is the age of young people. The old man is just a reclusive old man. The answer to this question is for you to find yourself. 693. Although the world government covered up the Celestial Dragons incident, some people from the outside world still received the news, and some forces hidden in the dark were ready to move. New World, Darice Rosa, Cha Chakakeka, Yin He, how much surprise can you give me? Sitting in the palace, Doflamingo laughed wildly, bursting out from time to time, causing the whole palace to shake. Those idiots in the Holy Land, look at it, the tide of the times has come, how long can you stay high? Doflamingo received the news from the Sabayati Archipelago, and even he never thought that there are still people in this world who would dare to attack the dragon opener. Ever since the day Doflamingo was denied return to the Holy Land, he has hated the Celestial Dragons. On the one hand, he thinks he is superior because of his identity as Celestial Dragons, but on the other hand, he hopes that someone can destroy the rule of Celestial Dragons. It is such contradictory thoughts that make Doflamingo such a contradictory character. The cooperation between Doflamingo and Kaido is to start a war that spreads to the whole world, and destroy the whole world. Baldigo, the island of White Clay, is the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. Relying on Big Bear lurking inside the Marine, the Revolutionary Army obtained a lot of confidential information inside the Marine. After the Celestial Dragons incident, the Revolutionary Army also received the news from Big Bear immediately. Unbeknownst to Chris, Long, the leader of the Revolutionary Army, also began to pay attention to him on this day. A person who dares to show his fangs to the Celestial Dragons, no matter what his identity is, has the possibility of cooperating with the Revolutionary Army. Long stands on the roof and looks towards the east, which is East Blue. Whenever he is free, he likes to stand here and look at his hometown. There is his son he misses most. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Recruiting Supernovas, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. The next day, Chris took Enel and Luo to hang out in the Sabayati Archipelago, and the coding was still several days away, so he just took advantage of this time to recruit those supernovas. Everyone else is free to act. To deal with supernova, he and Enel are enough. Let Luo follow to heal his injuries. You must know that these supernovas are all arrogant, and it is impossible to be recruited without a beating. Hey, Chris, are you really going to recruit those people? In private, Enel doesn't call Captain Chris, just his real name. Aren't they a bit weak? Are they qualified to board our ship? Enel despises these supernovae. Although they are famous, they don't know Haki. Chris nodded and said, that's right, if we want to challenge the four emperors, we alone are not enough. You must know that each four emperors pirate group has at least tens of thousands of combat strength, and we are still far behind. Also, don't underestimate them. Although they are weak now, they have great potential. As long as they receive training guidance, they will soon become stronger. 
The aptitude of each supernova is very good. The extremely evil generation in the original book, after two years, all of them are flourishing in New World. Suddenly, Chris's eyes lit up and he found the target. A dozen or so people walked towards us, the leader being a handsome man over two meters tall, about 25 years old. Randall Stekro, the captain of the Sword Tiger Pirates, is one of the supernovas Chris is looking for. Chris saw Randall, and Randall naturally saw Chris. Seeing Chris standing in the middle of the road, Randall knew that this was not a chance encounter, and that Chris had come to find him specially. When the two parties met, there were more than a dozen people on one side, and only two people on the other side, but Randall was very disturbed. He knew the fighting power of the man in front of him, and the number was meaningless to him. Chris and Randall just stood there, the atmosphere was extremely dignified, and the passersby saw that the situation was not good, and fled the Shura field that was about to explode. Is something wrong? Randall asked first. Randall's crow, how about a bounty of 230 million baileys? Do you want to fly my flag? With Chris Curran's strength and identity, there is no need to hide and hide when recruiting subordinates. If you can, you can, if you can't, you can't, if you agree, let him board the boat, if you don't agree, beat him up, and then let him board the boat again. Hey, bastard, what are you talking about? Do you know who you're talking to? Before Randall could speak, one of his younger brothers was already furious. Who does this guy think he is? It's too arrogant to ask his captain to change his flag as soon as he comes up, right? Chris smiled and didn't speak, but Enel already understood what Chris meant. Boom, a bolt of lightning fell from the sky, splitting the person who spoke just now. Enel's culinary skills have improved recently, and this person's familiarity is just right. Chris, you are so arrogant. Advertisement. Seeing the crew being killed, Randall couldn't bear it anymore. Even if you know you can't beat him, you can't be cowardly at this time, otherwise you can't be regarded as a man. Randall is tall, with two big fangs growing out of his mouth, bulging muscles all over his body, and a tail growing out of his buttocks. This is the form of Zoan's ancient saber-toothed tiger. Chris was a little taken aback, this guy really ate a good fruit. Zoan ancient species is very rare, there are not many in the whole world of One Piece, all of them are in Beast's Pirates. Chris is a little thankful that he came early, if Randall entered the new world, Kaido would definitely come to recruit him. Such a good Zoan ability user is Kaido's favorite. Call out? Randall turned into a black shadow and disappeared, and then Chris's chest was torn apart, leaving five hideous wounds. The speed is good. The attack power is not bad. Chris exclaimed. Too bad it didn't work for me. No how could armament hacky hurt Chris? Shave. Chris disappeared in place, and observation hacky caught Randall ahead of time. Clenching a fist with his right hand, the pitch black arm thunder chi has completely covered the curtain. Boom, the fist made a sonic boom in the air and hit Randall hard in the chest. A human-shaped pothole appeared on the ground, and Randall was embedded in the hole in embarrassment. His body gradually returned to its original shape, and he vomited blood. With just one punch, Randall had already lost his ability to fight. Although Chris only used six points of strength for this punch, it is still extremely powerful after covering armament hacky. Although Randall is a zoan capable person with rough skin and thick flesh, he still couldn't handle Chris' punch and was seriously injured. With Chris Admiral's level of strength, dealing with supernovas is just a matter of one punch. Didn't you see that in the original book, Kizaro instantly killed three supernovas in one second? Captain. Asshole, kill him to avenge the captain. Seeing that Randall was seriously injured, more than a dozen crew members of the Sword Tiger Pirates came up to rescue him. Don't come up. Randall knew the strength of Chris and Enel, and he didn't want his crew to die in vain. Hey, Thor, don't kill them, they will still be companions in the future. If he doesn't stop, Enel will definitely go on a killing spree, and Chris doesn't want to form a blood feud with Randall, that would be hard to recruit. Advertisement. Enel snorted coldly, cut, it's really troublesome. In that case, let's just play around. 10 million volts discharge. The dozen or so people who were hit by lightning screamed and fell to the ground one after another. Only one person managed to stand up. Ale, there's still a little bug left. Enel was a little surprised. Although 10 million volts is very weak, it is enough to instantly kill the pirates who are 4,000 square meters away. Caster. It turns out that he is Randall's deputy Custer, nicknamed the Machete, with a bounty of 89 million baileys, and he is almost going to become a supernova. Randall got up shaking his seriously injured body, and then yelled at Chris, Chris, Laozi won't surrender easily. Watching the saber-toothed tiger rushing towards him, Chris sideways avoided the torn claws, and took a few steps back, just avoiding Randall's kick. In front of observation hacky, all of Randall's attacks were predicted in advance by Chris. In this way, Chris took steps, no matter how fast Randall's attack was, it couldn't hurt Chris at all. Randall, you still don't understand how cruel the new world is. With you now, you can't sail on that sea. After the words fell, Chris kicked Randall into the air and knocked down several houses. It's just one punch and one kick, and you lose your fighting power. Now you understand how far away the world is. Chris put his hands in his pockets and looked down at Randall on the ground. At this moment, Chris' eyes were full of indifference. Randall looked up at Chris, squinting as the blood from his head trickled into his eye sockets. Is the new world full of monsters like you? If that's the case, it's really disappointing. Chris grinned and said, there are many monsters, but few are as strong as me. How much combat power of the Admiral level can be found in the whole world? Looks like I have no choice, but you have to promise not to shoot at my crew. Randall understands his current situation. If he refuses, the Sword Tiger Pirates will become history today. Then I thought about it. Chris is powerful and Shishibukai, so it is not impossible to submit to him. Just thinking about it, Randall gradually lost consciousness and passed out completely. Looking at the unconscious Randall, Chris said softly, One day, you will be grateful for your choice today. Chris is confident that he will become the strongest in the world. When that day comes, everyone under him will be monsters. As an early member, Randall will naturally be cultivated, and it is inevitable to become a monster. Hey, Thor, stop playing. Advertisement. Chris stopped Enel who was still playing cat and mouse, and if he continued playing, Enel would be played to death by him. Luo, help them heal, don't die, they are all companions now. Leaving Luo to heal them, Chris took Enel to find another supernova. Opop fruit can move in space, and Luo can quickly catch up to them after curing them. Boom. 
Chris smashed Leech Torio into the air with one punch, his body destroyed several buildings like a shell, and finally plowed a deep hole in the ground before stopping. As soon as Leech got up, he saw Chris appearing in front of him, only a step away from him, looking down at him from a height. Now you know, the speedy fruit is nothing special. Leech thought he could get tough with Chris by virtue of the quick fruit, but the slap in the face came too fast. Even if his speed suddenly increased to 10 times speed, 20 times speed, under the perception of Chris's observation hacky, there is still nothing to hide. You must know that Kizaru is a sparkling fruit capable person. Can the speed of the speed fruit be as fast as the speed of light? Chris can even grasp the speed of light, let alone him. Chris, don't think that Lao Z will be your subordinate, even if you die. Looking at the sad and angry leech, Chris shook his head. Why did everyone he recruited have this attitude at the beginning? Obviously when Luffy recruited the crew, they all agreed without saying a word. And in Dre, Molly's, Slotha, a group of pirates totaled 5,600 people, crying and shouting to be Luffy's younger brother, and Luffy couldn't refuse even if he wanted to. Is my character so bad? Chris is a little suspicious of life. So in order to prove that his character is not bad, Chris gave Leech a kind and good education. Not long after, Leech respectfully called Captain Chris. It seems that my character is not bad, otherwise, why would you supernovas be willing to follow me? Chris said with a smile as he looked at the blood-dripping Leech. Ten thousand grass and mud horses galloped past Leech's heart. Look at Lao Z's injuries, how thick your skin is to say such brazen words. However, his mouth was very honest, Captain, you are right, everything you say is right. In this way, Chris conquered two supernova pirates today. If you add the previous orc pirates, you will have all the supernovas this year. Before Chris hurt Kajao too badly, they didn't have a good doctor, and maybe they haven't woken up yet. It seems that Luo is going to help him heal. To be the boss is to give both kindness and power. Chris has used his strength to conquer Kajao before, and now he saves his life, which will definitely make Kajao surrender. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 83 Arriving at the Fishman Island, third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. On. The surgical circle slowly shrank, and finally disappeared in Luo's palm. Kajao opened his eyes and saw Luo in front of him at a glance. He remembered this man, he was the ship doctor of the Galaxy Pirates. Kajao said, why did you save me? What's the purpose of Chris? Luo Deo, saving you is of course conditional. From now on, those who have joined the pirates will be the affiliated pirates of the Galaxy Pirates. It's a joke that Chris heard him and now he's trying to recruit him. Kajao grinned and wanted to smile, but he pulled the wound, and with a twitch of his mouth, he withdrew his smiling face. It was Chris who hurt me, he is Lao Z's enemy, and now he wants Lao Z to submit to him, what are you kidding? Hearing Kajao's roar, Luo shook his head and said disdainfully, the battle of pirates is the winner takes the king. You won, you can do whatever you want, but now you are defeated, life and death are in the hands of the captain, what else can you do? Kajao roared, even if Lao Z dies, he will not be his subordinate. The sound was loud, but it touched the wound, and Kajao began to cough violently, and a trace of bloodline flowed out. Hey, don't speak so loudly, I can hear you. Also, if the wound opens again, even I can't save you. Half of Kajao's bones were shattered, and his internal organs were broken in many places. It was thanks to Luo being an op, op fruit capable that he could be revived, otherwise he would be dead. So what if you enter the new world with the current you? Can you survive? Also, the captain didn't send me to save you for free. If you refuse, the orc pirates can't do without Sabayati Archipelago. When Chris asked Luo to come, he said that if Kajao didn't know good from bad, then the orc pirates wouldn't need to exist. Now, as a newly promoted Shishibukai, Chris naturally wants to destroy a few pirate 127 regiments to make an example of others and establish a reputation for himself. Asshole. Kajao gritted his teeth, Lao Zi won't let him go, Chris let Lao Zi join him, aren't you afraid that one day Lao Zi will betray him? Luo Deo, I just convey the order, the rest is none of my business. If you dare, you can try. Pirates are full of killing and betrayal, so Chris recruited his men to guard against this. But Chris believes that as long as he is strong enough, his subordinates will never dare to betray, because they cannot afford the consequences. Advertisement. After the injury, we will gather at this place. It's up to you whether you come or not. Luo left a place and left, while Kajao's face was uncertain. Supernovas generally have the dream of being the One Piece, and if they surrender to Chris, it means that the dream is shattered. But if you don't go, the Orc Pirates will be wiped out tomorrow. Kajao, who has personally experienced Chris' strength, understands that Chris has such strength. Three days later, the station of the Galaxy Pirates. Kajao, Leech, and Randall are all here, and they dare not refuse Chris' summoning order. Chris said, since you are all here, it means that from today onwards, you are all affiliated with the Galaxy Pirates. At present, I have a plan that needs you, so after entering New World, you all have to go with the Galaxy Pirates. After the plan is completed, you can move freely. The general affiliated pirate groups can act freely, and only when the captain calls them will they act together. Randall said, what is your plan? If you let us be cannon fodder, then I will not do it, you should kill me now, Eve. Randall deserves to be the calmest and wisest of the three supernovas, so he vaccinated Chris in advance. When Leech and Kajao heard this, they also looked at Chris with nervous eyes. If they were to be cannon fodder, they would rather fight to the death with the galaxy pirates here. Anyway, they are dead anyway, so it is better to fight for breath before they die. Chris shook his head and smiled, and said, You think too much, I don't have the luxury of using supernovas as cannon fodder. Chris continued, if you want to survive in New World, except for a few pirate alliances, the only way is to join the four emperors. There are countless pirate groups that enter New World every year, but more than 90% of them will be destroyed in less than a year, and most of the rest will join the four emperors. And I am not inferior to others, so I can only take the second path. Randall asked, so you recruited us to challenge the four emperors. If you don't want to join the four emperors, you have to defeat the four emperors. Every year a supernova enters the New World with this goal in mind. 
Chris shook his head and said, It's too early to challenge the four emperors, and you guys are too far behind in combat power, and you are cannon fodder against the four emperors. Seeing that they didn't quite believe it, Chris didn't want to explain too much, and they would naturally understand after entering the new world. Then what's your plan? Leech and Kajeo looked puzzled. They neither challenged the four emperors, nor did they seek refuge with the four emperors. You might be starving. Chris said, My plan is to establish a territory in New World, use this as a foundation, accumulate strength, and when I have enough strength, I will pull one of the four emperors from the throne in one fell swoop. Luo and Randall said at the same time, In other words, we are going to compete with the Pirate Alliance under the four emperors for territory. Advertisement. Apart from Chris, the only smart people in Galaxy Pirates are Luo and Randall. Up. Hearing what Chris said, they immediately figured it out. Chris nodded and said, That's right, first lay down a piece of land in New World, and then challenge the four emperors upwards. The purpose of recruiting you is to increase combat power. A single pirate group cannot fight against the New World Pirate Alliance. Those pirate alliances can survive in the cracks of the four emperors pirate group, and their strength should not be underestimated. If one-on-one -on -one with the opposing captain, Chris is not afraid at all. But those pirate alliances are all combined by several pirate groups, with at least a few thousand people. If Chris wants to compete with them, he needs to gather a large number of people. The Galaxy Pirates is an elite pirate group with too few people. But the three supernova pirates recruited are all semi-elite, and there are thousands of people in total, enough for Chris to start a war in New World. With the order of the captain, the members of the three pirate groups agreed to join Chris. The number of the Galaxy Pirates skyrocketed overnight, turning into a large galaxy fleet with over a thousand members. Two weeks later, the Galaxy Pirates set sail again, and this time there was not only one galaxy, but three affiliated pirates followed them. Originally, it only took three days for Rayleigh to be coated, but Kajeo's injury was so serious that he took two weeks of recuperation to heal. The seabed of Sabayati Archipelago is very spectacular. Seeing this beautiful scene, even Chris had to lament the greatness of nature. Captain, is this soap bubble really unbreakable? Saline was very worried that the bubble would burst, and then everyone on the ship would die together. Chris signaled him to be relieved, and said, It's okay, Rayleigh's workmanship is very good, there will be no problem. Better worry about the Sea King's attack than worry about the bubble bursting. A lot of people die every year because of coating accidents, but more people die at the mouth of Sea Kings. I don't know if it was Chris's crow mouth, but as soon as the words fell, a Sea King swam towards the galaxy. Look at its mouth full of fangs, if it bites the Yinhi, it will inevitably end in shipwreck. Hey, hey, Captain, what should we do? Everyone didn't dare to act rashly, this is the deep sea, and if they make a mistake, they will surely die. Boom. Chris rolled his eyes, and a burst of Conqueror's hacky burst out. Shocked by Conqueror's, Sea Kings broke out in cold sweat instantly, with humanized fear in his eyes. Advertisement. Get out. As if understanding what Chris said, the Sea Kings turned around and ran away, and disappeared without a trace in the blink of an eye. Is this Conqueror's hacky? One look can scare away Sea Kings. When Randall and the others saw the scene, they became more and more in awe of Chris. After they agreed to join, Chris handed over Hacky's practice method to them. Chris said that Observation Hacky and Armament Hacky can be strengthened as long as they practice hard. But the Conqueror's Hacky is only eligible to be possessed by the Chosen Ones, and cannot be acquired through acquired practice. Only one person in a million can awaken Conquerors, this is the qualification of a king? No wonder the captain is as strong as a monster, so it is. From this moment on, they really felt that maybe it would be good to join Chris. Many years later, when they became world-renowned big shots, they were all very fortunate to have agreed to Chris's solicitation today. Puff, the boat passed through the bubble of the Fishman Island. I didn't expect such a beautiful place to exist at a depth of 10,000 meters under the sea. It was also the first time for everyone to come to the Fishman Island, and Rian was attracted by the scenery here. Yah ha 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 I didn't expect such a magical place even under the sea, the Grand Line really didn't disappoint me. Enna lives 10,000 meters in the sky, and the Fishman Island is 10,000 meters under the sea, just two opposites. The moment the Galaxy Pirates entered the Fishman Island, the King Neptune of the Fishman Men Island had already received the news. Alas, hope Chris has no ill intentions for the Fishman Island. King Neptune's face was troubled. The power of the Fishman Island is too weak, if not for the protection of Whitebeard's flag, even a pirate would dare to abduct mermaids. You know, mermaids are very expensive on land, and they can make a lot of money by catching any mermaid. Don't worry, King Neptune, this old man will protect the Fishman Island. The one who spoke was a whale shark man, one of the Shishibukai, Hyxia Jinbei. Neptune said, what is the strength of that Chris? Is he your opponent? Jinbei said, I have never fought against him, but in the sea, the old man will not be afraid of him. Besides, Marco and the others happen to be on the Fishman Island right now. If Chris makes trouble, they won't just sit idly by. Hearing what Jinbei said, King Neptune felt a little relieved. Advertisement. Chapter 84 Fierce Battle with Marco. First update. Please subscribe. Chris and his group were walking on the Fishman Island, and the surrounding mermaids and murlocs did not dare to get close to them and gave way one after another. Saren asked curiously, Captain, how do you feel that the people on the Fishman Island are afraid of us? Everyone looked at Chris with this question. Chris sighed, the pirates used to kill and set fire here before, so of course they were afraid. Luo also nodded and said, Murlocs are very precious on land, and many people would buy them back as slaves, so many years ago, pirates went to the Fishman Island to catch Murlocs. Randall took over the conversation, pointed to a pirate flag on the roof and said, Afterwards, it will rely on this pirate flag to protect the safety of the Fishman Island. Everyone looked up at the pirate flag, all surprised. If they don't even know the pirate flag, then they are in vain. It turned out to be Whitebeard, no wonder he was able to protect the Fishman Island on his own. Seeing the flag of the four emperors, everyone is not surprised, except for the four emperors, who can make people fearful with a pirate flag. Not everyone will be intimidated by Whitebeard's name. At present, there will always be a few people who want money or life. Hearing what Chris said, everyone was a little puzzled. What does Chris mean? Chris didn't explain, just looked ahead quietly. Everyone looked and saw a group of pirates strutting through the market with a few mermaids tied up. The tied mermaids cried bitterly, but no one around dared to step forward to save them. The pirates who can come to the Fishman Island are not weak, and these civilians cannot fight against them. Captain, don't we save people? A mermaid is every man's dream, and seeing a mermaid suffer such an injury, everyone couldn't help it. The beauty is present, if a hero comes to save the beauty, maybe the beauty can be hugged back. 
Chris shook his head and said, No, the rescuers are here, so we don't need to meddle in our own business. Boom. As if responding to Chris's words, a flying bird flashed past in the air, and the speed was so fast that it set off a sonic boom. The bird landed on the roof and turned into a man, and then there was a carefree voice. Hey, can you let go of the mermaid lady in your hands? How about doing it for me? Several pirates said angrily, Stinky boy, what are you? You want us to give you face. Go to hell. Several gunshots followed. Bang, bang, several big holes were punched in the man's body. The man said helplessly, Hey, it hurts me a lot. Then Blue's flame ignited at the bullet hole, and the wound healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. You, you bastard, are you a Logia capable user? Advertisement. These pirates trembled a little when they spoke, and Logia ability users are not something they can deal with. The man ignored the pirate, and just muttered to himself, In the past, as long as the redhead said this, others would obediently save face. Why is it useless when it's my turn? Then a pair of flame wings grew from behind, and the flame surged, turning into a blue bird. Captain, he, he is Marco, the second captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Marco the Phoenix. Someone recognized Marco's identity, spoke in a flustered tone, and felt his teeth chattering. What are you afraid of? There are so many of us, we all go together. That's right, if we kill Marco, we can still be famous all over the world. Boom, Marco kicked the leading man, who then fell on the others like a cannonball. In an instant, everyone was killed. Afterwards, the guards of the Fishman Island came and captured the criminal pirates. Captain, what kind of ability is Marco? It seems very powerful. Looks a lot like Logia, but there's something wrong. Seeing Marco who retracted the flame and turned back into a human form, everyone was a little curious. Enel said, although I don't know what his ability is, it's definitely not Logia. Chris chuckled and said, he is a Zoan phantom beast with the ability of the phoenix fruit. The phoenix in legendary can be reborn from the ashes. He also has this ability of immortality, and all wounds will be reborn in the flames. Phantom beast? Isn't that rarer than Logia? At this moment, everyone knows what the four emperors pirate group is, and the background is too deep. Randomly encountering a phantom beast ability user, I feel that even Logia is a bit low. Marco stopped in front of Chris. You are Yinhi Chris, I have been following you for a long time. Marco took the initiative to speak and spoke very kindly. Chris was stunned, he had never been in contact with the Whitebeard Pirates, had he? I'm just a nobody, you are the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, why pay attention to such a small person like me? Marco smiled and said, Papa likes you very much and wants to accept you as his son. How about it? Do you want to join the Whitebeard Pirates? Hearing what Marco said, the corner of Crick twitched a little. He knew Whitebeard's habit of taking in his son, but he didn't expect him to have a crush on him. I didn't want to join the Whitebeard Pirates, and I might disappoint your dad. Chris shook his head, declining Marco's invitation. He has done a good job of being the boss, how could he be someone else's son, just kidding? Marco wasn't angry either, just smiled. Advertisement. We already guessed that you would say that, so we planned it long ago. As soon as you enter New World, the Whitebeard Pirates will come to you. We all believe that as long as you are convinced, you will definitely join obediently. Chris's face was a bit ugly, and he was targeted by the strongest four emperors before entering New World. This is not good news. If you are a pirate from Common, if you know that you have a chance to join the Whitebeard Pirates I'm sure you don't need to speak local language, you agree immediately. But Chris is different, he doesn't want to be inferior. Looking at Chris' ugly face, Marco continued, You should know that in New World, no one can defy the Whitebeard Pirates, so. Marco didn't finish the sentence, but the meaning is self-evident, that is, let Chris get on the boat obediently and don't resist. Captain, how about we? The two parallel importers, Leech and Kajeo, were a little moved. This was an invitation from the Whitebeard Pirates. If they boarded the boat, they would be able to walk sideways in New World. Shut up. Chris snorted and cut them off. Then he looked at Marco and said, It's come to this point, it seems that I have no choice. Marco nodded and said, Yes, that's true, but don't worry, our Whitebeard Pirates have a good atmosphere, everyone is a family, although you are new here, no one will bully you. At this point, Chris believes that if Chris wants to join a four emperors pirate group, the Whitebeard Pirate group is indeed the best choice. With such a protective father covering him, no one is afraid of going out. Too bad it wasn't an option for Chris. Looking at Marco, Chris suddenly proposed, How about we make a bet? Let's fight. If you win, I will go back to the Whitebeard Pirates with you. If you lose, don't bother me in the future, how about it? Zero, asking for flowers. Marco was taken aback for a moment, but he didn't expect Chris Kangran to make such a proposal. Hey, don't think that you can be arrogant just by being a Shishibukai, the world of pirates is very vast. Marco only thought Chris was joking, not serious. Chris ignored him, flicked his left thumb, and a sword aura came out, the sword aura was as fast as lightning, as fast as thunder. In a flash, a big hole was cut in Marco's chest. Marco was stunned, but he didn't expect Chris to do it as soon as he said it, without any muddling. The wound is surrounded by blue flames, and the wound heals quickly. Marco still had that carefree tone, hey, hey, your knife is so murderous, it hurts me a lot. Chris rolled his eyes and said, stop lying. Flames burst from Marco's body, turning into a phoenix and flying towards Chris. Call out? Chris's observation hacky didn't catch Marco until he was stabbed in the chest. Marco uses the wing as a knife and splits Chris' shoulders. Advertisement. Looking at Marco in midair, Chris grinned and said, Hey, your knife is not weak, and it hurts me too. Then the shoulder healed back to its original shape without leaving a trace of scar. Marco shouted, You don't lie to. Then the two fought together, sometimes on the ground and sometimes in the air. The speed of the fight between the two was too fast, and bystanders could only see the afterimages of the two constantly beating, flashing in various directions. Boom, boom, boom. Every time the two collide, a hurricane rages. The aftermath of the battle spread around, the ground was cracked inch by inch, and houses and buildings collapsed. The onlookers fled towards the distance one after another, for fear of being dragged into the aftermath of the battle. Chris's attack is a mixture of swordsmanship and fruit ability, and every move and style has great power. If ordinary people are hit by the trick, they will be seriously injured within three or two moves, even Shishibukai level will not be easy. However, with his fruit ability, Marco can heal instantly no matter how many injuries he receives. The spectators saw Marco's head cut off and his chest pierced more than once, but he was fine. Marco's whole body is covered with undead flames. The flames are not high temperature but chilling. It falls on Chris like a moss. 
Chris was burned by the undead flame, and every time he had to cut his flesh and bones to get rid of it. Fortunately, Chris is a Lokia capable user, otherwise he would have been seriously injured. The attacks of both of them contain profound armament hacky, every inch of them is under the flesh, and there is a sense of mutual injury. Boom, after a fight, the two separated tens of meters. Chris holds the knife in his backhand, pointing the tip at Marco. One shot style, tiger roar kill. As Chris swung his knife, endless mercury rushed out. A river of mercury covered the sky, and the residents of the entire Fishman Island could see the scene no matter how far away they were. Mercury turns into galloping and roaring tigers, wherever it goes is like a hundred tigers roaring in the mountains and forests. Boom. Facing the monstrous galloping tigers coming from the sky, Marco has nowhere to hide. The wings fluttered, and the undead flame burst out again, colliding with mercury. At this moment, the Fishman Island seems to have an extra dividing line. Silver on one side and blue on the other? P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately typing, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 85 Defeating Marco, Second Update, Please Subscribe. Advertisement. Everyone knows that the battle between Chris and Marco must be very exciting, but they didn't expect the two to fight to this point. Jinbei and King Neptune also came in a hurry. Chris and Marco's fight was so loud that they felt it in the palace. Looking at the fierce battle ahead, Jinbei asked seriously, why did Marco fight with Chris? Neptune worried, Jinbei, can you stop this battle? If the fight continues like this, the Fishman Island will suffer. The battle between pirates is very scary, especially for powerful pirates. Sometimes sinking an island is commonplace. Neptune is worried that Chris and Marco will destroy the Fishman Island. Jinbei shook his head and said, there is no way, the strength of these two people is not inferior to this old man. Don't worry, Marco has a sense of proportion and will not hurt the Fishman Island, and Chris is not such a crazy person. The center of the battlefield is too terrifying, even Jinbei can't easily set foot there. Is this the world's top combat power? The three newly joined Randall side secretly. They couldn't believe that they had actually fought Carrie's monsters. It seems that the captain didn't even use a layer of combat power against us before. Now they are finally convinced by Chris. The double counterattack lasted for about 2.30 minutes, and the mercury and flames gradually dissipated. The shockwave formed by the battle spreads in all directions, as if it wants to destroy everything it touches. The phoenix flames disappeared in the air, turning into swaying blue flowers. Seeing the scene, everyone seemed to see the most beautiful sea of flowers in the world. However, a black shadow suddenly passed by, because the speed was too fast, the friction of the air even ignited a flame. Boom, the black shadow passed by Marco, then, under the shocked eyes of everyone, Marco swayed twice in the air, and fell headlong to the ground. Then the shadow turned around, and it was Chris. Chris followed closely behind, waving Zanjitsu continuously in his hands, showing after images. The endless flying slashes poured down like a torrential rain. Advertisement. The place where Marco landed was bombarded indiscriminately, and it lasted for three minutes before it ended. The area was full of dust, and both Chris and Marco were covered up, and no one could see what was going on in it. Hey, do you think the captain can win? Nonsense, of course the captain can win. In the end, didn't you see that the captain had the upper hand and chopped Marco to the ground with a single knife? That's right, the captain continued to attack Marco for so long, and he swung tens of thousands of slashes. Even if Marco is immortal, he should be injured now. The phoenix fruit also has a limit. When the speed of injury exceeds the speed of recovery, or when Marco's physical strength is insufficient, he will be injured. Finally, the dust cleared, and Marco half kneeled on the ground, with a trace of blood remaining at the corner of his mouth. Chris's Zanjitsu on his neck, what happened? It's self-evident. Wow, seeing that Chris won the battle, everyone in the Galaxy Pirates started cheering, even those affiliated with the Pirates also shouted for Chris. Through this battle, they were convinced, and unconsciously admitted that they were also members of the Galaxy Pirates. Even Jinbei was stunned, never expecting Marco to lose. He knows that Marco's strength is definitely above his own, and he can be called the second person of the Whitebeard Pirates, so he lost to a rookie. Marco, you lost. Chris put Zanjitsu back into the scabbard, and said lightly. Marco stood up shaking and said with a wry smile, I didn't expect you to be so strong, I was wrong. He was clutching his chest, and there was still a hideous wound on it, blood was constantly oozing out, and it was gradually healing as the blue flame burned, but the remaining sword energy on the wound kept tearing his flesh and blood. Chris shook his head and didn't say anything, where is this going? He still retains a large part of his strength. This time he only used the power of swordsmanship and quicksilver fruit, he didn't use the power of lion fruit. Marco does have quasi-admiral strength, but there is still a lot of gap with the real admiral level. Chris is a real admiral level combat power, if he is not absolutely sure, how could he make such a bet with Marco? Chris said, you lost, so follow the agreement and don't come to trouble me in the future. Marco rolled his eyes, grinned and said, it's me who bet with you, so I'm the one who doesn't trouble you, not including the Whitebeard pirates. If Dad and the others know what happened today, I believe they will be more grateful to you. Interest. The corner of Chris's mouth twitched, and before he could speak, Marco had spread his wings and flew away. Just wait, we'll meet again soon. Advertisement. Seeing Marco disappearing into the distance, Chris was dumbfounded. He didn't expect that Marco would cheat and make a mistake. It seems that the Quicksilver Fruit must be awakened as soon as possible, otherwise my chances of winning against Whitebeard are too low. No one in the world is sure of victory when facing Whitebeard, let alone it is 1516, and it is Whitebeard four years ago. After defeating Randall and the others, Chris finally collected enough money to awaken the fruit. I originally wanted to awaken in Sabayati Archipelago, but the system said that when Devil Fruit awakens, Chris will be unable to control his ability for a period of time, and the movement will be very loud. In order not to expose this whole card, Chris plans to find a deserted island to awaken his ability after entering the new world. Ding dong, congratulations to Host for defeating Marco. Marco offered a bounty of 1.1 billion, but Host didn't kill him, and deducted 20%. This time, he got a bounty of 880 million belly. The system came in time, and the bounty arrived as soon as Marco was defeated. Marco is the mate of the Four Emperors Pirate Group, and the bounty is ridiculously high. Even if 20% is deducted, there are still 880,000 baileys. 
Converted back, his bounty is a full 1.1 billion. The bounties offered by the four emperor's mates are all more than 1 billion. I couldn't find Marco's bounty on the internet, so the author set it at 1.1 billion. If you don't like it, don't post it. System, how much is my balance? Ding dong, the host's current balance is 2.9 billion, 24 million baileys. Why? Before he knew it, Chris's coffers were full again. However, Awakening Devil Fruit will cost 2 billion at one time, and it will shrink in an instant. Your Excellency Chris, welcome to the Fishmen Island. How about going to the palace for a briefing? The banquet is ready. Neptune and Jinbei came and invited Chris to the palace. After knowing Chris' combat strength, they had to be cautious, and also wanted to find out Chris's attitude towards the Fishmen Island. The Fishmen Island Palace. Everyone enjoyed delicious food and wine, and there were Murloc girls dancing on the stage. Jinbei asked strangely, Your Excellency Chris, why did you conflict with Marco? The Fishmen Island has a close relationship with the Whitebeard Pirates. If Chris is against the Whitebeard Pirates, then Jinbei will also stand against Chris. Chris said, Marco said that old man Whitebeard took a fancy to me and wanted to adopt me as his son. As soon as these words came out, Neptune and Jinbei took a sip of their drinks. But what Chris said next left them stunned even more. Chris said, I refused. Nanny. Advertisement. Jinbei and Neptune opened their mouths, their eyes protruded from their sockets, and they looked like they had seen a ghost. Chris said, Marco said that the Whitebeard pirates have planned to come to me, and I will be targeted by them as soon as I enter New World. I made a bet with Mal that as long as he wins, I will join the Whitebeard pirates, but if, if he loses, the Whitebeard pirates can no longer trouble me. Jinbei asked, then Marco is defeated now, isn't it? Chris said angrily, that bastard Marco actually played tricks on me, and said that he was the one who bet with me instead of the Whitebeard pirates. He clearly wanted to play tricks. Jinbei and Neptune looked at each other, neither knowing what to say. But according to the current situation, Chris and the Whitebeard pirates are not enemies, and Jinbei and Neptune are relieved. Jinbei said, if the father has his eyes on someone, he won't stop until he is taken to the ship. Your Excellency Chris, you have to make preparations early. Chris shook his head, I didn't intend to join the Whitebeard pirates. Now that I'm out in the sea, of course I want to be the Pirate King, but I can see that Whitebeard has no ambition to be the Pirate King. Jinbei also agreed, father just wants to sail with his family. As long as he is accompanied by his family, he is already very satisfied. Although Jinbei is not a member of Whitebeard Pirates, he still calls him daddy, because of Whitebeard's great kindness to the Fishmen Island, Jinbei is even willing to die for him. Chris said, yes, it's been 16 years since Roger died. If Whitebeard wanted to, he would have been Pirate King, but he didn't just stay before the throne. So I won't join the Whitebeard Pirates. After Chris finished speaking, he drank the wine in his hand in one gulp. Actually, I have another reason for not joining the Whitebeard Pirates. Hearing this, both Jinbei and Nip 1.7 Ton looked at Chris curiously. Chris said, if I say I want to be four emperors, will you think I'm Lan? Jinbei was stunned, and said, indeed, most people will be regarded as crazy if they say such things. Neptune sighed, the four emperors have ruled the new world for more than ten years. Since the four emperors came to power, countless pirates challenged them every year, but none of them succeeded, and they all died. Chris smiled, maybe I can succeed. Jinbei and Neptune also laughed dryly, not knowing what to say. Who doesn't think so when they challenge the four emperors every year? But in the end, all they have left is despair. Chris looked at this beautiful palace, and suddenly sighed, Actually, you, the Fishmen Island, have to find a way out earlier, otherwise, once Whitebeard falls, this place will immediately fall into a bloody storm. Jinbei was taken aback, not knowing what Chris meant. How could Whitebeard fall, he is the strongest man in the world. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 86 The Whitebeard Pirates are in action, third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Chris grinned and said, did you all know the news about the Golden Lion's demise a few days ago? Jinbei and Neptune nodded. Although the incident happened on land, they still received the news. The news was so shocking that even the sea could not block the spread of the news. Golden Lion, Whitebeard, and Roger are the three kings of the old era, now that the third has gone, how long can the remaining one last? You know, Whitebeard is already very old, how many years can he live now that he is covered with injuries? The body is getting old day by day, and old injuries have recurred. Do you think Marine will let go of this good opportunity to hunt the king? Chris's continuous cross-examination left Jinbei speechless. Because he knows that what Chris said is true, he has been to the Whitebeard Pirates, and his father is now receiving a drip every day, and the medical staff around him are watching him 24 hours a day and night. Whitebeard, as the last remaining king of the old era, is the dreamed goal of the pirates all over the world. Once he falls, the pirates all over the world will be hit, and Marine will not let him go. Chris knew that the summit war broke out because of this, and Ace was just the fuse. If Whitebeard was 10 years younger, ask Marine, would they still dare to fight the Whitebeard pirates? Jinbei also looked serious at this time, if that day really came, the Fishman Island he had gone to protect would only make people cut off. Among the Shishibukai, only Jinbei and Empress are the most special. No one from the rest of the Shishibukai dares to go wild in their territory, but they are often provoked. Because they are weak? No, they are certainly not weak, at least they are much stronger than Sand Crocodile and Moria. But because the mermaid of the Fishman Island and the female 04 warrior of Amazon Lily are very expensive slaves in the outside world, if you catch one, you can earn hundreds of millions, so some daring pirates would rather offend Shishibukai than catch people. In the final analysis, it is only because of interests. Chris said, the Fishman Island has to find a way to strengthen itself, relying on others will never have a way out. Whitebeard is down. The Fishman Island can be attached to another four emperors, but four emperors are also human, and they will die one day. Only when you are strong, you will have eternal peace. Jinbei shook his head helplessly, although the Murloc's innate wrist strength is ten times that of humans, they are no match for humans after all. Because of racial discrimination, humans treat mermaids as slaves, which led to the current situation. Neptune said, the princess has been committed to seeking racial equality during her lifetime, but she failed in the end. Chris shook his head and said disdainfully, how can there be equality when there is unequal strength? Will you coexist peacefully with a weak race? Jinbei said with an ugly face, does your lord Chris also discriminate against the murlocs? Advertisement. 
Chris shook his head. I never discriminate against murlocs, only the weak. Chris stood up and looked at the sea outside the palace with deep eyes. Do you know? In fact, human beings and mermaids are the same, and they all abide by the laws of nature. Natural selection, survival of the fittest, the strong will eliminate the weak, this is the theorem of everything that never changes. If murlocs want to land on land and have an equal right to speak with humans, the only way is to be strong. Jinbei and Neptune have never thought about this. They have always believed that as long as they can establish a system of peaceful coexistence with humans and make the world government recognize the existence of murlocs, racial discrimination can be eliminated. But they didn't expect that all this was their wishful thinking. Because they are weak, they have no right to speak. Because they are weak, humans will continue to discriminate against them, and mermaids will still be sold as slaves. Because they are weak, the world government never thought of peacefully coexisting with them. Without changing this fundamental cause, whatever they do will be in vain. Jinbei asked sincerely, Your Excellency Chris has said so much, is there a way to make us strong? Chris shook his head, then pointed at Jinbei, I don't have it, but you have it yourself. Jinbei and Neptune looked puzzled, not knowing what it meant. Chris chuckled and said, Do you know where the resources are the most in this world? Jinbei didn't think about this question, but when Chris mentioned it, he thought of it instantly, and blurted out, The sea. Chris nodded. That's right, the sea is the place with the most resources in the world, and you murlocs obviously have the biggest treasure in the world, but you never know how to use it. The resources on the bottom of the sea are endless, and humans cannot exploit them, but you murlocs can. The Fishman Island can mine seabed resources, whether it is mineral deposits, metals, pearls, or exotic medicines, which are priceless on land. With the status of Jinbei Shishibukai, you can bring these to land and trade. With money, you can get anything, whether it's weapons, technology, or devil fruit. In just a few years, the strength of the Fishman Island will undergo earth-shaking changes. I believe that one day, the Fishman Island will no longer need to rely on the strong, but will be able to walk on land and have an equal right to speak with humans. Only in this way can murlocs eliminate racial discrimination and coexist peacefully with humans. Jinbei and Neptune couldn't recover for a long time, they were stunned by Chris' remarks. Then Neptune was overjoyed, raised his glass and said to Chris, Thank you Chris, your help to the Fishman Island today, the Fishman Island will never forget. What Chris said today awakened the dreamer, Jinbei, and Neptune both have a hunch, if they really do what Chris said, the Fishman Island will not be afraid of anyone in the future. Advertisement. Chris also has his own reasons for doing this. Chris plans to take the Fishman Island under his command after Whitebeard's death. You know, Poseidon Poseidon is here, this is a power that can destroy the world, so Chris couldn't help but be tempted. But Poseidon is different from Pluton, she is a living person, she cannot be manipulated by Chris' will. To gain the power of Poseidon, Chris has no choice but to give the Fishman Island. The advice Chris gave them today is enough to make the Fishman Island's power soar tenfold and a hundredfold. At that time, the Fishman Island will be Chris's most reliable ally. If Chris needs it, the Fishman Island will definitely stand behind him, so that Poseidon's power can also be used by him. A week later, Chris left the Fishman Island and headed for the New World. While Chris was still on his way to New World, the Fishman Island caused a stir among the Whitebeard Pirates. Marco returned to the Whitebeard Pirates with his wounds. Seeing that his wounds were not healed, everyone thought he had encountered a strong enemy. You know, Whitebeard won't let anyone do anything to his kids. Just when everyone clamored to avenge Marco, Marco said that it was caused by Chris. Then he told me what happened that day from beginning to end. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates was dumbfounded and couldn't believe it. In their eyes, Chris is just a newcomer, even if he becomes a Shishibukai, it's no big deal. Didn't Lock D.A.R. run away in embarrassment in front of the Whitebeard Pirates back then? Now they know that the kitten in their eyes is actually a big tiger. Whitebeard laughed loudly, this kid, the old man likes him more and more. Little ones, go and meet him. I can't pretend that I didn't see him when I beat my son. Whitebeard said that he wanted to avenge Marco, but in fact he just wanted to convince Chris to bite him as his son. As for the bet that Marco said, it was directly ignored by Whitebeard. That's what he ordered with Marco, what's the matter with Laozi? So, the Whitebeard pirates set sail, heading towards the entrance from the deepest part of New World. Naval headquarters was shocked when they got the news. The Whitebeard pirates haven't been out of New World for many years. What's the purpose of this time? Naval headquarters also held several meetings for this. Admiral Akaino was placed in New World, Kizura and Aokiji were ready to support. A sea area in New World. The sun is shining brightly at this moment, the sky is blue and cloudless, and the sea and sky are the same color. Advertisement. Chris stood at the bow of the ship and cut the pirate ship in front with a knife. Then a reminder sounded in his head that the rewards had arrived. These rewards were too small and too many, and Chris didn't even bother to count them. New World is much more chaotic than Paradise. As soon as the galaxy pirates surfaced, they were attacked by other pirates. These people are like mad dogs, they bite everyone they see. The galaxy pirates have come all the way, but within a few days, they have encountered several waves of robbery. Salim suddenly exclaimed, Captain, there is a small island ahead. Everyone ran onto the deck one after another, only to see a small black spot about five kilometers to the southeast. As the Yinhe approached, the black spots became bigger and bigger, and after a while, a small island took shape. Everyone landed by boat, Chris sensed it with observation hacky, and found that it was an isolated island, which was just used to awaken devil fruit. Chris dismissed everyone and went out to the island alone, no one would bother him without his order. How long does it take to awaken devil fruit? It's always good to do more. The trees on the island are towering and densely covered with thorns. Chris was walking in the jungle, and from time to time there were a few beast roars coming from a distance. The deserted island of New World is no better than a paradise. The beasts on the island are not easy to mess with. It is possible that hundreds of thousands of bounty pirates will die here. Chris turned on the system in his mind and asked, System, how much money do I have now? Ding dong, the current balance of host is 3.16 billion baileys. After defeating Marco, Chris has 2.924 billion baileys, and now it has risen to 3.16 billion. Pirates along the way are still quite valuable. System, deduct 2 billion to help me awaken the quicksilver fruit. Ding dong, 2 billion has been deducted successfully, and the balance is 1.16 billion. It will take 3 days for the quicksilver fruit to awaken. As the electronic sound of the system sounded, a strange energy penetrated into Chris's body, combining with the power of the quicksilver fruit. This force squeezed out all the power of the quicksilver fruit, and began to transform Chris's body from the cellular level. Puff. 
Chris's body exploded suddenly, turning into a puddle of mercury and falling to the ground. Although Chris still retains consciousness, he can't change back to human form. At this moment, he lost his ability to control. Mercury transforms between solid, liquid, and gas states, and sometimes coexists in multiple states. Advertisement. Chapter 87 The Awakening of the Mercury Fruit. First update. Please subscribe. Advertisement. A deserted island in the New World. From the sky, there is a silver lake in the middle of the island. Such a strange picture is very rare even in New World. If you look closer, you will find that the lake is not filled with water, but mercury. A bird flew over the mercury lake, neighed a few times, then fell headlong into the lake and died. This lake was transformed by Chris. The surrounding air is full of mercury poisonous gas. The birds can't fly, they don't float. It has been three days since Chris awakened devil fruit, and the quicksilver lake that Chris transformed is getting bigger and bigger. At first, Chris's consciousness became weaker and weaker until he fell into a deep sleep, but on the third day, Chris began to regain consciousness. When he woke up, he realized that the little bit of mercury that exploded from his body had now expanded into a lake with a diameter of tens of kilometers. Chris didn't show up for three days, Enel sent a dozen people to the island to look for Chris, and they found Mercury Lake in the center of the island. In the end, only three or four of the dozen people fled back to the ship, and the others died of poisoning on the spot because the constitution was too weak and they inhaled too much mercury vapor. After the news came back, although everyone didn't know what happened to Chris, they knew that the Mercury Lake must be related to Chris. If Chris doesn't show up, there's nothing they can do but wait patiently. But then they discovered that as the Mercury Lake became bigger and bigger, the poisonous gas also began to spread. On the third day, the plants on the edge of the island began to wither, and the beasts on the island also fled for their lives. Everyone dared not stay on the island, and sailed out to see one after another. Chris regained the ability of Devil Fruit, so he began to control the shrinking of Mercury Lake. In this way, Mercury Lake shrank from tens of kilometers in diameter to almost ten kilometers in diameter, and finally, it couldn't shrink anymore. After Mercury Lake retracted, corpses all over the ground were exposed, which were left by ferocious beasts that hadn't had time to escape these days. Chris's power is getting stronger and stronger, and the density of Mercury Lake is also getting higher and higher, finally breaking through the critical value at a certain moment. Boom, the Mercury Lake began to riot, and the monstrous water waves surged, raging towards the surroundings like a flood. In a sea area outside the island, the Galaxy Pirates retreated farther and farther, and now they have left the deserted island for more than 10 kilometers. Everyone saw that the Milky Way rose in the middle of the island, covering the sky and covering the sun. Everything on the island was submerged by the Milky Way, and then the poisonous gas filled the air, and all the beasts on the island died in an instant. The mercury flowed into the sea, and the poisonous mercury gas spread out of the island, and many fish corpses floated on the sea surface. The members of the Galaxy Pirates were terrified, and they sailed away one after another, and retreated another 10 kilometers? What is the captain doing? Is he developing a new trick? He actually destroyed an island. Advertisement. Celine and Jack felt terrified, and there was still a look of fear on their faces. Everyone shook their heads, no one knew what Chris was doing. Only Enel stared at Quicksilver on the island seriously, thoughtfully. Chris once told him that Devil Fruit has a higher realm, which is awakening. And when the Logia Devil Fruit awakens, it can change the climate and terrain. The scene I saw in front of me was like a sign of the awakening of the Quicksilver Fruit. If he guessed correctly, Chris Quicksilver Fruit has awakened? Is this the power of the awakened Logia Fruit? It's really scary. Enel's observation Hacky covers the entire island, and he found that the island with a diameter of hundreds of kilometers has been completely covered by mercury. All life on the island is dead, and no one survives? A human figure appeared on the mercury lake, and then the skin was exposed, gradually changing into the appearance of Chris. With a wave of his hand, all the mercury on the island retracted, and finally condensed into a large lake with a diameter of 10 kilometers. The small island, which was still green and verdant three days ago, has now become a dead land, with only rocks left on it. The mercury fruit is more poisonous after awakening. According to the current situation, it is impossible for plants to grow on this island within a few decades. Chris's awakening is different from others. Under normal circumstances, ability users rely on years of practice to awaken the fruit, and they can fully control the power of devil fruit. But Chris relied on the power of the system to forcibly awaken the fruit. During the awakening process, the power grew too fast, and Chris could not fully control this power, so the ability riots occurred. Fortunately, Chris chose to awaken here. If he awakened in Sabayati Archipelago, it would definitely cause an uproar. Chris flew into the air, aiming at the Mercury Island below. Lion Fruit's ability was activated, and the whole island began to vibrate and tremble. Boom, boom, boom. With a rumbling sound, the island broke away from the tectonic plate, flew towards the sky, and finally disappeared into the clouds. There is a Mercury Lake on this island, which is the most suitable weapon for Chris, so Chris took it away. As long as you carry it with you, in battle, Chris doesn't need to make Quicksilver at all, just summon Quicksilver directly from the sky. On the sea, everyone on board was stunned by the scene. Is this also the power of the Quicksilver Fruit? Can it lift an island to the sky? Kajeo looked at the sky blankly and muttered to himself. Advertisement. Leech and Randall also looked horrified. They thought Chris was strong enough, but they didn't expect him to hide such power. What do you know? The captain is an unprecedented double fruit ability user, just now he was the king of lion fruit. Sal Lin looked proud, as if she was a double fruit ability user. Leech was stunned, Kajeo felt like he was dreaming, and even the calmest Randall's mind was blank right now. A person with double fruit ability. Before today, if someone said he could eat two devil fruits, they would have laughed at that person as a lunatic. But just now, they witnessed this shocking scene with their own eyes, so they couldn't help but not believe it. Hehe, <laughs> monster, this is the real monster. Kajeo smirked a couple of times, and then his face turned ferocious, and he roared out the hearts of everyone. The unprecedented double fruit ability user has never appeared in history. That's right, Captain Chris is the strongest. What four emperors, there will always be ten days to be replaced by the Galaxy Pirates. Ha ha ha, long live the Galaxy Pirates. Everyone cheered, at this moment, Chris became their faith, became their god. With the return of Chris, everyone saw him in awe and admiration. Vero said, here is a small island at the entrance of New World. After the Galaxy Pirates landed, there was a lot of exclamation, just because this pirate flag was too eye-catching, and because its owner was Galaxy Chris. Yinhee Chris, a rookie who debuted for only one year, defeated many powerful enemies and became Shishibukai. It has never happened before, 
and it may not happen in the future. Various factors make Chris's name resound all over the world, even in the new world, Chris Legendary is also circulated. The pirates on the island all avoided after seeing Chris, and no one dared to trouble Chris. Because Chris has overwhelming combat power, crushing them is like crushing an ant. At the same time, naval headquarters and other forces also received the news. Vero Sad is the entrance to New World. Many pirate groups will arrive at this island after entering New World. The island is full of spies, and all forces have eyeliners on this island. Naval headquarters, Marine Ford. Marshal's office. Marine Marshal Sengoku sits in the main seat. Saru Vice Admiral and several other Vice Admirals sit in the second seat. Advertisement. Everyone is sitting upright, except for two people who are out of order. One is Vice Admiral Garp, who is reclining on the sofa, holding a bag of donuts in his hand, and the crackling sound in his mouth is especially harsh in this office. The other is Admiral Aokiji, who sleeps on the sofa wearing an eye mask, and still makes a slight snoring sound from time to time. Sengoku slapped the desk, and Aokiji was woken up with a bang, and Garp's donut fell to the floor. This is a photo of Chris landing in Verosad, he has officially entered the new world. Sengoku threw a stack of photos on the table. In the photos, Chris looked indifferent, followed by a large group of pirates, and he already had the aura of a big boss. Suru Vice Admiral said, Galaxy has just debuted and has never been to New World, so he won't stop sailing just because he became Shishibukai. This is as expected. Sengoku said, I don't care about that, I care about the three pirate groups he recruited on Sabayati Archipelago. Look, after the expansion of the Galaxy Pirates, there are more than 1,000 people, and the three pirate captains under him are all supernovas this year, with great potential. He brought so many people into New World, what exactly does he want to do? Sengoku slapped the table viciously, feeling bitter in his heart. Although Chris is young, he gets into no less trouble than the other six old people, Chi and Jaws. The Celestial Dragons incident has just subsided, and now there is another moth. He recruited so many people, could it be that he is targeting the heads of the four emperors? A vice admiral spoke. Very likely. Crane vice admiral picks up a photo of Chris calling the shots and Haki of the big pirate showing off. It's not just him, every newcomer is like this. He's pretty smart, he knows how to recruit crew from the beginning, if I'm not mistaken, all six supernovas are on his ship this year. What is he trying to do? To upset the balance between the four emperors and the marine. Sengoku covered his head with an ugly expression on his face. If this matter is not handled properly, it will lead to serious consequences. After all, Shishibukai represents the power of marine. If marine and four emperors face off because of Chris, then the loss outweighs the gain. It's okay. If he loses the battle, marine will just remove him. Because of Charles Ross, the world government is very dissatisfied with him, and they have long wanted to find a chance to get rid of him. Suru Vice Admiral's words made Sengoku's eyes light up. Yes, how could he forget this? P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 88 New World First Battle, Second Update, Please Subscribe. Advertisement. Sure enough, I've been tossed too much by these crap things recently, and my memory has declined a bit. It seems that I need to eat something good to replenish my brain. Chris is in advance, now the key is the Whitebeard Pirates. They have been heading towards the entrance of New World, I don't know what purpose. Seeing Sengoku having a headache, Saru Vice Admiral suddenly changed the topic. It's hard to imagine that man would suddenly leave New World, could it be something happened inside the Whitebeard Pirates? Speaking of Whitebeard, Garp also put away his sloppy face. Now he has a serious face, which is like a marine hero. Sengoku shook his head and said, it's not clear, our strength in New World is too weak to find information inside the four emperors. Sakazuki has been stationed in New World and will not be back for a short time. With him, no matter what happens, Marine will have enough time to deal with it. Immediately looking at the sleepy Aokiji, the veins on Sengoku's forehead surged, and the anger surged up to his neck. Hey, Kizen, did you hear that? You're in a meeting now, how can you still sleep? Aokiji opened his eyes in a daze, and yawned, with a dazed expression on his face. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Sengoku had black lines on his face, and the anger was welling up in his head. Why are his admirals so worried? He is so tired, his hair has turned gray recently. Don't dare to go out without dyeing your hair. The Whitebeard Pirates are the strongest four emperors group, and any disturbance will be paid attention to by Marine. Recently, its abnormality has made Marine extremely vigilant, and the entire Marine is fully prepared for war, ready to deal with war at any time. Unfortunately, Marine couldn't guess Whitebeard's real purpose until his death. If Marine knew that the Whitebeard Pirates worked hard just to adopt Chris as their son, would they be so angry that they would kill Chris? Vero said, in a luxury hotel. 360 Chris is standing by the window with a glass of rum in his hand. This hotel is the most advanced hotel in Verosha, and Chris has booked it here as a temporary residence for the Galaxy Pirates. At this time, Randall opened the door and came in. After a glance, he found that all the main cotters of the Galaxy Pirates were here. Captain, I found out that there are three pirate alliances in the first half of New World, led by the Dock Pirates, the M Pirates, and the Perfume Pirates. As he spoke, he handed Chris a stack of documents. Advertisement. The Dock Pirates. Captain Sockable, a paramecia hard fruit capable person, has a bounty of 640 million baileys, and there are three pirate groups allied with him, and these captains are also big pirates with a bounty of over 100 million. M Pirates. Captain M Striker is a zoanyak fruit capable person with a bounty of 600 million baileys. There are only two pirate groups in his alliance, but it is rumored that he has contact with Kaido, but it is not known whether it is true or not. And finally the perfume pirates. The captain, Anna Daniel, is a woman, but her strength should not be underestimated. The bounty is still the highest among the three, with a total of 690 million baileys, and there are also three pirate groups allied with her. These three pirate groups have been in New World for many years, they are powerful, and their operating sites are impenetrable. Every year someone fights against them for territory, but no one succeeds. Verisad is mixed with fish and dragons, and information like this can be obtained at the Underground Intelligence Agency for a little money. 
Since Chris intends to take action against the Pirate Alliance, he naturally has to choose a bid first. After reading it, Chris threw the information on the table. Which target do you think we should choose? After reading the information, everyone also thought about it and compared their pros and cons. Leech said, I think the Dock Pirates should be chosen. His strength is medium and he just suits us. The Orc Kajeo disagreed, and said, if you want to choose, choose the strongest one. We should fight the Perfume Pirates. Anna Daniel has the highest bounty among the three. Only by defeating her can we become famous. There was a lot of discussion among the people. There were three goals, and there were people who opposed whoever was chosen, arguing and even fighting. Everyone is discussing. Only Randall is silent. Randall, who do you think we should choose? Randall belongs to the common wise captain, and Chris lacks such a military advisor. Randall was taken aback, and said, choose the Perfume Pirates. Everyone was quiet, and Kajeo was overjoyed. That's right, she should be chosen. Although she is a woman, she is the strongest. What's the fun in beating the weak? If you want to fight, you can fight the strongest. After speaking, he gave Leech a provocative look. Leech snorted coldly and ignored him. Randall pushed away Kajeo's hand, a little disgusted with this muscular guy. I chose her not because of her strength, but because of her location. Then I took out the three maps in the data, which were the residences of the three pirate groups. Advertisement. Randall pointed to the map and said, The islands where the Sock Pirates and the M Pirates are located are both in the first half of New World, and they haven't penetrated into New World. The geographical location is not good, and the resources on the island are too few, but the Perfume Pirates are different. Their island is close to the second half of New World, so they can attack and retreat, and the island is rich in resources, which are of great value. Everyone heard what he said was well-founded and well-organized, and they gradually agreed with him. Randall thinks the same as me. If you want to gain a foothold in New World, you must choose an island rich in resources. Otherwise, even the daily capital consumption of the pirates will not be enough. Chris made a final decision and set his goal as the Perfume Pirates. Wandering pirate groups rely on daily plunder to raise funds, but if you have a fixed island, you can't use this method. You know, even Kaido in Four Emperors has to build a weapon factory in Wanakuni to do business in order to support the tens of thousands of beasts pirates. The Perfume Pirates have four islands, not far from each other, forming horns. Throughout the day, Chris discussed the battle plan with everyone. On the second day, the Galaxy Pirates sent a large number of people to sneak into the four islands secretly to check the information on the islands. Chris wouldn't rush into the Perfume Pirates' lair like a boar, it's too unwise. Ifa, only by knowing yourself and the enemy can you win every battle? Two weeks later, at the expense of dozens of people, Chris finally obtained detailed information on the Perfume Pirates, which cannot be bought on the underground black market. In a luxurious room, Chris is making a battle plan. The plan is in the early morning of three days later, your three pirate groups will attack three secondary islands respectively. Dawes, Saren, Jack, you also go to support. Although the captains allied with the Perfume Pirates are big pirates with a bounty of over 100 million, with the assistance of Dawes and the others, Chris believes that Randall and the others can solve the problem. Fan Oka, you can act freely, remember, kill the other party's captain and cotters whenever you have a chance. Hearing Chris's arrangement, Fan Oka also nodded, because he is a sniper, so he is suitable for ultra-long distance combat. Within 5 kilometers, with his marksmanship, he can kill people invisible? What about you, Captain? Kajeo is very curious, everyone has arranged, so what does Chris do? Lei Shen and I went to their old lair, Perfume Island, where the Perfume Pirates are stationed. Capture the thief first, and get rid of that tigress Anna Daniel first. Yahahaha, Captain, you don't need to take action at all, I can do it by myself. Now Enel has mastered two-color haki, coupled with Logia Thunderfruit, he is not afraid of any opponents. Come on, what if you destroy Perfume Island if I'm not here? There are not only pirates on these islands, but also many innocent people. Advertisement. If Chris rules these islands in the future, they will be the labor force, and they will be needed for the construction of the galaxy pirates. The current Enel is a moving humanoid natural disaster. Once a thunder strikes, the entire island will be destroyed, and there are very few people who can survive. Resources are gone and people are dead, so what's the point of fighting this battle? Is it just to take down a few ruins? This is the first battle of the galaxy pirates entering the new world. I have nothing to say, just a word, we must win. A mercury dagger appeared in Chris's hand, and it was stuck in Anna Daniel's reward order. In the early morning of the third day, four pirates took advantage of the night to enter the territory of the perfume pirates. With Chris's ability, he solved the guards guarding the perimeter without anyone noticing. Immediately, the four pirates moved separately, Chris and Enel soared into the sky, and flew towards the middlemost perfume island. Perfume Island is a super large island with a diameter of more than 400 kilometers. There are not only iron mines, gold mines, but also rare metal veins on the island. Six years ago, it was controlled by a country. Later, when the Perfume Pirates entered New World, Anna Daniel took a fancy to this place and united a group of people to capture the country on the island. In the end, the country perished, and since then, the island has become the home of the Perfume Pirates. During these six years, Anna Daniel also united with three other pirate groups and captured three surrounding islands which formed today's Perfume Pirate Alliance. The middle of the island used to be the Royal Palace, and now it is the residence of the Perfume Pirates. On the periphery are the nobles of this country before, as for the common people, they can only live on the very edge of the island. Whoosh, whoosh, two figures flew past quickly and arrived at the palace. With a wave of Chris' hand, mercury needles invisible to the naked eye shot out, and several figures fell to the ground in the darkness. It's too weak, and the guards are too lax. Chris shook his head, and Enel walked towards the palace. Perfume Island was silent in the early morning. This country ruled by pirates did not have so many nighttime activities. Everyone fell asleep during this time period. Suddenly, with a bang, there was a loud bang from the palace, breaking the peace of the island. Boom, a figure broke through the gate of the palace and flew out, smashing hard on the square of the palace. Then Chris appeared in front of the figure without warning, and kicked him hundreds of meters away. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 89 Beauty is a disaster, beautiful women are too scary, third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. 
Perfume Island Palace. Boom, a figure broke through the gate of the palace and flew out, smashing hard on the square of the palace. Then Chris appeared in front of the figure without warning, and kicked him hundreds of meters away. Who? Come on, there are intruders. He's in the palace. The members of the perfume pirates rushed towards the palace one after another when they heard the movement, and heard the footsteps there were hundreds of people. They arrived at the scene just in time to see Chris kicking Anna Daniel away. At this time, Anna Daniel was no longer as noble and elegant as before. Her hair was disheveled, blood was bleeding from the corner of her mouth, and the clothes on her body were also damaged. Captain Anna. One of them exclaimed after recognizing Anna, and then looked at the expressionless Chris. Bastard, I'll kill you. Seeing that the captain was injured, the man slashed at Chris without hesitation. The person who came was holding two swords, he turned out to be a swordsman with two swords. Chris dodged the two crossed swords, pulled out Zajetsu to block, and collided with him. Are you Karen? The swordsman of the perfume pirates, not bad. Two swordsman swordsman is rare, this Karen is really good. Humph, if you dare to play wild with the perfume pirates, you're doomed today. Karen turned a deaf ear to Chris's admiration, and the afterimages appeared when the two swords were swung. Chris had never seen such frantic swordsmanship. Although it is chaotic, there is order in the chaos, which is unique among swordsmen. Clang. Chris forced Karen back with a knife, and then kicked his feet and bullied him. Quarren lost his footing after being knocked back by Chris. When he looked up, Chris had already appeared in front of him. When he saw the dazzling knife light, it was too late for him to block it. Chris' knife was so fast that he was cut so fast that he couldn't feel any pain in his body. Puff. Chris slashed Karen into the air, and the huge impact made him hit the palace wall. He didn't feel the pain until he landed, and the huge wound ran through his entire chest. Captain Karen. The members of the perfume pirates shouted. Advertisement. From their appearance, to Quarren, and Chris fighting, to Quarren's defeat. It was less than three minutes from beginning to end, so fast that they didn't even know what was going on. Anna Daniel had also recovered at this moment, staring at Chris full of hatred. Asshole, are you Galaxy Chris? What's your purpose here? Did Marine send you here? The night was dark before, and when Anna and Chris fought, they couldn't see Chris's face clearly. Now that the square is brightly lit, Anna recognized Chris at a glance. He was one of the seven warlords of the sea, and Anna thought it was Marine who was going to deal with her. Wrong guess, Captain Anna, besides being a Shishibukai, I am also a pirate myself. Chris put Sanjutsu back into the sheath, and looked at Anna in front of him calmly. Anna is indeed a very beautiful woman, perhaps because of the effect of the perfume fruit, she still has a faint fragrance on her body, but none of these can affect Chris. Chris's will is extremely firm, and no mere beauty can shake him. Do you want to fight me? Since it's not an order from Marine, it's here to grab the territory. It's right to start a war, but I still hope you can surrender, after all, you are too weak. The more Chris spoke, the more indifferent he became, and at the end, his face was frosty. Galaxy, you are too arrogant. Bang, 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 three consecutive shots fired, and Chris had three big holes in his body, and half of his head was blown off. It seems that there is a guy who doesn't understand etiquette here. Chris was indifferent, as if he wasn't the one who was hit, and then the wound healed without leaving any scars. Chris stared at a man in the crowd. He was Verde, the sniper of the perfume pirates. The gun in his hand was still smoking. Obviously, he was the one who shot just now. Hey, Ford, step back, this man is not something you can deal with. Anna hurriedly told Verde to retreat, but it was too late. Boom, a thunderbolt fell from the sky and hit Ford. When the captain is talking, there is no room for the younger brother to intervene. Enelguo stretched out his right hand, beating on the electric. Captain Ford. The members of the perfume pirates stepped forward to check, only to see that Ford was burnt black, breathing black smoke, and had lost consciousness. Asshole, Chris, you're too much of a bully. Perfume cut. Anna's hands turned into phantoms, and she slashed out hundreds of powder reds vacuum slashing strikes. Wherever they passed, the air was filled with a strong fragrance. Mercury barrier. Advertisement. Chris stood still with his hands in his pockets, but a mercury wall appeared in front of him, easily blocking Anna's attack. Boom 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 boom. The slash smashed the mercury barrier, and the ground was full of solid mercury fragments, which immediately liquefied and disappeared without a trace. The aroma filled the air, and this aroma made Chris feel a little dizzy. He was startled, and mercury gushed out of his body, driving away the aroma around him. Looking back, half of the perfume pirates have been confused, all of them are dizzy and smiling, as if they have fallen into hallucinations. The other half are still conscious, but their faces are struggling, obviously gritting their teeth. Only a few cotters were fine, staring at Chris and Enel. There are two strokes, is this the power of the perfume fruit? Slashing is only the hidden fragrance on the surface, which is the real attack. Chris looked at Anna and exclaimed, My fragrance will directly affect the central nervous system, and those who are affected will feel weak all over the body and eventually fall into a hallucination. Chris, you are careless. Now you, you should really want to sleep, right? Seeing that Chris got the trick, Anna seemed to see a chance of victory. Don't say anything too early, it will be ugly when you slap your face. Faced with Anna's complacency, Chris remained indifferent. Humph, you're still bragging about dying. Aroma tornado. Anna thought that Chris was talking hard, and the aroma of the control powder red formed a tornado and blew towards Chris. The tornado lifted the ground, and the stone was torn into powder like tofu after being sucked in. Chris stood still as if he was waiting to die. Everyone in the perfume pirates seemed to have seen the scene where Chris was torn apart by the tornado. One shot style, crescent moon slash. Pulling out the knife, retracting the knife, all in one go, between the lightning and the flint, the slash is already off the edge. A cold light shines from the center of the tornado, and then the speed of the tornado stagnates, and finally it is split in half. The sword's intent was endless, and the sword's power was still unabated. Under Anna's unbelievable gaze, the slash struck her body. Boom, the slash sent Anna flying for hundreds of meters, and finally collided with the palace wall before stopping. Everyone saw that a deep gully was left on the ground, filled with smoke. Captain Anna. Kill him and take revenge on Captain Anna. The cotters of the perfume pirates swarmed up and slashed at Chris, trying to hack Chris to death. The miscellaneous soldiers who had been intoxicated by the fragrance suddenly started to run away. All of them had hideous faces, attacking Chris without fear of life or death. Zero, asking for flowers. Hey, hey, your opponent is me. 
Enel threw out a thunder dragon and turned a dozen soldiers into coke. Advertisement. Then he fought with the perfume pirates. Enel kills more and more, but none of these hundreds of people seem to be afraid of death, and they are actually fighting more and more bravely. Some people have been seriously injured, but they can still stand up and continue fighting. The longer the time, the higher the combat power of these people. In the end, Enel's lightning attack could not beat them in seconds. I didn't expect that the perfume fruit has such power, and it can't stimulate the potential of the human body. Seeing these runaway miscellaneous soldiers, Chris understood after a little thought. It must be that Anna's fragrance stimulated their nerves and squeezed their potential, allowing them to burst out with extraordinary strength in a short period of time. But doing so will have serious sequelae, and most of them will shorten their lives or even die. Captain Anna, you treat your crew like this, aren't you afraid that they will betray you? Anna's behavior is simply treating the crew as cannon fodder, which is no different from letting them die. Hearing Chris' voice, a figure stood up from the ruins, it was Anna. Her chest was dripping with blood, her arms were damaged in many places, her hair was disheveled, and her breathing was short of breath. Although she was not dead, she was seriously injured. Oof, they are all willing to die for me, beautiful women are privileged. Although covered in blood, Anna still smiled charmingly. She is already beautiful enough, coupled with the enchanting and psychedelic effect of the perfume fruit. Ordinary men can't resist her temptation at all, and all of them are willing to die for him. It's no wonder that you, a woman, can build such a large territory in New World. As expected, women are the most terrifying creatures in this world. Chris felt that it was a disaster for a beauty. It's really scary when a beautiful woman gets a charming devil fruit. Empress Hancock is also this type of person. Her beauty combined with sweet fruits can instantly kill 99% of the men in the world. Even Marine Vice Admiral has to self-mutilate in order to stand firm in front of her. Chris, there are hundreds of riot warriors on my side, and there are only two of you, are you sure you have a chance of winning? You know, the longer the time goes by, the stronger their combat power will become. Moreover, without my order, they will not stop until they die in battle. Boom, Chris turned his head and saw that Enel was forced back by Quarren's sword. Quarren, who was seriously injured by Chris before, is now healed. The current Karen is also crazy, his eyes are red, the sword in his hand is more frantic than before, and his combat power has soared several times. My aroma fruit is not that simple, Chris. Anna returned to the perfume pirates, and hundreds of people surrounded her to protect her. My fragrance can not only control the central nervous system, but also stimulate cell regeneration. No matter how severely injured they are, as long as they don't die, I can heal them in a short time. The side effects of this power must be huge. That's right, there is a limit to human cell division. If there are too many divisions in a short period of time, the lifespan of the cells will be affected. For humans, the lifespan will be shortened, and the cells will collapse and die in severe cases. While speaking, a scorched black pirate suddenly wailed, the skin on his face surged, as if something was scurrying under the skin, and then exploded with a bang. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a minimum of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 90 Recycling Devil Fruit. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Suddenly, a scorched black pirate wailed suddenly, the skin on his face surged, and something seemed to be scurrying under the skin, and then exploded with a bang. Judging by his appearance, he had already been severely injured by Enel's lightning before, and the reason he was able to continue fighting was because of the aroma fruit. Now the cells are collapsing, and there is no whole body dead. It doesn't matter, if one dies, there are hundreds more, enough to consume the two of you to death. Watching the crew members blew themselves up to death, Anna didn't feel any fluctuations in her heart, and she was still smiling. Sometimes it's better for a woman to be ugly. A woman who is too good looking gives me the urge to kill her. The plot needs it, don't think about the author's personality. Chris soared into the sky, crossed the sky, and pointed his palm at the sky, and an island fell from the clouds. The mercury in the mercury lake began to riot, and then a galaxy broke through the sky, suspended over the palace. The Milky Way covered the sky and the sun, covering the entire palace. Bladestorm. Countless swords emerged from the Milky Way and shot towards the ground. Under the thousand blades piercing clouds, the palace instantly turned into a mountain of swords. Hundreds of members of the perfume pirates were pierced into hedgehogs with swords and killed on the spot. Captain Anna, I don't know how my trick works. Can it satisfy you? Although Anna saved her life by relying on armament hacky all over her body, her abdomen was also pierced by the mercury sword on June 17th. The moment the mercury sword penetrates the body, it will grow branches, completely destroying the internal organs of the human body. Yin he, I won't let you go. Seeing that the perfume pirates were completely annihilated, Anna was so desperate that she pulled out the mercury sword. After pulling it out, there was a bloody hole in Anna's stomach, and even the internal organs were clearly visible. Your mind is disturbed, Captain Anna. Chris didn't dodge, and Anna pierced his chest with a sword. Then Zanjitsu got out of the sheath, raised the horizontal knife, chopped it, and retracted it. A blood stain appeared on Anna's throat, and then the blood spilled into the sky. The scene in her eyes began to spin, blur, and finally plunge into darkness. Ding dong, congratulations to host for killing Karen and getting a reward of 200 million baileys. Ding dong, congratulations to host for beheading Ford and getting a bounty of 1.75 billion baileys. Ding dong, congratulations to host for beheading Anna Daniel and getting a bounty of 690 million. Advertisement. Ding dong, congratulations to host for beheading. A series of system prompts sounded one after another, reminding Chris that his bounty has arrived. There are a lot of bounties in the perfume pirates, and Chris made another fortune this time. Chris took Zanjitsu back, and with a thought, he turned on the system and asked, System, how much is my current full amount? Ding dong, the current balance of host is 2.25 billion baileys. Chris nodded secretly, satisfied in his heart. This wave of extermination of the perfume pirates did not lose money, and the balance has exceeded 2 billion. Thunder God, look around, if there are remnants of the perfume pirates, take them in, if someone is unwilling, you know what to do. Enel nodded, and turned into a bolt of lightning. The perfume pirates are definitely not the only members, this is just the palace, and there must be others stationed in other places on the island. Now the main cutters of the perfume pirates have all been wiped out, and the remnant party can't make any waves, so it's just time for Chris to take it under his command. As for those who don't want to, it's useless to keep them, just let Enel kill them. 
Chris hasn't had a Mary's heart since the day he became a pirate. He waved his hand and threw a large lump of mercury. After the mercury exploded, it was actually full of water. Apples, bananas, pineapples, everything that one expects to find, all the fruit varieties that Chris can find are here. After searching carefully, Chris took out a pink exotic fruit from it. The whole body of this fruit is pink, covered with spiral patterns, and there are water drop-shaped protrusions between the patterns. This is the perfume fruit, it looks so beautiful. Chris carries a lot of fresh fruit with him, just to recycle devil fruit. When I went to kill Moria last time, I forgot to bring fruit, and the damaged yinying fruit was wasted like this, which made Chris feel distressed for a long time. The power of the perfume fruit is not weak. Although it cannot greatly increase the combat power of the capable user, it has a strong auxiliary ability, so Chris recycled it. In Chris's view, Anna has developed the fruit of the perfume very well, but the method of use is wrong. Such abilities should not be used on humans, but on ferocious beasts. Taming a group of beasts with the fruit of perfume is enough to be worth tens of thousands of troops. It just so happened that Chris planned to take an island of beasts as a trial ground for the galaxy pirates, and this perfume fruit just happened to be used. Chris himself does not know how to eat perfume fruit, readers and friends can rest assured. It feels a bit weird for a big man to eat a perfume fruit, and the author also feels very awkward. When Chris solved the perfume pirates, a tragic battle broke out on the remaining three islands. Randall and Leech finally saw the power of the new world. Advertisement. They could have fought hard against the pirate captain on the island, but when the other party used Haki's power, they were crushed. Fortunately, Dawes, Saline and Luo supported them, otherwise they would definitely lose. Kajeo's attack on Dylan Island was the worst, because the enemy he encountered was the strongest among the three pirate groups. Stationed on Dylan Island is the Roja Pirates, the Captain Roja Fred, with a bounty of 46,000 Bailey, Grandmaster, and Armament Haki. Neither Kajeo nor Jack could beat Roja together. Fortunately, Van Oka also chose this island, where he could snipe and support him from a distance. However, after a long time, they were caught. First, Kajeo was punched and broke his ribs, and then Jack was also seriously injured. In the end, Jack made a breakthrough at Armament Haki, which barely blocked Roja, but because of the serious injuries before, he was soon knocked out by Roja. Fortunately, Enel was bored after taking over the remnants of the perfume pirates, so he went to Dylan Island for a while, and then rescued them. Had it been a few minutes later, Kajeo and Jack would have died in battle. Facing Lopia and Enel of the two-color Haki of Grandmaster, of course, Chuanya can only lose. Enel, the god of killing, didn't know why, but he didn't kill him this time. In the end, Chris personally came forward and took him into the Galaxy Pirates as a combatant. In this way, after several hours of battle, the war finally ended with the overall victory of the Galaxy Pirates. On the second day, the people on Perfume Island discovered that the Perfume Pirates, which had ruled Perfume Island for six years, had been destroyed. The Perfume Island has a new owner. The first order Chris gave was to change the name of Perfume Island to Millican Island, Milky. Millican is the English transliteration of Milky Way. The Galaxy Pirates also suffered heavy losses after this battle, and more than half of the 1,000 people died in battle. Among the Cotters, except for Chris and Enel, everyone else was injured, especially Kajeo and Jack, who had already lost half their lives. New World is not comparable to Paradise. Pirates who can live here for five or six years have two brushes. After the war, Chris subdued the remnants of the four pirate groups and made up for the loss of the Galaxy Pirates. Today, the number of Galaxy Pirates has more than 3,000 people. After the adaptation, Chris led a group of Cotters to Garrison Millican, with 1,500 people under his command. As the number one captain, Randall led 500 people to Garrison Gallo Island. Leech, as the number two captain, led 500 men to Garrison Cass Island. The last Kajeo, as the number three captain, led 500 people to Garrison Dillon Island. After that, continue to recruit crew and expand the scale of the pirate group. The news of New World spread very fast. In just a few days, the news about Chris's capture of Millican spread widely. Advertisement. The Perfume Pirate Alliance can survive in the cracks of the Four Emperors for six years, and its strength is definitely not weak. However, the Galaxy Pirates destroyed this alliance in just one day, which shows how strong Chris is. Chris shot to fame. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. Marshal's Office. Chris is smarter than we thought. He didn't go to trouble with the Four Emperors. Instead, he played steadily, and now he has taken down Millican. Sengoku frowned, looking ugly. It stands to reason that Chris, as a Shishibukai, eradicated a pirate alliance in New World, which is a good thing for Marine. But Sengoku knew that Chris was more of a threat than the pirates he had eradicated. As long as Chris doesn't mess with the four emperors in the future, he can gain a foothold in New World. And in the first half of New World, he was protected by Shishibukai's name, and Marine couldn't make a move against him. In this way, with his growth rate, in a few years, it is unknown what kind of behemoth he will become. Thinking of these, Sengoku has a headache. Look again, New World won't be so calm. This report by Morgans has put him on the cusp of the storm. Four emperors will definitely take action. Crane Vice Admiral held a newspaper in his hand, which recorded the Millican incident that happened a few days ago. The News King Morgans also took a sensational title called, The Strongest Newcomer Sword Refers to the Four Emperors. The news reported in detail all the information about Chris after he left the 1.4C. From being a bounty hunter at first, then killing Marine and becoming a pirate, then defeating Sand Crocodile and Moria, then breaking into New World as Shishibukai, and finally starting the Millican War. What Chris has done so far, except for the secret Golden Lion incident and the Celestial Dragons incident, have all been exposed. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that it only took one year for Chris to achieve these achievements. This can be done in just one year, so if Chris is given a little more time, what else will he do? Will he sit on the throne of the Four Emperors? I really didn't expect that the little guy back then would be able to overcome obstacles in New World in the blink of an eye. Aokiji seemed to be recalling the past. Marine had noticed Chris's potential a year ago and had been planning to eliminate him. However, Chris's growth rate is too fast, before reaching Sabayati Archipelago, his strength is comparable to that of Admiral. Once he becomes a Shishibukai, there is no chance to eliminate him. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 91 Four Emperors Eyeing Chris, 3,500 chapters, please subscribe. Advertisement. 
Let's issue a reward order. We can't control the people of the galaxy pirates, but the three pirates under him can still be controlled, even if it cuts off his wings. Sengoku has nothing to do with Chris now, and can only weaken the strength of the galaxy pirates sideways. Although Marine wants Shishibukai to be stronger, he doesn't want them to be too strong, otherwise it will break the balance. Although Hawkeye is very strong, he only has one person, and he is only interested in swordsmanship, so he can't make big waves. But Chris is different. He is ambitious and has many talented people under him, which makes Sengoku very afraid. Subsequently, Naval Headquarters issued the latest reward order for Randall and others. Sword Tiger Pirates. Randall's Crow, Heinous Crime, No Matter Life or Death, a reward of 330 million Baileys is offered. Custer, the Heinous Crime, No Matter Life or Death, a reward of 150 million Baileys is offered. Leech Pirates. Licky Torio, a Heinous Crime, No Matter Whether He Lives or Dies, a reward of 90 million Zongli is offered for two. Orc Pirates. Kajeo Charles, a heinous crime, no matter whether he lives or dies, a reward of 360 million Baileys is offered. 11. Except for some lieutenants, the three pirate captains all added 100 million bounties. In a sea area of New World, the Moby Dick encountered a huge storm rarely seen in 10 years. Boom, Whitebeard punched the atmosphere, and the whole world was like a piece of glass, smashed to pieces by his punch. The black clouds in the sky were shattered by his punch, and the sun instantly became bright. Within 10,000 miles, not to mention dark clouds, not even a single white cloud can be seen. This is Whitebeard's 0-4 power, a random punch can change the natural climate, even the sky and the earth can't stop his footsteps. Chris, that brat did a great job, making his debut in New World so soon. However, it's still too tender, young people are just too anxious. Naturally, Whitebeard also received the information, and with his wisdom, he naturally saw Chris' current situation at a glance. Don't look at Chris's superficial scenery and reputation spread far and wide, but there are many crises behind it, and if you are not careful, you will fall into the abyss. Millican Palace Chris looked at the newspaper in his hand, and Morgans wrote a lot of nonsense on it, which made Chris dizzy. Morgans also used a lot of flowery rhetoric to modify Chris, and Chris said that there has never been anyone before or since. If it wasn't for Chris knowing himself, he would almost believe it. I didn't even know that I was so excellent, but you showed it to me. Advertisement. In the whole news report, Chris only saw three words, pull hatred. He's not flattering Chris, but killing him? As soon as this news comes out, Chris can predict how many people in New World will come to trouble him. Boom. Chris slapped the newspaper on the table, smashing the whole table. This Morgans has a grudge against me, doesn't he? He wants me to die so much. Chris is very angry at the moment, but there is nowhere to vent his anger. What, Captain, he is obviously praising you, look, how well he wrote about you, I will admire you after reading it. Yes, yes, Captain, he knows you well, and made all your achievements public, and now he can reap another wave of fame. Captain, I just found out today that you actually defeated two Shishibukai, it's too strong. That's right, Captain, once this news comes out, your name will definitely resound throughout the world. There was a lot of discussion among the people, all praising the well-written news. Chris has black hair, these brainless guys, someone sold you, and you have to count the money for him. This is not a good thing. Miu Xiu and Lin Fang will be destroyed. We will have a difficult time in the future. Of the crowd, only Ro and Randall saw the real danger in the news. All of you have strengthened my guard during this period, and someone will come to the door soon. Chris had a hunch that someone would come to challenge him soon. If it's an ordinary person, it's okay, but the four emperors and the pirates under the four emperors are the most feared. Chris has just laid Milligan now, the foundation is still not stable, and he doesn't want to conflict with four emperors so early. New World, Cake Island. Well, well, is this kid really so excellent? Big Mom swallowed a dozen cakes in one gulp, and the cakes made human noises in her mouth. Yes, Mom, he looks pretty good, he has been the most popular this year, and his strength is indeed not weak. The speaker is Charlotte Kadakuri, the second son of Big Mom, the crown jewel of the Charlotte family. With his strength, his character, and his mind, there is no flaw in his body. He is the core of the core of the Big Mom pirates. Well, well, let's send someone to see if we can get married. Who does Mom want to marry Chris? He's only 20 years old, he's still young. Garrett, she's only 25 years old this year, about the same age as that brat. Well, well, I'm really looking forward to it, there will be a big cake for marriage and marriage. Big Mom decided his daughter's marriage in one sentence, and seemed to decide Chris' future. This is for Emperor's Big Mom. He might not agree, oh, mother. Advertisement. Katakuri said, as far as he knew, Chris was not like someone who would easily give in to the four Emperor's pirates. Nanny. Big Mom changed his face in a second, he was just a naive child, now he is a ferocious old woman. Then grill his island and eat it, and this excellent kid, it must taste very good. Big Mom's saliva flowed out from the corner of her mouth and dripped on the ground, a large hole was corroded by her saliva on the marble floor. Big Mom is hungry and can eat anything, including humans and islands. When his anorexia flares up, even his own children will be caught and eaten, and several members of the Charlotte family have been eaten by her. New World, Wanakuni. Where did the kid come from, isn't he a little too arrogant these days? Kaido pokes the mace into the newspaper Chris' face is just covered. He is a rookie whose strength has increased dramatically recently, and he is also one of the Marine Shishibukai. He has an outstanding record this year. After entering New World, he has also surpassed the dust. He is far ahead of the same period. The speaker is well-proportioned, tall, and strong, with a pair of black feather wings on his back. He wears a mask and goggle helmet, black gloves on his hands, and black clothing, leaving not an inch of skin exposed. Yin, one of the three plagues of the Beast's Pirates, is the strongest of the three plagues, and he is in charge of almost all the affairs of the Beast's Pirates. I heard that he has his own ability user under his command. Kaido took a sip of wine and looked at Randall's reward in his hand. That's right, we've paid attention to him before. Randall's Crow, Zoan's ancient breeder cat fruit saber-toothed tiger form ability, originally planned to recruit him as soon as he entered New World, but we didn't expect to be preempted by Chris. Step. Ah, the ancient species is very rare, why was it snatched away by that brat? Suddenly, Kaido started to cry, tears streaming down his face, enough tears fell down enough for the soldier to take a shower. Hey, Jack, the kid you went to find, such a good Zoan must belong to Laozi. 
Kaido's face changing speed is no slower than Big Mom's. Just now, his face was full of snot and tears, and after a second, his face was full of fierceness. Understood, Master Kaido. Jack nodded, a mere small pirate group was easy for him to catch. Kukikiko, I heard that there is also a man named Jack on Chris's boat. He can't be your brother, can he? Quinn laughed a few times suddenly, and looked at Jack teasingly. Hey, brother Quinn, don't make such a joke, what is that, scum? Jack snorted coldly, looking very angry, and then his eyes showed a fierce look. This time I went out not only to bring back that Zoan, but also to crush this Jack to death. He dared to have the same name as my uncle, damn it. A week later, take benefits. A group of workers are rebuilding the palace, which will be their own palace in the future, and they must create the style they like. Boom, advertisement. There was a roar in the distance. Chris stood at the window and saw a black smoke rising from the sea in the distance. Here we go again, this is the first time. Captain, it should be the 26th time, Luo behind said. In just one week, there were 26 waves of people looking for work. It seems that I have really been regarded as a soft persimmon. Chris shook his head, looking helpless, Morgans really did him a disservice. Let Thor handle it. Call out? A flash of lightning flashed from Milliken's palace and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Ah ha ha ha, my uncle is the beheader Luke who is offering a reward of 290 million. Where is the galaxy? Come out quickly. My uncle wants to hang his head on the bow of my boat. Dylan Island, because Kajao's injury has not healed, so now there is no one stationed on this island, only some small soldiers guard here. Ah ha 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 ha, is that coward Yin he afraid? If he doesn't come out again, I will burn this island down. W. Then the members of the beheading pirate group started to set fire, and the island was engulfed in flames for a while. Asshole, Master Chris won't let you go, wait to die. That's right, you don't know the power of that lord at all, you are dead. Master Chris will be here soon. The people of the galaxy pirates scolded one after another, four hidden. Facing the beheader Luke who offered a reward of 290 million, they are really no match, so they can only play tricks. Ah ha 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 ha, idiots, is Laozi afraid of the Milky Way? Laozi came here this time to get his head. Now that he's not here, Laozi will have you little shrimps as an appetizer. If you want to blame, blame Chris, he killed you. After Luke finished speaking, the people who beheaded the pirates swarmed up, chasing and killing the members of the galaxy pirates. Boom. Thunder exploded in the sky. Everyone looked up and found that the sky was sunny and there was no sign of rain. Ha ha ha, you are finished, Lord Thunder God has come. When Lord Thunder God arrives, you will all die. Desperate, bastards. Most of the people who deal with these troublesome pirates this week are Enel, so his name has long been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, and people in the galaxy pirates admire him very much. A flash of lightning fell, and a person who beheaded the pirate group was split into coke in an instant. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 92 Whitebeard Shatters Enel, third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Boom. A flash of lightning fell, and a person who beheaded the pirate group was split into coke in an instant. Who, who, get out to Laozi. Luke cursed, but searched around with observation hacky, but couldn't find the enemy. Enel's observation hacky is much stronger than him, and Luke's knowledge and knowledge naturally don't work. Boom, boom, boom. Thunder and lightning fell one after another, each time taking a life away. Who, come out quickly. What kind of hero is he who hurts people secretly, if he has the ability, he will come out and fight to the death. Luke continued to yell, but he was ignored. Boat, Captain, how about we retreat? Yes, Captain, this time we burned an island, which is already a big victory. That's right, this Thor seems to be very strong, why don't we plan to come again? The people who beheaded the pirate group were scared out of their wits. So many people died before the enemy appeared. If they really came, would they still have a way out? So Luke started to retreat one after another, so that the Green Hills would not be afraid of running out of firewood. Puff, Luke hacked a pirate beside him to death with a single knife, and said angrily, Lousy will kill whoever talks about running away, what's there to be afraid of? A guy who hides his head and shows his tail, you can tell at a glance that he has no skills. The beheaded Luke looked disdainful, and his arrogance could be seen from ten miles away. Ha 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 ha, idiot, Lord Thunder God is not comparable to a guy like you, he just hasn't arrived yet. That's right, that's right, when Lord Thunder God comes, you will know what despair is. As if echoing everyone's words, a thunderbolt as thick as a bucket slammed down from the sky. Boom, the place where the lightning fell caused a violent explosion. The person who beheaded the pirate group suffered heavy casualties in an instant, and at least hundreds of people died under this trick. The thunder and lightning scorched the ground black, and those pirates were also charred. There was also a smell of burnt barbecue on the scene, which made people sick. Yeah ha ha ha, here are a few more little mice, I hope you are not like the waste before, so that I can have fun. A flash of lightning flashed, and Enel appeared in midair. Thor, it's Thor Enel Sama. Facing this lord, you just wait to die. Seeing Enel's appearance, the members of the galaxy pirates cheered. Advertisement. Hey, shut up, the weak guy will back down. Everyone's flattery did not make Enel happy, but instead frightened them away with a murderous look on his face. Enel didn't like others to get in the way when he was doing things, not to mention he always looked down on these weak miscellaneous soldiers. According to his previous style, these people should be sentenced to death for failing to protect Dylan Island. Hey, where did you come from, you idiot, dare to come to the territory of the galaxy pirates to act wild. Although Luke the Beheader is well known in New World, Enel has just arrived and doesn't know him yet. In Enel's eyes, only the four emperor's pirates can make him pay attention, even the affiliated pirates under the four emperors are not qualified to let him take a high look. Bastard, I heard you clearly, Laozi is the captain of the beheading pirates, Master Luke who is known as the Beheader, and the bounty is 290 million Bailey. Luke declared himself his family, with a look of arrogance. However, Enel shook his head and looked disappointed. If this bounty is in the first half of the Grand Line, it is indeed very high. But here's New World, and the Galaxy Pirates have a bounty for anyone higher than him. I thought it was a big fish, but I didn't expect it to be a small bug. 
Forget it, let's just pass the time. Seeing Enel belittle him so much, Bai Kei was furious. Bastard, don't regret it after losing your life, watch Liao Zi chop off your head as an ornament. The reason why Luke is called the beheader is because he likes to hang the heads of his enemies on the bow, so that people can see his spoils at a glance, and he is often proud of it. 60 million volts brontosaurus. Enel struck the thunder drum behind him, and a brontosaurus snapped at Luke. How can you dare to make an axe if you have a small skill? Luke swung the beheading sword and beheaded the thunder dragon with one blow, idiot, when Liao Zi was in New World, you were peeing your pants. Luke decapitated the brontosaurus, castrated endlessly, covered the knife with armament hacky, and chopped off Enel's head with one knife. Ha 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 ha, boy, you know how powerful Liao Zi is, I. Luke's arrogant words suddenly choked in his throat, and when he looked down, a golden trident had pierced his chest. Hey, what are you laughing at, bastard? Liao Zi is not dead yet. On the ground, Enel's head turned into lightning, and then Enel's headless body returned to its original form. You, why didn't you die? Is Liao Zi's armament hacky useless? Luke had an unbelievable look on his face, he had already used armament hacky. Why didn't Enel die? Idiot, will this god be killed by you so easily? It's not too difficult to predict your moves and dodge them elementally, okay. Enel's observation hacky is much better than Luke, all his actions are under Enel's control. Advertisement. Idiot, you are too weak, it is your greatest honor to die in the hands of god. The golden trident released ultra-strong high-voltage lightning, which exceeded 300 million volts. Boom, Luke's body was blasted out, and when he fell to the ground, he had become a charred corpse. Boat, Captain, the captain is defeated. No, it's impossible, how could Lord Luke lose? This is a lie, by the way, this must be a dream. Lord Luke lost, what shall we do? The person who beheaded the pirates looked desperate I didn't even feel the weapon fall from his hand. Since it is the enemy, there is no need to stay. After finishing Luke, Enel turned to look at the surviving pirates. In addition to those who were killed before, there are about 300 people left. Asshole, we're not afraid of you. Yes, we go together because of the family. Hack him and we'll live. Those who beheaded the pirates could only hide the fear in their hearts in this way. Then, boom, there was a violent explosion on Dillon Island, and the smoke billowed up, even the Millaway Palace where Chris was located was clearly visible. Idiots, clean up, if something happens again, the god will punish you. Enel's indifferent voice sounded, and in front of him, two or three hundred people were trembling and sweating. They are all responsible for guarding Dillon Island. Someone sneaked a peek behind Enel, there were hundreds of charred corpses piled up there, a smell of burnt air filled the air, matching the scene in front of him was really disgusting. I thought New World was full of strong people, but I didn't expect that there are so many incompetent little ants. 17. Enel took to the sky, heading towards Millican. At this moment, an unstoppable impact hit him, and Armament Hacky was actually mixed in it. Boom, Enel was beaten so dizzy that half of his body was shattered. Asterisk hey, hey, what's the situation? Which bug is making trouble again? Enel's body healed, his face was gloomy, and a trace of bloodline flowed from the corner of his mouth. I just said that New World is full of ants, but I didn't expect to be slapped in the face so soon, which made the proud Enel unacceptable. Advertisement. Bastard, I want to see who you are. After all, he turned into a bolt of lightning and flew towards the direction where the shock came from. At the same time, on a sea area 20 kilometers away from Dillon Island. Hey, hey, dad, is your shot too heavy? What if you beat that Thor to death? Marco used the observation hacky to see clearly that Enel was smashed to pieces by Whitebeard as soon as he flew into the sky. Goo la 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 la, stop joking, Marco, that kid is pretty good. Whitebeard's actions were measured, he was just making a gesture. From here, we can see how strong Whitebeard is, 20 kilometers away from Enel, and he was crushed by a punch, it is horrible? Here we come, little ones, ready to welcome guests. Hearing what Whitebeard said, the people on board stood beside the railing one after another, and the captains also stood side by side behind Whitebeard. Call out. A bolt of lightning came through the air, hovering over the Moby Dick. Before Enel found his footing, Vesta had already made a move with the foil sword. Two crossed slashes cut across the thunder and lightning, and beautiful flower petals floated in the air. Puff. Enel staggered in the air, she ends good, the lightning on his body receded, and he showed his original shape. Hey, you are. Enel wanted to say a few harsh words, but stopped short of speaking. Because he saw the man standing at the bow, the man has a crescent-shaped white beard that curves upwards on his face. He is more than six meters tall and has no shirt but a cape. Standing like that, the king hacky on his body has been fully revealed. Why did the Whitebeard pirates appear here? Enel, who has always been arrogant, is also looking ugly at the moment. If Whitebeard also targets the galaxy pirates, the trouble will be serious. Goo la 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 la, kid, Lao Zi is here, why don't you inform your captain? Isn't that kid who grew up eating mercury too arrogant? Whitebeard laughed loudly, very heroic, and the boldness in his words was undoubtedly revealed. Whitebeard. Enel gritted his teeth, and then took out the phone bug from his arms. Hey, galaxy, here comes Whitebeard. 17. After connecting, Enel only said this, and then hung up. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 93 Facing White Beard. First update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Goo la 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 la, thunder, and lightning kid, I think you look good, do you want to be my son? Chris is still here for a while, and Whitebeard wants to get Enel on board too. Don't be kidding, Whitebeard, Lao Zi is not afraid of you. 60 million volts Thunderbird. Enel raised the golden rod, and the thunderbolt danced on his body, and a thunderbird sang and flew towards Whitebeard. Hey, hey, this is too dazzling. Whitebeard squinted, covering his eyes with his hands. Boom. Vista jumped up and chopped the thunderbird into the sky with a single blow. Hey, little thunderbolt, you are too arrogant. Rose Flurry. While Vista was speaking, his swords continued to move, and the two swords cut out countless crimson petals. Each petal is sharper than flying slash, and can easily cut off the necks of thousands of pirates. SHH, 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 
SHH. Ennis' body was riddled with holes, sporadic lightning fell off his body, falling into the sea and causing an explosion. It's useless, you can't hurt me. The hole in Enel's body healed instantly, and then he fought with Vista. Every collision between the two can cause a hurricane to rage, blowing the sea to roll. Rumble? Everyone discovered that the blue sky, which was originally cloudless, became cloudy at some point. They also saw lightning flashes and thunder, and there were vaguely snakes swimming around. While fighting, Enel has unknowingly created a dark cloud over the Whitebeard pirates. Goo la 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 la, this thunder and lightning kid is quite smart, and Vista will suffer. Whitebeard glanced up at the sky and figured out Enel's plan in a split second. However, he did not remind Vista that it would be a good thing to take advantage of this 177 opportunity to let Vista learn some lessons. Boom, after a collision, Enel suddenly flew into the sky, and Vista stepped back to the Moby Deck. Hey, Thor, what are you running? What tricks are there? Use them all. Vista and Enel are fighting with great enthusiasm. At the moment, the fighting spirit is high, and they don't want it to end in such an anticlimactic manner. Idiot, haven't you understood yet? I will kill you with my next move. 200 million volts Thunder Beast Kylan. The thick clouds suddenly parted, and a Kylan monster formed by lightning roared out. Advertisement. Its roar caused a strong gust of wind, which blinded everyone on the boat. Roar? Hey, hey, it's a big game now, this little thunder and lightning kid is angry. Hey, Vista, it's all your fault, you see that you made the little fur kid anxious. Ah ha ha ha, Vista, you will lose this battle, and you will definitely not be able to take this move. Looking at this thunder beast Kylan, it would be a lie if the people on the boat were not nervous, they could tell from the posture that it must be terrifyingly powerful. But they are the Whitebeard pirates, as long as Whitebeard is there, no matter what happens, they don't have to worry. Fall to Kylan, bastard. Enel looked ferocious, and as he roared, he also rammed headlong towards the Moby Deck. Everyone had no doubt that this Thunder Beast Kylan could easily destroy the Moby Deck. Boom. Suddenly, a fist hit the atmosphere, and with the fist as the center, the atmosphere around it cracked like a spider web. Crack, click. For a moment, it seemed that the entire space was torn apart by this punch. Kylan wailed, and then the body made of lightning began to burst, and exploded with a bang. Ifa, the invisible vibration not only shattered Kylan, but also shattered half of Chris' body. Asshole. Whitebeard, Lousy won't let you go. Enel finally knows why Whitebeard is called the strongest in the world, his strength is so different from him. Goo la 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 la, this old man can't just sit and watch his child get hurt. Although it's a bit of a bad rule to intervene in the battle between pirates, but he is Whitebeard, and no rules can bind him. Vista, there are people beyond human beings, and there is sky beyond the sky. You must not be careless during the battle, otherwise you may pay your own life. Seeing Whitebeard's serious expression, Vista looked ashamed. If it weren't for Whitebeard this time, he would have been seriously injured. I know dad, I will pay attention to it in the future. Then he looked at Enel and said, Thunder God, I lost this time, let's fight again next time. Yeah ha ha ha, idiot, if you lose once, you will have a second time, and you will never win against this god. Although he can't beat Whitebeard, but he can defeat a captain of the Whitebeard pirates, and the news is enough to shock the world. Goo la 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 la, thunder, and lightning kid, are you so arrogant after winning a fight? Whitebeard laughed, and then covered his fist with a transparent ball. Empty shock. Boom, no matter how many times, Enel could not resist this force and could only use elementalization to counteract the damage. But Whitebeard's vibrations are everywhere, even if Enel turns into lightning, he will still be hurt. Enel staggered and fell from the sky, just in time to land on the Moby Deck. Little Thunderbolt, be Lousy's son. Advertisement. Watching Enel struggling to get up, Whitebeard extended the invitation again. Chris rushed over as soon as he received Enel's call. He didn't expect to see the scene as soon as he arrived. Hey, hey, Uncle Whitebeard, don't you embarrass the four emperors by digging around like this. Following the sound, everyone looked up and found Chris standing in the sky with his hands in his pockets. Hey, how can this guy fly? Does the Quicksilver Fruit have such power? Yeah, haven't you heard of it? Everyone is very curious about Chris flying in the air. After all, a person who can fly has an innate advantage in the sky. No, look at his feet. He can do this by stepping on Mercury, and he doesn't have the ability to fly. Hearing what Marco said, everyone understood that it was so. Goo la 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 la, Quicksilver brat, you are finally here, the old man has wanted to see you for a long time. I've always wanted to see what kind of abilities you, the strongest rookie, have. Whitebeard turned to look at Chris at this moment too, the cape flapping behind him. Uncle Whitebeard, before you speak, can you let my partner go, I think he is dying. Only by rescuing Enel first can Chris let go and confront Whitebeard head on. Hmph, <laughs> you brat, you're quite arrogant. Whitebeard grinned, and then the force of the shock exploded, sending Enel flying towards Chris. Boom. Chris covered armament hacky with his palm and intercepted Enel with his hand. Although it was just picking someone up, Chris still felt numbness in his palms. Whitebeard's shock fruit is indeed the strongest paramecia, and it really contains boundless power in every gesture. Sorry, Chris. It's okay, facing this man, you are lucky that you didn't die. Chris shook his head, not blaming Enel. Little ghost, how is it? Marco told you, do you want to board the old man's boat? Enel is just a blip, Chris is his real goal. Hearing this, Chris gave Marco a hard look, the brat hasn't settled with him yet. Marco also had a wry smile on his face, and then turned his face away, not daring to meet Chris' eyes. I should have said, I just want to sail by myself. Chris still refuses. Ah ha ha ha, dad, let me just say this guy won't agree. You lost, dad, let's follow our plan. That's right, it's time for him to experience daddy's love. Everyone laughed when they heard Chris' refusal, and they were all joking about life. Goo la 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 la, Quicksilver brat, it seems that we still have to use the way of pirates to solve it. Advertisement. Since you don't intend to be the old man's son, then the old man will settle old scores with you. Old accounts. Chris was dumbfounded when he heard that, since when did he have an old dispute with Whitebeard? He had never seen him before today. Beating the old man's son, the old man can't pretend that he didn't see it. Everyone in the world knows that the old man's son must not be touched. Boom, an air shock hit, and the atmosphere shattered into glass. Chris pulled Enel and disappeared instantly, appearing thousands of meters away without warning. This punch is different from the previous ones, Whitebeard has used eight points of strength. The entire sea began to shake, and huge waves were set off on the sea surface, and the sea god was angry. Galaxy. 
Chris summoned the Milky Way directly from the sky. Facing the oncoming monstrous waves, Chris had no choice but to fight. Boom, the Milky Way collided head-on with the huge waves, and the roar resounded through thousands of miles, and finally both of them sank in the sea. Goo la 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 la, brat, there are two tricks. Seeing Chris pick up his trick, Whitebeard marvels. Uncle Whitebeard, it's not convenient here, let's go to the island to fight. Everyone saw that when Chris waved his hand, an island fell from the sky. Boom, the island fell into the sea and set off a huge tsunami, which was bigger than the huge wave caused by Whitebeard just now, and even the deep peninsula, 20 kilometers away, was impacted. Hey, hey, this is not something that the Quicksilver Fruit can do. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates was dumbfounded and couldn't believe it. Whitebeard smashed the tsunami with a punch, also a little surprised. At that moment just now, he seemed to see an old friend covered in golden hair. Whitebeard, I'll be waiting for you on the island. Chris disappeared, taking the first step into Quicksilver Island. Goo la 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 la, the runny-nosed brat is quite arrogant. Whitebeard kicked his feet and jumped towards Mercury Island. With this jump, he jumped over a thousand meters and stepped directly on the shore of Mercury Island. Pity the people of the Whitebeard Pirates. Just now Whitebeard used the power of shock fruit in the jump, and the reaction force almost overturned the Moby Dick. Mercury Island. There is no grass on the island, and the air is filled with mercury gas, which is everywhere. Chris and Whitebeard stood facing each other. Hey kid, it's not fair for you to choose this island. As soon as Whitebeard came to the island, he discovered that there was actually a mercury lake on the island, and the air was filled with mercury gas, which was the most suitable battlefield for the mercury kid in front of him. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 94 The Confrontation with Whitebeard, a fierce battle for 5 days and 5 nights, subscription required. Advertisement. As soon as Whitebeard came to the island, he discovered that there was actually a mercury lake on the island, and the air was filled with mercury gas, which was the most suitable battlefield for the mercury kid in front of him. Facing the world's strongest Whitebeard, I, a kid who has just debuted, of course have to choose a favorable battlefield. Chris didn't care about Whitebeard's sarcasm at all. Facing this man, it would be nice to have a slight advantage. Hey, Yinhe, you are too despicable to play such dirty tricks. Marco originally wanted to get closer to watch the battle, but as soon as he approached Mercury Island, some members of the Whitebeard Pirates began to faint. And the closer it is to Mercury Island, the more rich people there are. It was only then that Marco discovered that these people were all poisoned. Mercury vapor is colorless and odorless, and these people don't even know when they were poisoned, so they are hard to guard against. Goo la 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 la, what are you talking about, Marco? The old man will not say that he is despicable, the world of pirates has always been the cruelest. Whitebeard laughed, and then used the vibration to disperse all the mercury gas that was approaching. Whitebeard is worthy of being Whitebeard, your mind can't really hold the whole ocean. Facing this heroic man, Chris also felt a wave of respect. You are an old senior, I will not be polite. As soon as the words fell, a silver dragon rushed out of the mercury lake. The silver dragon circled twice in the sky, then roared towards Whitebeard. Don't show off this little trick. Whitebeard shattered the silver dragon with one blow. Then Kong Yunki lifted up, a transparent ball was wrapped around the blade, and he chopped down with one blow. Crack, click. A dense spider web emerged from the air in front of it, and then it shattered like glass. Chris felt a huge force coming towards him, as if an invisible wall of air hit him. Boom. Chris' body was directly shattered. Whitebeard's shock continued, and it shattered a mountain behind Chris. The mercury on the ground slowly condensed into a human shape, and the corner of Chris' mouth was bleeding. With just one move, Chris was injured. As expected of the strongest man in the world. Goo la 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 la, kid, you don't only have these two things, do you? Where did your previous arrogance go? It's not over yet. One shot style? Crescent moon slash. Chris cut out a new moon with a knife, and the sky seemed to darken at this moment. The beauty of the crescent moon condensed by the saber energy is fascinating, as if it has traveled through space, and it has just appeared before Whitebeard's eyes. Advertisement. Small tricks. Whitebeard swung Kong Yunki and chopped it down, and the crescent moon shattered immediately, and the crystals floated in the air, like pearl powder. Is that all? Brat. Of course. Chris growled at Whitebeard's question. Galaxy Sword Dance. Chris leapt into the air and smashed his huge quicksilver fist to the ground. The ground was cracked inch by inch, and a spider web was formed with the fist as the center. Immediately the ground began to vibrate, as if something was about to come out. SHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHH
Every time the two fight against each other, there will be a strong shock wave, the island shakes, the rocks collapse, and the mercury lake starts to boil. Boom, 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 after fighting for a day and a night, there is still no winner. Hey, hey, when is it going to be called? Everyone stared blankly at the two figures on the island. Every time they confront each other, there will be aftermath, and each aftermath can instantly kill 100 million pirates. Time passed, and the news of the confrontation between the Whitebeard pirates and the Galaxy pirates finally got out. The fight between Chris and Whitebeard is too big it's impossible to hide it. The conquerors of the two split the sky, and they were clearly visible even hundreds of miles away. Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford, Marshal's Office. It has been confirmed that Galaxy and Whitebeard have been fighting for a day and a night, and there is no winner yet. Sengoku was serious, he didn't expect Chris to have such fighting power. It's scary, that little brother Chris can compete with Whitebeard. Why did Whitebeard come into conflict with the galaxy? Did he come out of New World just for him? Reflecting on Whitebeard's actions and when Chris arrived in New World, Crane Vice Admiral thinks it's very likely. Is the Whitebeard pirates at war with the galaxy pirates? Aokiji does not know the specific content of the incident, so he asked this question. Sengoku shook his head and said, No, the crews of both sides did not participate in the battle, only Whitebeard and Galaxy fought alone. However, according to the investigation, before Chris arrived, Thor and Whitebeard had a fight, and finally lost miserably. So, that man's target is not the galaxy pirates, but Galaxy himself. Garp has always been sloppy, but when he is serious, he grasps the point at once. That's right, according to the news reports, the Galaxy had a fight with the Phoenix Marco in the Fishman Island, and Marco lost the battle. Judging from the current situation, this may be the reason. Ah ha ha ha, is it because of his son's success? Whitebeard has not changed a bit over the years. Garp laughed, and there was a respect for Whitebeard in his words. As it stands, Whitebeard's target is not Marine, which is good news for us. But how to solve the conflict between the Galaxy and him? Zero, ask for flowers. Suru Vice Admiral asked with his chin propped, Chris represented Shishibukai, and Shishibukai's contact with the four emperors was also a big deal. If Galaxy doesn't die in this battle, he will have a firm foothold in New World. If even Whitebeard can't solve him, then he won't be afraid of anyone anymore. Sengoku is also distressed and doesn't know how to deal with this matter. At the same time that Marine received the news, so did the four emperors and Shishibukai. Advertisement. New World, Wanakuni. Kaido gulped down a wine gourd before smashing it to pieces. That Quicksilver kid did a pretty good job of making it up with old man Whitebeard. According to the current situation, Galaxy's strength is indeed not weak, and Jack should not be his opponent. Yin nodded and said, but it was too late for them to receive the news, Jack had already left for Milliken. Although they knew that Jack's trip would fail, they didn't ask him to come. Now that the four emperors have already taken action, there is no reason to back down. This is a great shame to the four emperors. Oof, that brat is so strong, Laozi wants to fight him now, let's see if he can kill Laozi. Kaido's fighting addiction is back, his only wish is for someone to kill him. But to this day, no one has ever been able to do this, including himself. New World, Cake Island. Well, is Chris really fighting Whitebeard? Big Mom is surrounded by Zeus and Prometheus, and is dancing at the moment, but dancing with a fat woman is too eye-catching. Yes mother, count the time, the two have been fighting for more than a day and a night. Speaking of which, even Katakuri has a little admiration. He waited up and felt that he should not be Chris' opponent. The galaxy can match Whitebeard, unbeaten for a day and a night, and the battle is still inconclusive. But I am definitely not my mother's opponent, and I can't even last half a day. Mom, are you still marrying Chris? Well, of course, such an excellent young man will of course be included in the Big Mom Pirates. In the eyes of Big Mom, marriage means submission. The stronger Chris is, the more she wants this power. The battle between Chris and Whitebeard finally came to an end after five days and five nights. Whitebeard's strength is really too strong, especially now in 1516. His body is not as weak as four years later. During this period, Chris spent a full 600 million baileys to upgrade both the knowledge color and armament hacky to the peak, and then he barely competed with him. In the end, Whitebeard was slightly injured and Chris was seriously injured. But Chris can fight and escape with his flying ability, and Whitebeard can't do anything to him. At this moment, Mercury Island is already on the verge of collapse. Huge cracks run through the entire island, and spider web-like cracks cut the island to pieces. Uncle Whitebeard, you should be able to fight by now. You should know that I can fly, but it's very easy to escape if I can't fight. Chris was panting, bleeding from the corner of his mouth, and there was a huge dent on his right breast, where Whitebeard had punched him. Fortunately, he missed the left chest, otherwise his heart would have exploded. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 95, Ace Debuts, Logia Sucks. Third update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Goo la 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 la, Quicksilver Kid, you are very good, the old man really likes you, but it's a pity that you don't want to be my son. Being only 20 years old and being able to match himself like this, Chris's talent and potential are really too high. If Chris can join the Whitebeard Pirates, Whitebeard really has the urge to train him to be the next captain. In recent years, he feels that his body is getting weaker and weaker, and it is time to start training the next captain. In the original book, it was also during this time period that Whitebeard discovered the existence of Ace, so he took him on board for the purpose of cultivating him as an heir. If there is no Chris, wait a few more months and Sunbeard will find Ace. Woo ha ha ha, Uncle Whitebeard, I just want to sail by myself, and it's not my own travel to be inferior to others. Chris grinned, and at this moment, Whitebeard seemed to see Roger's shadow. It was the same with Roger back then. In order to pursue freedom, he was unrestrained, and no one could stop him. Yes, the sea is boundless, and only the freest man can make it all the way. Whitebeard is gone. The Whitebeard pirates are gone too. But today's battle made the whole new world boil. In the months after the war, 587, every corner of the new world was talking about Chris. Hey, hey, the Milky Way is too strong. It can actually fight against the strongest Whitebeard in the world for five days and five nights. Yeah, even though he's badly injured, Whitebeard is injured too, so it's not a disastrous defeat. That's right, it's been years since anyone can make Whitebeard bleed, Galaxy is the first. Hey, have you heard that many pirates want to join the Galaxy recently, and now they all go to Milliken. 
That's right, let's go too, if it's late, they won't accept us. The battle between Chris and Whitebeard made Chris' reputation reach its peak. After the battle, countless pirates poured into Milliken begging to join Chris. New World, Derice Rosa, Zixashixixii, that guy in he has done a good job, he has made a name for himself in New World all of a sudden. Nane, Dover, Luo is on board the galaxy ship now, what should we do? Luo, it is unforgivable to betray the family, but now that he has the backing of Yin He, we can't touch him. When Luo was mentioned, Doflamingo burst into anger, the veins on his forehead surged, and the blood vessels seemed to burst. Advertisement. As much as he wanted to bring back the traitor to the family, Doflamingo didn't want to confront Chris. Doflamingo knows that Chris, who can fight White Beard for five days and five nights, must be stronger than himself. See Circle Calendar 1517. It's been three months since the fight with Whitebeard, and more than a year since Chris went to sea. Chris finally got rid of his rookie identity and became an old pirate. During the three months, Chris screened out the pirates who came to join him, and kept the elite among them. The rest of the low class are not qualified to join the Galaxy Pirates. In the end, the Galaxy Pirates expanded into a large pirate group with more than 10,000 people, and became a superpower in the New World, second only to the four emperors. These 10,000 people are not miscellaneous soldiers like the Creek Pirates, but real semi-elite pirates. During the period, Jack from the Beasts Pirates and Cracker from the Big Mom Pirates came to find trouble and was finally easily dismissed by Chris. Today's Chris, knowledgeable color, and armament hacky have reached the peak, coupled with great swordsmanship, super physical skills, even the four emperors, he is not afraid. It's just that the power of his subordinates is not as powerful as the four emperors, and he can't challenge the four emperors and seize the four emperors' throne. Chris's voyage has come to an end for the time being, and the next step is to secretly accumulate strength and prepare for the day when he will show his fangs. Millican Palace, after several months of construction, the palace is now resplendent and resplendent, and there is an aura of local tyrants. Chris was lying on a beach chair, and there were a group of beauties playing in the swimming pool in front of him. Hey, Captain, a super rookie has appeared in the latest period. The momentum is very strong, and the bounty is rising very fast. Orc Kajao handed Chris a reward order. Chris didn't pay much attention to it at first, after all, his vision is very high now, and not everyone can fall into his vision. But seeing this photo, Chris rose, and then showed a meaningful smile. Captain, do you know this man? Seeing Chris' expression, Kajao asked curiously. No, I don't know. Chris didn't want to say more, and threw out the bounty. Who? So mysterious. What's so great about the newcomers now, is there still such an asshole as the captain? Everyone talked about it, but they didn't know the person on the reward order. Poor Gasty. Ace, a heinous crime, life, or death? A reward of 150 million baileys. Salim read out the words on the reward order word by word. Advertisement. It's not bad. Just entering the grand line, a reward of over 100 million has already been offered. He has a fight with the captain. I heard that he also got the ability of Logia, which is the calendar area of the flame. Some people are very envious, Logia is one in a million, and it is also the top flame power. As long as you don't die in the future, you are destined to become a big shot. Yeah ha ha ha, idiot, what are flames, my god's lightning is the strongest. Enel took a sip of his wine and laughed. He who has already experienced the new world is no longer the same as before. For a newcomer like this, he can beat him with three punches and two kicks so that he can be called dad. I didn't expect time to pass so fast, Ace has already gone to sea. Luffy went to sea in 1520, and Ace was three years earlier than him, that is 1517. Chris went to sea in 1516, and came to New World after numerous battles. One year has passed before he knew it, and now the company master Kakuza has appeared. Should I include Ace in the Galaxy Pirates? Such an idea popped up in Chris's mind, but he denied it himself. There is no doubt about Ace's qualifications and strength. He is a very powerful combat force. There are many benefits to recruiting him, but he also has a lot of troubles. First of all, Ace is the son of Roger, the Pirate King, and is a thorn in Marine's side. Chris's strength can't protect him at all. Secondly, Ace has his own arrogance. He wholeheartedly wants to surpass Roger and become the new One Piece. It is impossible for him to surrender. No one can do it except Whitebeard. The storm of the new era is coming. Chris sighed secretly, a whirlwind suddenly blew up at this moment. It seemed to blow from the new world to the first half of the Grand Line, and then swept across the sea. Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Sengoku was holding an Ace Reward Order in his hand, listening to the adjutant's report as he walked. He is the pirate who has rapidly expanded his power recently. D, where did it come from? D is known as the natural enemy of the gods, so Sengoku can't help but take it seriously. We don't know yet, we still don't know his origin, but as a rookie, he has actually obtained the power of Logia, and he has great potential. Logia? Chris's arrogant face suddenly appeared in Sengoku's mind, and he felt that the whole person was not well. Last year, a Chris from Logia was tormenting him enough, and another one came this year. Since when did there be so many Logia from Grand Line? Marshall's office. Advertisement. Tell me, what should I do with this newcomer? Sengoku throws Ace's bounty on the table, he's having a headache now. It really scared the old man, it's another Logia, are the newcomers now all monsters? Kizaru put his hands in his pockets and said in a lewd voice. The power of Logia cannot be underestimated, and the power of fire is more threatening than Mercury, Marine must take action. Crane Vice Admiral recommends immediate action against Ace to kill Ace in advance. Is the luck of the newcomer so good now? How can they get the power of Logia casually? Aokiji also has some feelings. Logia Marimara fruit is also one of the devil fruits that Marine has been paying attention to. This fruit has not appeared for many years, but it did not expect to appear now. Like thunder fruit, it was eaten by a newcomer again. Among the people present, Garp was the only one who remained silent. He looked down at the reward order with an ugly expression on his face. Ace, why, why are you still on this path? Since Roger entrusted Ace to him, he has been raising him as his own grandson. Seeing him walking on Roger's old path now, he is heartbroken and lost. At this moment, he is like an old man with common 1.2, fragile and helpless. Although he kept saying that he wanted to train Ace to be the strongest sailor, he knew in his heart that Marine would not allow him to live. Even if he really entered the Marine and made great military exploits, as long as his identity is revealed, there is only one end to die. This is blood, this is destiny. From the day I was born, my destiny has been doomed. Garp suddenly remembered what Ace said, people cannot stop fate. Garp, Garp, Garp. 
Sengoku's shouts brought Garp back to reality. Garp, what are you thinking? We're in a meeting right now. Sengoku's face was ugly, and Garp, the bastard, deserted again when the meeting was due. Ah ha ha ha, the old man was thinking about the donut record just now. Garp laughed and put the matter out of the way. Only Crane Vice Admiral took a deep look at him, as if guessing something. P.S. The third update is here, and the 40,000 word has been updated today. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day. I beg readers to give the author some motivation. Thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 96 Cut Who Luffy, Brooke on board, first update, please subscribe. Advertisement. The government intends to invite him to become a Shishibukai, what do you think? Sengoku's words immediately aroused strong opposition from Akainu. Are you kidding me? Have you forgotten the lesson of the galaxy? Do you want to watch this bastard become the second galaxy? It was because Marine didn't cut the weeds in time, which caused Chris to step out of control step by step. Now Chris is established in New World under the name of Shishibukai, and even naval headquarters can't shake him. For the evil pirates, it is natural to kill the grass. A strong murderous aura erupted from Akainu's body, lava lava fruit also unconsciously activated, and the temperature in the office rose sharply. The vice admiral sitting next to him couldn't stand the heat, and looked enviously at the person sitting next to Aokiji, wanting to go over there to cool off. Garp's face got worse, but there was nothing he could do. Besides, there is no vacancy for Shishibukai's position now, why are you looking for him? Big Bear has agreed to be the experimental subject of the pacifist, so his position will be vacant. According to the current situation, this newcomer is the most suitable candidate. Sengoku doesn't want to let Ace go, but the pacifist's plan is more important, and he must not be careless. The world government has issued an order, and he can't do anything? Bastards, those idiots in the government, will pay for their stupidity sooner or later. Akainu smashed the desk with one punch, then got up and left the office. Hey, Sakazuki, where are you going, bastard? Sengoku is very angry at the moment, Akainu is becoming more and more unruly, does he still take me as a marshal? I'm going to New World, I still need the old man to guard there. Akainu snorted coldly, and slammed the door of Zero Four shut. Everyone looked at me and I looked at you, no one made a sound, as if they didn't see this scene. New World, Moby Dick, Gula la 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 la, there is an arrogant brat on the Grand Line. Whitebeard sat on the bed, holding an ace in his hand and placing a bounty. He has a drip on his body and breathes oxygen through his nose. In recent years, dark injuries have occurred, and he has to receive treatment all the time. I heard that he rejected Shishibukai's invitation, and he is the most dazzling newcomer this year. The speaker is dressed in a chef uniform. He is the chef's age of the Whitebeard Pirates and the captain of the fourth team. These guys have been messing around for a few years. What kind of big deal can they be so impatient at such a young age? You can't say that, old man, isn't that guy in he very young? Goo la 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 la, that Mercury kid is still far behind. Looking at Ace in front of him, Whitebeard also thought of Chris, that arrogant kid. It feels like a new era is really coming, and dazzling newcomers have been pouring out one after another in recent years. Advertisement. Grand Line, Magic Triangle. Chris left New World alone. Coming back here this time is to take away Thriller Bark. The previous Mercury Island has been sunk because of the battle with Whitebeard. Although there are many islands in New World, after much deliberation, the island left by Leah is the most suitable. The above buildings are ready-made and do not need to be rebuilt by Chris. At the same time, no one lives on the island, and no one will find out if they move away. Where did it go? The magic triangle is covered by fog all year round and invisible to the naked eye. Chris can only use observation hacky to search. Huh? There are unexpected surprises. Chris was taken aback for a moment, then swept his head into the mist and disappeared instantly. Yo ho 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 ho, yo ho 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 ho, ho ho. Chris is standing on the watchtower of a wreck with a skeleton singing below. Although a skeleton, he wears a gentleman's suit. There is obviously no scalp on the head, but there is an exploding head. Boom, Brooke leaned 45 degrees against the wall before falling face down on the deck. Hey, 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 he's all alone today, so lonely. Brooke sings and dances to pass the time by himself, and looks like a madman to the outside world. Chris understands why he's doing this, he's been stuck here for decades and can't live without having some fun. However, he can't die even if he wants to, he doesn't have organs, doesn't need to breathe, doesn't need to eat, even if he jumps into the sea, he can't die at all. Hey, do you know where Moria's thriller bark drifted? Hearing Chris' voice, Brooke stood up instantly. Oh, it's a living person. Hello, I haven't seen a living person for decades, even though I don't have eyes. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho 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 ho. Seeing Chris, Brooke looked excited. Although he was a stranger, he still talked to Chris Tower in a familiar manner. Hi sir, my name is Brooke, nice to meet you. Brooke introduced himself politely. Oh hello, John Chris. Mr. Chris, how can I help you? I wanted to find the Thriller Bark in Moria, which was around here a few months ago, and I can't find it now. Thriller Bark? Isn't there, isn't that Moria's place? Brooke looked shocked, even though his face was nothing but a skeleton. The world of One Piece is so magical, the skeleton can actually show a shocked expression. Advertisement. Do you know, Mr. Chris, you can't go there. Moria is a very powerful big pirate. Anyone who goes there will have their shadow taken away. It's too dangerous. Brooke is stuck here, not knowing that Moria is dead, and kindly advises Chris not to die. It's all right, Moria is dead, there's no danger there now. Nanny, Moria dead. Brooke's skull face was even more shocking, seeing Chris' face with black lines, this grimace shocked him even more. Could it be that incident a few months ago? Brooke figured it out in an instant. A few months ago, his shadow suddenly returned. He guessed that Moria might have been defeated, but unexpectedly he was killed. Two months ago, I saw Thriller Bark drifting southeast. Mr. Chris can go there and look for it. Oh, thanks, Mr. Skull. Chris waved his hand and was about to leave when he suddenly turned around and asked, Do you want to come on my boat and be my partner? Oh that's fine. Without thinking, Brooke agreed in a second. Very good, I didn't come in vain this time, I got the ability of the fruit of Huan Quan. Chris was secretly proud, and now he has another trick to deal with Big Mom. Brooke's underworld fruit does a lot of damage to the soul, and if Chris starts a war with Big Mom, his ability will be very useful. Now that Lockdoll and Blackbeard are blocked, Chris doesn't mind cutting Luffy again. 
Coincidentally, there is still a musician missing on Chris's boat. Mr. Captain, how do we get out of here? I have been wandering here for 50 years. Don't worry, just watch quietly. Chris chuckled, and then activated Lion Fruit's ability. The wrecked ship below rose into the air and slowly left the sea, with some broken planks falling down on the way. Okay, okay, it's amazing, the boat actually flew up. Brooke looked surprised and looked around, feeling curious everywhere. The pirate ship turned into a real ghost ship, and under the control of Chris, it flew southeast. Thriller Bark Since Moria's death, all the zombies on the island are gone, and only the three monsters under Moria are left. Hello, Quina. Hey, boy, don't move, you will be my pet from now on. Perona tied a pirate into a zombie Kumasi and said, Hey, Perona, stop playing, we still have to catch some pirates to do coolie work. The speaker is Absalom, who is gorgeously dressed but has a terrifying face, with the body of a beast stitched on his body, making him look super disgusting. Advertisement. Since Moria's death, they have controlled Thriller Bark back to West Blue, catching some low-level pirates along the way to work as coolies on the island. The Grand Line is too dangerous, they dare not stay here without Moria's backing. As for seeking revenge from Chris, they dare not even think about it. According to the news they got, Chris is already a well-known big shot now, even Moria can't compare with him before his death. Hey, good afternoon everyone, would you like to have a cup of afternoon tea together? Suddenly, a voice came from the sky, they looked up at 810 at the same time, and as a result, all three of them became stiff. Absalom and Hobuk were sweating profusely, their legs were trembling, and they wanted to turn around and run away, but their bodies refused to obey. Perona was even more unbearable, and fell to the ground with tears streaming out. You, you, why are you here? Lord Moria is dead, he's gone. Absalom thought Chris was looking for Moria, his voice was trembling, and he bit his own tongue with his fangs. Of course I came here for business, but I didn't expect you to stay here, which is considered a windfall. Chris chuckled twice, but the weirdo trio was terrified. Hey, that Tianba monster around you? You are a user of transparent fruit, right? Absalom was even more frightened, too frightened to speak. Forget it, it's a waste for you to eat such a good fruit, let's change its owner. Chris made a sudden move and raised his fingers, although slowly but left an afterimage. A mercury needle shot out from the fingertip, and the sharp wind roared like lightning. There was only a puff, and a ray of blood spattered. Absalom clutched his throat and wanted to say something, but his throat was pierced and he was unable to speak, and then fell on his back, becoming a corpse. Hey, Perona, let's run away. Hobuk was quite loyal and wanted to drag Perona to escape together, but when he turned around, he saw that Perona had fainted from fright. Hey, Chris. Hobuk still wanted to beg for mercy, but saw Chris' fingers raised again. Puff? He saw his own blood spilled into the sky, and he finally felt the pain of Absalom before his death. It turns out that death with a pierced throat can be so painful. There was still pleading in Hobuk's eyes, but his consciousness sank back to nothingness and darkness. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still working hard to code words, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day. I beg readers to give the author some motivation. Thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 97 Recycling the Transparent Fruit. Corona boards the ship. Second update. Please subscribe. Advertisement. Chris flipped his hand, and a devil fruit appeared in his hand, which was the transparent fruit of the dead Absalom. This fruit is the favorite of men. No man can resist its temptation, even Chris is almost distracted. How about I spend another billion to transform my body? After eating it, I will become a person with three fruit abilities. It took a lot of willpower for Chris to resist the temptation. There is no soft use for oneself through the fruit, it should be used to train subordinates. With a wave of his hand, a ball fell from the sky. The ball was silver in color and looked very round and smooth, just like a pearl. Boom, the moment the ball hit the ground, it exploded. It turned out that the ball just now was a drop of mercury, but this drop of mercury was as large as a lake. Although Mercury Island was shattered, Chris brought Mercury Lake, which is Chris's best weapon, it's a pity to throw it away. The sky filled with mercury began to rush and flow on the island, and in the blink of an eye, a mercury lake appeared in the middle of the island. The poisonous mercury gas filled the air, and the trees and plants on the island withered and withered in an instant. The animals fled to the outside of the island one after another. Even if they knew that jumping into the sea would be a dead end, they didn't hesitate. The pirates captured by Perona and the others were no exception. Those who escaped slowly had already turned into corpses. Chris activated the lion fruit ability, Thriller Bark slowly left the sea and flew into the sky, and finally disappeared into the clouds. Fortunately, this is the magic triangle sea area surrounded by dense fog. If someone else sees the scene, he will definitely lose his eyeballs. Ah, Kumasi, come and save me. Perona was awakened by Chris in a dream, and when she opened her eyes, she saw a skeleton lying in front of her, only a finger away from her face. Hey, this beautiful lady, can you let me take a look at your fat times? Ah, ghost, skeleton. Perona slapped Brooke flying against the wall, and it took a few seconds for him to slide down like a painting. Beating people is like hanging a painting. My brother is good at martial arts. What level have you practiced in martial arts? Internal strength or dark strength? Seeing the scene, Chris complained silently in his heart. In his previous life, Perona would have been a proper martial arts master. Okay, what a powerful slap. I finally feel the feeling of a woman being slapped again. Brooke's skull actually had a big meat bump, but he didn't care, and missed the feeling. Hey Miss Phantom, would you like to come aboard my boat? Perona hadn't recovered from Brooke's fright, and her body trembled when she heard the voice. The stiff neck turned slowly, and Chris was looking at her with a smile on his face. Chris has a handsome appearance, handsome clothes, and a sunny and warm smile. Any woman who sees Chris like this will stare at him. However, Perona only felt the fear that went deep into the marrow of her bones. You, you, what do you want to do? Perona cried in fright and asked in a crying voice. Shut up. Advertisement. Seeing Chris' face change, Perona immediately stopped crying and pursed her lips to keep the tears from falling. Your friends are all dead, and Moria is long gone, would you like to board my boat? Perona's ghost fruit is still very strong, sometimes it will play an unexpected role. Perona, can I say no? Do I dare to say no? What can I do? I'm desperate too. In this way, Perona also became a member of the Galaxy Pirates. Where are we now? 
Perona looked out the window and found that it was full of clouds, as if it was in the sky. Beautiful lady, we are flying in the sky, the captain's next step is to go to Kondu. Brooke hasn't seen a woman for many years, and although Perona is just a little Lolita, she is still very courteous. Chris came out this trip not only to take away Thriller Bark, but also to return to Sky Island to get gold. The Galaxy Pirates have just established themselves in New World, and the development needs a lot of money. Only the Golden City of Sky Island can support the expenses of the Galaxy Pirates. Thriller Bark flew over Sky Island, and the people of Sky Island went out to see it. War Ghost Weber hurried over with the Sky Island guards. He was in charge of guarding the safety of Sky Island and did not allow any damage to the peace to happen. Chris kicked Brooke off the Thriller Bark, and then jumped off himself. Perona could fly by herself, without Chris' hands. The Grand Plaza in the center of Sky Island. Three people from Chris fell from the sky, and Brooke was so frightened that he almost peed, and kept calling for help. Boom, the people of Sky Island first saw a skeleton fall, and then the skull broke. After seeing Chris landed, everyone knelt down to greet him. Welcome Master Chris back. Get up. Master Chris, who is this skeleton? Is it an enemy? War Ghost Weber thought it was an enemy who died under Chris, and it turned into a skeleton because it was not buried. I'm not dead yet, my soul is still wandering, yo ho 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 ho. Brooke's faint voice sounded, almost scaring the melon eaters around him to pee. Then everyone saw that Brooke's severed head automatically flew back to the skeleton intact. Excuse me, can I have a glass of milk? I'm a bit calcium deficient. Brooke's words were a little weak, he hadn't supplemented calcium for many years, and just now he fell down again, and his bones felt a little loose. The bones have spoken. Everyone was shocked by this scene. Leaving Corona and Brooke behind, Chris flew to the Golden City alone. Gold is like garbage in Sky Island, so it has been left outside and no one is picking it up. Advertisement. Galaxy Devour. The ground under Chris's feet suddenly turned into mercury, and then swallowed all the gold on the ground. This is a trick developed after the awakening of the Quicksilver Fruit. It can swallow things into the Quicksilver space and then release it, which is somewhat similar to Dark Fruit's Dark Cave. But this trick is very tasteless and has no power. It can only be used as a storage space, not as devastating as Dark Fruit. The Grand Plaza in the center of Sky Island. Grand Line is amazing, there are talking skeletons. Can you fart? Can you eat? Can you see without eyes? Is it because there are only bones left to drink milk? Chris came back and found the crowd still around Brooke he was thinking about the monkeys in the zoo. No, he's much rarer than a monkey. If he puts it out to collect tickets, Chris can make a lot of money. As soon as Chris waved, War Ghost Weber came over. Master Chris, what are your orders? Weber, Enel will come back after a while, and he will leave a group of pirates to help you guard Sky Island, and you are responsible for receiving it. When it comes to Enel, Weber still has lingering fears, but he will not disobey Chris's order. Now that Chris's strength has become stronger, of course he has to help strengthen the defense of Sky Island. The gold on Sky Island is a super treasure, even the name of Shishibukai may not scare off those greedy pirates. Chris sent a full 1000 people to guard Sky Island this time, which should be enough for the first half of the Grand Line. Hey, Brooke, time to go. Chris turned his head, pulled Brooke, and flew into the sky. Brooke, this guy is actually quite popular, hooking up with the girls from Sky Island. They have turned into skeletons, and they can still attract young ladies. What do these women think? The taste is too strong. Go slowly, Mr. Chris, and have a good trip. Chris came and went quickly, and everyone waved to see him off. I will definitely come back. All the beautiful ladies must wait for me. By the way, can I meet you before I leave? Before Brooke could finish his sentence, Chris knocked his head unconscious with a punch, and the soul floated out of the skeleton, almost blown away by the wind. Thriller Bark, Ghost Castle. Although the entire Thriller Bark is full of mercury gas, under Chris' control, there is no Ghost Castle. Asterisk Mr. Chris, where are we going? We left just after arriving at Sky Island, I haven't had enough fun yet. Brooke is still reluctant to part with Miss Sky Island. Of course it's for gold, you idiot. Perona is sitting on a pile of gold at the moment, with a gold ring on her hand, a gold necklace around her neck, and a crown on her head. Advertisement. Master Chris, is this gold really ours? Perona salivates. Choose as many as you want. Anyway, it's a lot, and Chris doesn't care. How much can a little girl take for her? Drizzle. Really? Can I? Perona's eyes stared at gold stars. Chris shook his head, it seems that as long as it is a woman, there is no one who does not love gold. Perona suddenly felt that it would be good to follow Chris, at least he was rich, handsome, and strong enough to protect her. Think about it carefully, isn't this the tall, rich, and handsome guy in Legendary? The capital of water, the most famous shipyard in the Grand Line. Every year, countless pirates come here to build ships, so that pirates can be seen on the streets of the city from time to time. Hey, what do you think is that? Is it a big bird? Or a monster? What is that glowing on it? It seems to be gold. Someone in the crowd, who got Jow, spotted Chris in the sky, and the glittering gold on it was particularly eye-catching. When the pirates present heard the word gold, they became full of energy immediately. Boom, a mercury ship landed, and the pirates around stared at the gold on it, their eyes were ferocious, as if jackals saw fat. Chris didn't have a boat, so he built one with mercury fruit, and it seems that it just fell into the pile of pirates. Hey, boy, where did you get so much gold? That's right, hand it over quickly, or you may lose your life. We are also doing it for your own good. If you can't use so much gold, let Lao Zi help you use it. Ha 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 Yoon. Dozens of pirates armed with swords surrounded the three of Chris. It seemed that they wanted not only gold, but also Chris' life. The onlookers stayed away one after another, looking at Chris with sympathy, as if they had seen the scene of him being brutally killed by pirates. It's a pity that they only had gold in their eyes and didn't look carefully at Chris's face. Mercury Shuriken. Chris grasped the palm, and the mercury ship under his feet burst immediately, and the sputtered fragments turned into sharp shurikens one after another. Puff puff puff. The sound of entering flesh continued to resound, followed by shrill screams. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 98 Chris Bloody Method, 3rd update, please subscribe. Advertisement. 
Chris killed dozens of pirates with one quicksilver shuriken. Everyone just blinked their eyes and saw that the street was full of corpses. He, he is Galaxy Chris. That's right, he is the galaxy, the galaxy of seven warlords of the sea. No wonder he is so strong, these pirates dare to snatch his gold, they are really desperate. Finally, someone recognized Chris' identity. So young and so capable, there is no one other than Chris. The rest of the pirates fled. They tried to snatch Shishibukai's things just now, and they broke out in a cold sweat when they thought about it. Let's go, go to the bank exchange. Seeing Chris leave, everyone let go of their fears. Chris' aura was so strong that they couldn't breathe. Water City Bank. Looking at the architectural style, it should be the one Luffy and his family built three years later. Now Sky Island is ruled by Chris, I wonder if they can still grab the gold? Seeing Chris walk in with a large pile of gold, the bank staff almost popped their eyes out. The bank manager welcomed Chris into the VIP room respectfully. Dear guest, after my appraisal, these golds are worth about two billion baileys. The manager looked at it with a magnifying glass for a long time and stammered. Two billion baileys. Both Perona and Brooke were stunned. If Brooke had eyes, they would be popping out of their sockets by now. Yes, yes, guest, please sign here and put your fingerprint on it, and I will prepare money right away. With that said, the manager handed over a gold sale agreement. Faced with a huge sum of two billion, Perona and Brooke couldn't wait, but Chris was indifferent. Hey, idiot, I said my ugly words 593 first, if you lie to me, I will tear down your bank. You know, Laozi is seven warlords of the sea, even if Marine finds out, he won't stand up for you. Chris was a little angry, how daring this bank is to cheat him of money. Two billion? Are you kidding me? Chris made a rough estimate that the gold is worth at least three billion. Yes, I'm sorry, Master Shishibukai, it's my fault. Advertisement. I'll re-identify right away. Subsequently, Chris swaggered out of the bank with four billion baileys in cash. Shishibukai's name is really useful, and the bank gave an extra one billion in one sentence. With this four billion funds, it is enough for the early development of the galaxy pirates. After stabilization, Chris can intervene in underground transactions, arms, war, and mercenaries, so that the galaxy pirates can be self-sufficient. Chris also plans to find a few scientists to study medicine, and fruit is a very good material. If a medicine can be developed to make people recover quickly, it will definitely be popular in the underground black market and bring Chris endless wealth. There are people who have money, so that the galaxy pirates can develop and grow until they compete with the four emperor's pirates. Hey boy, are you the kid with the gold? Money is touching. Chris was stopped by a group of people as soon as he left the bank. The leader was holding a ghost knife. He looked like a pirate captain. I heard you're still a Shishibukai. It's just a piece of shit luck, right? Laozi won't be afraid of you. Hand over the money quickly. He had spies at the bank gate and saw Chris enter with a pile of gold. Now that the gold is gone, it must have been sold for a huge sum of money. Why do people always come to find trouble? Do I look so easy to bully? Chris doesn't understand why people always come to provoke him? Did he kill enough people? In fact, it's not Chris' fault. If you want to blame him, you can blame him for being too handsome and tender. At first glance, he looks like the kind of little boy who relies on his face for food. It seems that my methods are not ruthless enough, so even an ant dares to come up and bite. Galaxy Sword Dance. Chris foot smashed the ground, cracking the marble streets. Countless mercury spikes burst out of the ground, piercing all the members of the pirate group. The people around turned pale with fright, and their legs went limp from fright. The streets of the city of water have turned into an azure field, and hundreds of people have been pierced through their bodies, and some even have their internal organs dropped out. There are still a few people who are not dead, and the mournful wailing resounds throughout the world, making people listen to the development behind them. Only ultimate's killing can bring ultimate's fear, making people dare not say that he lives on his face. This scene was so terrifying that I don't know how many people were scared into nightmares. Chris left, didn't take the quicksilver back, let it stay here. The more people he sees, the more the world fears him. After this incident, people also added a nickname to him, called Chris the Impaler. Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Advertisement. Hey, Yinhee, you're in the city of water, right? What have you been doing you bastard? Sengoku is furious now, yelling at Chris across from the phone bug. Mr. Sengoku, did I do something wrong? Shishibukai is here to scare the world. Chris put on a sly tone, as if nothing had happened. Then your hands do and you don't have to be so bloody. Although Sengoku didn't see it, he could imagine it. According to Marine from Water City, many people at the scene were scared to pee, and several people were even frightened crazy. If you want to blame it, blame me for being too handsome and too young. Anyone dares to provoke me. In order not to cause trouble in the future, I can only do it more bloody. The corner of Sengoku's mouth twitched. Black lines appeared on his face. Yinhi, I know you have a thick skin, but I didn't expect you to say such shameless things. Sengoku was finally convinced. With such a brazen person, you can't win by talking with him. Tell me, Marshal Sengoku, you're not looking for me for such a trivial matter, are you? The water capital incident Chris is doing a little too much, but it will not disturb. E. Naval Headquarters. Sengoku coughed, and said seriously, I have something to ask you fire fist ace nose. I know, the Logia kid who has risen recently, seeing him is like seeing me back then, and I am already old before I know it. Hearing Chris' exclamation, Sengoku rolled his eyes. How old are you, a kid who has just debuted for one year? If you are old, then the marshal should be in the coffin. What, you want me to catch him? Yes, he rejected Marine Shishibukai's invitation. The headquarters now issues Shishibukai's order to you to arrest or execute Fire Fist Ace on the spot. Sengoku's words were full of killing intent, and Chris felt a chill when he heard it. Garb next to Sengoku also had an ugly face at the moment, so gloomy that he could drip water. Hey, hey, why are you Marines so stingy? Didn't they just reject the invitation? There's no need to kill them all, right? Chris doesn't want to do it, Ace is Garp's grandson, Chris will mess with Garp if he touches him, this deal is too bad. The Grand Line is the closest you are to him. This is the embarrassment of the world government. Sengoku's tone was strong, with no doubt. An order from the world government himself? Chris was taken aback for a moment, as if he understood a little bit. It should be that the world government has already noticed Ace's identity, so it did such a great job. No problem, just wait, but I still have things to attend to, so don't blame me if you don't meet him. Then, I will wait for your good news. Although the order is mandatory, it is hard to tell whether it succeeds or fails. Just like in the original book, Big Bear was ordered to destroy the Straw Hat crew, but in the end he let them go, and he was not punished in the end. Grand Line, Primordial Island. 
Advertisement. Mr. Chris, what are we doing here? The island of Primordial is full of dinosaurs, and Brooke's skeletons creak in terror. Perona even walked close to Chris's back, not daring to leave even one step. Catch a pterosaur and see if you can take this island away. Chris wanted to find a beast island as the trial ground for the Galaxy Pirates, Primordial Island, and Rusgaina are both suitable places. Now that the island of Primordial is close, Chris came here first. As for catching the pterosaur, it is to feed it devil fruit. Beast Island needs a boss, and Chris thinks that pterosaur is the most suitable. First of all, it can fly, occupying the advantage of the sky battlefield, and secondly, it has strong combat effectiveness and a strong constitution. If he eats the fruit of the perfume, he will definitely be able to become a competent under Chris. After some effort, Chris caught the most ferocious pterosaur on the island. It has a body length of more than 30 meters and a wingspan of more than 50 meters. It can be called a prehistoric giant. I don't know if it's because the bloodline of Pirate World is better, it's much bigger than the dinosaurs in the previous life. Roar. The pterosaur was still struggling after being subdued, but it was covered in mercury and could not move. It's fierce, the fiercer it is, the more Chris likes it. Hey, shut up. His pupils stared, and Conqueror's hacky exploded out. The pterosaur was the first to bear the brunt, feeling cold all over his body, and dared not howl anymore. The Conqueror's hacky spread out, and the forest was instantly quiet, and the beast's roar could no longer be heard. Eat it. Chris threw the perfume fruit into its mouth, and the pterosaur swallowed it in one gulp. The taste of devil fruit is comparable to biochemical weapons, even the pterosaurs who drink blood almost spit out their intestines. Try to see the ability. I don't know if it's because of the devil fruit, but it feels like the pterosaur has become more intelligent after eating the devil fruit, so he nodded at Chris. As it held, a powdery red aroma spewed out from its mouth. Corona was weak-willed, confused by the perfume, and fell into hallucinations all at once. Brooke has no organs, and the perfume fruit is useless to him. But for some reason, he could actually smell the fragrance. Chris could only sigh secretly, the world of One Piece is really amazing, and the common sense from previous life is useless here. P.S. 10,000 characters have been updated. Please subscribe. Please fully subscribe. Please customize. Please ask for flowers. Please ask for a reward. Anyway, please ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding. With a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation. Thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 99 The Pterosaur That Ate Devil Fruit. First update. Please subscribe. Advertisement. Come on, Pewtis. Chris sat on the back of the pterosaur, and the pterosaur spread its wings and set off a gust of wind. Mr. Chris, are we really okay? Brooke was afraid that he would fall and be smashed to pieces, felt his bones were a little soft. Brooke, all you have left is a skeleton. What are you afraid of if you don't die again? Ah, uh, yes, I can't die from the fall, because I don't have the body to die from the fall, yo. Corona can fly by herself, but she still has some fear of pterosaurs, so she has been suspended. Pewtis was flying over the island of Primordial, and a thick aroma was spit out from his mouth and drifted with the wind. Stimulated by the fragrance, the ferocious beasts in the forest went mad and killed each other. Pewtis, can you control their will? If the killing continues like this, the Ingo Island will soon be bloody. What Chris wants is an army of obedient beasts, not a group of beasts who only know how to kill. Roar. Pewtis roared, and the ability of the perfume fruit was activated. The crazy beasts calmed down one after another. Although their eyes were still blood red, they had stopped killing. That's right, that's it. If you only know cannibalism, there will be no living creatures on Primordial Island in a few days. What Chris wants is to enhance the ferocity of the beasts, making them more brutal and powerful. As it is now, as time goes by, the beasts on this island will become more and more fierce, and this place will also become an excellent place for trials. Only the strong can survive on this island. I said why the dinosaurs on the island started to riot. It turned out that someone came to the island. A titan swung a long sword to overcome obstacles and came to Chris. Chris has long known that there are two titans on Primordial Island. Judging by his outfit, it should be Titan Dory. Pewtis let out a menacing roar, trying to scare him off. Brooke and Corona had already softened in fright and hid behind Chris. I didn't expect to meet Titan here, it's an honor for me. Chris jumped on top of the pterodactyl, just level with Dory. Ha ha ha, I'm glad to meet you too, friend. The island of Primordial has not been visited by outsiders for many years. Titans are bold in nature and like to make friends. Are you Blue Ogre Dory? I heard that you and Brogi, another captain of the giant pirates, have disappeared for 100 years. Are you all here? Oh, you actually know us? Yes, we have been dueling, but we haven't decided yet. Advertisement. Dory was a little surprised. He and Brogi have been here for almost 100 years, and he didn't expect anyone to know them. I want to move the island of Primordial, do you want to be my partners? Chris sent an invitation directly. The Titans are very powerful, so they are very suitable to be partners. And Chris wants to take Primordial Island away, so he has to say hello to these two Titans before taking action. Take Primordial Island? Ha 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 ha, friend, are you serious? Suddenly, a voice came from a distance, Chris turned his head to look, and another Titan Brogi also came. Since I say it, I will definitely do it. We have been dueling here for 100 years, and we will not leave until the outcome is decided. If you want to take Primordial Island, of course we will go with you. But we'll just stay on Primordial Island, and we won't be able to help you if we fight. Dory and Brogi looked at each other and said in unison. The Titans are very committed to their promises. They said they would leave only if the outcome is too high, and they will definitely abide by it. Okay, it's better to stay on the island. I will arrange for the pirates to go to the island for trials in the future. It would be even better if you can give them some pointers. Chris didn't ask too much, it was a surprise to get two Titans, so let's take them away first. Ha 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 ha, these are trivial matters, now let us see how you took away the Primordial Island. Chris extended his palm, aiming at the Primordial area below. Rise. The Lion Fruit ability was activated, and the island of Primordial broke away from the Continental Plate, causing a shocking noise. The animals on the island felt the danger and scattered for their lives. This is the instinct of animals, even if they are controlled by the perfume fruit, it is inevitable. The island of Primordial slowly broke away from the sea, as if a big hole had been dug in the sea, and the surrounding sea water poured back to fill the hole. Boom, 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 there was a sonic boom as the island lifted off and rubbed against the air. Dory and Brogi on the island couldn't stand still for a while, and fell to the ground. Is this the power of devil fruit? It's amazing. 
Dory and Brogy have been on the island for 100 years. They don't know the lion fruit of the golden lion, but they know that only the devil fruit has this power. Ha 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 ha, that's amazing, Captain. The Titans worship the strong, and Chris has this kind of power, and he knows he is stronger than them without any competition. Since they are stronger than them, they naturally call Chris the Captain. The island of Primordial disappeared into the clouds and was level with Thriller Bark. With a roar, the two islands flew towards the distance, and finally disappeared in the sea. A few months later, someone passed by the sea area and found that the Primordial Island had disappeared, which caused heated discussions. Both the Marine Headquarters and the World Government speculated whether the Lion Fruit had been reborn, and sent a large number of people to inquire about the news. The result was nothing, so let it go. Advertisement. In short, Chris's action caused an uproar, but no one knew that it was Chris who did it. Chris has the thrill of being the one behind the scenes. Guy Islands. Chris was walking alone on the street, and because of his handsome appearance, many girls and sisters were winking at him. Both Brooke and Corona were left on the island by him. With their current strength, it was useless to follow him. It was better to stay on the island to practice. The original Guy Island was destroyed because of the war between Chris and Golden Lion, and the current Guy Islands were formed by the floating Sky Island of Golden Lion. In a tavern. Hey, have you heard? Recently, there is a newcomer who is very fierce. The bounty has soared all the way, and even Shishibukai's invitation was rejected. That's right, that's right, I've heard of it too, it seems to be called Fire Fist Ace. I really envy him, he actually got Logia's ability, and became famous all over the world as soon as he debuted. I heard that he can blow up a ship with a single punch. Logia's power is terrifying. As the most dazzling newcomer in 1517, Ace is talked about everywhere he goes. Coupled with the fact that he was the first to refuse Shishibukai's invitation, he was pushed to the forefront. Hmph, what is Fire Fist Ace? Can he compare to Galaxy Chris? He is the strongest. Galaxy has now entered New World. I heard that he challenged Whitebeard some time ago, and they fought for five days and five nights regardless of the outcome. Galaxy can challenge the four emperors in one year, and will definitely become One Piece in the future. There are also people who are diehard fans of Chris and promote Chris by belittling Ace. Galaxy is a fart, isn't he a lackey of the government? If you ask me, Fire Fist is stronger, even the name of Shishibukai is dismissive. It is Ace's fans who are talking. Because of Ace's refusal to be Shishibukai, he has indeed attracted the support of a large wave of pirates. Zero, ask for flowers. Chris sat in the corner, listening to these people talking and bragging, and thought it was funny. A group of people who dare not go to sea are here to point out the country, and they even talk about a kind of pride in the world. Obviously the two protagonists they mentioned are by their side, but they can't recognize them. Ignoring these people, Chris looked at a man at a nearby table. He wears a cowboy hat with two smiley and sad faces on it. The table is full of delicacies, but he will eat them up in a few clicks, and the empty plates are already piled up in a pile. The waiter delivering food next to him was sweating profusely, and the speed of delivering food could not keep up with his eating speed. Boss, another piece of meat with bones. Before the meat in Ace's mouth could be swallowed, he was in a hurry to order another plate of meat. I'm sorry, this customer, the meat in the shop has been eaten up. The boss nodded and said to Ace, for fear that Ace would be angry and smash his shop. Ha 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 ha, here we go again, Ace will eat up the meat every time. Advertisement. Captain, how big is your stomach, can't you eat enough? Captain, if our money is not enough, you will eat it all. Zero. The crew of Ace complained one after another, and they seemed to be used to this scene. That's right, that's it, let's go then. Ace and others paid and left, leaving the tavern. Chris also drank the wine in his hand in one gulp, got up and left. Chris didn't expect to meet Ace here. He didn't plan to do Sengoku's mission, but now that he has met him, he must try his strength. Ace is also one of the important protagonists in the world of One Piece. Being able to abuse him is something that all time travelers want to do. Hey, my friend, you followed us secretly, what exactly do you want to do? Hearing what Ace said, the Spades pirates were all on alert, but no matter how hard they searched, they couldn't find Chris. Ace, there is no enemy, you can't be mistaken, right? The speaker is Deus, vice captain of the Spades pirates. It's not wrong. You didn't find him because he was in the sky. Everyone looked up at the same time, and saw Chris with his hands in his pockets, looking at them calmly. Hey, Ace, this guy is Galaxy, Galaxy Chris. Although Deus had no combat effectiveness, he collected intelligence very well and recognized Chris at a glance. Oh, Shishibukai. Others may be scared when they see Shishibukai, but Ace won't, not even the four emperors. I heard you had a fight with Whitebeard, how is his strength? Knowing that the person in front of him was Chris, Ace took the initiative to ask questions. He has always wanted to challenge Whitebeard, so he wants to learn about Whitebeard's intelligence from Chris' text. Do you want to challenge Whitebeard? You are not far behind now. Chris shook his head, the current ace has not yet understood the cruelty of the world, and is just sailing with passion. Because of the power of Miramara fruit, he was so invincible in the first half of the Grand Line that he is a bit too arrogant now. Really, then try it. Fire punch. Ace strikes without saying a word, and his impulsive temper has not changed since he was a child. Chris stood still, letting the fist of fire hit him. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement. Chapter 100 End Abuse Ace, second update, please subscribe. Advertisement. Chris stood still, letting the fist of fire hit him. Boom, the flames exploded, and the air was filled with smoke. Everyone couldn't see what happened? Captain, you are so strong, you can kill Galaxy with one move. Shishibukai is nothing special, he can't even catch an ace move. When the Spades pirates saw this scene, they all thought that Chris had been punched to death by Ace. No, not yet, Shishibukai won't be killed so easily. Although Ace is proud, he is not arrogant to that extent. He's not an idiot, if Shishibukai can be defeated so easily, what's the point of Marine getting them? The smoke dissipated, and what appeared in front of everyone was a mercury wall, which blocked Ace's fire fist. Mercury shuriken. As Chris finished speaking, the quicksilver wall burst suddenly, turning into dense quicksilver shurikens and shooting towards everyone. You run away. Fire punch. Ace shattered Chris' attack with one punch, and hurriedly ordered the crew to retreat. He has already seen that Chris's strength is very strong, and these people cannot handle it. 
Captain Ace. The members of the Spades Pirates wanted to say something, but seeing Ace's solemn face, they also understood that staying behind was just a burden, so they all withdrew from the battlefield. Flame Internet. 383 Ace also built a wall with flames to separate Chris and the Spades Pirates. Your crew members don't seem to be very good at it, they just run away after fighting all the time. Chris's words were sarcasm, which made everyone's faces turn red. But they couldn't refute it, because Chris was right. Chris used to wonder why the crew members Ace found were so weak. The Vice Captain, Diaz, is a writer of novels, and has no combat power at all. He may not even be able to defeat the most common marine soldiers, and his combat power is not as good as Nami. The others are also rookies, and none of them has potential experience. The battles of the Spades Pirates are always like this. When encountering a weak enemy, Ace goes up to punch the fire, and then the enemy ship is destroyed. But when encountering a strong enemy, Ace will first release a flame on the net to let the crew escape first, and then stay and fight the enemy one-on-one. -on -one. Over time, Ace became the nanny of the Spade Pirates. You are not allowed to insult my companion, Fire Fist. Ace, like Luffy, would never allow someone to insult his partner, and when he heard Chris say that, he immediately went into a rage. Shave. Moonwalk. Advertisement. Chris' body disappeared in an instant, and appeared in front of Ace without warning after dodging the fire fist. The iron fist of the common. Chris punches Ace in the chest. Boom, Ace was sent flying by this punch, smashing through four or five houses in a row before stopping. Cough cough cough. Ace got up from the ruins and felt that his internal organs had been beaten and displaced. He coughed up several mouthfuls of blood and almost coughed up his intestines. You bastard, why? Why did it hit you, right? Ace looked at Chris incredulously, but Chris cut him off before he could finish his sentence. That's why you are still too immature. Now you want to challenge Whitebeard. The difference is too far. Bastard, I haven't lost yet. Shenhuo Shiranui. Ace's hands turned into flames, turning into two pillars of fire and hitting Chris. It's useless, you're too weak. Shave. Chris appeared in front of Ace, with his left hand in his pocket, his right foot kicking up to his face. At this moment, the world seemed to be frozen, and only Chris could move. It can be seen that Ace did not respond to Chris' actions, and his eyes were still staring forward. Boom. Chris kicked Ace hundreds of meters away, his body plowed a big hole in the ground, and finally rolled over ten laps before stopping. Ace's moves are too immature, in the face of Chris' ultimate speed, he can't hit him at all. And Chris doesn't even need devil fruit and swordsmanship to deal with him, just using Marine Six styles is enough for him. How? Am I right? You are too weak. Chris appeared in front of Ace without warning, looking down at him. Asshole. I'm not dead yet. Flame Ring Fire Pillar. Ace twirled his hands, turning his body into a flammable pillar, briefly pushing Chris back. The pillar of fire shot straight into the sky with such a great momentum that even the guy islands could be seen from far away. Hey, hey, it's too hot. Mercury is not resistant to high temperatures, and Chris felt like he was going to melt. Tempest Kick. Chris kicked out a vacuum slash, which directly cut off Ace's pillar of flame, and the slash continued to slash on Ace's chest. Boom, Ace was chopped off, fell from the flames, and this time he never got up again. Advertisement. There was a wound on his chest that ran from his right shoulder to his left waist, and his flesh was rolling and dripping with blood. Chris beat Ace to the ground with just two kicks. Chris's quicksilver fruit is indeed afraid of high temperature. In the past, he was most afraid of Admiral Akainu, and he was simply his natural enemy at that time. Fortunately, Chris didn't meet Akainu when he was growing up. Now Chris has the peak armament hacky body protection, and he is no longer afraid of Akainu. It seems that your captain is not as strong as you said. Chris waved his hand to turn off the internet, and the Spades Pirates ran to Ace. Deus is in charge of treating Ace, and the others stare at Chris with weapons in hand. Bastard, is this the fighting power of Shishibukai? Hey, Deus, you take Ace away quickly, we will stay behind. The members of the Spades Pirates finally have one advantage, and that is loyalty. At the moment of life and death, everyone did not abandon Ace, but were willing to risk their lives to save him. Hey, you guys, I am the captain. If the captain can't protect his companions, is he still worthy of being the captain? Ace stood up tremblingly, he had already broken his bones and bones, and now he was able to stand up, all relying on a will. Oh, do you still want to fight? You should understand the difference in strength between us, right? Although your Logia is very cool, your physical skills are a mess, and Haki can't either, it's too far behind me. Oof, I will never run away, no matter what enemies I encounter, I will never jump. I hope you can spare my companion. As a prize, I will stay. Ace was on fire, and although his face was covered in blood, he was fearless. Great flame ring, Emperor Yan. The flames all over Ace's body form a super great fireball, and he is as small as an ant under the fireball. In this case, I will not be polite. Galaxy, Silver Dragon. A silver dragon flew from outside the sky, roaring and colliding with the fireball head on. Boom, at this moment, the world is divided into two halves, one half is flame, and the other half is mercury. The aftermath of the battle between the two spread to the surroundings, the ground was cracked inch by inch, and the rocks were shattered into powder. Fall, ace, boom, 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 the whole island is shaking, the ground is being torn apart, and the hurricane is raging. The shock wave of the battle between the two rushed out of the island, causing huge waves on the calm sea. After everything calmed down, ace lay face down on the ground, covered in blood. His eyes were hazy, trying to keep himself from losing consciousness. It seems that in the end you lost. Chris walked up to him and just looked at him. It's so strong, is the white beard you fought with so strong? Advertisement. Ace's voice trembled when he spoke. He was seriously injured all over his body now, and it hurts even to breathe. Whitebeard is much better than me. To put it mildly, I fought him for five days and five nights regardless of the outcome, but in fact, I was the one who lost the battle. In the fight with Whitebeard, Chris was seriously injured, and Whitebeard was only slightly injured, but his combat power was not damaged. If the fight continues, Chris must be the one who dies. Even you're no match for Whitebeard? That's the man to take on that man. Ace gritted his teeth and said the last sentence, and finally lost consciousness. 
Chris knew who the man he was talking about. He always wanted to surpass Roger, but now it was too far away. Ding dong, congratulations to Host for defeating Fire Fist Ace and getting a bounty of 120 million. The bounty has arrived, because Chris didn't kill Ace, so 20% was deducted. However, the bounty for defeating Ace is too small, and 120 million is just a drizzle for the current Chris. System, what is my balance? Ding dong, the host's current balance is 17,127,000 square profit. It's approaching 2 billion again, and Chris is only one step away from awakening lion fruit. Are you aware of the vastness of the world? Then grow up. Chris was gone without getting Ace back to naval headquarters. After Chris left, Deus and others hurriedly rescued Ace for treatment. He was injured too badly. If he was delayed for a while, he would really die. Hey, Deus, why did the galaxy let us go? Yeah, with his strength, if we kill him, we won't be able to survive. Everyone talked about it, but they didn't understand why Chris did this. Beating Ace half to death but not killing him, being Shishibukai but not capturing him, is it just to beat him up? If Chris knew what Deus was thinking, he would call him a genius. He guessed right, Chris just wanted to beat him up, who made him the main character and Chris the time traveler. The one thing that the time traveler wants to do the most is to play the protagonist? Brew brew brew, brew brew brew, Chris connected to the phone bug, and Sengoku's voice came. Yinhi, I heard you caught fire. Chris had to admire Marine's intelligence agency, and Sengoku received the news just after his side ended. That's right, we met. How is his strength? Have you caught him, or have you? While Sengoku was talking, Garp was by his side, listening to the conversation with his ear sideways, not missing a word. Hearing that Ace met Chris, he was distraught. He knows Chris' combat strength, and now Ace will definitely lose when he meets him. Physical arts is a mess, and Haki doesn't know how to do it. He only relied on Logia's ability to make it to where he is today, and I solved it with one punch and two kicks. Chris was right, if he was serious and used his big move at the beginning, Ace might not even be able to take one of his moves. Hearing this, Sengoku was overjoyed, and Garp's face changed drastically. P.S. Ask for a subscription, ask for a full order, ask for a custom order, ask for flowers, ask for a reward, anyway, ask for everything. The author is still desperately coding, with a guarantee of 10,000 updates every day, I beg readers to give the author some motivation, thank you very much. Advertisement.